Good evening, friends. This is Tim Reckie speaking to you from WKYA Hope Radio, where together we thrive. But now our world has spiraled into chaos, and if you're listening to this, it means that you've survived the unimaginable. The world as we know it is fading into the night, and we stand upon the brink. Reports suggest that the military plans to unleash nuclear weapons in the epicenters of the outbreak as a last resort to contain the Navasgain virus. My friends, our survival hangs in the balance. So gather supplies, fortify your homes, and stay away from populated areas. Per CDC guidelines, avoid close contact with the infected, and anyone bitten or scratched should be isolated for at least seven days. This is Tamra Key broadcasting live from the heart of the chaos, and I'll stay with you until the very end. Good night, and Godspeed. Good morning, post-apocalypse. Well, <laughs> there's not much good about it. My old radio station and home for the last 10 years was destroyed last night. But you know what they say, the show must go on. So I guess we're starting over. But this time, we're doing something a little different. So by now, you know about the new magazine crafting progression system. There are 23 different sets of magazines and your perks can influence what ones you find. Anyone can survive in the post-apocalypse, but here on Hope Radio, we strive to thrive. And the things that you need to thrive are basically vehicles, workstations, tools, weapons, and armor. It just so happens that intellect has three of those covered, and the trader can probably cover the other two, especially with those juicy trader perks like Better Barter and Daring Adventurer. So right now I have nothing, but in the next couple of days, I'm hoping to have a forge, bicycle, stun baton, duke collector, and maybe even more. So stay tuned to Hope Radio and I'll show you how. Let's begin. All right, we're gonna collect all the polymer we can so we can get the dew collector going pretty soon. There it is, WKYA Hope radio station, blown to bits last night in a very destructive horde night. Yeah, I'd say no reason to even go inside. I did manage to salvage my drone camera so we can get a couple of drone shots here and there, but you know, otherwise probably just gonna head over to Trader Bob and see how he's doing this morning. Might just see if I left anything behind here in this storage container. Okay, shotgun messiah box back there, right? There might be some shotgun supplies. Just being a little cautious because we've got a biker over there. We've got a zombie over here and they're moving pretty quickly right now. And for the killing blow. Nope, not quite. Uh-oh. Ah, look out. Come on. There we go. Right, probably this is as good a time as any to pull up the settings for you. I'll just highlight the ones that are changed. Everything else will be default. And uh, fingers crossed that no zombie kind of made their way in here for the night. Oh, yes, one did for sure. Come on out here, buddy. And down. Just keep an eye on that biker. I'm pretty sure he would just wipe the floor with me. Did I trigger him? I triggered him. I'm just gonna run. We're gonna run to Trader Bob's. He's got a pretty safe compound. We can kind of hold up there for a little while. Okay, now in the safety of the Trader Compound, we'll loot this up in just a second, but I want to spend the skill points. Basically, the whole run here is going to be done with an intellect, at least in the beginning, until I, I feel like branching out. And the reason is I don't want to, like, dilute my magazines by taking, you know, one into salvage tools and one into Miner 69er and one into some rifle or weapon. I want to just focus all of my points on one thing at a time. And that one thing is probably going to be either Grease Monkey or Advanced Engineering so that we can get the workstations and the vehicles respectively as early as possible. But uh, first and foremost, we got to work on our combat skills. So that's going to be straight into Electrocutioner. So we'll go two here, two here. I might try to get one more in Electrocutioner, and then we'll kind of branch out into the vehicles and workstations. Speaking of workstations, Trader Bob has a couple of them around here. Let's see how many Forge Ahead magazines we can pull out of them. Okay, I've just, I think, just finished looting the compound here. I stashed most of my stuff in Bob's cooler downstairs. But let's now talk about the goal for the next couple of weeks. So just down there is John's ham radio station. And so that is where we're going to be heading eventually. I don't think uh, that's kind of like a day one task, but that's what I want to do. We got to build a new radio station here and uh, continue the broadcast, the Hope Radio broadcast. And so that's where we're going to do it from over there at uh, John's ham radio. Oh, helmet right there. Not too bad. And a flashlight, but not a helmet flashlight. I'm just looking around because I'm not sure if I found the workbench or not. Ah, there it is right there. Last one. Oh, a better stone axe. Very good. Here's my loot so far. Vehicle adventures, three wiring books, and two forge ahead. Not too shabby. All right, Bobby, what do you have for job? Oh my god, he's got 
five fetch jobs and they're all super close by abandoned shady shed farm so really we should just try to hammer all five of these quests as fast as possible and just progress our um trader stage along a little bit get to the tier twos as fast as possible get the reward the bundle reward which will be a bicycle most likely unless he has you know a million dukes or something <laughs> which he won't okay nothing fancy here i am literally just gonna grab the loot and run away i see the satchel first job is complete first quest reward i'll go with pipe bombs on to joe's usa just snag up whatever I can for books and magazines before we kick things off. That's two tech junkie books already. Hopefully one of those was the Stun Repulsor mod one. Uh, that's instantly charging the Sun Baton. Great. And they degrade slower as well. Let's hit it. Okay, where's the satchel? That's all I'm here for. I'm not particularly worried about, like, getting loot and stuff. Another football helmet. Because the loot's just not going to be that great. I'd rather just, you know, get the traitor loot. That's what's going to be good. Ah, uh, Moe's kind of chasing me down over there. Okay, is it over? No, it's inside the building there somewhere. Okay, it doesn't look like there's an easy way to go about this, so I guess we're going to have a little bit of a fight here. Hello? Ah, Killer Joe's back here, hanging out behind the, the clay in the sand. Killer Joe strikes me as the kind of guy that would just be sandbagging it all the time. Oh, <laughs> he didn't like that, did he? Ah, crap. Taking a couple hits there. We need to avoid that the best we can. Repair kit there. Slap a torch on the wall, or, you know, thin air, I guess. Whoa! Ow. Okay, I'm gonna have to take that painkiller I just found outside and just suffer with the dehydration for a second. Ah! Oh, aren't lean. Whoa, they can come right up here. That's not good for me. Where's the satchel? It's right on top of this shelf. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. And I guess I'll grab whatever I can from for loot from right here. Oh, and... I can just press the button, I think, to get out of here. Oh, I can kill these zombies, I think. How about that? Ah, that works. All right, we're good. Fingers crossed for some first aid. Hey, we got our first pipe which will really help, because that's what I'm specced into. And we've got uh, a automatic weapons handbook there. Take the extra bandage and we'll be right as rain in no time. Just kind of wash down that painkiller a little bit. I do have a yucca smoothie back at the... Um, Trader compound. Okay, pretty much good enough here. Let's get out of here. And, oh, right. These have all respawned some stuff for me. Oh, the biker. Oh, oh, um. Oh, I got a trick I can use on him. Uh, I also got Mo here. Oh, let's try the pipe baton. Much easier on the stamina, I'll tell you that much. Ooh, that feels good. And I can take the rock and just get that biker, move it on in that direction. There he goes. All right, what do we get this time, Bobby? Ooh, oh, Molotovs. Hell yes. Next up, what's it? Whatever's closest, basically. The Malone residence. That's not too bad. They'll probably have some books and stuff there. Oops, I didn't mean to. I was going to probably sell that tempered blade thing. But hey, first skill point, too. Going to go directly into intellect. That gives us some dismemberment chance and increased headshot bonus. All right, so probably as good a time as any right now to talk about some of the mods that I'm using. So there's going to be a full list of mods down in the description, but notably we're going to be playing with a bunch of my personal mods like the 2x2 Dude Collector, the Beautiful Bases mod, the Hellish Hordes mod. So basically Hellish Hordes means that the Wandering Hordes are going to be up to 45 zombies in a Wandering Horde. I kind of considered doing insane or maybe nightmare speed or some like extra challenging combination there but with hellish hordes on i think that's challenge enough for me also playing with craft from containers which means if i'm close to one of my own storage boxes it'll pull resources in in for a crafting recipe if i'm crafting and um, also playing with quick stack which uh, gives me some buttons here to just automatically sort stuff from my inventory into the appropriate storage box without having to go in and out and that's debatable whether these are like cheese or cheating mods but i just think they're quality of life mods because i don't want to spend my time sorting containers i want to spend my time looting okay tech junkie book there that was increased fire rate for robotic weapons we're already doing really good on that series hit the quest and check that one again I'd like to get this one done and maybe one more, and then I think we could probably just stay at Joe's USA on the rooftop, <laughs> which for some reason gives me this weird deja vu. Okay, I would bet you that... Oh, the satchel's right there! Whoa, what a cheesy place to put it. They could have put it down in the basement and I'd have to go through this whole place, but look what they did for me. 
that's why the fetch quest rewards are so terrible is just because you know it could be so easy to get the main or to get the satchel and then just run away like is exactly what i'm doing right now all right what you got for me this time buddy nine mil oh really bad we could do mechanical parts and that would you know maybe help me with crafting a wrench at some point because otherwise it's it's a little bit difficult to get that i i don't need anything else i'll take that that's a really lame reward, but that was a pretty lame quest, so I can't complain Friend, too much. Oh, uh, the deracinated well, domicile. There's some good books in that one, on, you can but what else you got for me? The friend. Wet's Residence. If that no also has some what. books. Okay, here we are. Tech Planet book. That's the deracinated domicile. Might check the uh, cars out front there before we head back, and then we'll see if we can maybe squeeze that last fetch quest in. Really? Oh, there's some... Um, I've pulled college jackets out of here before. Oh, here's the bookcases right here. Oh, there's the zombie too. Yeah, if we could just very quickly search these couple of things. Okay. Uh, yep. Whoa, hold, hold them off at the door here. Yep, yeah, there's these bookcases here, and then there's some, like, um, dressers and stuff around back. Like a closet with garment bags in it. Here's one of the dressers here for a t-shirt. And I think there's usually a guy in here. Uh, not today, I guess. Oh, BDU top. Not too bad. Replaces my sweatshirt. Anything back here that I need? Oh yeah, the satchel. <laughs> Always nice when you remember to grab that. Okay, good enough for this place, I'd say. I probably, now that I think about it, I probably should have double looted. I don't mean to look like I'm rushing through things here. It's just we had a really good opportunity to get through five quests in one day. So that is like the main objective right now. That'll just leave us with two quests to do tomorrow and then we're on the bike and then we can kind of slow things down and relax and pick and choose what we want to do better and grab the quest reward here. This time we've got, oh boy, terrible again. I'll take the glue and I'll grab the last job. We'll do that first thing in the morning right before Bobby opens. All right, just tick nightfall, going through the inventory a little bit here. Automatic weapons, books, scrapping, knives, and I will read the ergonomic grip mod schematic. We might craft that someday. I don't want to have to rely on traders or luck to find it somewhere. Okay, so we didn't loot Joe's USA on our way through here, at least not very much. Get rid of that guy, the nightmare crawler and check on the vending machine. Okay, there is a sugar butt there. There's a little bit of food and that's gonna reset here in a couple of hours. Let me buy one of those sugar butts there just so that we know that we have one in case we need it. Because sometimes you can go days without finding one. All right, well, the night is dark and full of terror. So I think for the night, I'm just gonna quietly try to harvest and loot as much as I can out of Joe's USA here. We'll kind of break down every box. We'll search every container. We'll do the best we can to just survive without causing too much attention. And then we'll kick things off first thing tomorrow morning with that fetch quest at the, I think it was the deracinated domicile. Okay, here we are, deracinated domicile. I'm gonna just search up the kind of exterior here. I think there's some pretty decent loot that could be had. And also there's a whole bunch of these tires here, which are a good source of polymer, just leveled up there. Let's just go straight intellect, keep pumping those points in. These construction guys are pretty strong. Oh, that did not work. Well, treat the abrasion and give me some hit points back. All right, there's our supply satchel right there. Quest is over. Oh, cooking pot. That is a great find. Stealth is just terrible in seven days now, isn't it? There we go. Okay, I don't believe... Ooh, urban combat. Oh, craft cigars. That's a good one to find. I don't think I want to bother with the dog in, in the U-Haul thing there. Hunter's Journal here. More damage to humans and zombies. Hey, that's a really good book. You've made we got here. Hey. And here is your well, payment. we could do shotgun shells and then I could craft myself... Wait, what's this one? Double pocket mods. Oh my goodness, yes. And today, ooh, okay, so uh, we got the good quests yesterday. Now we get the, the ones that are heckin' far away. Well, these ones aren't too bad right here. Passing gas door number three. 
but it is a clear zombie, so we'll have to do a little bit of fighting today. No big deal. Now, apart from the water filters, he has nothing at all that I would want to buy. All right, we are heading to the east, and I'm going to try to hit up all the mailboxes I can find along the way. All right, this is the passing gas store right here, right next to our John's Ham radio station that we're going to completely refurbish and turn that into our new broadcast station. Uh, but first, we got to clear out the riffraff here. Oh, that other zombie's eating my rabbit. No, stop that. Damn it. The guy's got to eat around here. Hey, there we go. Just leveled up a little bit, too. One skill point. I think that's going to go straight into... Let's re recoup some stamina here. Yeah, straight into Electrocutioner. We're making out pretty good on the hunting front today. And the fog just lifted, so hit the quest and... Whoop. Got a new car there. And a new vending machine that works. Hell yeah. Well, if I'm going to clear the area, I'm also going to loot the area. The best I can, at least. Oh, two zombies over there. Great. Oh, and he just goes right into ducking mode. Great. <laughs> you stupid zombie. Ah. Ow. Oh, abrasion, too. Well, got to take that bandage. Having a rough morning here. And we got to fight Bo still. Oh, and I got an infection, and I don't have anything to treat that with right now. At least we're on to the last set of zombies down here. How many we got? Let's just pull them out. Get this over with. Okay, shouldn't hopefully need more than just one. So open that up for him. How'd we do? We got two left. They might be without legs, though. In the... Nope, nope. They can, they can move just fine. Got the biker. And quest over. All right, let's snag up that main loot and get the heck out of here. One more quest and we've got the bicycle. That urban combat book was sneaking over trash makes no sound. Okay, I'm going to save this vending machine. I've got a mod that adds a whole bunch of icons here, and we're just going to say drinks. That's pretty nice. It's going to be right next to where we live. And since we're going to live here eventually, might as well just start stashing all of our items here and go grab the reward. What you got for me, buddy? Hmm. Well, after consideration, I will take the 762 so that I can craft myself a pipe MG. And let's take that last clear zombies at Marvin's getaway. That should be kind of like right near where we were before, isn't it? Oh, no, my bad. That's like way off to the south. That's probably a wilderness POI, in fact. Not too bad. I can look for some stumps along the way. I also picked a tech junkie book out of a mailbox, 10% more damage with robotic weapons. Okay, well, stash up here. We will craft up that MG a little bit later. We've got one more quest to get through. Oh, and that was just a hunter mod right there. 25% more damage to animals. I don't know if I need that. I'll sell it. Off into the wild. Just let me know if you see any stumps along the way. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them over here. Well, the RNG was pretty kind to me in terms of eggs, so we're not as hungry as we were, but I have not yet found any honey. So we're just going to get him to go the other way, and I'm just going to make him keep on going down there because I want this stump as well. Oh, there's my honey, and it also gives me eight food. Perfect. There's another biker over there. What is it with all the bikers? Get out of here, man. Okay, there he goes. And I'm just going to kind of follow him and make sure he works his way. Ah, no, <laughs> he's coming after me now. No, it's not what we need. Uh, I think what I'll do is um, I'm going to pull a real cheese tactic here. And we're going to do the nerd pull of safety. Oh, I didn't even need it. Look at that. <laughs> I, just, I was just regular whack him in the head for a decapitation. All right, we're ready to hit the quest and double check this clothing pile here. Unfortunately, it's been really hard for me in this alpha to find a college jacket. Usually that's like a week one find, but they've definitely reduced its probability. And what's worse is you can't even craft it now. It's uh, They've removed it from that book. I think it was one of the batter up books before that would allow you to craft it yourself. A loot bag off that crawler there. Not much in it though. Done. So that's good for the bicycle. At least we get that by day two. That's a pretty good start. Sniper book here. And a can of pears. And a forge ahead book and some steel. I think we're all set here. Let's go get our quest reward. Okay, here we are. Really dreary rainstorm going on outside too. Ooh, terrible. Yet again, I'll take the crafting skill magazine bundle though. And... Oh, hey, a forge. Two water filters. Food bundle. Ooh, tempting. But we need the bicycle for sure. 
And a special job to the east. I have a to Trader to Joel. Only a kilometer you away, have. too. It's right on the other side of town. Huh. Okay. Well, we've got the bicycle now. Maybe we just scoot over there and see what Joel is selling, just so that we know. So, you know, when he restocks on day four, we need to know what he has before that. Maybe we'll uh, try to save up for some big purchase. Uh, well, actually, now that we have the bicycle, what we should do is just roll around town all night long. Just ride our bicycle all the way around and see if we can just collect up mailbox magazines and books all along the way. Speaking of mailbox magazines and books and stuff, we've got uh, Get Hammered, Big Hitters, and Tactical Warfare. Unfortunately, that was not a good bundle. I can probably craft myself a pipe machine gun though at this point. How are we doing on the pipe baton? Still level two, doing terribly on that. We need to look for like a Mo Power store or something where we can get the, uh, the tech magazines. But yeah, pipe machine gun level two, craft that. All right, let's go see if we can find Trader Joel. Chances are probably poor that I can make it there by nightfall though. In fact, I'm not even gonna waste the time. I'm just gonna blow through mailboxes all night long. <laughs> so I'll, I'll catch up with you probably around morning and we'll see how many books and magazines we end up with. Thank goodness it's morning because I've been hanging on to all the magazines and stuff I've been finding, hoping that we could kind of go through them together. Okay, is it safe? I think it's relatively safe. Look at all the books and stuff that I found here. I haven't gone through any of them yet, but we've got five vehicle adventures. I did end up putting a point into vehicles last night. Explosives, wiring, this one's for more dukes and loot. This one's for purifying water. No stamina while sneak sprinting. Zooming uses 15% less stamina. More food and loot. AP 9 mil, robotic turret shells, nine tech planet books. Oh, recover one hit with every punch. That's the really good bar brawling book there. Shotgun tube extender mods. And that's weaving plant fiber into cloth. In the bicycle, there's a couple more. Whoop, we got company. Let's move out. Couple of extra magazine dispensers here anyway. Yeah, I just figured we'd skip over the night because it was mostly too dark even for me to see. That's landmines not detonating when stepped on. And mining tools do 10% more block damage and automatic weapons do 10% more damage. Oh, we've, we've kind of blown through that part of town. There's one more little segment of town up ahead that I haven't really explored. So while we're waiting for the other trader over here to open, it's Trader Joel. I swung by there on the way through. Um, we'll just like sweep through the city, just get a kind of a first glance at what we have here. I've already marked a working stiffs and a crack a book. And last night I ducked my head into that crack a book there and I raided a couple of the magazines and stuff that were sitting there. Ooh, that's another tech junkie book. We're looking for the repulsor mod. Um, oh, there it is right there. Craft the stun repulsor mod for the stun baton. That is great because the horde base that I have in mind for later on, basically starting at day seven, is going to be like a repulsor mod friendly type of a base design. Here's the crack book right here. I think we should probably just do this this morning and get it over with and then hope that we can start pulling some quests here so that you know we can keep on resetting it and looting it again and again, both as a tier three infestation and just like a regular tier two fetch or clear or something. What I was hoping to find was a Mo power store. That's really what I wanna raid right now and today. And okay, this is the area over here that I need to explore. Not much going on over here unless you're hungry and you're looking for some extra meat there from the Hogzilla Ranch. Oh, hi Bo. Yeah, this here is what I was doing all night long. It's actually, I think it's a really good use of your time there. As soon as you get the bike, spend a couple of nights just blowing through the city. There's just so many magazine dispensers and mailboxes everywhere. You might as well benefit from that early on as you are to just nickel and dime them all along your playthrough. I didn't have anything else better to do that night. Oh my goodness, that's a Bo Power Store right there. Perfect. I think this is a perfect way to start off our day. Just uh, park it right here. And our, yeah, we're like hungry and thirsty and uh, everything else. That's nice. Encumbered. It, it couldn't be much worse, but this isn't the worst POI. There's just that room in the back that has like four zombies in it, I think. I might just hatch that doorway back there and Molotov them or something and we should be in store for a level up here pretty soon as well. All right, put away what I can uh, We'll wear the scrap armor just for now. I would really rather not wear heavy armor at all ever <laughs> Improved fittings mod maybe look into crafting some of those but no for now It's just gonna be padded armor and I killed a couple of deer last night. Okay, we've got this anyway now uh, So we don't have to be too cheesy about 
killing zombies. All right, let's blow through this place. Oh, isn't there a cop here? In the uh, security room to the right. Yeah, yeah, I hear him. Okay, okay, he's spitting. Well, I got a pipe bomb for him if he wants to come over to this cage here. Oh, look out! Okay, let's get a pipe bomb down for him and then when it's time, open it up. Oh, that did it. We killed him. And we did just level up. Let's have a look. My last one went into Grease Monkey because I want to start manipulating the magazines toward like maybe a motorcycle or a mini bike at least. The question is, what do we want to do first? I mean, I feel like we've got to get, I think it's 45 to get the, the motorcycle, whereas it's only like 15 or something. Let's just double check on that. Yep, 45 for the motorcycle and only 10 for the workbench. So I think we'll do fine on workbenches for a little while. Let's just go Grease Monkey and see how quickly we can pull these uh, Vehicle Adventures books out. Oh, also, um, there's like, no matter what level, there's kind of a, not a guarantee, but there's a chance to pull a stun baton out of a Mo Power box. So that would be really nice. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's like a whole bunch of zombies. Don't tell me this is a horde right now. Although if it is a horde, it, I think it kind of is, because there's like four or five zombies over there, and I've got two on me, and I've killed one so far, so... Uh, can we corral you all up together? Oh, that's definitely a horde. Big old wandering horde. Come on, guys. Can I can I group you up? You're invited to a, uh, a hot party over here. Let's see what we can do here. Just get them all in a line. Yep, whoa! Get on the bike. And hopefully they're all gonna run through the fire there. That's three down. 1200 XP, one still burning. Okay, I've got them kind of corralled into a pretty good group now, so <laughs> helps if you light it. Don't let me forget to pick that up later. Yeah, they're, they're cooking now. Let's do this. Yep, pick that up. Well, I just killed like four more. Oh, running out of stamina. Here we go. Okay, do we need one more or what? Yeah, that's four more that are burning. I'm just gonna kind of let them cook here. As I kite him around, I might have to fight one, it looks like. Yep, just her. And we're good. That... I don't know that that was a wandering horde, because you have that increased percentage for loot bags, and I didn't get a single one. Whatever, I'm here for the Mo Power stuff anyway. Well, while I'm at it, I'm just gonna stir everyone up from over here, and then draw them outside. Or... Can we just do this, like, one at a time here? Maybe so. Nope, here's the big fight. A mutated zombie? Okay, I do not want him to, to, you know, slobber all over everything. So just bring them all outside. Bring him to the door here. All right. Whoop, take that. Oh, it... Oh, that did something. Made a real mess of things. All right, we're free to loot up in peace now. percent more damage to vultures there but otherwise i haven't pulled anything exciting out of here yet that's okay we do need to sift through the inventory now though a couple of wiring books here electrical tech planet and ap robotic turret ammo i might be really close to finishing that series already nice did get a structural brace mod and here's the rest of the loot right here a couple more wiring books and tech stuff and that's pretty much it i'll sell the rest all right off to trader joel now All right, here we are at Trader Joel's, and I just went through a whole bunch more mailboxes on the way here, so big hitters. That's the Duke fall damage one. I love that book, so we'll have to carry Dukes on us from now on. Oh, and this is Wasteland Treasures Volume 3, which is getting acid out of cars and other various items. Good. I can walk again. I was quite encumbered there for a second. All right, well, y'all, we can do his compound, too. Another vehicle book there, 3 XP. We could do jobs for him, and we probably should so that we have an increased probability to pull the tier two job for the crack book and the Mo Power store and things like that. Okay, there's nothing good here in particular. The only thing I want is that Forge Ahead book. I'll take that and we should get three or four more out of his compound, but first things first, is there anything to loot up here? There's this little, oh, haha, <laughs> Forge Ahead right there, nice. There's the sneaky spot right here. If you just go into his campfire and don't stand on the coals for too long. You can make it down into his little apartment down here, and he's got some more loot to have. 
Looks like the lap around Joel's compound paid off. I just unlocked the workbench. Maybe that's what we spend the afternoon doing, is uh, just crafting the workstations. That would get us off to a pretty good start, I think. Well, it's quite a haul back to the base, so I'll just meet you there. You guys know the drill. Check every single mailbox I see along the way. <laughs> it's working for us so far, so why stop now? Okay, so I just pulled out the Magnum Enforcer book that gives you the 5% better deal with the Magnum drawn, and that actually includes the pipe pistol, so it might be worth it to craft like a level one and stash it somewhere close to Trader Joel's. Okay, we're back at the base here, and I'm just gonna make up a cell box so we can start putting all this stuff away. I did pull out a mag extender somewhere. I don't even really remember where I got that, so I'll put that onto the pipe MG and reload. So that gets us the forge. Can we get a wrench? Probably need forged iron, we do. So if we get the forge down, we do the wrench. You know, we probably should just go do the, uh, the radio station now so that we can like set that up as our home base. I think that's a good plan. Just give me a little bit of food. Ooh, an eye candy. I'll definitely start stocking up on that. You know, I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> I just ate the eye candy. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. That was a waste of 300 dukes. Yeah, I was trying to eat all that food there. All right, let's go. Um, let's go do the radio tower. All right, here it is. John's ham radios. Formerly known as John's Ham Radios. Little medical pile. Whoops. Hello, Mo. Oh, there's a spider here somewhere, too. I think he's, yeah, on the other side of the fence there. Yeah. Whoop. Nope, I think he came right up behind me. There he is. Oh, a feral, too. Uh-oh. Not interested in fighting a feral spider. That is Petula. Oh, Petula's... Taking all my 762 away from me. Okay. Well, we do have the eye candy. So there's a weapons bag in here somewhere, I think, but there are also zombies in here, so we're gonna have to go cautiously. Actually, a good amount of magazines here. Food pile. Oh, oh, not bad at all. Nice. You were coming up on to I guess you'd call it the main loot. Isn't there a weapons bag here somewhere? I could have sworn there's one hanging out on what? Oh, there it is. A... another pipe machine gun. Alright, the radio tower is secure. All we need to do now is find one of those, like, CB radio things around town. Pick that up and link it up to the tower and we can begin broadcasting again. Whoops! There is a shotgun messiah box here. With a better pipe baton, although I'm quite sure by this time I can craft a level 5. I just kind of forgot about that. All right, well, this is base camp, so let's start getting it set up. And I think what I'll do is tonight I'll shuttle everything over. Oh, <laughs> we've got like an impromptu trap base here. All right, that task is done. And also tonight I will secure the staircase so that that's not going to allow the zombies up. Although, oh, there's like a couple of zombies in here. I'm going to clear these guys out. Oh, it'll be really fun to refurbish this place and get it all dressed up and see what it would look like in pristine condition. And we'll also, like, do up all the walls around here and maybe string up some barbed wire and some traps and... Yeah, it'll be a good time. It's not going to be the horde base, though. The horde base is... We're going to have a dedicated horde base somewhere around here, close by. I have some ideas on how I want to build that, so... Oh, what's, uh, what's hiding back there? It's a Mo Power Box. Oh, please, please give me a stun baton. Yes! Oh, no, it's like the worst possible stun baton I could get. I'll take it, though. It's got room enough for, for two mods. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, because the new, you know, mod slot distribution thing. And it actually is considerably better than the pipe baton, so quite a big upgrade. And I do have some repair kits. Oh, right, that's my storage box from before. <laughs> I forgot all about that. I'm glad I stumbled over that. Okay, so we've got some uh, some stuff over here already. We got to just shuttle all the rest of the stuff over here eventually. For right now, I mean, I'm fed and hydrated. It's probably better off for me to do some looting right now. I mean, I'll make the workbench overnight. Well, you know, have a day four workbench, basically. That'll be great. Let's for now do the crack -a book I think, probably our best bet for getting some more magazines. Okay, here we are at the crack -a book I did check with Trader... Uh, Bob to see if he was offering this as a quest. He was not so here we are I think the way I want to do this today is uh, we got to gather everyone up. We're in a little bit of a hurry It's close to nightfall Haven't seen a wandering horde for a while. There could be one bearing down on us at any second All right. 
right, now we just gotta loot up. We're gonna loot this place backwards and I'll catch up with you at the end. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was the last little magazine thing there. Nope, one more here. Oh, nice, man. I pulled out so many magazines. Wow, I've actually missed a few. Slow down here. I'm a little bit concerned because I'm encumbered by 17 now. No, I think we are pretty much good here. We just, we need, we got to do this thing like once a week, basically. We've got to find this POI as a quest, reset it, and do it again. Because look at how much you can progress in just one store. 13 tech planet books, 11 for vehicle adventures. That's, we're up to 37 in three days. I can craft a better stun baton than the one I've found so far. What about these? Oh my goodness, I think, did that? That did the mini bike at least. Yeah, mini bike, oil, and gas. It's hard to even keep track of what I've read and not read at this point. And I just leveled up by doing this. Oh, I had a skill point too, so I could have probably influenced the magazines a little bit more. My bad there. Um, let's go... Oh, I see now. Okay, so probably should have saved that point anyway, because look, I'm just going to go intellect one more. Yeah, time to take a little bit of a break. So for tonight, what I'm going to do is sort of collect everything up at the base, see if we can craft ourselves a workbench and a wrench and uh, maybe a dew collector. But there it is, just cracked morning yet again. And I just heard a whole bunch of zombies die too, which is kind of cool. I'm ultra encumbered right now. Let's just quick stack everything that I can and check on the forged iron situation and get the rest of the stuff sorted into a container. Okay, so in three days, uh, we did not get the dew collector because I didn't purchase the water filter, but we did get a forge. We've unlocked a whole bunch of good stuff. In fact, it's going to take me a minute just to kind of sort through where we are on all of this. My goodness. Okay, so today I can probably make the workbench. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what the recipe is for a stun baton, but we're more than halfway to getting a motorcycle. So probably in the next episode, we'll be able to unlock the motorcycle, start working on steel, maybe even get a better stun baton and start kind of filling in the base a little bit. And then the episode after that will be a horde night where we'll build a horde base and fend off a day seven horde. But that is going to have to do it for this broadcast. Thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you in the next one. Good morning, post-apocalypse, and welcome back to Hope Radio, where together we survive. It's been a busy few days trying to get my feet under me after the WKYA disaster, but with luck and a little know-how, things are moving in the right direction. So now the big push is to get a proper vehicle, set up some workstations, and continue pilfering through everyone's old mail. But if anyone out there needs food, shelter, or assistance, I'd be happy to help. Just maybe give me a few days. I'm in rough shape right now. Anyway, my name is Temriki, signing off. And there we go, broadcast complete. I had to come over here and borrow Bobby's CB radio, and I don't think his antenna has very good broadcast range, so we're gonna have to look out for one of those. We can hook him up to our tower over there. I mean, I think that's it right there. You can just see it. It's uh, quite a good tower there. This morning, we're over here at Trader Bob's. I have crafted myself a double clothing pocket bod, put that onto this. That's 200 cloth for that. It's like crazy. Um, and I've also got all of the sellable equipment here and I've got the magnum out. Uh, well, yeah, I guess you could call it a magnum, but um, ready to do a big sell off and check the new trader inventory. Let's just see what he has first and foremost. He has like pretty much nothing. Bobby, how are you gonna do me like this? This is awful. You know, I was gonna do like the awesome sauce. I got the sugar butt with me. I might just head over to Joel's side of the town then and see what he has. That way, if he has something, you know, really good, I can just use the awesome sauce to purchase it. Bobby, you're, you're really disappointing me there. Well, anyway, no sense crying about it. Let's go over to Joel's. Okay, the good news is I've made it over to Trader Joel's. The bad news is that I had to leave all of my gear over on the other oh, side of town whatever. because it's my my inventory is just full of sellable stuff right now. So hopefully this is going to pay off. It's a good urban combat book there. Got three vehicle adventures. He's got water filters. I'd like to buy some of those. He also has a bellows, which is not too bad. Some cobblestone for construction later. On. Okay, there's a, there's a couple things here. It's not great, but, um, you know... We gotta, we gotta live with it now. Just fingers crossed that he's gonna have, yep, he's got an awesome sauce. He's got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Too many, if you ask me. All right, that'll do it. We've got the Magnum drawn. That's gonna give us a 5% discount. And we've got uh, 25, 20 from this and 10 from this. That's a 35% better barter bonus there. Okay, there we go. Up to 
11,000 dukes. Not too bad. Okay, so now we just need to pick a few things to buy here. I'll take two water filters. I'll take that urban combat book. That was taking less damage and dealing more damage when indoors. And I'll also take these three vehicle adventures magazines. Ah, tempting maybe to get some steel. If I got that steel, I don't think we'd have to do any sort of like wrenching or anything for the motorcycle, which we're not very far away from right now. Let's go cobblestone. That's going to be important here in a couple of days i'll also take that wood and yeah everything else uh let's just get the steel probably not the best use of money but i've wasted money on worse things before that's for sure okay read up these couple of books what are we up to there 31 what do we need 45 that's not too bad read the urban combat book and uh, you know we didn't have such bad luck just doing tier one jobs and getting some magazines before so let's just start working on the tier ones for joel then since we're over here on this side of town oh he's got the five fetch quests too oh we could just hammer a bunch of these out bow's market let's go okay here it is let's hit it we're just here basically for books and for the satchel oh well you know i wouldn't you know let's let's go a little bit slower than we did last time i feel like we really rushed through things last time i but we, uh, we were rewarded for it, too, so it's not like it was a waste or anything. So yeah, let's poke through here a little bit, get some hop seeds, and no. I'm really just uh, looking for cloth. Cloth is going to be a little bit important because we need that. Uh, we need to get those double pocket mods as soon as possible. We got one, two to go. We're also going to need some mechanical parts for the workbench. We're going to need some polymer for the dew collectors. Yeah, I think we've sufficiently cleared this place, and we're just gonna also find the satchel downstairs somewhere. Oh, look, there was a basement portion that I think I was supposed to go through. Oh, I see. Ow. Whoops, got ambushed. Need to get myself a helmet light pod. I checked the traders, they didn't have one. But it seems to be a pretty common tier one reward. Maybe we'll get one here in the first couple of quests with Joel. Okay, there we go. Quest complete. And uh, what did I miss here? Oh, there must have been a, a little hatch in the trailer here that I just walked right over, I bet. Well, what are we going to get here? Hey, there's your helmet light mod. Nice. Definitely going to take that one. Hey, let's do a couple more for them. They're pretty far away to the west. That's like the side of town that we started on. These are going to be jobs that we've already done. Yeah, duress need a domicile. Okay, let's try Moe's Grocery to the northwest. You the man. Hear that, guys? Joel thinks I'm the man. Oh, and while we're on our way over here, let's stop by the airdrop just came in a couple of hours ago. Somebody out there really likes their Hope Radio broadcast. They're kind enough to drop these boxes off here for me every three days. This one having a scrap armor bundle, magazine bundle. Oh, I shouldn't have opened that. That's a whole bunch of junk in my inventory now. <laughs> I, I suppose I could just slap it on my body. That probably would... Help me to some degree. Uh, I really prefer the padded armor, though. All right, here we are, rolling up at Moe's Grocery. I know this place. Let's do some shopping here before everything went down. Okay, okay, let's um hit that. Grab those mechanical parts there. And just in the interest of um, a potential horde bearing down on us, I'm going to clear up the inventory there. Okay, yeah, we're just uh, we're doing the fetch thing again. Trader Joel's got his supplies all spread out all over town, probably. So I might just hop the fence here and see if I can just grab this nice and quickly. A fight is going to be on our hands here in a second. Here we go. Come on out here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice, man. This Dumbaton feels so good. And if we can get the workbench here today, then uh, I'll get the Stun Repulsor mod crafted as soon as possible. Okay, there we go. That is the quest. Not sure if there's going to be anything else here of any importance or not. Uh, I don't really want to dwell here too long, though. So what I'm going to do is just head back to the base, stash all of the loot, get kind of reorganized, and then uh, we'll probably just meet back up at Trader Joel's and get that quest reward. Okay, we're back at Trader Joel's here, getting a little bit late in the day because I stopped home and I made up a workbench and I got two dew collectors. So I just was barely able to scrape up enough resources to do that. And wow. Wow. You're killing me, Joel. I guess I'll just take the repair kits and I'll just grab another job from him. Uh, this stuff's like way on the other side of town. What's this right here? Dirty laundry? Hey, chance to get some good clothing like a college jacket or something like that. I think we're all set with this guy though. However, when I was rolling through here, I noticed a place next door 
this little antique shop here and there's some books right in that first room there so i'm gonna just poke my head in and snag those up and before i do i think i'm sitting on at least one skill point yes and i would like to probably go one more into grease monkey that'll also reduce the like it says craft motorcycle parts cheaper so that'll help us get that a little bit more quickly and then um, it's debatable whether you go advanced engineering or lock picking i think advanced engineering has a lot more utility as a perk but it's also going to dilute down the magazines even more because it's going to give you like the trap magazines and oh wow that was a good shot yeah, like traps, electronics, things that we just don't really need. What do we got here? Oh my good. Okay. <laughs> a couple extra just came around the corner. Whoops. Oh boy. You slow down, you die, and we're good. Wow. Might just take a first aid bandage there. We're going to be pretty hungry. I got to do some... Wow. There's actually a lot more than I thought there was here. 5% more XP from kills at night. That's a good one to start off with. Structural brace mod. I guess I'll just read it. Barbarling book here, more damage to stunned opponents. And there you go. Oh, there's a ham radio here. Awesome. Very good find. So we can start hooking that up, do the broadcast from home. And a sniper book, reload rifles a little bit more quickly. And can I maybe get some mechanical parts while I'm here? I'm fresh out. Another set of books here, scrapping and explosives. And uh, the main loot here is just out there. Is that... Yeah, I think we could just go around, or we could just go through here and kind of kill everyone along the way. I know there's somebody that hides in there. Yeah, let's go through here. I mean, whoop, whoop, cop, whoa. I'd like to get some more polymer cloth, you know, whatever I can basically scrounge up. I think I'm still just, just so far away. We need like 400 cloth to get the extra pocket pods. It's a pretty sad state on that front. Oh. Yeah, just drop right out of the ceiling, why don't you? It's a weird place for zombies to be hiding, but hey, what do I know, right? I did just get another skill point there, and we were just talking about what to do with that. As much as it pains me, I will go with Burglar, though. Start working on the workstation stuff. Oh, speaking of workstation, there's the workbench right there. Yeah, we've got to work on that, because we got to get the chem station and um, really start to rush the crucibles so we can get forged steel. Oh. There you go, there's the main loot area right over here. Am I just... Am I encumbered? No, I'm not. Let's just run straight out here then, I guess. Oh, and it's almost nightfall, so we should probably try to do this quickly. I thought that there were, like, zombies out here. Yeah, they're... They're waiting for me somewhere. Whoop, I forgot to bring my 762. Oh, hi there! How did I not wake you up? Don't ask any more questions. <laughs> Alright, there's a bunch more in this room over here, I think. Do we just activate this and they kind of rush me at- Oh, what is going on here? Are there just no zombies? I- Oh, they're up in the rooftop there. Well, well, well. Let's see what I can do about that. Ah, there you go. Come on down here, boys. Ah, maybe not. Maybe just stay where you- Whoa, lots of runners. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Okay, okay, out of stamina. And it's nightmare speed now. Uh, maybe this is a good thing for me, though. Oh! Ah! There's a snake over there. Look out! Ah! The biker's coming up on the, uh, the thing there. Michael Brook- Oh, I killed the snake. And then the zombies went to go eat the snake. Oh. Bo. That's- <laughs> Oh, that's great. That might just about do it right there for the main loot zombies. Should be able to snag up at least a couple of good magazines out of these passing gas boxes, too. I don't know about that tier 3 chest. That would take ages to break into. Oh, but I just got a level 4 axe, so that might help out a little bit. One vehicle book out of that. Okay. Now there's a decision to make here. It's gonna be a while if I try to break into this. Ah, uh, well, I don't got much else to do tonight. Once we get home, we'll just work on workbench stuff. And we're in. Probably should have put some mods on that. That would have been a lot faster. There we go. Okay, vehicles. Oh, wow. Okay, so a bunch of sewing kits. Great, lovely. That was totally not worth my time. Well, I'm eager to get home anyway and to get the Sun Repulsor mod crafted at a minimum. Maybe some other things as well. I have to kind of double check and see what we can do and what we're looking for. All right, we've just arrived back at the base and 
I killed a couple of zombies and then suddenly there were four more and I have no idea where these guys came from. Was this just a wandering horde that just lurked up on me? Oh, there's even a loot bag in the canal down there. Oh, that, yeah, this is definitely a wandering horde. Oh, I can see a bunch more over there. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of a nighttime fight on our hands here for sure. And I do believe that was it. I just gotta track down all these loot bags there. I think there's like five or six of them. They're kind of everywhere. More food, ammo. Oh, these are pretty good loot bags too, nice. And I'm hungry officially. So let's jump upstairs and get things set down and organized. Okay, I've got this platform set up here and I've got a good spot here for two do collectors, I think. One and two. Make sure they're working, I think they are. And I can come over here and grab this first aid kit here. Ooh, antibiotics. All right, let me parse through things a little bit. Uh, and then we'll also get the workbench down somewhere. Preferably somewhere with a little bit more stability. <laughs> there we go. And I did also just level up. So what do you think? We're just going to go one more into lockpicking, really crank on the magazines, the Forge Ahead magazines. All right, finally just getting things straightened around here. And I've got my new CB radio. I'm really excited to set this up. We'll plug it directly into the antenna over here. Not gonna need this old receiver here. Just ticked morning too, so there we go. Nice, the ham radio is ready. Just make sure it's all powered on and good and hopefully, well, I guess not hopefully, but potentially we will pick up emergency broadcasts over the coming weeks and that, you know, there might be other survivors around here that need our assistance and we might need the assistance at some point and have to call someone in. There's no harm in being prepared at least. Okay, let's get down to brass tacks here and see what we can do. Repulsor mod is number one on my list. What do we need here? Crap. Freaking duct tape. <laughs> and of course the traders didn't have any. I was hoping they'd have a whole bunch that I could buy. I do have this treasure map. Let's read that while we're uh, doing nothing else here. Treasure map way out there into the wilderness. Actually, potentially in the next couple of days, we should go do some digging anyway, just to get resources. Uh, at this point, uh, geez, we have to kind of... <laughs> ration our supplies a little bit. Do we want the water to make boiled meat or do we want the water to make glue? Let's make the glue. Let's make more water and let's make... Can I do grilled meat? I did make a cooking grill over here, so slap that in there and we'll make bacon and eggs later. Well, since I have such high lock picking skill now, let's make a spot in the inventory for lock picks and that way we won't get hung up on chests anymore. Slam down a couple cans of food here. And I'm pretty much resigned. I'm not leaving here <laughs> until I have my repulsor mod. What about a new baton? That's going to take even more duct tape, isn't it? Mm, not, actually, not that much. I'm surprised. I thought that was going to be like 40 or something. Ooh, but the baton parts. We need one more baton part. I'm sure we could find that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just do a couple of regular old quests today. Nothing too fancy, I don't think. I think I'll focus on Joel with the the, the level one, the... the um, the tier one quests. Whoops. Uh, I should probably fix the floor. There. It's going to be pretty rough around here for a while until we get the resources and the time and the energy and the motivation and every other thing. But we'll chip away at it little by little. Okay, I would imagine we're in a position now where we can get the rest of the duct tape and make up. Oh no. Don't tell me I'm out of cloth. I'm out of cloth. Shoot. Ah, it's always something. No, I'm short by one duct tape. Why does it make, what? Oh, geez, it takes 10 cloth to make a duct tape now. What? Okay, okay, well, ah, uh, no. I'm just gonna go grab some cloth somewhere. There's gotta be something around here that's made out of cloth. Looking for, oh, here we go, awnings. That should get me what I'm looking for. That's plenty. Okay, let's go craft that repulsor mod finally. Okay, there it is. We're fed, we're rehydrated. I can take the, oh, no. 
I thought I had another mod on there, but nope. The repulsor mod is now on. Just give my axe a quick repair. And wow, finally, we can head out. All right, first thing I want to do today is check on Bob. See if he's got the crack -a book mission for us. All right, long story short, Trader Bob did not have the quest for the crack -a book. So I'm over here to do the job for Trader Joel instead. Wait a minute, I've got four lock picks. And I've got the super duper lock picking skill. Let's check. Let's try this out. Wow. Nice. First try. A thousand bucks. Good stuff. If only the traders would have anything good to sell me. All right. We'll hit that quest. And I think I'll probably just run around and see if I can do that again. So the plan after this, I've decided, is that there are like, I think I passed by four. A total of four uh, car places. Like Joey's car lot and stuff like that. Passing gas. We might be able to just blaze through those today and hopefully unlock the motorcycle. We can work on that kind of later in the week. Hey, first try again. Another 360 that time. Take that with me. And I'm wondering, is this... Yeah, I suppose this is the one that, uh, you know, we've all seen this one before, but it looks a little bit different to me. So let's jump in here and see what's changed. We can give this repulsor mod a try. Okay, I can hear people. I think there's someone up here on the rooftop somewhere. Oh yeah, things are different here. This is not how I remember it. Oh, there's a zombie. Ah! Okay, if I could get a charge, that'd be nice. Take that! No, oh, this is gonna be both hilarious and just pure fun. All right, charge up my stamina a little bit. Make sure we're good to go. Fed, hydrated, good. Drop on in here. What do we got? Well, not, not a whole lot in terms of zombies. Stay down, buddy. <laughs> Are you dead? Not quite. It's kind of hard to tell. There he goes. Well, if anything, I'd expect to get a little bit of cloth out of this place. Oh, I thought that was a college jacket there for a second. No. In fact, I don't even know if I have a jacket. I don't. So we'll just pop that on my back. Okay, what do we got going on in this room? Just the... Nope, nope. More than one. Oh. Nice. Well, there's the satchel right there. Nothing really good here so far. I guess we've got the main loot just ahead, but I did pick up some shades for perception plus one for what good that will do me. Not very much. All right, but who's lurking in here? Nobody? That's it? We're done? Okay, cool. Really not a whole lot going on here though. Check that last cupboard for some cornmeal. And I guess we're moving on. We're going to have to come up with a storage solution because I'm already heckin' encumbered. Yeah, if we're going to be in this neighborhood for quite a while, let's get things set up here. Okay, we could start things off at the passing gas. <laughs> Probably a little bit hazardous for my health. Let's get warmed up here at Auto 1. Sorry, A1. A1 Auto. Auto 1. What does the A stand for? It's got to be Auto, right? It's Auto 1. All right, I think most of the action is going to be happening in here, and we do have a Mo Power Truck. It's kind of nice. We could possibly maybe pull out a better stun baton from it. Oh! I didn't... I don't think I realized that the Repulsor mod went through people. Didn't... Didn't you have to have the, um... Nerd Tats for that or something, or... Am I mistaken? Well, that's it right there. Let's see what we get here. Magazines at the very least. Yep. Okay, nothing special though. This is what we're looking for. Passing gas boxes for those sweet vehicle adventure magazines and wheels. Wheels are in such abundance. Oh, a fire trap. Huh, okay. Is there a way to bring the zombie into that? I guess there is. Whoa! Oh, is it? I don't know that I've been here. This all seems very much new to me. Here we go. We can get the drop on at least one guy. Put an arrow into his shoulder there. Oh, he's stuck in the floor. Yikes. Okay, I am hurting a little bit here. <laughs> Fortunately, oh, watch out for the barrels. Do not blow stuff up, please. And I think everyone's dead. Kind of a death trap here. Oh, and this spits me out uh, to a dog, it looks like. Can I get the drop on the dog? It's probably... Oop, get the drop on him. Probably not possible. Oh no, there he is right down there. They've really... Stealth is very difficult here in the post-apocalypse. Something to do with the, uh, the zombie virus makes them really like hanging out in ceilings and stuff like that. Whoops. How about another one of those bandages? I'll turn you guys into glue someday.
Burning Shaft mod schematic. I don't know that I'm going to really be needing that because it can't go onto the stun baton. Oh, you got lucky there, buddy. Not that time, though. Oh, I'm... S whoop. <laughs> Goodbye. I think that's it. All right, it's the Holy Grail right here. Passing gas box. Nice. And Mo Power box. Also, not too bad. And the main loot. Night Stalker book here for extra sneak damage for sleeping victims at night and probably a new set of boots and a press boy cap mod. I'll roll with it for now. Okay, next up on our vehicle adventure is going to be O'Reilly Auto and there's Joey's right behind. Oh my god, that was brutal. Look what I've done. I'm so sorry. Let me get you down from there. Not much going on in the back room here. Not even any real curtains for me. Still looking for another, I don't know, thousand or so cloth, it seems. Got another skill point to spend. Nice bounce there, Karen. Oh, <laughs> the repulsor mod, it just breathes. Ah, the whole new life into the game. Wow, geez. Oh my God, Tommy's gonna kill me. Abrasion, fix that up. Oh, infection too. Although I think I have some antibiotics, uh, at least honey or something back home. Got stuck in my backpack a little bit. All right, down we go. I think this is the final battle right here. Let's just maybe not be on an explosive car while we're doing it. Open these doors up. There we go. A little bit of breathing room. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, I've been sleeping on the stun baton, haven't I? Another key box. Man, they really want you to open things up here, don't they? I think we're just heading down here. Yep, and we've got the whole fight where... Uh, I think we could... Can we just, like, wake everybody up and wrap them around into the spikes, or have I trapped myself? It kind of seems like the latter. Well, it's working partially, at least. All right, I can help you out of there. <laughs> and he's down. All right, let's see what we get here. Gun store box is good for really nothing. Passing gas box here. Ooh, not good. Not getting the vehicle books like I was expecting here. And Magnum Enforcer, that's the sprinting one. Some food, Bunker Buster mod, and that's about it. I think there's... Oh, there used to be some extra boxes here. So, oh, there's one. There's a book for me. 39. I think we needed 45, don't we? Man, we're, we're not making out too hot. We still got the passing gas and Joey's. So I'll meet you at Joey's. Uh, that wasn't... That didn't take very long. I <laughs> just set down the storage chest here. Okay, let's get in here then. Let's see what's changed in this place. Oh, a little bit of a stutter there. That must be all the electricity from the stun baton kind of jolting me around a little bit. Where are you going? Come back out here. There you go. Get what's coming to you. <laughs> oh, what happened to you? Oh, she's land sharking. Uh, like I was saying, zombies have these strange powers here in this post-apocalypse. Okay, I'm looking at a couple of sleepers. Just jolt her right off the side of the building. Ah, close. How about this guy? Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Let's take care of you. Whoops, I kind of just jumped down here thinking that it might be safe. It's definitely not safe. Oh, jeez. Ah, reload faster. Wow. Oh, that was awful sprained le okay so i do have a skill point i think it's probably time yeah i don't want to have to deal with sprains and stuff let's go i'm gonna do one into physician i think there's a lot of utility in that and um you know there's a lot of medical magazines anyway i don't think it's gonna skew uh the magazines too too much oh that was a rough one though all right what kind of a fight are we looking at here one just one two all right i'm down to one bandage. I would really like to not have to use my last bandage. Need to keep that in case I start bleeding somewhere. All right, here we go. Some extra passing gas boxes. Maybe we get lucky here. There we go. See, the trick is with the stun baton is that sometimes it can be hard to predict when you're going to get the stun. And so you're thinking you're going to get it, but you're not getting lucky on it. And then they kind of overwhelm you a little bit. But the, the stun baton might be my new go-to for crowd control. Overall, a pretty disappointing main loot here. Didn't even get any first aid. I got one bandage, so I'll probably just be taking that. Um, oh, you know, come to think of it, I do have some first aid in these various storage boxes that I've set around all over the neighborhood. 
Well, that's it for this one, 1920. I guess we can try going into the big passing gas, the tier four passing gas. And, oh, okay, I do have the steroids. Let's take the steroids for now. Oh my God, a huge ass horde. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, we can't do this right now. Coming right for me. Where's my bike? I don't know where I left my bicycle. It's over here, out of stamina. Bad, 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 bad news. Okay, stun her. And, okay, I've managed to escape the path of the horde. Yep, they're just sprinting down past Joey's. Wow, man, got out of there just in time. Let him go, let him go. I'm not in a good condition to fight them right now. Infected, you know, sprained limb, abrasion, low on first aid. All right, coast seems to be relatively clear. There's still a bow over here. Take right care of him. Goodbye. And uh, yep, grab up everything that I can. And I think this is empty. There we go. Hey, there's a loot bag off of him. Nice, okay, top off on food and drink a little bit. All right, here's a look at the hall so far. Yes, give me that extra bandage. Give me that extra first aid kit. Put away the garbage here. Good, and I think we're ready to just at least poke my head and start in on this place. Oh, the collision center right next door too, although historically I have never really found many passing gas boxes there. Uh, in terms of what to do for now, let's take a bandage and let's just cautiously work our way in here until nightfall, maybe even beyond nightfall. I'm, I'm feeling you know, a little bit confident that I can handle things after nightfall, especially since we just had the Wandering Horde. With the timer kind of expired on that, we're a little bit safer here, at least for 12 hours. All right, this area is clear. I'm gonna just take that passing gas sign off the wall because they're not the most common decorations and I like to slap one up on the base somewhere. Extra torch, we'll use that for lighting back home too. And a little bit of a fight in the water here. Okay, get out of the water. Don't want the electricity to conduct into me, right? That would be bad. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I didn't put those five points into intellect and not learn anything about electricity. All these tech junkie books I've been reading. Learned a thing or two. All right, what do we got here? Got nothing. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we got a biker to fight right here. Let's just make this a little bit easy on myself. Did that do anything? Charge up the baton here. Oh, hello. Quite a fight here. It is a tier four, so. And finish you off, please. There we go. All right, we press on. I think somebody's awake in here. You awake? You are awake. Whoa, I'm stuck. Oh, but check that out. Oh my God, there's a lot more of them. Charge this freaking baton, please, and run. See if I can circle back around, hold them at the door here. Molotov, please. There we go. And then hold them at this door. Okay, I don't think they can get through there very easily. And there's spikes if they do. Couple are wrapping around this side. I think we'll be fine. Just wait for them to burn. Yep, there we go. They're cooking now. A little bit of loot in here. Ooh, a barrel. It's Peter. Ooh. It's gonna take a minute. Got him. Okay, we're down to two more vehicle adventure books. And then we can get the motorcycle unlocked. I believe it was 45, probably should double check. It is. You know what, that lock picking skill kinda coming in handy right now. I kinda like it. There we go, it just ticked over to nightfall. I did just pick up a little bit of food there, which is good. Ooh, a learning elixir and a recog. Oh, a nice pipe machine gun, good find. All right, pressing on. There's a box over here. Could be some forge ahead in here. Oh, a really nice stone axe. I'll take that. That's gonna hold us over for probably a good long while. I barely have enough stamina for this thing as it is, let alone the iron tools. Okay, we've got another big fight on our hands here. I wish my baton was charged, but it's not. And there's no chance for stealth here. All right, let's do this the easy way. We need to fuss around at nightfall and all that stuff. Just let them burn. Nope, I was gonna hide in the bathroom. <laughs> There's no door on it though. I think I'll manage. Yeah, good. Whoop, missed one. 
Yeah, my armor's in rough shape. I need to repair that once we get home. Just pulled out some fort bites. I'd be tempted to take those for the main boss battle, but it was it would dehydrate me quite badly. I do have some water though. Do I maybe have the cloth now? I think it was my helmet that was just damaged. Yep, vehicle adventures 44. We need one more. I guarantee we're gonna get the one that we need here at the main loot. There's a whole bunch of boxes between us and the end of this place. But there's also a whole bunch of zombies, so maybe just uh, get some first aid rolling into me. In fact, let's go ahead and just pump in the water and go with the fourth bites. That should keep me alive long enough to get through to the end. I would do recog, but you know, dehydration and all. Okay, right, I think we're at the final battle place right here. I'm gonna check and see if I can find that hidden stash back here. And this is gonna be good for the last vehicle adventure book. Yes, what a score. I don't think we'll be able to get the motorcycle tonight, but we'll look into it at least. We'll be ready to do that uh, here pretty soon. Now here's where you got your dog problem and your thirsty problem and a soldier problem and a biker problem. I'm gonna do the whole the cheese nerd pull of safety just because I, I can <laughs> and it's nighttime and everything. Okay, it's, it's a matter of like, what do I think is gonna do better? A Molotov or an a one arrow into an armored zombie? I'm gonna go with Molotov. Got the dog as well. And oops, I forgot to jump there briefly. We've lost one over the edge. There's also a big pizza zombie here. Ooh, ooh this is gonna work good, isn't it? Still one soldier has burnt out. Still trying to gather these guys up. There we go, one down there. That guy always takes a while. There we go, he's down. I think we lost the dog somewhere. No matter, he can't get back up here anyway. There's just that one soldier, but <laughs> he went diving off the edge. I don't know where he went. Just watch my back while I loot this place up. Ooh, nice pipe machine gun there, what a score. No power box here. Tech Junkie book, let's just try to unlock this with the lock picks. Nice, a tier four loot chest here. Not bad, the exact books that we're looking for. And we did get a laser sight mod. I can just dump that right onto the pipe machine gun immediately. There's a spider and a couple of other zombies here somewhere. I don't quite know where and I'm encumbered quite badly. All right, let's just pull one of these tricks here to get down with relative ease and safety. And whoop, fingers crossed that I can find my bike over here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? That's halfway across the freaking street. Why did I park so far away? Anyway, here we go. I'm on the bike, so we're at least safe. I just have this mountain of loot. Whoops. To art back to the base. Look at that. I, I pulled out 10 wheels today. 10. Man, if anything needs to get changed, it's the, the frequency of finding wheels around here. All right, I'll pick up the rest of that crap some other day. It's important for me now just to get home and get ready for tomorrow morning's broadcast. All right, back at the base, safe and sound. I'm cooking up a couple of pure mineral waters so I can drink those and get my stamina back. And also very hungry, but we do have a little bit of food. Okay, let's see how we did today. Motorcycle. Motorcycle chassis? Motorcycle handlebars. It looks like all we really need is duct tape to the tune of 20 of it, which is a lot, but we did, we're actually fine on the steel, which surprises me. Okay, so we just gotta get 20 duct tape over the next couple of days, but uh, the next couple of days, really, we've, we've got other things to do. We've gotta get a horde base constructed and we've gotta get the materials to build it with. All right, so what I'm gonna work on for the rest of the night is just getting my food, stamina, health, and everything else, all the debuffs corrected to the best of my ability and we'll come up with a plan for tomorrow. But thank you very much for tuning into this broadcast and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Good morning, post-apocalypse, and welcome back to Hope Radio, where together we survive. Last night, I learned how to build a motorcycle and with my newly made crafting chain, I think I'll have one ready to ride by the end of the day and not a moment too soon because the day seven horde approaches. So apart from transportation, the only real focus here is to get the horde base built. The design should be simple. A tall tower to fight in, two smaller towers for zombies to climb, a V-shaped path to connect them, and a wide open area to blast them down to the ground with stun repulsion. Stay tuned to Hope Radio, then I'll show you how. But for now, this is Temriki signing off. All right, so that's that. Let's have a look here while we're up on the tower and we have good visibility. So today is Horde Base Building Day and the site with which we can do it is probably the forest right there, but I've driven through there on the bicycle a few times and it's very lumpy. And the alternative is that place right there. We'd have to do some clearing work to get the junk out of the way eventually, but I think that's a nice flat enough area and it's close enough by that that'll work just fine. 
All right, so let's get down here. I spent a little bit of the morning today before the broadcast getting this thing built. And uh, the crafting chain is going in full swing. Oh, and it looks like my drone camera is done recharging. Not looking too bad so far. We still got tons of decoration to do. We'll have to start looking around for some posters and some stuff to make this feel more like a home. And I think we'll get some more dew collectors up eventually once we kind of finalize a layout. I don't even really know what this place is supposed to look like. So we're going to have to get a little bit creative on that front. But the most important thing today is glue. And for glue, you need water. So I boiled up some water last night. I made as much glue as I could. But let's see how much we can do here. 11. Let's go six in one half, five in the other. And how was I looking for duct tape so far? So six plus four, that's going to be 21 duct tape. I think I only need 20 for the motorcycle. 10 for the chassis and 10 for the handlebars. If I took another skill point into grease monkey i don't think yeah that's just four by four parts are cheaper we've already got the motorcycle parts so i guess we do need to make a decision on what we're going to do with the skill points do we want to go deeper and try to push for like the four by four and the gyrocopter or do we want to go all in i think going all in on workstations now is probably best i want to get the chem station so we can start making fuel we've got to open up the map a little bit we got to get to the desert and get some oil shale but that's for a later date hey i see breakfast down there Kill. That was like a really low shot too. That would have been right in the stomach. A terrible way for a deer to die. I got a slippery little snake over here too and a cop. Oh, and uh, <laughs> interestingly, I, I sort of was reminded that you can get 100% harvest with a stun baton. It It's the weirdest thing. I feel like it's probably not supposed to be like that, but it is what it is. So that means probably I can just get rid of my knife. Don't Won't be needing that anymore. Okay, you gonna start you're gonna start ruining stuff around here? Is that how it is this morning? I don't think so. Fix that. Alright, enough of that stuff. Let's head over here to the whispering woods and get ourselves some wood. Whoop! Oh, oh, zombie, and I'm out of stamina here. Oh my goodness, this thing is powerful. Yes, this is the place right here. Ozark's dumpster. I'm gonna just take a peek in here and see what's going on. Is this a POI loot stage 16. Yeah, that's that's a boosted loot stage for being in a tier one POI. This is not a POI though, is it? It's just a remnant. What's going on here anyway? I have I have no idea. Is there something under the dumpster here that I should be finding? No, I don't think so. Well, that's interesting. So yeah, our, our loot stage is boosted a little bit here. Okay, well, whatever. This is the site right here. We'll be back here a little bit later on today, but for now we do need resources badly. Yes, here it is, the Whispering Woodlands, and I'm gonna take down every tree in sight, probably all the boulders too. We're gonna need clay, we're gonna need stone, we need everything. All right, let's get to work. Excellent work there. Let's take five and go grab some lunch. Okay, let's have a look here. We have six. That means we need 14 duct tape. I did find some glue out in the field there while we were out and about. And hopefully we have a little tiny bit of water. Probably good enough to get a mineral water or two. And oh, I'm just realizing that you can just smelt those chairs outright. You don't have to scrap them down first. Probably a more efficient way of doing that. I also wanted to check and see if I could make cloth from some cotton that I harvested this morning. Well, I can make it from plant fiber. I've read that book. I've also read that book where I get honey out of trees and I have gotten a few of those. I do feel that's not, that's not worth it anymore at all, but I do have the duct tape that I need now. So motorcycle coming up, chassis, handlebars, and I don't think I'll need anything for the, no, I don't have an engine. Oh man. Okay. So we're gonna have to, uh, after we get some lunch here, we're gonna have to go out and do a little bit of wrenching. It shouldn't take too terribly long. Have we eaten all the meat already that I cooked? Jeez. 
Man, I'm a gub. Oh, we can do the bacon and eggs now, though. That's a great meal option for us in this uh, in the early goings here until we can figure out how to cook something better and get a garden going. And there's my mineral water. Okay, let's go do some wrenching then. Oh, there it is on my first car. Well, I got to finish this car off. I can't stand it if I don't. And I think, isn't there a vending machine right around the corner here? We should be checking this very often to get the water because we're going to be pretty hard up for water here quite a bit. Ah, no, no water. Crap. Oh, these have steel in them, though. And while this place is clear, I'll also take this open sign. That'll be fun to put up somewhere. Gotta love those neon signs. They just look very cool. Yeah, were there any decorations in here while there's while the zombies haven't quite retaken the place yet no i don't see anything really particularly that i want uh we could take a calendar home with us i guess well that didn't take too long i'm crafting up some wooden shapes back at home and that's going to take a while also the motorcycle is going to take a little while so while that's all going let's get just a little bit more for resources there's another forest just over here oh why do we have so many zombies over here are you guys a horde? Yeah, this definitely looks like a horde. There's zombies all through the canal, all over the parking lot. All right, we got to clear these guys out. First aid kit. Luckily, we didn't take any sort of critical damage there. That's surprising. Oh, and the motorcycle is almost ready to go. Here we go. Motorcycle. Day six. And probably if we would have really, really rushed things, I think it could have been a day five deal there. But yeah, on that fight there, stamina became a really big issue. Also, like, I just attracted too many zombies onto me at once, and that was a bad move on my part. Still getting the hang of things. They dropped a couple of loot bags. We'll grab up the loot bags and we'll head to the forest. Oh, geez, here's the freaking rest of them over here there we go okay one thing that's kind of uh difficult with the stun baton is that it's quite loud when the zombies are getting shocked and, and that therefore it's difficult to hear if someone's coming up behind you that happened to me a couple of times there so you just have to kind of have your wits about you off into the canal with you there we go and a vehicle book there pretty cool all right, the forest is just up ahead here. I'm going to run right over, clear that place out. I don't think we need a whole lot more wood. I'm making up like about 300 shapes, and I think that'll just about do it for this one. And then uh, we also have some cobblestone that I bought from the trader, and we'll just do upgrades to cobblestone as we see fit. All right, I feel like that will just about do it. We have clear cut a massive amount of forest here. Okay, so there's my 290 wooden shapes, and there's the motorcycle. What do we have for fuel, though? A thousand, and that's gonna do it. I think that's like half a tank. Well, I suppose if we do get a hacker's candy here in the next couple of days, we'll have to keep an eye out for one, then that will, um, that'll give us a little bit more fuel when we go to harvest a whole bunch of cars, and we'll stock up on fuel that way. Yeah, 35%. Uh, not good. Man, it feels good to be moving fast, though. That's the most important thing right there. We just won't do the turbo boost. We'll do the nice, easy coast here. Grandma speed. All right. Oh, and that gives us an extra light over here, too. And then we've got a nice little fire light here. We can warm up overnight here while we're doing some building. I'm gonna clean some of the junk up off the ground just so it's not in the way. And I'm gonna carefully measure things out because there will be a center of the base. We'll be facing south. And that center, I think, will be right about here, I suppose. Yeah, kind of like right in the center of this area. Okay, and from there, we're going to do four pillars. And the very, very first thing I think that I'm going to do is just get a ladder in the middle. We'll do the trick where we kind of set it on a plate like this. And then I'm going to actually have to dig out a foundation here eventually. That's not day seven stuff, though. We'll do that later on. Okay, and I just went up a total of... 20 blocks and whoop oh, oh, oh don't don't fall at this distance <laughs> it'd be a certain fracture okay but now that that's done we're gonna bring all four columns up the same distance 
Well, I wish we had a little bit more moonlight. Looks like it's a half moon right now. But now that we're at the top here, I'm going to go with just a platform that is five by five. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And then what was that shape before? It was like a bracket plate bracket center. That'll be perfect for a little catwalk that kind of goes all around the perimeter, at least on the non zombie fighting sides because that's it's the base is facing this way this is our fighting side over here on the south side now uh for all you survivors out there of course gotta be very careful when you're building away from you are you kidding me when you're building away from your bedrock connection which uh these are the four pillars right here that are conferring stability to the entire structure so anything that you're building off in this direction is not particularly stable so you can't like if I build walls on this, which I will eventually, you just have to be careful how much of a load you put onto it because um, it's 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 just not structurally sound in this configuration here. Okay, and then just a regular old plate to fill in the corners. And then I'm going to just uh, build up a wall using half blocks and I'll build up a fighting position right here in the front. It's nothing particularly fancy. We'll get a much better look at it in the morning though. That, yeah, and I'm already seeing kind of not really mistakes that I'm making, but just improvements that I can make to this. And so it's basically uh, two steps forward, one step back. Then on the exterior here, I think it would do us a lot of good to have a railing so that we don't go flying off the edge in a panic. And then for my front window here, I'm going to take door trim square and set it just like this. And I might do one on the other side too once we get that built up. And you know what? I'm just kind of thinking to myself... I, you know what, let's just put some scaffolding up here on the side so that we can maneuver around. There we go. A little bit of temporary stuff there. All right, we got to brave the bottom now and hopefully not attract too many zombies to me because we got two other columns to build. This next part is just about some careful measurements. So one, two, three, one. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the second one. Visual confirmation here that everything is aligned. Looks good. For now we're going 20 blocks tall on this one, all the way up to the level where we built the platform. And then now that we're up here, we're gonna go one off in this direction. And then, oh boy, hold my hand Ooh, up to this one. Good. And then we just got to bring this over. And for this base, we're going to do a little trick here. We're going to bring them over on a diagonal, just like so. And then I'm going to put some V2 catwalk plates on here eventually. Oop, we're getting some, <laughs> some uh, yellow outlines there a little bit. Okay, and then this block here that I'm about to place is like the keystone block. That's the one that's going to connect the V here. And then the V is going to connect to our base right here with this block, which I haven't decided. This is an important block, too, because it's the one all the zombies will be standing on. If it's too skinny, zombies will just fall. If it's too thick, too many of them will pile up. So we'll have to experiment with that. Day 7 should be a good time for that, you know. <laughs> we'll, we'll solidify things before long. But there's a little bit of, like, sort of fancy business that I want to do here. Okay, so we got to be a little bit careful. So this one has to be a trussing block it's going to be trussing 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 and i'll let you guess what that arrow is going to be in the future looking up at a ladder of zombies you know climbing to the top just take one guess do i have to really say what that's going to be <laughs> no here and then we'll put these blocks on the bottom to kind of for those to sit on and then there's going to be a block right here yes and um, on top of this one will be a trigger plate that's connected to the uh, thing here. <laughs> right, and then we're going to make a fancy staircase up here. So I was um, recently listening to another broadcast there from another survivor who was giving a little bit of a walkthrough and some cool base tips. And uh, his name is Wayward Echo. And this guy was using these blocks here, which I really like. I'm going to need to kind of frame this out, though, temporarily. And oh, thank goodness the sun's almost out. Where is it? Oh, beautiful sunshine. So basically Echo's trick was to put these, I think they're called ramp incline filler left and right or something like that. Half left, ramp incline half left and right. I'm going to put these on the side to kind of frame these in. And just because it looks cool, I don't know yet how it's going to function. I haven't tried it out. But then I'm going to also put in these quarter blocks like this. 
and then we'll do like a nice L shape in there and we'll kind of wrap it around because it'll be like a three way staircase, right? So this will be like so, like so, and this will also kind of shield the dart traps that will be in there and we'll just repeat that on all sides here these are just it's not important i just kind of wanted to get to show you what it's gonna look like eventually and then i guess these ones will just kind of string uh, all the way over so that's a really cool looking staircase there and i think you know in terms of redundancy we always advise people not to um you know to have some sort of a system on the side of your staircase so that zombies don't get pinned in there i just don't think that uh, it's going to be a big issue because we'll have a total of six staircases. So I think it'll be fine. And if it starts becoming an issue as we kind of scale up, then we'll come up with a solution at that time. Okay. Now I just got to repeat the same thing on this side. Okay. Looking good so far. All we have to do finish off this morning is the staircase. At least we'll just do two. We'll do one on each side, right on the front here, all the way to the top. Ah, whoa. Who is that? I didn't even hear her. Well, I need to go back to the base anyway and get some breakfast. I think I'll just walk, save some fuel on the motorcycle there. <laughs> Maybe we should make the mini bike after all, just for like short distance shuttling, or you know, right around here, right around town. And then uh, we'll have the motorcycle for long distance travel. No, oh, that's just embarrassing though. Hey, two skill points. Man, having the mineral water unlocked is such a bonus. One water and just with some junk that we can find anywhere turn that into like what is it 60 or something water okay right as rain back to work i've had a few people recently asking me about the urban combat books and what governs the probability of you finding those books because they're it's one of the best book sets in the game well if you want uh, if you want that it's going to be hidden strike this will allow you to get those urban combat books a little bit more quickly just wanted to share that one with you just in case you were wondering okay so from here yep we got to replicate the same exact thing we did before and uh, damn it, it, looks like one of those rare rainstorms has rolled in. Uh, I hate it when that happens. Trying to get some work done. Here, getting all wet. All right, anyway, that uh, just about does it for that system. Okay, yes, uh, ladder. I've said it a couple times now. We got to actually do it now. Just give me a few more blocks here. I've got plenty of wood here. Okay, the ladders are done. Let's nail these down. Doesn't make much of a difference either way. It's two wood to make a frame and eight to upgrade it versus 10 to just do the wooden frame outright. Just saves you a little time to go straight to wood. And now we need to make the decision of what gets upgraded to cobblestone. I have, uh, oh geez, it's back at the base. I have like 600 or so cobblestone. 660 to be exact. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? I think probably wanna make sure that, um, like the corners of the staircase are as strong as they can be because you know zombies being zombies they might kind of try to break this stuff right and that, that gives us more stability too because um this is the bedrock connection block right here uh how are we looking on the cobble there four 480 okay no i want to do more on like the base part yay the storm's passing and i have also 30 concrete mix so we'll just do the most important blocks in fact i'm gonna double layer this one right here like so oh and i'm a, a double layer this one too we'll just have um, a double two block layer in the front for the zombies to carve through which you know i don't think they ever would if it was especially if it's concrete but yeah concrete on this one and concrete on this one and i'll save the 10 for repair okay that leaves the question of this block right here what are we gonna do let's just try a square for tonight I just try to do a mirror image on this side okay i think that does it i just had a few more shapes so i was going to make up the l's the l shapes to put into these corners here we can get a sense of what that's going to look like in the end if get some good like reflective contrasting paint styles there i think it'll look just fine look great in fact okay the rest of the cobble i can do 11 more shapes the most important ones are obviously going to be the ones holding up everything including myself i have no reason to suspect that the zombies will be targeting any of this stuff because um you know i've heard on other broadcasts before that if you're more than 11 blocks off the ground or if your body is more than 11 blocks away from a zombie in elevation and they fall down you know typically they enter rage mode but if they get far enough away from you when they land they will not go into rage mode as much i think still a few of them probably will here and there but typically i mean if this base was right there instead of way up there all of the zombies that were 
blasting off of the front here, landing over here somewhere, they would just go into the rage mode and start breaking the stairs and everything. And then someday along the line with our intellect skills, I'm going to make a big old pit right here and fill it with every trap that I can possibly make. Electric fences, dart traps, blade traps, everything. <laughs> Which is going to make the zombies' lives absolutely miserable when they land down here. The only real problem that I see is going to be dogs, and then eventually probably there will be bear in the hordes as well. So that will be something to look into at some point. Uh, a way to kill the dogs. I do have an idea. I think dogs will in this base they'll they'll end up clustering here because they'll want to achieve your elevation first and so they'll get as high as they can up toward you and then they'll just kind of linger there so it, it might be that they're all going to cluster up here and if that's the case we'll have to build something just a little bit taller for them maybe like right here and put a blade trap on the top so that they'll just run up there and, and get blade trapped I, i've built bases like that before so We'll see. We'll get there. And we have a whole day now, basically, to do whatever we want. Who we got here? Heard some people on the radio call this guy Kenny. Kenny the Crackhead. All right. Well, I think that just about does it for this one for today. We'll be back here in a little bit to, you know, fight the horde. I'm pretty sure everything is upgraded to my liking. I might do a little bit more work there at the top now that I'm looking at it. It, it could probably use a little bit more cobblestone up there. But overall, I don't think the Day 7 Horde's going to be particularly dangerous. Well, let's go get our quest reward from Joel. It's on the complete other side of town. And, oh geez, we should also check with Bobby while we're kind of over here. And see if he has the quest for the Cracker Book or the Mo Power. Good morning, Bobby! What do you got here? Nothing? Tell your vending machine restocker to bring me some Something eye candy, please. Guy. Special request. Okay, what do you got here? Nice. Okay, fetch and clears the bound. Oh, geez, but nothing. No. Okay, blaze and burns offices. How far away was that? Not very far. We could do that. That sounds like a book kind of place. Bobby, next time you stash some supplies in a zombie infested house, put them in the crack of book for me, please. All right, we need to check on Joel. Oh, wait. Today's trader day, isn't it? Hey, Bobby, I'm back. Tell me you got some good stuff that I that I cuss you out enough the last time. He does have some Forge Ahead, a mining book for... Oh, getting more when you're buzzed by coffee, 10%. Whoa, oh, whoa. Okay, some red lucky goggles and ski goggles. Oh, those ski goggles are kind of right up my alley because the more I think about it... Oh, gasoline too. How much is all that going to be? Ah, that's very expensive. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I think I'm going to cross spec into agility. Okay, he's got glue. This guy's got a bunch of good stuff. Okay. Come back tomorrow. I will. Uh oh, uh oh, oh boy. Yes, just did a pit stop here at the base to get some food or get some water. And look at what I found and a perfect opportunity for a Molotov here. Before they spread out, just light them up. That was too far, no! Oh, jeez. Ah, crap. All right, another one for you guys over here. Wasting all my Molotovs before the Horde night. That's a good idea. All right, they should 90% of them burn out, I think. Whoa, look at the burning zombies, it's great. Yes, oh my God, what a massacre. Oh, they're still running in from back there, wow. There's still like, there's still like 25 zombies here. Oh my God. Okay, just grabbing up some loot here. Thankfully got an extra bandage and a painkiller off of this. I think I'm good now. Oh, my bicycle's down there. Kind of forgot about that. <laughs> I'm gonna just call it here. Stamina is a pretty big problem right now. If I could just take another skill point and get it into Electrocutioner, I'd be super happy. Uh, so let's go, yep, two for that and one for Electrocutioner. That'll help out with combat a little bit. All right, time for time for a trip to Joel, finally. And uh, on the way, I gotta pick up that, there's a chest out here with a whole bunch of sellable equipment. I gotta go track that down too. All right, good afternoon, Joel. What do you got here? Oh, duct tape. Definitely the duct tape. I'll take another job from you. What do you got around here? Passing gas? He's got one at the barren land coal mining, which I haven't even seen yet. Where, where even is that? Okay, down to the south. We can do that at some point because uh, there's a, there's, what are there? There's two hidden stashes there. 
that we can snag up. That'll be nice. Oh, geez. I, I forgot to check his inventory again. He also has an art of mining book for the blackstrap coffee and a forge ahead. Oh, he's got a whole bunch of duct tape. Okay, how much is that going to be? 1600 We're going to have to do a big sell-off probably tomorrow. Otherwise, that's about it. Come Still looking tomorrow. for some important yeah, things. College jacket, yeah. dirty glasses. I'm sure we'll come across those things eventually. Okay, getting a little bit late in the day here. So I don't want to go too, too far away. I might, while I'm kind of around here in the neighborhood, just kind of wrench on some steel and unlock some ATMs. Kind of hard luck on that one. I broke three lockpicks getting in, but worth it. And I'll pick up some decorations also while I'm here. Grab these. No parking. And we've got the open sign already. Whoops. I just reached right in there and grabbed the cash register. Have I been in here before? Uh, it doesn't look like I have. I could snag that passing gas box while I'm right here. There we go. Vehicle book, handy land, and another wheel. What a surprise there. And that was another tech planet book. Snag the steel off of these. And we're moving on. It'd be kind of nice to see what's on this half of the town anyway. Whoops, I just turned hungry. Whoa, look out. Ow. Okay, so we've got a um, NDC checkpoint over here. Interesting, but way out of my league. And, uh, oh, the rinky-dink passing gas. Yep, <laughs> gonna snag the loot off of this place. Let me just grab the fuel if there is any. Good. Yes, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Great heist book. 20% more damage to land claimed property and a good set of gear to sell at some point. I do kind of want the rest of this stuff, though. All right, weapons bag here for... Not much. Duckbill mod, which is nice. If I ever found a shotgun, I'd definitely be using that. My, pretty much my favorite mod right now. Passing gas box, good for... That's the same exact loot that I got out of the last one. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Must have been some standardized shipping crate or something like that. I think we're good here, and it, I think it's late enough now that I'm ready to go home. There's our quest at the Barren Land. Oh, and the vet loot. Oh, it's so easy to get that. I, I'm not leaving without that. The Animal Hospital. I don't care so much for the POI as I do for just so easy to jump up here and get this loot. And the main chest is good for a Spear Hunter book, and that's about it. I did get a Grave Digger mod, which is kind of cool. When we go to dig up the buried treasure, that will come in handy. And look at that. That's our home right there. Pretty much a straight shot. Let's just hope that that mass of zombies kind of wandered off more or less okay i think i'm just about ready to head over let's just get um i don't know why but i guess oh we should probably repair the armor i think that is yeah something is weak here let's head over i have 26 more shapes i was thinking that i could do a little bit more trim work oh geez there's still just a whole bunch of zombies over there no thanks we're gonna go through the canal all right what do you guys think think this is gonna do any good here or what and then eventually what we'll do is instead of this being four blocks you know we'll fill in the four in the cardinal directions we'll go one out even further it'll basically be an uh what was it like a five by five support column so a total of of 25 blocks that zombies would have to get through i mean even if it was just this tower and the zombies had no way to get up to me i'm pretty sure that this base in its final form fully upgraded would be enough okay that's all i really needed to do there okay don't don't jump at this stage in the game let's just carefully walk ourselves over here what are we looking at 75 not very much so for this top piece here there's this, I'm gonna call this the boot shape. We're gonna put a little boot shape right here to kind of block the zombies off. And then I'm gonna find myself a spike. What would be the best spike piece though? On face, let's see how that's gonna look. I think that's gonna look pretty cool. You know me, I like my spikes. I'm gonna go one further though, because I like overdoing things in the beginning and then <laughs> reeling it back a little bit later on, but let's just do uh, spike, 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 just so it looks nice and intimidating, not only to the zombies, I mean, they're brainless anyway, but also to uh, prospective bandits if they happen to be out there anywhere. It's been years since I've seen a bandit raid, but you never know, it's always a possibility. And in terms of uh, rooftop support, let's just go with uh, the scaffolding ladder, for now at least, and per perhaps we'll do bulletproof glass or any number of other things for now, and I'm not even going to upgrade this. It's just in case a bird swoops in, I want it to be kind of, uh, sh to be shielded from it just a little bit. All right, the last thing we're gonna need is a little bit of lighting. Okay, torches are crafting. Let's go with... 
torch. Well, I want to put it somewhere where the zombies can't quite reach it, just in case, because you know, you know how they are. There and there. I got a couple more crafting as well, and we'll use those to illuminate the top. We already have some natural lighting right here. I might get some more burning barrels. It seems to be a good theme for the junkyard here. For, for Oscar's dumpster. <laughs> Oscar's base here is what we'll call this. Oscar's sky base. Torches, torches. Oh, this is a bad room for torches, isn't it? Because all, all of these are half walls. Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Okay, that whoops, that is it. All right, let's do this. Well, the Day 7 Horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. All right, here we go. That was our first candidate for the, the flying ride back to the bottom. You just get a drone camera shot there at the bottom. It does look like we're, we're having some zombies getting hung up down there. So we might need to make some modifications so that we get a nice smooth flow for them. All right, here we go. We got a bit of a build up. Send them. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is going to be great. Once we get just a little bit more volume, I think. That's all we're missing up here. They're just kind of trickling in. It's quite a climb to get up here anyway. All right, here we go. How about this group? Goodbye. <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay, so it might not be the highest volume here, but I'm going to take the forgetting, uh, the learning elixir anyway, get a little bit more XP here, and let's just grind out the horde here. Right, and just like that, I do think that that was the entire horde. It's 2 a.m. I suppose there's a possibility that we'll get another wave here starting soon, but for now, it's all quiet. <laughs> what a great success. Man, that, I, th I didn't know that um, the Repulsor mod could be this fun. It's really a treat. I'm loving it. All right, I'm heading down to the bottom because it should be safe down here. I've already picked up two or three loot bags that just kind of fell right in front of me, but there should be a couple of more here. So I did hear zombies banging on, I don't know, all kinds of stuff, mostly metal. It looks like they did tear through some of this stuff right here. Yeah, there, there might be some modifications that need to be made to get them up the staircase a little bit faster, but everything seems to be intact and really, yeah, they did do a little, little bit of damage down here. Yeah, some of them kind of hit the wall kind of on their way up but again i think redundancy is the trick there and then you know durability second and they just did just tiny 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 amounts of damage and most of the damage up here occurred when i was trying to finagle my drone camera to a new location oh they were stuck in the dumpster too i think yeah i didn't make a way out for them and i think they were stuck on the fence outside you know how uh zombies the further they get from you the the more dumbed down they are yeah, it looks like they did clear out a couple sections of fence, though, kind of trying to get in. <laughs> they, but those dumbed down ones, they couldn't quite figure out that they could walk around the fence. Anyway, I think that just about does it for this one. I don't care to kind of do any work here until the next Horde Night. I, I think that this could hold for at least a couple of weeks. So we'll just work uh, the next big project. We'll be getting the staircase kind of done up and getting some kind of another system going in here. I'm going to have to think about... What kind of a shape I could put in here that would both uh, serve a function and be 
uh, good looking because, you know, you can do round blocks all the way up. So, you know, that's going to be uh, essentially a three by three because the ladder will count as stability. And then we'll also do something on the perimeter like this on all four sides or on all sides on the exterior here. And that'll give another round of stability. And we could even dig a trench around this and put traps down there to, to just you know hold them off just in case but yeah i don't think that's necessary i think the function of the base is sound we just need to work on aesthetics and that's about it all right let's get back to the base and start getting organized come up with a plan for the next couple of days okay just briefly here i wanted to look and see where we're at on workstations so oh my god we're not even halfway to the cement mixer i think that is the next big thing so let's just look at the skill points and spend those we have just one available man i thought i would have leveled up a little bit during the night there but I guess safe cracker. We'll, we'll get the forge ahead books a little bit faster. Joel and Bobby have some. Okay, so for the rest of the morning then, I'm going to get the cell chest and the sellables all ready to go. And we'll make a quick trader run and buy a couple of the things that we wanted to get from those guys. And other than that, I'm going to get ready to do my broadcast here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got incoming transmission here. Mayday. Mayday. If anybody can hear this, I need help. I've made it to checkpoint five. I've run out of supplies, the zombies have taken over, I'm trapped in the tower. Mayday, mayday. Fellow Survivor, this is Tim Ricky from Hope Radio. We've read you loud and clear. I'm on my way. Mayday, mayday. If anybody can hear this, I need help. I've made it to checkpoint five. I've run out of supplies, the zombies have taken over, I'm trapped in the tower. Mayday, mayday. Jeez, what is going on over here? All right, we're rolling up right now. This is the place, I think. Hey. Hello there, Survivor. It looks like you need some help up there. Oh, you've got a zombie inside? Oh, boy. It's gotten kind of bad. I'm out of ammo. Okay, um, I'm going to see if I can draw them off of you a little bit. Zombies, over here, please. Oh, jeez, they are, they are just honed right into you right now. There's a lot of them. Blobby's down here punching on a wall. Everybody's trying to get me out. Okay. Come on over here, boys. Oh, Tommy, none of that, please. All right, I'm going to utilize some of these barrels to our advantage here. Oh, boy. There we go. Did that do any damage? That worked. Are we good? That cleared out a couple of them. Big Mama's still coming your direction. But other than that, I think that pretty much cleared it out. I think so, too. Oh, I'm so glad to see you, man. Yeah, yeah, I heard that you uh, needed some supplies. I brought you some food, some first aid, all that stuff. We get you all fixed up here in just a second. By just a second, I mean a couple minutes. It's going to take a while <laughs> to kill this guy. There we go. Are we good here or what? Hop on down. I'll get you some supplies. Oh, you got one more up there? He's trapped in the box, though. I locked him in there. He can't get out, so eventually he's going to punch his way out. I'll take care of him. I feel like I've been trapped up here for days. Yeah, I bet. I bet you're starving. All right, I got, ooh, I got some cornmeal in a cooking pot, too. We could roast up a proper dinner over here. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's a good way to celebrate. <laughs> All right, come on over here. I got first aid kit for you, extra painkiller if you need it, a water, oh, and man. bacon and eggs, and tuna fish. And um, you absolutely rock. Here's some ammo. I don't know if you've got a shotgun and a pistol, but if you do, that's extra lucky. That's all I got for you, though. Oh, absolutely. That is more than enough, man. I've been trapped up there, ran out of supplies very quickly. Yeah, I just heard your stomach growl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some food in me. Oh, my first day. Nice. Oh, Emma. <laughs> I feel like I can keep going now. I was Good. just about to give it up up there. Good. Well, if you're ready to go, I mean, we could search for some extra supplies here. What are you doing this way anyway? Well, let's see. I was the lone survivor of my community, and I started heading down this direction, came across this little spot. I thought, hey, maybe they have some first aid in there and some ammo. It was quickly ambushed, and our, our camp was just completely overrun by bandits. It just went real bad real quick. So if you start heading that direction, just keep in mind that the, uh, you know, bandits are loose and they're wreaking havoc on these small campsites. We haven't seen bandits up here for years, man. It's uh, it's surprising. I am not a fan of them. Well, yeah, thanks for the heads up. Where are you heading next? 
I'm heading north. North. Trying to, yeah, heading towards the mountains. I'm thinking that maybe there's a, a civilization up there, but maybe a small group of people I could join in with. All right, all right. Well, if you ever need any help here, I mean, you're welcome back here. But for now, let's uh, let's get around here to the front of this place and uh, and continue let's... what we started here. Absolutely, sure. This would be a lot easier with an extra person. Do you live around here? I do. I have a radio station nearby, and that's uh, how I picked up your broadcast there. Okay, here we are. Oh man, I wasn't sure anybody got that. Yeah, it's lucky that you had a uh, a radio with you up in that tower there. Yeah, yeah, I was just throwing it out into the wind and hoping somebody heard it. I was kind of on my last leg, and I'm really thankful you heard it. Right, that's that's the whole point of Hope Radio here, is we're trying to, you know, give hope to people out there in the wild and help them out in their time of need. What are these What are these checkpoints set up down here? I haven't seen any of these up where I'm from. I don't know. I guess they were trying to contain things early on. Whoa, okay. Nice. Whoa. I'm telling you what, man, if you haven't used the stun baton yet, you got to give it a try. This thing is really nice. I have not used that yet, but that looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely watch your swing on the club there. I, th I think you just, like, took a chunk off of my hit points. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I'll have to be careful, too, because um, I'm pretty sure the stun repulsor could hit you as well if you're too close. All right, we'll keep a little distance between the two of us. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to search this tower up here. Oh, there's a button. Oh, <laughs> there's also a soldier. Okay, I clicked the button. Look out ah. behind you. Ow, ow. Nice. <laughs> you just clubbed me in the head, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm going to try not to use... I'm trying not to use power attacks so uh, I don't accidentally just swing for the fences here. All right. If you see a college jacket, I've got dibs on that. Oh, I'll absolutely give you one. I'll make sure I don't have one with me. I'll give you the shirt off my back for you coming over to help me. I do actually have a college uh, jacket. Oh, that might be... That might be something I could take off your hands. See if I can I find could, one at I least. Could, I could give you one of those. You spare one? I could, I could definitely spare one here. I may even have an extra in it. Spider zombie and a dog. Bad oh, dog. Got quite a Bad fight dog. here. Oh boy. Ah. This is how I got overrun the first time. And I thought everything was clear and then turned Whoop. around and everything just went terrible. Yeah, things are going quite terribly. I got a deep laceration. Oh, nice call there with the gun. Whew. Okay, Whew. a little bit of a snack to patch myself up. Yeah, I need a little bit of first aid too. Thank God you brought me some because I, I was a little bit low when you got here. You know what I recently learned is that these outhouses are a really good source of polymer. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I guess it makes sense. They're like 90% plastic. That makes sense. Does I, I just got like 28 polymer off that. It's one of those things you don't think about needing until you need a lot of it. You're like, oh my God, how do I not have any? <laughs> this is the strategy right here. You just got to carve through the walls and find the zombies inside. Some of these idiots are fast. They are super fast, aren't they? It's kind of scary. Oh, look at that two Forge Ahead books. What a good find. Trying to get a chemistry station. I've got the motorcycle. I was able to get that, but I'm going to need fuel. I'm, I'm down to like 15% fuel already. I do have a little bit of extra gas if you want some. Oh, that'd be nice. I'm, I'm rocking the mini bike here, so I don't really need a whole <laughs> lot of gas. Yeah, you're uh, running the economy, e economy yeah. engine, you know? Come on out. Idiots hiding in the closet. You know, I have a theory that the reason why there's so many zombies in closets and in the ceiling is because a survivor at some point went up there to hide after they'd been bitten. And then they, they just died, they turned into a zombie, and then that's where they rested until uh, one of us comes along and wakes them up. That makes sense. Better than my thoughts of somebody just stashing zombies inside the building. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? <laughs> Oh, Only the I, I heard um, oh, a monster, there. kind of. He's right there. Oh, ow. And there she goes. I am having a hard time here, to say the least. Do you need some first aid? I have a, well. I do not. I don't need it. I just want it. What does this button do? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. I got something for you. Take that. Fort bite. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, that's going to help a little bit, and oh, nice. I'm going to also hydrate. Okay, so I, I'm assuming we possibly uh -oh. have a bit of a fight on our hands here. All right, you take the right, I'll take the left. Oh, Sounds good. oh radiation oh. damage. Holy cow, everything's going terrible here. Don't die, don't die. 
Okay. We're doing okay here. I've got a couple over here. I've got Halo, Feral, and are we good? We're good. Nice. Oh. Way to finish things took, off there. Took some hits there for sure. Yeah, good thing we had the fort bites. I think that helped out a bit. You got a gun safe over here, or a beaver box, oh, I should say. I am a lock picking expert, so let me see if I can crack this thing. Yes, first try, nice. First, first try, nice. I'm yeah. never good with lock picks. Oh, here's some. Here's a whole bunch of loot over here. Wait, does that work? Ah, oh, I'm trying to crack this one too. Oh, really good loot in here. Bandolier mod, flashlight mod schematic, good stuff. Ooh. I found some good stuff. I found some actual money. Unfortunately, someone changed out all the vending machines, so it only takes casino tokens, but... That just makes no sense. You save me, you can have what's in them. I'm a little bit full myself, and I don't want to... I try to travel lightly here. I don't want to end up in my next location completely chunky already. Yeah, I... I'm getting the sense that I've overdone it a little bit here. I don't... There's a little bit of gas in these barrels over here if you need some. Just kind of nice, quick top nice. off Nice, nice. Yep. Oh, that one's almost destroyed. Ooh, I can't leave it. Look. I can't just leave it like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that kind of startled me. I thought things were going off. Okay, we're free now. Okay, I'm on the catwalk above you. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah. There's currently nothing up here, but there's a room to go up to the roof. I'm going to see if there's a button or anything up here. Oh my god, a huge wandering horde. Oh god. Look out, look out. There's a whole bunch of them. Oh, fun times. Yep, yep, yep. Um, okay. Are we... S I don't think we're safe here. I think they're going to come up onto the roof. I need to sort my inventory right quickly here. Okay, you come up over here on the catwalk, and I'll, I'll protect you as much as I can. Look up behind you. Oh, jeez. Hold the line here. We're holding... Oh, they're behind you. Look out. Behind you again. Oh, Got a little bit of room to move here. Oh, they hit hard. They do. Make sure you don't die here. We can't afford losses. I can't do this alone, man. I'm out of ammo. Okay. Down to oh, melee. You. Good. Can I get some 7.62 out of this, please? Yes, I got a, I got one clip there. Follow me over here. Ooh, ammo. This way over go. here. Okay. And I'm going to jump you, down okay. onto this fence. This will give us a little bit of safety. As we... Oh, right behind you. There we go. Phew. Okay. I'm going to see... that was touch and go. Just wait and see if we can uh, cluster him a little bit, and I'll just do a pipe bomb for him. Here we go. Okay. Nice. Dude, over the middle's like, I'm giving up the fight. I'm just going to stand here. <laughs> yeah. We're showing him who's boss here. All right. I think... Wow. I am really badly encumbered right now. I should run over to my motorcycle real fast. I think it's safe to some degree now good call good call yeah you're moving a little bit slow there's a shamway box here too <laughs> if you're a little bit low on food maybe yeah something hopefully in here. get a little early lunch here oh, i've just reached critical dehydration level okay i gotta drink my last couple of waters here i have i have a little bit of water as well i can give you you do i could take that for sure there's a little bit of water oh pure mineral water I found the good stuff. Oh, you found a, a nice water cooler in there then. Nice. Absolutely. Good, I came good. prepared. And uh, there's what I promised I would give you. At the nice. End of College jacket. Sweet. Slapping that on immediately. Oh, look how fast I can run now. Yeah, much better. Just like the good old days, playing varsity football. I, I don't have, it's not a lot, but anything helps, I guess. Here's a little bit of the gas that I have. Oh, My cool. bike is topped off and good to go. So I don't nice. know if it'll give you a full tank, but it maybe at least gets you where you're going. Yep, yep. Well, I'm just going to head back to the radio station. Um, if you ever need help, make sure you do the distress. Also, I actually saw a radio in here. So let me grab this for you real quick. If you ever need help here? again, uh, I want you to call me up on the radio here. Here you go. The ham radio. Just hook it up to like a car battery. And uh, maybe we'll, we'll cross paths again someday. I sure hope so, man. You're a godsend and I appreciate all your help. All right, man, Trader Joel is just ahead. If you go straight, you'll run right into him. You can get some supplies there if you need to. And otherwise, I will see you later. Best of luck, man, and thank you again. All right, adios. Later. <laughs> well, that was one heck of a fight there with Cap. I am glad we made it there just in time to bail him out of that situation. 
Hopefully, if we're ever in a bad situation like that again, he'll be available for us. Anyway, let's get started this morning. Bit, bit of a late start here. That ate up about half of the day, but um, I don't have much to do for today. What I want to work on for now is getting some glue crafted. See how much we can do here. It looks like six and one half and five in the other. And an extra couple of mineral waters for me are waiting in there as well. Okay, I think probably the most pressing thing for me today is to do a little bit of a trader run. Let me gather up all the sellables, do some repairs on it, and then we'll cart it over to... Well, I think that Trader Joel probably had the best items for sale this week. And, oh, you know what we could also do? Is take a point into Daring Adventure, and that will unlock even better loot over there at the trader. I think that's a worthwhile investment. And maybe he'll have even more stuff for us, and hopefully he'll have a sugar butt and, um, a, and an awesome sauce that we can take as well. And I'll just card over anything else I can find here. Oh! like 3,400 old cash and you know why not just bring a dozen wheels with me as well are we done here yet yeah, we got the glue I think now we can probably do the upgraded stun baton stun baton requiring a little bit more forged iron but we now have the duct tape we were kind of held back there for a little while because we were saving the duct tape for the motorcycle but yeah we're gonna have a level five stun baton here in just a couple of minutes 54 seconds there's also some other stuff here like an ergonomic grip mod structural brace mod a double clothing pocket mod and so with that i think yeah uh, i think we'll, we'll pick that up later we're not gonna get into any big pressing fights here in the next couple of minutes i hope all right i got everything cooking over there let's swing over to trader joel's all right, here we are, and I'm just going to swing it around because we might need to just bolt back over to Trader Bob after this and see if we can maintain all of the buffs on the way there. All right, let's see what we got here. Fingers crossed for a sugar butt. Nice. And an awesome sauce. Also very nice. That's all of my money, though. Okay, well, we're going to make a whole bunch back here in just a minute. Good morning, Trader Joel. Sorry about the laser pointer on your face there. Oh, look, he's. we've unlocked a few things here. With the point into Daring Adventure, we've got the Water Purifier mod. We're really just here for the Forge Ahead, the Mining Book. Didn't he have t tape? Oh, yes, right there. 22 duct tape. And I think Trader Bob has glue. He had like 10 glue or something. Right. And I also have that bonus All where right, if I have the Magnum out, me. I can get a Go better deal. Soon. Okay. We have to do this as quickly as possible. So that's going to be Sugar Butt. Awesome sauce. And then Lightning Selling Round. Come just going to make tomorrow. sure that, that yep, the bonus just daily. popped up there. It takes a second. Okay. Now for purchasing. Water Purifier Mod. Forge Ahead. Art of Mining. I'm going to buy the 762 just because i'm out and i really we need to have some of that on us some water and the 22 duct tape okay mini bike stuff interesting i do believe that was it all right we are racing to trader bobs we have two minutes and 14 seconds to get there quickly All oh, right, we're here. <laughs> Good morning, Bob. Don't mean to get in your face like this, but I need to get these things while I still have the bonuses. He's also going to have some new stuff, hopefully, probably. Art of Mining book. Couple of water there. Where? Oh, the ski goggles. Oh, if we wanted to go into agility, that would be handy, at least until we get the nerdy glasses. Glue. There we go. What are we at? 2,000? Okay, probably at this point... The prudent thing to do would be to just save a little bit of money so that we have stuff to, you know, buy out of the vending machines. And there's a hackers there, which I do feel like we're going to need that. We need to do some car harvesting anyway, because we need gasoline pretty badly. That's kind of going to be the theme here for the first look. I burned more than I think it was like 11% so far today, just in the trader run. Look out. Good. Goodbye. Well, I shouldn't say goodbye because you're still right here with me. Okay, that was a good little progress jump, though. Let's, uh, oh, we're gonna have to lose the Press Boy Cap mod for the Water Purifier. Uh, but for now, let's go kind of re-kit at the base, get our new melee weapon, and then we'll do these couple of quest jobs we have for the traders. All right, here we go. This is the Barren Land Coal Mining Area, which I hear they bought out the dumping lung that was here before. I remember the good old days, though. Tier 1 fetch, let's hit it. Mostly interested in uh, the hidden stashes that are in here. 
because the guy that owned this place was a wicked hoarder, a prepper, you know, he always like hid, stashed supplies all over the place, so I'm gonna track that stuff down. Who do we got here? Was it you, Bo? Did you used to work here? All right, here's the first one, sealed shipping crate. I wonder what's inside. It is a, hey, a forge ahead book and a tempered blade mod, which that can't go on to the, no, not, not onto the stun baton. And yes, down onto the coal. We could take some coal home with us. Yeah, let's just take this down. Oh, I just got a skill point too. Skills, agility. We could just for now, oh, look at all these goods perks. We got to take light arm. We basically all the athletics perks, I think will complement our intellect build quite well. Uh, but for now, Oh, we could do another one into Daring Adventurer. You know what? We're doing quests today. Let's just stick to that theme and pump a whole bunch of points into Daring Adventurer. And I'm going to spend just a few minutes here taking some of this coal with me because coal is going to be good for some gunpowder production. I can make pipe bombs. In fact, I made eight of them last night before we did the rescue mission. The Molotov supply? <laughs> That's going to have to wait a little while, until, at least until we can get a chem station. In fact, I just put that tempered blade onto the axe. That's definitely going to be better than the serrated blade. Okay, I think that will just about do it. Good enough for me anyway. It's getting toward nightfall. I think we'll be here past nightfall. No matter. With my new stun baton, I don't think they'll stand a chance. At least not in like onesies and twosies. There's another supply satchel there. There we go. Feeling good. Grab that and quest is over. So all I really want now is for the to get the other hidden stash. There we go, and I am charged for a potential wandering horde that could arrive at any time. And this one over here seems to be another more or less hidden stash, I guess you could say, with a vehicle adventure book. That's two hidden stashes now that I've gotten uh, one of those out. And this is the Armor Doesn't Slow You Down in Combat book. That is an excellent find. Looks like we're good. Okay, at this point then... Let's begin our car harvesting escapade. And so begins the search and destroy mission. I think that will just about do it. I went a little bit long because um, the night is long. Okay, and up here, yes, I stopped by last night at one point and boiled up a little bit of meat. It's not the best source of food, but it's the best source of food that I can do right now because I ran out of eggs and I probably should have just bought the eggs from Joel or whoever it was that had those. I uh, did get a couple of books out of some old mailboxes here. That's a Magnum Enforcer for last shot in the chamber does double damage. Sprinting with a club drawn uses less stamina. It seems like every book set has one of those now. And the rest of y'all can just go into some boxes. All right, toss all the rest of this stuff away here. How much fuel did we get from that? Because it is just, it did not feel like very much 1500. That's only like maybe a third of a tank of gas. So chem station it is. That is our only hope here. Unless we want to spend all night every night wrenching down cars which you know we'll run out of those eventually okay here it is what it's come some kind of an office building here it looks like by the way that fuel got me up to about two-thirds of a tank not too bad yes nice amount of first aid there all right finish you off put you out of your misery got a barrel over here too dyslexic uh something to that effect trying to kill and not read names go away nick's lexic all right, let's hit it and hope that these, yes, these have new magazines in them now. There we go. Nice, nice. Okay, and grab up these body bags again. And oh, more zombies. Okay, I think we start in the doorway there and we might exit out of the, the doorway there. Let's get a couple on my compass. It's <laughs> just electrocuted him to death. That's nice. Who else we got? Builder Bob here. I'm hoping for some good magazines out of this place because it is an office building after all. So these filing cabinets and stuff should be everywhere. Oh, look this guy. I opened the bathroom stall and his little trap wall didn't work. Wow. Oh, I've got to get a better look at this. <laughs> that is epic. Yeah, I actually, I do think this was the correct pathway to go now. Uh, yep. Yeah, forbidden to smoke. I'll take that sign. Good little 
decoration. Although in the post-apocalypse, I say <laughs> smoke him if you got him. Key box here, which is leading me. Right, I just came from this place. What am I doing? Oh, hey, we have a working vending machine over here. Kind of cool. Oh, eye candy too. Oh boy, I don't have my money on me though. Okay, need to mark this one. There we go. Not exactly the most accessible unless we break through that door. Then we can just dip in and dip out. There we go. Gives me an opportunity to stash the bike up as well. And from here, I do believe we're just heading up to floor number two, two of three at least, plus a rooftop potentially. It's pretty big for just a little tier two job here. And we are here to clear the area. So whoop, we've got to clear, clear the zombies out stall by stall. Really not a bad place for books too. We're up to 55 on vehicles now. So oh. I love how this this stun baton just jolts him into the wall. Wow, this section all here just got completely blown out. That is super cool. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on here. And we're done. Snag up this loot and we'll go collect both of our quest rewards from the traders. Not much that I need here. And it looks like nothing's going on on the rooftop either. First stop is at Trader Bob's, but let's check the skill points here because I think, yeah, I can do one more and get Mercenary. All right, all right. Let's see how that performs here. We can check the inventory again, see. Oh, I'll take the crafting skill magazine bundle, I suppose. And a new job. But we have Bombshell News. Bobby, I told you to put your stuff over at the Cracker Book or the Mo Power or a working stiff tools or really anywhere except for like houses and apartments and stuff. All right, did I unlock anything else that's cool here? Ooh, steel stuff. Whoa. Eggs. Um, I'll I'll take those eggs. Cook some bacon and eggs with that. Oh, dynamite. Speaking my language now there. Oh, look at the good stuff here. Magnum steel club machete in due time he's even got some leather armor here not today though i'm quite broke right now we need to kind of stockpile cash a little bit oh and the eye candy here and there were the two eye candy that were in here one two done okay good deal all right we need to go to the base though and stash our equipment and yeah that's the next one right there um it's just a quick fetch let's just knock that out see if we can snag the main loot and then We'll head back. Not gonna do a full on clear the whole place out job though, cause the inventory is a little bit filled up right now. By the way, we've got that crafting skill magazine bottle. Yes, two into Forge Ahead. We're up to 27 on that, but we're still uh, just a mile away from what we really need. And that's the chem station, uh, just over halfway there. All right, tier two fetch here at Bombshell News. Let's hit it. Where's the satchel anyway? It's up. Oh, this is a big old place right here, isn't it? It is in this corner, um, at, at the top, somewhere over there, I guess. You know what? Time for a nerd poll. Oh, and they put a spike trap right there just to deter me. Not gonna work, guys. I'm still gonna snag all this stuff. Yeah, not much for my efforts anyway. A little bit of food. And if I'm lucky, a forge ahead? Not quite. Okay, all set here. Oh, I got your damn stuff there, but oh, a machine gun. That was well worth it. I'm gonna snag that and I'll get, I don't know, what's closest by? A red barn, bed and bath, sure. That's a clear area though, so we'll have to kind of take our time a little bit on that one. At least it's pretty close by. It's right over there. I probably walked through there half a dozen times by now. Ah, this place. So at a bare minimum, we can get that working stiff tool van over there. And I'm finding the best way to get home is actually just to bail off the edge here and ride through the canal. All right, there we go. Back at the base, everything's put away. Got the new AK-47. And otherwise, I think we're good to go. We could, at this point, I think we probably need to do a little bit of mining work. I need to get some clay soil. We need to make up some more cobblestone. Just want to get ready for the the next horde night. So just to, so whoop, 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 start getting some resources together a little bit. And uh, we have a good opportunity to do that because over to the southwest there's a treasure map and now that i have an eye candy i'm kind of keen on checking that out all right here we are pulling up on the treasure spot here just gonna hold down the emergency brake so that doesn't roll off on me good i wanted to check and see can i make a better shovel at this point I think I found enough of the magazines that, yeah, I think I can harvest up a few things here and get that crafted. All right, do definitely keep an eye out for massive wandering hordes, and I'm going to build myself just a little 
safety column here in case it comes down to it. I'm also just going to mark off the perimeter of the treasure here so that I can more easily find out where it is. Because as the radius shrinks down on this, it's going to shrink toward one of these blocks, and that's where I need to dig toward. And then we'll start in the middle here. Okay, so far we've had one radius reduction, and we're moving in... Yeah, I would say we're moving pretty much in this direction over here. I'm going to start digging that way. Yeah, we're still moving this way. I just double-checked. I'm going to just go all the way until the perimeter of the circle now. Oh my god, I went right directly to it! What a lucky find. And we'll do the eye candy for this, and then... I'm gonna scoot over to the mission there as fast as possible and see if we can get to the main loot on that while we're under the influence of the eye candy. All right, lightning round time. Okay, this is the spot right here. We'll check the mail on the way out. Tier two clear at the Red Bath and Barn something. Let's hit it. I recall some parts of, oh yeah, I know where I am now. Oh, hello there. Wakey, wakey. Big Mama can still tank a couple of hits with this, but I gotta say the increased power here is noticeable. What do we pull out of this? Some steel and a Handyland book. Good. Yeah, I'm not so much worried about killing all of the zombies right now. I just want to get to the main loot first and we can backtrack if we have to. Run, 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 run. Oh, I sprained a leg. No way. You know, it's, I feel like deja vu. I've definitely done that before in another life, I think. Just leveled up though. Jeez, that's what I get for being in a hurry. Whatever, we're doing this the easy way. Wake up. Yeah, I have a sense that the loot's gonna be down here. Man, I'm kind of hurting here. And I've kind of got a lot of zombies on me right now. It's all right, I got an AK-47 with 45 bullets in it. Ah, and it's got you guys' name on it. Take that. Still got the eye candy. We're doing good. And Great Heist book, 10% more damage to safes, not bad. Ergonomic grip, just crafted one of those this morning, thank you very much. And an extra bandage, which I can put on. Okay, and now we just kind of backtrack. All right, I'm in a bit of a bind right now. One, two, three, four, five cotton plants for, I think, five cloth fragments. Then we turn that into one duct tape, and then we gotta do 10 more. Two, three, four, five, ten. Check the mail while I'm at it. Forge ahead, very nice. And there we go, I can make a splint, which with my physician skill will cure my sprain. And I have an extra bandage here that we can just top off on hit points, and I'm suddenly doing very good. Alright, let's finish this place off. There we go. Mission complete. We can get our quest before the end of the day. I will just take some time though and make sure I'm getting all the cloth and stuff that I can. Oh, a gun safe. Nice. First try. You know, I'm really... The lockpicking skill is growing on me. But that was terrible there. All right, let's get that quest reward. Hey, Bobby, what you got for me this time? Ooh, okay. Some pretty good stuff here. I'd say we're, we're pretty good on construction. I'm okay with the stone axe for now. Pipe bombs I can make myself. Crafting skill magazine bundle pretty good. But I'll take the pistol, I suppose. We do have a whole bunch of nine mil we could use. And what do you think? One more job for tomorrow? Mm, no, I don't like the sound of those. We'll wait. We'll pick one up later on. And restock day should be tomorrow. Oh my goodness. I'm just back at the base here. <laughs> this is my old dump chest, which I forgot that there was even stuff in there. I, where did I get all this stuff? Oh, that's the stuff that was in, I think, that chest from the day that we did all of the, the passing gases and the, the auto parts places. That would have helped when I did the big sell-off, but we'll be doing another sell-off here pretty soon. All right, let me get organized here for a little bit, and I think probably tonight we'll do some construction around here. All right, here we go. Forges are running. I've been carrying around that stupid pipe pistol all day long for no particular reason at all. Put that stuff away. I've got a torch. I've got a lantern crafting, so that'll give us a little bit better light, but let's come down here. It's just an absolute mess down here, like all these old door frames and studs need to be taken down. We need to figure out a way, like a permanent way in and out of the base. And I think going right up through the elevator is best because look, that'll bring us up right here. This will be our little entrance. I think it'll look pretty cool. We'll just have to, you know, get everything flushed up nicely. Okay, I have attracted though. There he is right there, a dog. Hopefully that's not part of some kind of a larger horde. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. We're looking relatively clear out here. Yeah, just a couple zombies wandering around. No big deal. All right, it's time for some demo work. And apparently some zombie killing sprinkled in between.
how about that? That was pretty fun to get all of that kind of done in one sitting. Now, if we come over here to the elevator, there is now a ladder going all the way to the bottom. And this can sort of deposit you on any level that you wish. The zombies can make it up to this level. And I'm pretty sure that that's what they would do, what they will do. Maybe we'll do some sort of a fighting position right here. And the whole bottom is pretty much done up as well. I think there was just one level there. I think it's the next level. There's still a lot of work to get the studs ripped off the wall. But um, I'm going to wait on that just because I don't know. I didn't want to keep the same old layout. Um, I think nice open concept is probably better. But this central support column, I think, is pretty important. And it's only made out of iron down here. So I might need to come up with a system to shore this up replace that with some steel because that's just not gonna hold if uh if there's a couple cops here or something like that by the way there was a whole bunch of cops here last night along with a bunch of other zombies and at this point we're doing so good on water and glue and tape and all that i'll start just bringing some water with me for hydration stamina bonus stuff like that and uh, just like that, I think we're ready to head out for the day. Oh, we do have to do a trader run. Okay, maybe we're not ready to head out. Let me get this stuff repaired. We'll sell some of it off, maybe. You gotta love it when you're in the scrap and pipe era because it's just so easy to repair everything. A handful of pipes, a handful of scrap iron, and repair all. All right, this morning we're gonna start off with Trader Joel, and I do have some skill points. We could maybe, I think, could we put one more into... No, we can't. We Okay, yeah, of course, intellect level 10 there. But we've got two points here. I don't think I'm quite ready right now to go back into agility, so let's just keep on pumping intellect for now. Check the vending machines first for another sugar butt. Oh, I didn't bring the money with me, which was a big mistake. <laughs> Why wasn't that in, in the cell box? Oh, well, anyway, maybe... Oh, yeah, we'll get some dukes from him. And this time, we, we just got the coal. I don't need this stuff. I will go with the pipe bombs. And we can do some more tier ones for him. Something close by, please. I've Southwest, passing gas door number four. Speed. Yeah, we can do that. And your refreshed inventory. He's got a cigar. I can craft cigars, though. So I'll just wait until I find a bear. Kill the bear, get the testosterone, and we'll work on it from there. And just going through here, first pass, I don't see anything that I want. Nothing at all. He's got a look. He's got a few eggs. I'll, I'll take the eggs, I guess. And he's got a little bit of cobblestone. I'll t it's just so dirt cheap. 300 cost. That's 30 blocks yeah, worth of cobblestone. No brainer to me. And that's it. All right, let's just crank out a few jobs then for him. I'll stash my sellables in what do, what do you have around here <laughs> that's a container a car an untouched car with a vehicle book in it very good i'll take that stuff and then the rest of this don't let me forget that i've put a whole bunch of good sellables in here we'll just come and do the sell off here someday someday in a couple maybe next time he restocks or uh oh. <laughs> would you pick what side of the freaking wall you want to be on here oh my god I gotta open the door close the door open the door close the door <laughs> All right, let's go to the pass. It's right there. Didn't have very far to go. All right, let's do this lickety split. And <laughs> big man, you mind getting out of the way so I can get my loot out of here? All right, all good here. All right, a quest reward for that one, please. We'll take the glue once again. Another job to the north. <laughs> Another passing gas. I've already, I think I got three, four vehicle books out of that last one. We're gonna be making out pretty good here. On our way to the 4x4. All right, we've already done all these passing gas stores so often, although this one looks real fresh to me. I don't know if I've ever seen this place before. Well, let's uh, let's let's double do the uh, the ATM and these things, the empty gas pumps here. First try, nice. Oh, $1,300, wow. Okay, smile, asshole. I'll take that sign, please. And I'll also take that sign, please. And I'll snag that. Uh, what do you guys think about having a recipe for a working vending machine? Do you think that would be kind of a cool thing to have or what? Because I've been kind of thinking about it, having our own vending machine in the base. Like, what would the rules be? Maybe it requires, I don't know, 10 of a certain type of candy to make it or I don't know. Let me know what you think about that, though. A couple of repair kits. All right, I think we're ready to basically do that all over again. Gotta get the drone camera out of the way first. Doesn't like it when the drone's too close. We're into the second ATM 375. Not a good one on that one, that's for sure. All right, I... I don't know about this place. Let's, let's go in here and look around, see what's going on. 
place is brand spanking new to me, which is exciting. What's going on back here anyway? Blueberry pie in the food pile. Very nice. Lucky day. Ooh. The garage here. Dog somewhere or... Killer Joe. Oh boy. Oh, a whole bunch of zombies. All at once here. Three. Take that. Oh, oh, the main loose right here. <laughs> Stumbled right into it. I figured it would be on the roof or something. And the main chest has for us a burning shaft mod, which probably should go on to this, although I like the mods I have on there. Okay, so where's the last of you here? On the rooftop or is, is dog? Dog. Also known as glue. Oh, I just leveled up too, just sorting through some garbage. Gotta love it when that happens. All well, the inventory is getting bogged down, but I do think we might be able to squeeze one more little job in for Joel there. Ugh, okay. Yeah, preferably a fetch, something that's not gonna really encumber me too much. All right, I'd say we're making out pretty good today. One more quest reward. What you got for me? Duct tape. War 762. Let's go with that. One more job. Oh, so far away. Way off to the west. Places we've probably already been before. Duress, Nated Domicile, no, the Wet's residence. Or this clear to the west. Another passing gas. Okay. I guess in keeping with the theme, we'll do that last one. Okay, this is the one. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is the one right next to home. Okay, so I might not even go back over to Joel's. Just save the fuel and we'll just clear this place out. We've already... Oh, but that's my working vending machine. Anything good in here? Water. 360. Yeah, I'll take the water. And hit it. Oh, no. We lost our working vending machine. No. Okay, last time we did this, yeah, we had a biker there. Come on over here, my friends. Drop you a pipe bomb and open it up and run. There we go. Oh, that time he lost his arms and legs. Bo lost a little bit of everything, too. Is that it? Nope. Still a couple downstairs, it seems, although that should open things up for me a little bit. Come on, guys. Up here, please. Nice. Main stuff here. Oh, a purifier mod. I just bought one of those. And another vehicle adventure up to 63. Man, we are flying through that set. The question is, what are we going to do tonight? Well, park it right here grab up everything I can and we'll figure that out. You know what I want to do tonight is see if we can get started on a garden. I have a whole bunch of seeds. Let's see. Farm, plot, blocks. How many though? Three. We need more nitrate powder, which we need that anyway in order to do the gunpowder stuff. So let's find ourselves a nitrate node somewhere nearby. Right across the street from Trader Bob's. Right there. All right. I found the nitrate. I'm gonna spend a few hours here collecting, uh, I don't know, a thousand or so of this stuff. Okay, I think that's enough nitrate for my liking. I just, I see off in the distance there, there's an airdrop. So I'm just gonna hop on the bike and swing out there while we're right here in the neighborhood. Oh, here it is. This is where we fought that biker that one time. It's also close to where we dug up the treasure. Here it is. What do we get here? Okay, forge ahead. Crafting skill magazine bundle with two tech planet, two vehicle adventures, two medical journals. Basically the, the only three things I'm specced into. A cloth armor bundle with some armor magazines, and the rest of this I can just sell, some vitamins, and that's it. Alright, there's actually another airdrop that's way out here. I kind of had put off going out here because it's a waste of gas and kind of a waste of time, but I've got gas and I've got time now, so I'm gonna go out here and get it. I think this one was from several days ago. What's this one got for us? Another crafting skill magazine bundle with the forge ahead, electrical traps, rifle world, blueberry pie, I'll take that now. Melee Mods Bundle, which is good for... Oh, a weighted head, which is not too bad. I'll take the rest. All right, let's head back home now, unpack our stuff, and I'll get ready for tomorrow's broadcast. But anyway, thank you very much for tuning in to Hope Radio, and I will catch you, hopefully, in the next one. Good morning, post-apocalypse, and welcome back to Hope Radio, where together we survive. Special shout out to my new friend Cap, who we managed to rescue a couple of days ago, but he also bore bad news. Bandits are loose and they're wreaking havoc on these small campsites. Bandits have entered the area. All survivors out there should arm themselves and fortify their homes. Over the next couple of days, I'll be looking into robotics to give me some extra firepower, and I'll be striving for a chemistry station to get ready for fuel production. But for now, this is Tim Ricky signing off. All right, so in order to get into the robotics age here, we're gonna have to do some resource production. So if I take a look at this and robotics, so the sledge, 
We need more iron. We need more duct tape. But we've been doing good on the duct tape and purchasing tape and glue and things like that. So I think we can get that. And we've got the robotics parts. We'll hold off on the robotic turret for a little while because, look, it's just, you know, more parts, tape, steel, and it's only a level four. So we'll wait until we can get the level five on that, craft it once, and be done with it. All right, so open up the forge. We're going to need more clay. We're going to need more iron. Do that. Smelt it into forged iron. More fuel for the fire. Make 27 glue. Fire this one up and get me some more water. And while I'm right here, let's get the money into the inventory now that we have more than 5,000 dukes. Uh, number one, because we're going to be at the trader. We're going to need to buy some fuel, I think, because I think probably buying it is more time efficient than wrenching it at this rate. And I did make up this little tiny garden last night, and I think we'll expand that a little bit uh, as we see fit. These are good to go. And so now with the, the, the Duke trick in the pocket, I should be able to dive off here. No problem. All right. Fingers crossed. I might just, you know, take it easy for this first one. Here we go. Let's try this one. Ah, that worked good. All right. Let's head over to Trader Joel. We've got to get our bundle quest reward from him and open up the tier twos. All right, here we are rolling up on Joel's. It's kind of a wasted trip out here. We're just here for the quest reward, essentially. We're not here to sell. We're not here to buy. Well, we'll buy some gas, I guess. Hey, Joel. Okay, quest reward first. We're going to have to go with water, I guess. As much as I would love the Molotovs, the water is going to lead to glue production. And for our bundle reward, mods, scrap armor. We could shift into heavy armor now that we have the, the right book for that. The urban combat book. Armor doesn't slow you down in combat. That's really not much... Uh, wood right there yeah let's go with the water filters save us a couple thousand dukes buying those and a special job to the west yeah, one click so away hey you it's trader money. bob thanks joel was really wondering where that guy was okay what do you okay so just the tier one jobs and this is not gonna be okay anything i want to do is it nope nothing okay that's fair enough we'll be back tomorrow to do is it tomorrow uh trader day tomorrow no not not trader day tomorrow but we'll be back tomorrow to see to check on the tier twos anyway and i'll be here checking on the vending machine and such could do skull crusher um we could also do nerd tats but i you know the nerd tats and the repulsor mod they don't jive the way i would like them to so i don't think i'll be stocking up on those and i'll actually stock up on some sugar butts too since i'm right here and um more and more, I'm thinking there's no better place to store these things than just here at the trader. <laughs> Leave it where I need it. And I almost forgot. I just wanted to check and see. Do you have any gasoline, buddy? A little bit. Okay, I could buy the entire chunk of it right now. We could, I could actually go get an awesome sauce and all that stuff. But we'll try to just do like a minimalist approach for now. And... Um, you know, benefit from the awesome sauce, the sugar butts, and all that stuff all at once. In fact, I should have just gotten the Magnum, the pipe pistol, out of here to do that, but I forgot. It's okay. It's okay. We'll survive up to 45%. All right. I guess we're doing quests for Trader Bob then. Oh, right here, right here. Okay, there's a cement mixer right there. That should be good for a Forge Ahead book. Just going to cautiously kind of grab this. Oh, snake. Hey, there we go. Die. Take that with me. Anything else around here? Maybe I'll pull the bike up and we'll kind of poke our head around here. Not going to loot all these. I'm not going to loot for free right now. I want to do quests. That way we have a chance for bundle rewards and such. I don't even think anyone's living here. So this one's probably mostly empty. Oh, 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 dog. Nope, oh, looks all clear here. What about in here, though? Well, just poke my head in here. You never know. They might have been renovating a little and had some tools. Ooh, some books sitting here. Hey, forge ahead. And this is actually a bookstore box with two more. Wow, more damage to deer and attack planet. And this is the garage. Oh, there's the dog box. But no one lives here, so I don't expect to see a dog. I wouldn't think. Hello? Hello? Can I open this door? Looks like it. And he just shocked out. Oh, this is a Mo Power box here. Cool. Oh my goodness, was that three robotics parts? I guess we're all set to get the drone or the or the robotic turret, I should say. Okay, that was a good little mini loot. Let's try this one. I can see a passing gas box right there, along with a whole main loot and some zombies. And this door is 30k. And that's oh door. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be too easy. Here we go. Quick little cheeky main loot. Just odds and ends so far. A little bit of first aid. A wheel. What a surprise there. 
bunch of books in here. Accidentally read one that I'd already read. I could have sold that, but that's okay. Check this garbage and take the polymer. All right, roll it on. I, that stupid nurse just gave me an abrasion. You know what, actually? We're right here on this half of town and we haven't done the working stiff tool yet. It's just over there. Let's do the working stiff tools this morning. Yeah, this is the one. And I think there's a whole bunch of working stiffs boxes that are in the back there. Plus there's some supplies here that we could take with us. All right, I know I said I'm not looting for free, but I'll loot this place for free. Sand and fertilizer. Is that a good source of nitrate? I can't say that I recall. All right, I'm of a mind to just completely clear this place out then. Let's do this. Okay, and it looks like that will do it. Hit the button. I should open things up. I'll start out here so I don't forget, but there is a working stiff tool crate back here that I've already broken into. Four steel tool parts. Interesting find there. That's a pretty hefty amount. Snag that. Grab the main loot here. Remove 20% more arrows and junk from your targets with archery. There's a forge ahead book there. Another one there. Okay, doing great. Oh boy, if we could just get this as a quest again someday. Last crate over here. One more. Nice. Okay, what are we at now? 39. I think we need 50. Okay, give me that and let's go. We've actually, we've really got to go stash our inventory. It is completely filled up and so is the bike. Yeah, look at the stuff that I've pulled out of here so far. I even found some dye, which I find kind of interesting. It's quite rare. 28 potted plants. I'm not sure if I want to use those for decoration or for clay soil though. Anyway, let's go. Well, the plan was to go to Trader Bob and see what his quests are today. That's still the plan, but we got to stop home first and resupply. And just on my way through here, I can see that I've missed a bunch of steel vending machines and gas pumps. Gonna just blow through this stuff. All right, just keep your fingers crossed that Bobby has the right mission for us. Well, as usual, Bobby has just the worst, like, residential missions for us that I could even imagine. There is the Sweet Honeypot Farms, and I know that there are some books in there, so I will take that one. Ah, I think the key is probably going to be with Trader Joel, getting the Tier 2s and then the Tier 3s with him, and that way, you know, we'll have even better chance. And, and that stuff is on his side of town anyway, the stuff that we want to do, except for the Mopower. Yeah, maybe we'll run across that eventually. But, okay, Honeypot Farm, straight over there. I guess we can knock that out. Yep, this is the spot. You can't miss it. I've already checked the mail here. I will grab up some golden rod, and that should be good to help make some mineral water for us. There we go. And I'll take this and do it all over again. Yep, this is the room I was thinking of because I seem to recall... I mean, I, I dip my head in here from time to time just to grab these couple of books and magazines here. Wood Splitter Mod already have one. Don't think I need to craft any more, hopefully. And who's waiting in there? Nobody today. Okay. Wow. No, he's hiding around the corner. Uh, long... Where did you come from? I've never seen anyone hiding up there before. Now I'm suspicious. What's up there? Hello? Oh, a zombie. I bet he's waiting to drop down on me over here somewhere. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to fall down. Hold on. All right, back on the intended pathway. Businessman, slow down, buddy. Oops. So last night, I think I did get the third and final double pocket mod crafted. Two, four, six. Yeah, that's where I have all these inventory slots opened up to me right now. Ah. Man, businessman. <laughs> businessman's all over me today. 
but I know the trick over here, and it uh, it involves a pipe bomb. <laughs> so let's just make sure that they wake up. They're awake, and take that. <laughs> oh, nice! Some more golden rod for our mineral water needs, and some more honey for my infection needs. All right, who's in here? Why don't you all just come to the door? We'll do this the easy way again. One, two, three, and open it. There we go. Oh, you want some of this too? <laughs> Take that. Got myself a loot bag here too with a treasure map. Let's just check that out and see where that's going to send me. That will be... Oh, uh, kind of right over there by the NDC checkpoint where we rescued Cap at. All right. Also, ooh, did I miss the supplies? Oh, the supplies are in here. They are right up there. Good, so that portion is done. Let's skip this part and do the underground portion before nightfall so that just in case, you know, we have some time to react. All right, just step down here and do this nice and quietly. Yeah, oh, there we go. Somebody standing on the toilet. Hello there, just you two. Yeah, I guess it is. Oh, like I said, time to react. I hear pitter-patter up here. Who is it? Oh, there's a big horde running in here. Yep, yep. Oh, they're clustered up over... I, I think they're trying to break into the barn here. Quick, we've got to hold the line here. Hold the door. They are in. We're going to do this with pipe bombs. Nice and easy. There's even ferals in there. Take that. Take that. Open. And there we go. That did something. 8,800 XP. Come on up here, Arlene business, man. Not today, buddy. I thought I already made that abundantly clear. Okay, a couple more. Wow, I think, I think I just killed that entire horde in like three seconds flat. One more. Look out. Arlene. Nice. And three skill points to spend. I, I have this weird habit of not spending skill points and I'll probably continue forgetting to do them. I want to I can't, I, I'm too anxious to make correct decisions right now. <laughs> we gotta finish looting this place. Encumbered by 10 at nightfall. At least we don't have a, a horde bearing down on us. And in the main loot chest here, okay, good set of pad leg armor. I'll take that. Okay, good enough for this place. Let's get the heck out of here and go home. Okay, so I've just been crafting here. I got two new dew collectors rolling in and 22 duct tape and try as I might, Right now, the glue situation is really good. 37 extra glue and I can make a whole bunch more. It's the cloth. The cloth to make the duct tape is what's really holding things back right now. I do have the capacity to make a little bit of paint. I'm gonna experiment with this because I think I can also make dye. I can, 10 paint a piece for dye. So let's just, <laughs> let's just work on cosmetics for a little while. I got nothing else to do tonight. I guess t what else we have to do tonight is like, see if we can get a situation where the zombies can't, or like wh where we can fight the zombies off right here. Some kind of like a um, mini fighting position here, just in case a horde rolls up on us. And then eventually in preparation for potential bandit attacks, I think having a like shoring up this outer wall out here is is like part of the renovation project. We've got to get this place all buttoned up. All right, I worked on the die situation a little bit. Tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Thematic, I guess we'll say. It doesn't look too great though. Ah, we'll work on it. It'll look better, better when we get some military armor. Okay, so now in the safety of our home here, let's spend those skill points. If I do Robotics Inventor, does that mean those things are going to be cheaper to make? Because that would be really nice. I don't think that's the case, though. Uh, alternatively, we could do Better Barter, and that would help us in the buying and selling department. And we do have quite a sell chest going, along with all the stuff that we have over at Joel's. Yeah, I mean, seeing how we're still like 20 or so duct tape off from getting enough to make the robotics sledge Jeez. okay we gotta focus on some cloth tomorrow well for now then i will take those skill points into better barter one two three there we go all done all right well let's see if we can get some sort of a fighting position built up yeah this is the spot right here and i'm already seeing that 
the block plane situation is just a wreck. Okay. Oh, a feral. Who is this? Lawbind. Get out of here, Lawbind. Okay, and morning has just arrived. We'll we'll get a move on in just a second. No hurry. I gotta wait until Joel opens anyway. Go. Oh, everything's just in the way. Okay, some something to that effect, I guess. I'm not gonna overthink this too much. You know, at maximum, we're gonna have to fight. 30 or 40 zombies here with the option of just, you know, getting on the ground level and running away, I guess. But kind of as per usual for me, I'll just do it into wood right now until I get to test it out. And then we'll decide on a f on finalizing it or not from there. So I think that will do it. Everything deserves a test run before you put it into cobblestone and concrete. I got the dew collectors down up here last night. Not sure if that's going to be the final configuration, although the more I think about it, I, I think I'll probably take like this stuff off and, or or some we'll have some sort of like a skylight or you know just open air up here I don't want to be confined in here I like the nice open air okay pure mineral water can go straight to the hot bar how are we looking here fed hydrated we're topped off on ammo we got the money we are good to go let's go see Joel and the garden is growing nice Somehow I've just blown right by this little passing gas here every single time. Looks like Joel is just about to open. Here we go. Let me in. Wake up, Joel. All right. Good morning. Good morning, Trader Joel. Let's see here. Check your inventory. No, I think we're good on that. Check your jobs. What do you got here? A bunch of restore powers. PB me. machining. Okay. Can you help me with Crack a book. Problem? That is the one. Okay. What else does he have, though? Have he has a restore power at the working stiffs. He also has the shady swine. Not sure what that is. And our best moments. I don't know what that is either. All right. Here we go, though. Crack a book time. Finally. We've been waiting for this moment since, what was it, like day two when we cleared that place out? All right, let's go knock that out real quick. And uh, yeah, okay, we'll have to see how things shake out in terms of what we find for magazines and then sort of see what we want to do from there. <laughs> All right, here we are at the crack of book. I'm back. All right, so we're going to have to see how things shake out here. I just said that, but basically, let's hit it. Um... I'm just gonna gather everyone up here. This is my preferred way of doing this anyway. And the ones in the ceiling, maybe grab those guys too. All right, <laughs> zombie's moving fast here. Let's probably turn around and fight them off a little bit. All right, out we go. Wide open spaces here. Oh, <laughs> send them back to the window. Get back inside. There we go. Okay, knock that crawler out. And I think we're good for this level. Yeah, we're gonna have to decide what we're gonna do here after this because we might unlock the level five junk turret. Or robotic turret but what we could also continue with the plan to just use all of our duct tape on the robotic sledge we could also unlock the chemistry station by doing this and that's gonna i don't even know what that requires that's gonna oh geez we're gonna need a beaker for that and a freaking bunch of acid oh geez yeah i don't think uh, i don't know if we can do that or not i don't even know if i can hit that bird with an arrow <laughs> what the hell is going on here Come on now. There we go. All right. Everybody in here. Ow, wake up. Man, fast mover. Yeah, there's, there's a real lucky find here. I wasn't exactly anticipating it. Oh, hello there. Guess I'll just crawl right in here with these girls. And I am charged up and ready for this guy. Where is he? Oh, I thought he was going to be at the foot of the bed like he usually is. My bad. Okay, let me let me just see what's in this first. Okay, not much. What do you expect? All right, let me loot all of this stuff up. I'll meet you back downstairs and we'll go through the magazines. Hey, lucky blueberry pie. All right, just taking some final things apart here. You see anything else here that's made out of cloth? I've taken down some curtains and stuff, but yeah, cloth. Got to get this everywhere we can at this point. I, I didn't realize just until like today, basically, how important that is. And I'm incredibly over encumbered and the bike is full. So let's sort through the magazine so that we can lighten the load a little bit here. Okay, so that's pretty much it right there. Okay, so basically, if we look at our skill points, the only skill points I've selected that influence magazines at all would be lock picking for workstations, grease monkey for vehicle adventures, physician for the, the medicine one, and robotics and uh, electrocutioner for the tech planet books. And that netted me 
seven tech planets, six vehicle adventures, and 14 forge aheads for some reason that it was really weighted in that direction there. Well, I think, is that gonna get me to 50? Definitely. 54, unlocking the chemistry station. Vehicle adventures gets me to 73, which unlocks the four by four. And let's see if those tech planet books will get me Yes, Robotic Turret Quality 5. Other than that, I got a couple of books here. I got an Art of Mining book, Automatic Weapons book, and I think that's just about it. A couple books I'm going to sell. Oh, there's the good Ranger's Guide to Archery book where you can shoot uh, zombies in the leg and slow them down. I love that book. One of my favorites of all the books. Okay, so big win there to get that crack of book once again. A huge leap forward in the crafting skill. However, my looting has fallen behind because I don't have a, well, I don't have acid and I don't have, what's the other thing, a beaker. And that's gonna be really rough to find here, but we have a day with which to do it. The acid I'm not so worried about because I have read Wasteland Treasures Volume 3, I believe, let me double check on that. Yes, harvest acid from cars and medical equipment. So if, if all else fails, I could just wrench down cars all day long we need the fuel anyway get the acid that way so but for now let's focus on the beaker because if i can't get the beaker it ain't worth it trying to get anything else you know where you get beakers though you get them out of main loot chests like a tier four tier five chest and if it isn't navas gain general hospital right here <laughs> oh i got a bad feeling about this i'm gonna need some frames for this project all right we got zombies up here or what Yes, we do. Ah, I got the drop on him too. Okay, yeah, and if we don't pull it out of the main loot here, maybe we go into the surgery room because there's all those chemistry piles over there. Okay, that's, that's sounding like a good idea. This is where we need to be for sure. Some people out there might question my methods, but hey, at least I'm trying to get the job done. All right, drone camera is in position to give me some, uh, aerial surveillance here you definitely have zombies if i'm lucky i might be able to sneak attack a few of them oh, i wish there was some kind of a candy that helped my archery skills we'll go for birds first i think and i'll go for i don't know female zombies are they weaker the the, the squishy little ones like not bikers basically all right everyone's just running all over the place now <laughs> They're probably going to go knock out my pillar, so keep an eye on that for me. Uh-oh, one of them's going to try and jump. Oh, <laughs> no, thank you, guys. Go ahead and... No, 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 no. I don't want them to be down there. Oh, jeez, oh, we got to get off of here. Okay, holy crap, we're here. Just get some pipe bombs over there for those guys. And light one. And then as soon as they blow... Go, 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 go. Open fire. Yes! I win! We do have barrels, though. Nice arrow in your eyeball, buddy. All right, it ain't over yet. A couple of them ran around, so I don't I don't know where they're going to be. I'm going to head down here to the main loot. Our way down is still intact here. Okay, well, they... I think if they come up the stairs, they'll come up to this door and we'll have a chance to react. All right, first try into that chest there. Let's open this chest here and then I'll take an eye candy. There we go. We're in. Doing good here so far. Get rid of the pine cones, please. We do... I think there's a zombie that came to the door over here. Okay, that'll hold. Let's see what we get here. A little bit of money. Poppin' Pills crates also have a chance for a beaker. Oh my goodness, there it is. Okay, well, what's in this anyway? Probably another beaker. Hey, a forgetting elixir. That's gonna come in super handy. And a dart trap bundle, which will get us started on the dart trap for the base. We'll get that hooked up tomorrow. A little bit of food in there, junk food anyway. Last crate here, good for a little bit of junk medicine stuff. Okay, start getting rid of some stuff here. Start reading, got a couple more forge ahead. Scrap those and scrap, take and read. I like to just blab a little bit when I'm nervous. Oh, I've already put an arrow into her skull, so to finish things off, this is Sylvia Bathory. Goodbye. Now that's what I call some like controlled cheesing right there. All right, down we go. Trying to recycle all of my frames on the way down and oh, here we are, ground level. Okay, so that that's one problem down. Oh, some steel over here. 
Ah, my lockpicking skill failed me. I used all my lockpicks on this stupid ATM. Ah, whatever. It pisses me off, man. I spend all those skill three skill points into lockpicking and I break seven lockpicks on one ATM. All right. Well, that's fair enough. Let's go get our quest reward. And then we got to solve the acid problem. Hello, Joel. Go, what do you got man. for me here? Crafting skill magazine bundle kind of sounds like the one for me. Let's take it. And another job. Ah, restore power at the working stiffs. Um, that's going to net me probably at least five of the, um, the workstation books, Forge Ahead. I guess I'll take that. And I guess for, to, for the rest of the day today, we just won't quest. We'll just look around and see if we can find some acid somewhere. Okay, there's a nurse zombie running around. It's just a wandering horde here. Hey, hey, what are you guys all beating on over here? Where are you? Uh oh, there they are. How many of you are there? Oh, a cop. Oh my goodness, they're all over the place back here. Okay, um, if you can hear this, come this way. Well, I don't want y'all spread out like this. Can you kind of, oh, geez, spitting. Uh, all right, I'm gonna risk it here. Um, yeah, let's take one of these for the extra stamina regeneration. Oh, I've got money. Money means mega crush. Yeah, let's do this one. Ah, whoa, where'd you come from? Ah, go away. All right, whoops, uh, I can basically fly. Ow. Oh my God, man, those guys take forever to kill. I think that just about does it though. Nope, there's there's one more I think that's inside that clambered his way in. There he is. All right, that gets the heart rate going a little bit. Let's check the loot bags. Four of them this time. Very nice. Do I even have the inventory space for them or what? All right, there we go. Read that Forge Ahead book and yeah, we gotta go home and stash the inventory at a minimum here. All right, everything is put away to the best of my ability. Let's collect up all the water here and just get everything rolling again. Oh, look, I can make meat stew. I got, I, I apparently found enough books to unlock that. Also do vegetable stew. Yeah, it doesn't matter either way. I'm held back by potatoes. I'll take a couple of meat stew. Oh my goodness, that just takes so long. Okay, well that is officially now the food fireplace and this one over here is gonna be the water and glue fireplace. And let's see what, how we're doing on the tape. All right, we can get nine more. Robotic turret. Oh, 200 steel. Okay, that's not happening today for sure. We do have the robotics parts now to do both of these, but we're gonna be far short on duct tape as well. So I think we'll we'll aim for sledge. That'll help out on Horde Night next uh, couple in a couple days anyway and so okay what do we need to do then we just need what do we need more cloth i guess is that what i'm yeah i've run out of freaking cloth again oh boy nine more i need 90 more cloth which is not too bad that's like three t-shirts also need the five acid no we need four acid and we've got the beaker is there anything else that we'll need though for the chemistry station because i'm only making one trip okay three cooking pots we've got the pipes yeah we're good three cooking pots coming up all right i'm hurting pretty bad though let's just get a first aid kit open up this magazine bundle for another couple forge ahead tech planet explosive magazines i also have this piece of chest armor which is good for a couple of extra armor rating and my padded chest armor was about to break anyway so i feel like that's that's fine it was only level two to begin with and I could actually scrap that for 38 cloth. Okay, that gets us a third of the way there for the duct tape we need. Okay, we are on a mission now to get cloth. And, oh, you know what? We can get cloth from cars. So all we need to do now is wrench cars until we get four more acid. That's going to take a while. I, I think on paper it's a 20, 25% chance. I don't quite remember something something like that. It might even be 10%. Okay, so this could take quite a while. Well... Let the epic car harvesting montage begin. There it is, number four. Okay, let's finish this one off though. 
All right, let's go home. We've got a robotic turret to craft, but we also have to craft the chemistry station and two additional vehicle adventures just from searching cars up to 75 on that. Okay, need the cooking pots and some extra forged iron there. There we go. Okay, chemistry station. Get that rolling and robotic sledge. What are we missing here? Uh, two more duct tape. I can do two duct tape. I can do like 19 duct tape. All right, that'll do it. Level five robotic sledge coming right up. Well, and like probably tomorrow sometime. Well, that was it for that. Let's go burn through the restore power then. Might as well. Okay, we're back and we don't need to do the whole thing. We just need to get to the main loot, get the get the power boxes, the, the working stiff tools boxes, and that's that's pretty much that. All right, restore power, let's hit it. Okay, where are you guys? We gotta do this before another wandering horde shows up. Killer Joe, you pervert, what are you doing in the woman's bathroom? Okay, without a doubt, there's another big fight waiting for me here like there was last time. Oh, clever ones. Oh, I've, <laughs> I've done this exact thing before. Wait for him to come up here. Impromptu horde base. And for the ones that don't cooperate, explosives. All right, that's that. And Killer Joe, get your ass back down here or your head, either way. This is the last one. And then we'll do up the generator, which is, I think it's probably in here. Where is it? Oh, it's the big one around back, I see. There we go, power restored, and that, that hopefully, yeah, turned all the lights on, I think. Oh, oh, and there's more, more people here. My bad, I thought we were done with people in the POI, ah! Away! Yeah, we're done now. All right, how close can we get to the crucible today? Not very close, I'm, not, I'm only pulling a couple out here. How about the main chest here, ooh. Pretty bad. I think I already have a set of quality six legs as well, so that's no good. I already have the impact bracing mods, so that's... Wait, no, nope. no, I do not. I thought I did. There we go. Slap those on. I guess that's a little bit of a win. The impact bracing mod is good for two extra meters. The 5,000 dukes from that great heist book is good for 15, and parkour, I think, in total is worth four fall distance. So you get about, you know, 20 or so total. Three forge aheads gets me up to 62 out of 75. Wow, actually, we're getting pretty damn close there. Couple more, you know, bundle rewards and I think we'll have it. All right, well, that's it for this place, I think. I'm pretty sure we still have kind of ages to wait on our crafted stuff back home, so I'm not really in any hurry to get there. We'll gather up some clay and some nitrate and I'll meet you back there in a couple hours. All right, I've just made it back to the base and I'm about to repair up the motorcycle because it's been in pretty rough shape here for quite a while. All fixed up there though, almost out of gas. However, I just checked and the chemistry station is almost done. I'm not starting our next broadcast until it's finished and on the ground somewhere. I guess in the meantime, I probably should look for some real estate for it because it's already getting kind of tight up here. Just checking on resources for tomorrow. I think we're gonna do a lot of tree chopping so that we can make wood frames because the majority of the base being a tower base can just be wood because like that, the whole middle portion of the support columns really shouldn't be targeted too much. I mean, you know, the ones that are like the zombie ladders, I'll make those as strong as I can. But so that's pretty much the plan. We're going to find another forest around here somewhere. I mean, there's trees all over the place. We'll get plenty of wood and then we'll probably have to do some clay digging as well so that we can make some more cobblestone. Just going to preemptively get these wooden blocks made up and give me that chem station right there. We'll do. We've got 400 oil shale. I do have plenty of fuel. So that fuel right there will probably get us to the desert biome and back for a big oil shale mining adventure. But here we go. <laughs> Oh, 800 or so gas there. Jeez, that's loud. We can do the glue a little bit more efficiently. And while we're at it, let's get some gunpowder made up. Whoa, jeez, turn that crap off. All right, we got one thing left, the turret. Like I said, we're not leaving until the mission is complete. I guess what I'll start working on is, yeah, make sure that um, we can kind of tear some of this off because uh, I don't want it, I want it to be nice and open up here, but I don't want it to be all destroyed stuff. We want some nice, clean edges. All right, well, that's one pass around here. That'll do for now, I think. All right, there it is, the level five drone sledge, and I've got a spot on the hotbar for him already. 
see if I can put any mods on though. Um, uh, we got a grave digger to get started with. That's okay. How about some slick red paint for it? And there it is. Mission complete for this episode. The chem station and the turret. But anyway, my friends, thank you very much for tuning into this broadcast of Hope Radio, and I will catch you hopefully in the next one. Good morning, post-apocalypse, and welcome back to Hope Radio, where together we survive. After a productive day obtaining the robotic sledge and chemistry station, the attention now turns to the impending Horde Knight. I'll be working with traders to gear up, then harvesting resources for a massive buildup at the base. We'll need stronger supports, extra ladders, and most importantly, electricity. But if anyone out there is in need of assistance, be sure to call for aid. For now, this is Tim Recky, signing off. All right, let's start things off today by doing a quick trader run. Last I checked, the cell box was pretty much full. Okay, so let me then... Have I switched over to scrap armor a little bit yet? Not yet. Okay, I need to switch over to a little bit of scrap armor, I think. I'll get this stuff repaired up, pack up the motorcycle, and we'll head out. And before I go too far, I'm going to make myself a couple of things here. Generator, little bit of forged iron, cement mixer. And with that, I think we're pretty much ready to go. Everything is repaired up to my liking. Let's just jump down here, hop on the motorcycle. And I'm out of fuel, so I gotta run back upstairs and get some. The chemistry station is still rolling. Let's try this again. Jump down here, refuel, and let's get out of here. All right, here you go. Park it right here. It sure feels good to move at full speed on the motorcycle. We don't have to really conserve fuel as much anymore. Okay, but first things first. Okay, yeah, fortunately all of that stuff, or just about all of it anyway, is fully repaired. I need to continue stashing my stuff here somewhere. I gotta get it all out of the motorcycle. Okay, and I'm gonna hopefully need to get myself an awesome sauce. Nice. What else you got here? Rock busters? Can use that a little bit later when we're doing some tree chopping or, you know, tree mining, I guess you could refer to it as, because the Rockbusters works on trees too. And yep, stack up my inventory. We're gonna have to do like a lightning selling round, purchasing, and then try to fly over to Trader Bob's again. I had like 30 seconds to spare last time. It's gonna be pretty close. All right, we'll start off with a quest reward. I will take the forged steel, although Ah, you're making things complicated, Joel. Now I gotta go stash more stuff. <laughs> we'll figure this out eventually. Okay, yes, we want the steel because that's gonna get us closer to getting the robotic turret. And that's all I get from him. What do you got for jobs today, though? He doesn't really have anything that I want, and I don't want to do jobs today anyway. So, never mind. Let's check your inventory. I do believe today was trader day. Okay, I have a general sense of what I want to buy. Nothing crazy here. So let's get things properly situated here. Okay, get that out of the way. Get me a pipe pistol. It's, there's one in the car over here, along with my sugar butts. Okay, we're, we're gonna go for maximum sell profit. In fact, I do think I have a skill point or two this morning, and I was going to go into robotics, but we could also just do better barter, for one. <laughs> we we gotta do calculated attack, too. Uh, maybe we'll do that instead of robotics. I feel like... It's a toss up here. Now, pretty soon though, I'm gonna do the forgetting elixir and I'm gonna get myself out of lock picking and into advanced engineering and maybe even spare a couple of points over into agility and we'll start kind of packing some points into gunslinger. I do have a nice pistol and if I spend my points properly and get the right mods, it could replace the AK-47. But in the interest of melee being, you know, our primary means of defense on Horde Knight and that's what's coming up next, we'll do calculated attack for one. And with that, let's drink down. Well, we'll do the sugar butts first. It lasts longer, six minutes there. And an awesome sauce for three minutes. And then we gotta do the lightning sell off. Okay, grab up my extra goodies here. Please all fit into the inventory. No, it didn't fit. Okay, round number three, I can tell already. This is not going to work. We're not gonna quite make it in time. Uh, do the best we can though. Okay, purchasing time. Triple mod. Leather boots. Glue. I'll even take the cloth, honestly. Water. Corn. Potatoes. Uh, we'll take seeds, I think, as well. Take the Molotovs. And let's try to make it over to the other guy. Not looking good. We got a minute to get there. Yeah, we did not make it. We were off by about 30 seconds. Hey, I got a... 
What did I do for you? I Oh, we did the red barn and bath and place thing. Yeah, anyway, so let's check your job. Well, no, let's do the, the trader thing right now since we do have some other buffs that are active. The sugar butts is. I'll take his bellows, bolotovs, gunpowder, cobblestone. I will even take the concrete mix, some oil shale, vehicle book, water, mushrooms. I'm going to snag up one of these forgetting elixirs just so that I have another one and i'll take the leather hood kind of debatable whether i i want to go into the steel age it's just the stamina use is so dramatically higher than the stone axe i think i'll just suffer through the stone axe right, yeah. okay I, I i did definitely make some mistakes there in my haste i probably should have waited until i had a an awesome sauce to benefit from to get that forgetting elixir but it is what it is i'm still swimming in cash right now i have like 10 grand and nothing left to purchase or spend my money on for another three days oh no my goodness I had another 13,000 dukes in my motor. So, oh my God, we are really swimming in money. Look at this. That's amazing. I don't even think I need to carry that much. I only need about 5,000 on me at a time. Right. Okay. With that, we got some upgrades at armor and we've got the triple mod and some Molotovs, which I think, I don't know. Let's go with Molotovs on the hot bar. It's really good for dealing with hordes. I mean, pipe bombs are great, but let's mix it up a little and then I'll, I'll make a final decision on what I like the best. Okay, new leather boots on, new leather hood on, new triple pocket mod on. We've only got one row left to unlock. All right, now we got to get some resources. Basically, I'm just going to start over here, kind of close to the old WKYA Hope radio station and chop down every tree in sight. So it turns out we do have a project to work on tonight. Let's get that water collected up real quick. Throw that in there and have a look at this robotic turret. We I'm making a bunch of duct tape will be up to 27. So we need, you know, on the order of two or 300 cloth to make the rest of the duct tape. I have plenty of glue. I've got like 60 or 70 glue right now, but 30 forged steel. And as much as I don't like getting steel out of lamp posts, I do feel like we need to do that tonight. We don't really have much else to do unless we want to build in the dark, which I don't. Oh, hey there, Dan. Dan the soldier man. Don't break things, please. That guy's pretty tough. Okay, so we need to probably do like a house, like clear a house and then do all of the lamp posts kind of like on the way home. I think there are some houses right over here. I need to craft the vehicle off-road headlights too. I keep forgetting to do that. But yeah, can we get like a tier three, tier two house over here? The goldsmith residence. Yeah, let's try this place. We'll have a little bit of a fight in the dark here. I'm not interested in your preordained pathways. Just let me in. Oh, it's this place. Should be plenty of beds and couches and stuff here though. Ah, I fell for the trap. Oh, crap. I knew exactly where I was and I still did it. All right. He's going to swim on over here to me, buddy. Come on up here. Isn't there? Of course there is. Another guy right there. Wooden crate here. Forge a headbook here up to 63. We're going to get that crucible in no time, and then we won't have to worry about lampposts or anything ever again. Unfortunately, by then I'll have probably crafted everything I need <laughs> with steel anyway. You know what would be a great source for the cloth is that savage country that I've driven by a couple of times downtown. After this place, I'm going to head over there and see if there's a good amount of clothing in there that we can take. This is... Uh, it's We're doing okay here, 80 or so. Just not... Well, on second thought, we might do pretty well here. Oh my... Wow. Hello. Oh, I, I'm suddenly surrounded. Oh boy. Get back. All right, let's get down here and see how this performs. Whoop. Ah. Did I just kill her with the axe? That's crazy. Come on, turret. You're bailing me. You let three people walk right by you. Okay. Gotta get the distance right, I guess. Too late now. Oh no, it's just a hidden stash. That's nice. But where's the main stash? Oh, there's an attic here. I see. Really? 
really nothing up here though. How do we make out for cloth at least? Scrap those bandages. 139, that's about half of what we need. So I don't know. Do we go across town and see if we can raid that uh, savage country downtown at night? Well, it's almost morning. Yeah, I suppose let's do that. These houses are boring to me. Is that the place? It's not, but there's a little crack a book there. Oh, I didn't even know about this place. Oh, Munch's carpet. Is that the carpet place? Is there maybe some cloth in here? That took a minute to get in here. Okay, let's find out. Are these cloth? They are. Oh, this is going to be a really good source of cloth then. Okay, just like that, we're up to like 300, and I haven't even done the top floor yet, and there's the bookstore next door, so... And good, I was hungry, so it's good to get that little bit of food here. No, this is not a bookstore, this is just a moving place. I think it's upstairs, maybe? I don't know. I guess I'll take that. Yeah, see, situations like that right there make me think that I do need to put a point into calculated attack. We need to pump that up more, because... I'm getting overwhelmed sometimes without, you know, when I'm waiting for the stun baton to charge up. Oh! Hello there, Arlene. And I don't, where did you guys come from? I guess zombies just dropping down on me from everywhere. Okay, the thing is about calculated attack, though, is that I'm going to use stamina a little bit more quickly. Is there anybody dangerous up here, or are we good? Ah, yes, they are in the ceiling. What's new? Okay, that increased attack speed does feel pretty nice though. Right, oh, the question still remains though. What about the bookstore next door? I don't know that I really have the time. I might just mark this and the next time we're rolling through here, I will figure out what's going on up there. Uh, or it looks like I can get right through that window. Oh yes, oh, this place, right. Okay, yeah, that's, there's a lot of books here actually. Okay, last one here. The bookstore is complete. I did get two forge aheads. I've been reading everything else because I'm quite encumbered. There is a back room I'm gonna poke my head into, and this place is called Richard Munch's Plaza, so I'm gonna start looking for that when we get into the tier four quests. It looks like I'm going through the place backwards because he was, he was waiting to ambush me coming from that direction over there. All right, I've woken a couple of zombies up. Let's just get these last couple of boxes and get out of here. All right, one more there for the forge ahead, and let's grab this. Okay, explosives, good, and we're going home now. Okay, that should be good for just an absolute boatload of duct tape. Yes, we can do 52, so we'll go 26 in my inventory and 26 in the workbench. Then here in my general box, I have all the wood frames we need for construction, the generator, the dart traps, darts, and the trigger plates. And I'll bring a little bit of gasoline with me, and I think there's more in the bike. I made up some new concrete mix. That reminds me, we should probably also bring all of the cobblestone and all of the mix that we have. Ah, shoot, I forgot about the steel. Ah, crap. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to get the turret for tonight. What, what can we do for turret ammo anyway? Because uh, that's going to that's gonna make a big difference. I'd rather use the turret than I would the sledge on Horde Knight because we don't really have a good place built in for the sledge. But yeah, only 300 ammo held back by the lead. Let's just go with the regular ammo for, for now. Ah, okay, time to do some stupid lamp posts. Yeah. There it is, that's 30 forged steel. And we'll craft the turret, and we'll remember to come back and get that before Horde Night. But other than that, we're heading over to the other base to do construction. Okay, to start things off with, let's get rid of these because the dart traps are gonna go in here. We're just gonna wire up one side for today. In fact, I'm gonna put the generator over here, sort of, and I will get this all kind of dressed up a little bit prettier at some point. So, okay, refuel that. Okay, and then we need blade traps, and I believe if I just do, like, on face rotation, I can get this in a situation where it's pointing up, just like this. And then I also do believe that if I put a trigger plate on here, the zombies will just run right up, hit the trigger, turn the dart trap on for, let's say, three seconds or something. And whoops, I did forget my wire tool. Oh geez, I'll hike over there and get it. Okay, so if I hook the generator up into the trigger plate, oh don't, don't give me that red line. 
Yep, and then hook this into that, and we'll say delay of two seconds, because we'll give the zombie time to get onto the ladder, and a duration of uh, five seconds. There we go. Everything should be hooked up and powered. We'll just toss a couple of darts in here, and we will focus on dart production some other time. So the reason, basically, that I got the two forget elixirs now is because I kind of have an idea that it might be fruitful for us to, to like, reclass over into strength fill up minor 69er and mother load with those points do just a t absolute ton like a full 24 hours of mining and then switch back over to intellect like the next night and we could we could just try to get like all of our resources like we'll get oil shale we'll get iron we'll go out to the desert we'll do a whole bunch of mining out there or something i don't know i, I haven't fully thought this through but for now no more thinking. We need to start building. Get this stuff out of the way here. And with that, I can now kind of show you the final configuration for how this is all going to work. Because, you know, four blocks alone plus the ladder not doesn't look good, for one, and is not going to function well into the later stages here. So I need first the... Not the boot shape. I need, like, the corner boot shape. Oh, boy. You ever get in a situation where you know what you need, but you don't know what it's called, <laughs> and you can't find it because there's just too many shapes now? Oh, there it is right there. Wedge 60 corner tip cube quarter. <laughs> okay, then. That's the one I'm looking for, though. Oh, actually, I'm doing this like this. I think this will look pretty cool as, like, a little foot, and we'll do the same thing just upside down at the top so it kind of... I don't know, architecturally, it looks like it's it's um, more of a supportive shape and structure. And then basically the idea is to just do quarters, kind of like this, and we'll do the same thing all the way to the top. Just getting all those down so I can copy shape and just run them up later. And then there's the question of what to do in the middle, and I've got just the blocks for this. Okay, it's taken me a minute to settle on a design for this, but I think... I think that's looking good. If we just repeat that all the way to the top, let's see how that looks. Basically, I have four shapes. There's these two uh, wedge 60 split lefts, and I have two wedge 60 split rights, and they're all a different configuration. So it's basically one, two, three, four, and right up to the tippy top. All right, let's take a step back and just see how that's looking. Ooh, that's looking nice. Before I go any further though, I don't want to forget about this important part up here, which is to upgrade these, because these are the, the ones that are connected to bedrock. I suppose this now is connected to bedrock too. So these are the load bearing blocks right here. In fact, just, just go straight up to concrete. The whole top up here is whole, held off of these shapes here. So it's incredibly important that these remain fully upgraded. Okay, so for the next several minutes, I'm just going to repeat what I've been doing here and see if we can get as much of this done as possible before the horde arrives. All right, with that project out of the way, I was hoping to get the kind of corner columns all the way up, but we're gonna run out of time. I need to run back to the base, get the turret, get the ammo, everything else I need for Horde Knight, and I'll meet you back in position. Okay, first things first, turn on the generator. It's very quiet, I have to double check that it's running. And is this working? It's cycling. Oh, we gotta lock ammo. Okay, as soon as we lock ammo, it should be good. This is more just a proof of concept thing anyway. I don't expect that to you know, change the course of the battle here. Okay, up into our final position here, and I think I can probably just, uh, oops, all these torches. <laughs> the torches are bad. Here, put the torches outside. And let's also put a torch here and right there. Always want good lighting, because you don't want to miss out on good information that you might otherwise miss in the dark. So let's, I don't, I'm not completely sold on this block here. I am... I do need to get this fully upgraded, though. And as I was stating before, this is a load-bearing block right there, so it's very important that that be fully upgraded and <laughs> repaired, for that matter. And another load-bearing... No, I think everything else is pretty good. Everything else is just kind of suspended here. And I do think that that will pretty much do it. Let's just get this upgraded a little bit here. I, I kind of... I'm, I'm not sure if I'm sold on this design because I was trying to think of what block would go on the corner if I was going to wrap it around the other side, and I don't know what that block would be. But this right here is going to be our turret spot, so we'll just kind of pop around the corner and drop this guy right here, and we'll reload him a couple of times. I don't have a whole lot of ammo, though, so, you know, 
gonna get limited utility out of that. And in terms of up here, yes, just conduct a few slight repairs and I think that's just about it. We could, uh, if birds become an issue, I could just pick the turret up and we do the trick where we just kind of go yoink, just like that, and let them kind of sit on the rooftop and shoot birds for me. Uh, to be determined on that one though. All right, survivors, the day 14 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Alright, going pretty well so far. I think Junk Turret probably ran out of ammo there. He did. The mutated zombies are here, so we may be suffering from radiation damage periodically. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. This is one of the coolest bases I've ever seen. Once we get it running in full swing, I think it'll be even better. I can't wait to, like, stress test it, too, against all the tough zombies. So from here, yeah, it looks like the darts are doing quite a lot of damage. It seems like they get a really good angle on them as they crawl up the, the ladder there. Although sometimes they just, they trigger it and then they run off. So, you know, not Im imperfect, but pretty good, I'd say. All right, well, there's not much to do now except just fight them off as they trickle up here and just keep an eye out for any weaknesses. But for now, let's do this. Okay, all is quiet now. So I did hear the last dog died. There were a ton of dogs here on this Horde night, whereas we didn't get any on the last one. There were also birds, there were bikers and mutated. Overall, a much more destructive and uh, dangerous Horde. However, they didn't even stand a chance. This base is awesome. I do believe it is safe to go downstairs. Maybe just check on things a little bit here. The mutated zombies, I think, did most of the damage around here. That's going to be something to account for eventually. And uh, just surveying the ladder on the way down here. A little bit of damage here and there, but nothing significant. Okay, yeah, that's definitely still working. It wasn't working quite as much as I thought it would. Uh, I think sometimes the zombies, they ran up, they jumped off, they ran around, they, they came up this ladder, or they came up this staircase and went up this ladder. So... One solution might be, if I can just please stop stepping on the, the darts here. One solution could, oh, let's just turn this off actually, now that I'm thinking about it, turn off. Uh, right, one solution might be this. We put a block in to kind of block the path on the corner and that would give even more stability all the way up to the top too. Okay, yeah, definitely something to consider. We gotta do that whole, and that'll actually, now that I think about it, it'll match what we're doing right here because we're gonna do the quarter block all the way to the top on this side. And it looks like the dogs were getting stuck up in, I'll call this the zipper here because it kind of reminds me of what a zipper looks like. And uh, that's fine. Oh, they did knock out 
one piece there, which is supposed to be that one. Okay, we can get that fixed. Oh, they broke another one up there. These bastards. How did they get that? Oh my god, they... Oh, I don't know what's going on here, but that... That suddenly is quite concerning to me. You know what we could do, though? Is um, put some windows on the front so that uh, that won't happen again. Because I think they were like... The dogs were climbing on top of each other. They were climbing up onto this, then they were climbing up onto that, and getting stuck in these little portions here. But I've got the perfect solution for that. The bulletproof windows. So essentially, we could run these all the way to the top. Now, what's that going to look like there? Okay, that looks... That looks pretty good, honestly. I, I could definitely live with that. All right, something to work on for next week anyway. Let's clean up these loot bags before they disappear on us. Not very many of them. I think there were just three in there, plus the two that I picked up that fell right in front of me up at the fighting position. Well, I'm right here. Let's finish what we started and run these columns all the way to the top. All right, there you have it. I just finished it off, and that's what it looks like in the morning light. It's almost so big that it's hard to kind of get a look at it, but uh, I think it's looking pretty good. That's pretty much it. All we have to do is just upgrade it now and get it painted, and we'll work on, like, the top box portion a little bit, get that dressed up with some trim as well. Overall, I'm really enjoying the sort of simplicity of this base, both in terms of resources and in terms of mechanics. All we have to do is just keep an eye on the zombies, make sure they're not bashing holes in the ladder or if there's explosive demolition zombies make sure they're not like blowing up on the ladder i don't think that the dart trap is gonna put us at risk for that but yeah i'd say that horde night was a great success i cannot wait to see this base all painted up really looking forward to that we could maybe even look at look into doing that uh, for the next horde night because in terms of construction this is pretty much done we gotta work on traps is really the only thing traps lighting uh, foundation work make sure that we have like a nice strong pad here we do have to see we'll, we'll do some experiments to see if we can find a way to deal with the dogs more efficiently and then blade traps I'm gonna line the blade traps in a big long row out this way we'll do three rows of blade traps and that way when I uh, blast them off the edge there with stun repulsion they'll just land into a sea of blade traps and if you guys have any ideas on how to improve it make sure you uh, leave me a broadcast down below otherwise i'm gonna get ready for my morning broadcast and i will catch you guys hopefully in the next one good morning post-apocalypse and welcome back to hope radio where together we survive and may i have your attention please our horde base held quite well last night but the design is not viable against bandit raiders who are undoubtedly on their way to the local area. So I'm calling upon any expert builders out there to meet with me in a few days to help with construction. We're going to turn John's Ham Radios into the Bastion of Hope, a safeguard for all survivors and a last defense against marauders. And in the meantime, I'm going to use mind-altering chemicals to get all the resources I can. But for now, this is Temreki, signing off. Right, yes, we're going to take down these couple of forget elixirs today, and we're going to go to a massive mining expedition. But in order to do that successfully, we're also going to have to get a new tool. And fortunately, I saw that, uh, oh, geez, who was it? It must have been Trader Bob. I think he's selling a level four steel pickaxe. So I'm going to go purchase that today. All right, I've gathered up everything. There's a little bit of stuff that I can sell, so... Oh my goodness, there's a huge wandering horde right here already. <laughs> all right, well, jumping on down. Let's see what these guys can do before I spec out of all of my combat perks. A Molotov into that crowd over there. Oh, let's do this. Yep, I'm basically invincible. It's great. Finish you off. Oh, and one more loot bag. She pooped out for me. Nice. Shotgun book there. Morning breakfast in here. Bunch of crap in that one. And the sharp sticks. There we go. All right, let's go over to Trader Bob's. 
All right, here we are, Trader Bobs. I said we were doing great, too easy. We're o overpowered. We're invincible, except I'm fatigued and infected. So, you know, there's that. All right, good morning, Bobby. Oh, also, yeah, let's just check Thanks your jobs you. real fast and see if you have anything that we like. No, I can tell right now everything's on this side of town, so it's not going to be the Mo Power or the Crack Book, anything like that. You know, just like freaking farms and stuff like that. No thanks. Your inventory, though, please. Yes, there it is. That steel pickaxe. Okay, how are you doing on the sugar butt? Yeah, I'll grab those and for uh, awesome sauce front pretty good. Did I get oh I did I got antibiotics and I got vitamins out of those loot bags today. Yeah, let's just fix that. I believe I also got a spare bandage to top me off. Nice. Yeah, I suppose we could also get the fire axe while we're at it and the ratchet. Do you think that's probably worth it just to just upgrade all of our tools flat out right now? I think it's probably you? worth it. Let's do it. We, we got a whole bunch of money, not a whole lot to spend it on either. So we'll do awesome sauce, sugar butts. And I got my trusty Magnum here for another 5% bonus. And I'll take your pickaxe, your fire axe, and your ratchet. And you know what? Just to save on steel for now, let's go ahead and grab those four blade traps right there. That's relatively inexpensive. And there's a couple of things here I'll just sell off to him real fast. No big deal here. Some extra books and some money. All right, good deal. I wish there was uh, more that we could do. I mean, we could fly to the other side of town, but we've already been there and bought everything that we wanted. So no real sense to do it. Okay, let's go grab our supplies then from the base and then we'll head off to the desert. When we were over at the hospital doing the main loot there, I did see off into the north that's where this the desert biome is and that's where we need to go to get the oil shale okay i think we're just about ready to go here i'm gonna pick up the last couple of blackstrap coffees i did forget to look for rock busters at the vending machine there but that's fine let's see here reset all your skills i suppose okay and we'll reset those back to intellect here in another 24 hours or so but for now I'm gonna pump strength. Oh, you know what? I can I can still craft a cigar. I just I haven't seen a bear to get the testosterone, so uh oh, we don't need to go that far, do we? No, we only need to go until we can get level five here, which I think was level seven, so uh, I wasted a bunch of skill points there. But I will also, with the leftovers, I'll take a few points into electrocutioner so that we have some melee combat ability. No, chances are we will find a wandering horde out there. Okay, I think that does it. Let's hit the road and go to the desert. Not a moment too soon, too. A storm's rolling in. All right, here we are rolling up on the desert. It took a lot longer to get out here than I thought it would, but we've made it. We're at 47% fuel, so we should have enough for the return journey, I hope. But that's pretty much why we're here. We're out here to get oil shale, and hopefully we can find some iron, nitrate, and lead. Not going to be any coal out here, so we might try to hit up some coal on the way home. And oh my goodness... Is that a trader? What the hell? <laughs> it's Trader Bob. Trader Bob hanging out here in the desert. Not Trader Bob, sorry. This must be uh, Trader Bob's uh, cousin there, Trader Rob. All right, well, we've got another chance to pull some good items out of here. I did bring the money with me. And we got another vending machine here we can check, which does not have any what rock busters. Day. Hello, Trader Robbie. Check your inventory, see if you have anything good for me. Nerdy glasses, please. Nope. Crap. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. We're not missing out on a damn thing out here, except for maybe a wood splitter mod. Do I? I, I don't think I have one of those. Oh, I do. It's on the pickaxe. Okay, that's fine. Well, he's got some glue, which is... Oh, but suddenly I don't have the better barter points, so <laughs> I'd have to pay full price for him. That's okay. 900 for 15 glue. I think that's worth it. Nope. Thanks, that will do here. it. Not really here. unfortunate because, you know, this uh, we've got high trader stage with him, I think. Plus, oh no, the reason why we're not getting good loot is because we don't have the high trader stage. Because I've taken all the points out of Daring Adventurer. Okay. <laughs> That makes a lot more sense now. Okay, so the only thing to do now is... Yeah, look how freaking far that was. It doesn't look too far on the map, but it felt pretty far, you know, doing it myself. Whoa, whoa, got a runner here. After a rabbit that somehow died over there. Okay, we want to pick a mining site that's pretty close by here, so I'm just going to kind of roll out. I did see some stuff on the way through. There's some oil shale here. And there's a bunch of nodes over here. Oh, there's nodes everywhere here. This is like an oil shale, massive oil shale deposit with iron over here. And lead and nitrate. Okay. This is the glory hole then. <laughs> this is where we spend the rest of the day and night, I think. All right, here we go. Nothing left to do now but take the, the one power up, really, which is the blackstrap coffee. And let's get to work on some mining here. I already put the mods onto the pickaxe. So let's start over here at the oil shale.
All right, I've already sorted everything away into the boxes, but have a look at this. Oh my goodness, five full stacks of iron. We've got a full stack of nitrate, wood, stone, lead, and I did pick up a little bit of coal on the way home, but not as much as I would like. We might need to continue mining that at some other time, but everything else I think we're all set on permanently. So that just leaves the forgetting elixir one more time. Let's get out of strength because it's not doing very much good for us in terms of anything else except for mining. Back into intellect. However, this time I'm going to start putting some points into advanced engineering. I'm ready to start unlocking some of those trap books that we were talking about not wanting earlier. We've been doing pretty good, but uh, we've still got to unlock sensors, which is going to be like spotlights and trigger plates and all the things that we need for our base. And we haven't even unlocked any traps yet. So we're going to need stuff to get electric fences, dart traps, blade traps, turrets, everything. The question really is, do I just want to bite the bullet and go 10 into intellect and kind of pick up the pieces from there? Because uh, that's going to let us get just all the best things like double quest rewards, the euthanizer perk from the physician tree. And then if we get the nerdy glasses, we'll just splurge on another forgetting elixir and then retool our intellect points so we get those three back from this point right here. Okay, so what I want to do now, immediately, I think probably the most important one to get is going to be the full Daring Adventurer. I will go probably three into Electrocutioner. We'll do three into Advanced Engineering. Let's this time do... Oh, I'm, I'm going to forget something here, and it's <laughs> something very important that I should be taking points in. Nah, let's just do five into Physician, so we get that Euthanizer perk. That's a 10% chance to just instantly kill a zombie when you hit them. Oh, the, the yes, the Grease Monkey points. That's what we're getting out of, basically. We don't really need that stuff anymore. I'm not very keen on getting the uh, the 4x4 or the Gyrocopter. It'd be a nice luxury item, but I'm more interested in the Crucible right now. But let's try to make full use of our Physician perk there by doing three into Calculated Attack, and then I'll just do... I guess one more into Electrocutioner and hopefully we'll level up a few more times. We'll get some more points into robotics. We'll go back into better barter and all that stuff. All right, good enough. Okay, you think I got enough friggin' locked slots in my inventory or what? I don't know if I need that much stuff with me or not. Top off on bullets because I, I spent a few while I was out there. A couple wandering hordes showed up. Hey, hey, some pumpkin cheesecake. Nice. Oh, with the beer, the one beer that I have. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. I'll, I guess I'll craft that. And now it's time to probably do some questing. It looks like this is actually ready here. Good. We'll turn that into some, some kind of a stew later on. Yeah, let's do some questing. It's also trader day today. It is. Yes. Yeah, so we can check on at least one or two of the traders. And now that I have maxed out Daring Adventurer, we should be seeing the best inventory items possible pretty much unless we continue leveling up our quest tier. All right, good morning, Bobby. I just uh, met your brother, Robbie, out there. Nice guy. He didn't have anything I wanted, though. What do you have? How goes it? Change well, as mind. per the usual, his quests kind of stink here. So I guess we'll do right, the closest man. one, the Bert work England residence. He does have an Iron Breaker mod, which, oh my god, mining was such a pain because on regular ore like nitrate, it would hit it from 600 hit points down to two. That's how close I was from one-shotting ore. So, in other words, give me that. That'll help out a little bit in case we need to do any more mining anyway. And otherwise, wow, just a complete disappointment here. Eh. Oh well, I don't have any better barter points anyway, so I don't plan on doing a big sell-off or big purchasing spree anytime soon. Well, to the Bert Ungland residence. All right, rolling up on the place right here. Yep, Bert England residence. I've already checked the mail here, so let's just hit it and check it again. There we go, lucky looter book, more medical supplies in the loot. All right, all right, what's the deal here? Front door, unlocked, let's do this. Good morning, Builder Bob. Steven, nice to see you guys here. Businessman, where'd you come from? A bit of charred meat there. Also, an airdrop coming in somewhere. I do want to get eyes on that. You guys stay in there for a second. That would be way to the north. Don't worry, businessman. I'm back. Okay, looks like basement is the way to go. Ooh, jack-o'-lantern. Yes, I'll take that. I think. Yeah, there we go. What do we got going on out down here? Uh, hello? Oh, there they are. Wow, a whole bunch of them. Stand back. <laughs> Hang in there, lumberjack. Oh, you, jeez, this, this thing has some power, doesn't it? Hey, is that the main loot already? I haven't even gone upstairs yet. Well, I guess I'll grab the loot. There are a couple zombies awake somewhere. 
quite a mess in here. Oh, look at the table saw. They've been chopping people up in here. That's disgusting. Well, we got the main chest here with a nice pipe machine gun in it. Plug here, trash. Okay, that seems to be about it for this place. Yep, just looting up this back room over here. Nothing special in here, but there might be... Like, what, what, what exactly was going on here? So... Oh, is this like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing? Bert England. Who is that? Uh, why does that sound familiar? I've definitely get like, th these are all the people that he kidnapped, right? And then he sawed them up over here on the table and... Oh, geez. Yeah, this I've got some major Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibes going on here. Well, completely encumbered here already. Whoop. What happened? Oh, geez. Tommy. <laughs> Why didn't you wake up the first time I walked by here? Oh my god, well, let's just stash our stuff in there. Oh, there's a whole bunch more oil shale in there as well. I forgot to actually get that crafting. We'll do that just in a, just a second here. I'm sure that there's still someone here that I need to take care of before we can leave. Yeah, there's that guy. Who's in there? Whoa! Get back. Okay, last little spot here. Hello. Ooh, I don't know what the hell happened there. <laughs> like, a, like a double hit. Like I hit her with the... the the butt of the stun baton, and then I hit her with the top of it after that. And our supply satchel seems to be buried in here somewhere. What's going on? Here we go. Strange things were going on here, that is for sure. But we are done with this place. Let's head back to the trader. All right, should get two quest rewards here at least. Get a crafting skill magazine bundle for one, and let's do claw hammer for another. Or I could craft a claw hammer probably well it saves me a second anyway i'll take it and then a tier two clear zombies at the goldsmith residence now okay aha the goldsmith residence i thought that name sounded familiar we were just here a couple of days ago trying to get some uh what was it cloth we were trying to get cloth here all right well it's already cleared out so let's hit it i'll check the mail again we'll head right in spear hunter book basically worthless but one less book i'm looking for then okay whoop garage door is unlocked all right i guess maybe this is the way to go Right, we're not gonna fall for the same trap we fell for last time. In fact, we'll do this place just lickety split. Hey, a mining book and a forge ahead. Off to a great start here. Oh my goodness, nerdy glasses. Oh, sorry, I just had a little bit of a meltdown there. My goodness. I, oh no, I just spent all the skill points too. Ah, crap. Okay, well now we're, we're definitely in the market for a forgetting elixir again, so I can get those three skill points back out of intellect. Mr. and Mrs. Goldsmith, you guys are a lifesaver. Whoop, oh, good, goodbye, Tommy. I'll be down there in a minute. Hang in there. You coming back up? All right. Whoops. Don't teleport me into the wall, please. <laughs> Steven. Put Steven into the wall instead. Oh, yeah, he's stuck in there now. Oh, there he is. Hello there. Goodbye. All right, last batch of zombies should be up here. I'm not sure how I swung twice and killed three zombies, but <laughs> that's how that one worked. Oh, maybe that was the uh, the physician skill, the euthanizer. Maybe I like just had a glancing hit on Thomas there and killed him with it. I will say this is this is quite the tool here. All right, we'll grab the hidden stash here. Just a little bit of ammo in there, and it says the last zombie is up. All right, up into the attic. Last oh, couple of zombies here. Jumped me a little bit. Get back. main chest we're still pulling pipe batons out left and right and that's for flaming arrows and crossbow bolts 2x scope mod and that's it all right time for a quest reward let's go okay bobby what you got for me this time here another claw hammer we'll take i think probably it's going to be forged steel and oh boy i guess just hunting knife we'll sell it later and I'm not particularly interested in your jobs that are halfway across the planet, so I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, look at that. Just leveled up, too. Uh, excuse me? What's going on here? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta work on your door, man. Get the WD-40 out. All right, well, it's time for a little bit of a reset. Let's see here. I'm crafting all kinds of gasoline in there. That's good. And uh, we're smelting down iron in here. Otherwise, yeah, I don't think there's too much that we can do. So let me just get things reset and uh, we'll come up with a project for the night. For that crafting skill magazine bundle, we're going to get traps, wiring, and tech planets. And that did unlock the electric fence, dart, and blade trap. Okay, for tonight, why don't we resolve to just get some stuff cleaned up around here? This place is an absolute junkyard right now. So let's do... 
Let's do a, a little bit of a project here. I sent out the radio call this morning to ask for some help. I'd like to get some someone over here that knows what they're doing, some sort of a professional contractor to come and see if we can get this place a little bit more fortified because bandits are going to be here eventually. I can, I, I would bet my life on it. Probably a poor choice of words there, but you know what I mean. It's a tough job because my stamina with these tools is just absolutely horrendous, but I'll do the best I can. Nice and slow here. We got all night to do it. All right, just like that, a new day has dawned and I've, I've finished up doing a lot of the cleanup work around here. Um, there's still a lot to do though. There's still like those iron gates are on, on the ground there where the, the fence was broken in at some point, and then uh, hopefully we'll get that all built back up here in a couple of days. For now, though, just get the inventory sorted out, and I think we'll start off today... Jeez, we've got a couple of things, and they're, like, completely on the opposite ends of town. You've got the airdrop to the north and a treasure map to the south. I suppose I do want to check on Trader Joel. Let's try treasure map south, then Trader Joel, and we'll go from there. Oh my goodness, there it is right there. I... I went all the way down here, stopped, took a left, went all the way back around here, and uh, it was right there the whole time. There we go. Without my fancy lockpicking skill, that took several lockpicks down to two, and I wouldn't say it was really worth the time. Should have done the eye candy, I guess. I've got a couple of those just sitting in my backpack, but that's okay. We'll be heading to the vending machine right now anyway, see if we can pick up a couple more over at Trader Joel's. All right. Good morning, Trader Joel. Wake up. Okay, he does have sugar butt, take that, rock busters, take that as well, just in case we do some more mining someday. And let's see what this guy has. Okay, a couple of residentials. He's got one at this electric company and infestation at passing gas. Let's do the electric company then and check his inventory. Oh yes, he's got the leather armor. Yeah, overall he does have some traps and things but you know, nothing particularly special here i think we'll just do a few quests if for him today and for, we don't have to splurge too much get. money he'll always basically have some armor because he's the armor guy so i'm not worried about missing out on that okay that is where we're going right there the electric company maybe they'll have some mo power stuff there okay here's the spot right here i do recognize oh there's a working or a mo power truck here on the outside i'll search this immediately and try to search it again on the other side Okay, there we go. Let's hit it. This time we've got a couple more books. About the same thing that was in there the last time. Whoops. Just to toss everything in there. I'll read those couple of wiring books and... Alright, let's do this. Yeah, we're just here for the fetch, but I there's also going to be stuff here that we want to loot. So we might as well just do the whole thing. We've got company already and uh, nice uh, stone axe there. I think I'm a little bit beyond that at this point. And I do think also that this is the way that we're supposed to be going. Any breakfast in here? Cornmeal. Nice. Ooh, got, got a feral here. I guess we're into just barrels and tier twos now. Ah, got a couple of them. Okay, in that case, to the door. Give me some reinforcements here. Um, there we go. He's working now. He wasn't working the other night. And, uh, yep, yeah, give me a little bit of a few hit points here. Yep. That helps. Here, take that. Oh boy, there's a whole bunch of them here. Why are there so many zombies in here? Jeez, that was like 10 or 15 zombies. Maybe, maybe like 8 or 9. That sledge was working good though too, and even though we didn't, we don't really have any points into that, do we? Alright, I'll take that home with me. Bit of a lull here, not much going on. We do have a satchel here somewhere close by, it looks like. Maybe under the stairs? Yeah, I can see it's right there. And I do see also a Mo Power Box back there. Brilliant. Yep, mission complete. We are definitely not out of the woods yet, though. Stun Baton, not too bad. Scrap it for parts. Okay, I think, yep, we're into the main building now, which makes me feel a little bit safer. <laughs> definitely don't want to be underground when hordes show up. Literally worst case scenario. Okay, and I think that'll probably do it for the zombies. There might be some more upstairs, maybe? Yes. Oh, yeah, the main loot crowd here. Oh, with a cop. Bah! Stands no chance. Well, I wouldn't say the place was worth our time, but I wouldn't say it was a waste of time either. We got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. All right, let's go get our reward, though. All right, buddy, what you got this time? Let us visit. Forged steel, it looks like, and... 
Whatever sells for the most. Iron gloves, I suppose. I could even wear those. Wouldn't be too, too bad. You Another quickie here at the Thornbury residence? No sure. Yep, here it is right here. Ooh, this looks new. Got a dog crate too. Can we do any little uh, double looting here or... Yes, we could try the workbench back here, see if we could forge a headbook. No. Yeah, we pulled some zombies. <laughs> we'll just respawn them while we're at it. All right, what about this time? Oh, we got a, a zombie right here. Whoa, that's a cop. Spider too. Ooh, oh yeah, we got the euthanize, euthanization on that one. Okay, the garage dumps you immediately into the washroom here. The laundry room, I guess. Into the kitchen. A very quiet kitchen by the sounds of things. Aha, here's a zombie. Yeah, one thing I've noticed is I'm pulling out those medical books all over the place now because I, I've got the maxed out physician perk, so... We'll be... I guess we'll be working on our medical skills. My goodness, the stud baton is really nice. The question kind of is, is how is it gonna hold up against the rads? Once we start seeing those guys, is it gonna still do very good or, or are we gonna have to lean into the robotics a lot more? Oh boy, what do we have? Ceiling zombies. Wow, that was way too easy. Oh, a snake. Where's the terrarium? Ah, there it is. Whoa, how did you possibly live through that? I guess we're out to the deck or what's left of it here. Oh, another spider. Whoa, <laughs> nice jump. As per the usual, 10 out of 10. Yeah, I do have an indication that the zombies are up, so there must be an attic to this place. Uh, whoa, oh, oh, I see. That's cool, I like that. I do smell an ambush here though, so just be on your guard. Oh, yep, there's one. And the rest of ya, just hide behind the boxes. I thought there might be one that pops down from there, but nope, we're good. Yeah, not much in the main loot there. We've got to get out of this biome. I think that's the big problem right now. That or get some points into Lucky Looter. All right, last little bit of cloth right there, and I think we're out of here. One more quest reward. All right, Joel, one more here. We've got Night Stalker book here. Bladed weapons do more damage at night. No, I'll take the forged steel and the pipe bombs, I guess. And no more jobs. We'll wait until next time. Okay, from here, we still have a ton of time left in the day. Let's go get that airdrop real fast, and I'll think about what else we can do on the way. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, crap. You guys are gonna kill me. I didn't repair my bike, and I ran into two trees there by accident. I'm just kind of looking the other way. And yep, the bike is broken now. Is there anything I can do? Can I make a repair kit, maybe? Oh, I think... Can, can I do this? Give me that, give me that. Tape, repair kit. I'm busy. And repair. <laughs> we got 25% back. All right. First thing we do when we get home, repair the bike. Holy crap, way up here, are you joking? Come on now. What do we get? Well, crafting skill magazine bundle, couple forge ahead. Oh, three more, and we've got the crucible. Okay, that's the job for today then. We are unlocking the crucible today. And scrap armor bundle, bunch of scrap armor. Who'd have guessed? Well, there's this place here, and if I recall, I think there's a workbench or cement mixer or something in here somewhere. I have two, two skill points too, let's do that. Let's do robotics for now, and that way when I, I, I've been making some ammo for the robotic turret, and I'll grab that and we'll start working with that. Everything's locked, where am I supposed to go? Right here? <laughs> okay, I'm going in this way. All right, anybody see a forge ahead book in here? Oh, I, this is the main loot, right here. Huh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna leave now. Certainly there's more than just you in here. Yeah, here's the rest of them. Suppose I should probably deal with these guys. Oh, a crossbow. That's a good upgrade. Very nice. Okay, I think the place I was trying to get to was this part over here. Nope, this place is all buttoned up. What about up here? Whoops. Bit of a trap here. Oh boy, yes, indeed. Just get the guns out for a second. And I think we're good. Whoop! Oh. oh, damn, that did some damage. All right, any books in here at all? Maybe a couple in here? Ah, there's one. We got two more to go. Oh, workbench, come on. Yes, okay, one more. 
Okay, doing very good, but I think this place is pretty much spent. All right, Bob, what do you got for jobs today? Oh, he's got the working stiff tools. Restore power, though. Yuck. Oh, man, otherwise you're killing me here. The Burnett residence. Oh, boy. I'm not doing any of your jobs, man. Never mind. Double checking his inventory. He doesn't have one. All right, we're on our own then. Well, we can stock up on some candy while we're right here. Good. We've got to find basically like one working stiff tool chest somewhere in the world here. Oh, and speaking of rads, let's give this a try here. It's been a while. I'm a little bit eager to just see how my stuff holds up to what we're going to face here. If we're going to face anything. Nope. I think I got away with that one clean. Got a crappy hunting knife and some ammo. Yeah, maybe next time. Speaking of next time. There we go. It worked that time. All right. Let's see how this performs. Oh, euthanized. Take that. And a couple of... Oh, there's our rad right there. Come on. Oh, let's go. Get this down. Stay away from the car so the cop doesn't destroy it. Oh, there we go. Get some punches in. I like that. I think I euthanized the rad. Oh, that guy's down. Just you and me, buddy. Max corner here. Make sure we get maximum turret power here. There we go. And goodbye. Not too bad overall. You know, lost half my health, but you get ambushed by two, three rads and ferals. That's what you can expect, I think. And a first aid kit. Yeah, just slap that on. Why not? <gasps> yes, the barn. The barn over there. That's the place. This def, it has a hidden stash, it has a whole bunch of working stiff tool crates, it has workstations. This is where it will happen. I just wish I didn't have so much stuff on me right now. Let's do a steroid then. Wash it down with the mineral water so I don't dehydrate too badly. And let's do this. Oh, wait, where are all the workstations? No, I've been betrayed. Things are different here. Toolbox maybe? No. What about upstairs here? No. Oh, euthanized. Love it. Oh my god, the, the walkway is falling apart here. Ah. Yep, no workbench up here. Okay, this is where we're supposed to be going. We've got the working stiff tool crate there. That will probably have it. That guy just got euthanized. All right, fingers crossed. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, there it is. Right there, 75, unlock the crucible. We'll be crafting that in just a couple of minutes. Right after I yank the rest of the loot out of here. Never encumbered at night. That's a great book to have. All that we have left now is the hidden stash. I don't need all this crap. I just get the hidden stash and get out of here. Right up here, right down to the bottom. I think the shovel is the best tool for hay. And open this up for not much. In fact, I will just scrap that and read that and we're done. Let's go home. Okay, here we are. Crucible. What do I need for this? I'm going to need... More forged iron and otherwise we're good. All right, work on that for a little bit. It's gonna be 13 minutes, give or take. Let me get the rest of this crap sorted out. Oh, and I just unlocked the nail gun. I just read some random magazine and got that. Can I craft that too? Nail gun level one's the only one you'll ever need, I think. Craft that and there's my robotic turret ammo. All right, I got my drone back and I'm gonna load them up with the AP ammo. Let's get some repair kits and fix the bike while I'm thinking about it. Okay, well, yep, that's like 95% right there. And I also need to start loosening up the inventory. So let's start stashing some important stuff just in here so that we don't have a completely filled up inventory all the time. Time for a garden harvest. And despite the fact that I just got this crossbow, I'm going to sacrifice it just for inventory space. There we go. That's two more spots. That's that's normal for me right there. I like that. All right, there it is. The last of the forged iron crap, the crucible after this other smattering of resources that I'm making right now. No particular rush on it. I was looking around to see if there's anything I need to craft and there really isn't. The robotic drone, I think, is up next, which will... Yeah, we've got the steel for that anyway. We need a robotic part for that, of all things, and um, otherwise I think we're doing pretty good. The radio has been dead silent for the last couple of days, so unclear if anyone has heard my request for aid for building but maybe someone will turn up as a surprise. You never know. Anyway, that'll have to do it for today's broadcast on Hope Radio, and I will catch you guys hopefully in the next one.
Oh, jeez. What's that sound? I hear a 4x4 four four here. What do we got? Who's that? Them? Who goes there? It's Echo. Echo? Echo. Oh, man, I recognize that green anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I heard your call on the radio. I'm coming down, man. Awesome, man. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure if anyone uh, responded or not, but then again, I'm not here at the base like 95% of the time, so, you know. Yeah, I've got some uh, supplies and stuff that I brought with me. You know, what What are you thinking here? What's What's going on? Let's see what you got here. You've got, oh, man. Bandit platforms, corrugated metal, barbed wire, military barriers, sandbags, steel. Awesome, man. And I've got the crucible. I just got it yesterday. So we can make all kinds more steel. We can make concrete. Anything else we need, we can build. Nice. Oh, I have also got a stack of wood here and I've got some more gas if you needed it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, have a look at this place. Um, I can show you what I've done so far, which is really just not much, just basically clean up. So um, basically the word is, I don't know if you've heard or if you've seen, but there are definitely bandits in the area and I'm anticipating them kind of moving in here at some point. So I want to get this place fortified in case there's a raid here. Yeah, I have seen them around. Uh, they stayed around, you know, they stayed away from my area thus far, but uh, definitely seen them. Okay, good. So do you have any ideas for what we could do to kind of fortify here? Well, you know, they're not zombies, so we can't treat them the same way, but we do want to probably force their hand in terms of where they're going to approach the base, right? Yeah, I'm hoping that, um, you know, if I was a bandit, I would probably attack from across the canal over there because they've got plenty of cover in that building there. Yeah, I'm just looking at your walls around the out exterior here. Yeah, we got to close in these walls. Uh, we've got, we've got, we've got zombies. Do you mind helping me out with this problem over here? No, I'm, let's do it. All right, let's get the turrets down. Oh, ow, ow, God. Here we go. Your turret doesn't like me at all. <laughs> oh, it doesn't? <laughs> okay. No. I'll pick that one up. My bad. Yeah, we've had that problem before, I think. All right, looks like you've yeah. pulled a good half of them over on that side. I, I might have to get some meds from you here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Run this way. Okay, get behind the turret this time. Behind the turret. I brought my resources, but I didn't bring the meds. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need some first aid here in a second too. Boy, this is not good. I can't see. Try not to hit you. I'm trying not to hit you too, because I got the <laughs> repulsor mod, so you'll go flying. <laughs> All right, now before I bleed to death, the first aid kit. Whew. Spicy. Ooh, come here, mama. All right, I think we're clear. Clean up is good. All right, well. At least that's done, so we won't have to deal with that again for a little while. Did you need a first aid kit or something? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. There you um, go. I'll take, and if you've got a few bandages, just in case another horde wanders in, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it'll be great. Otherwise, I, I was I was fine until the turret started wailing into me. <laughs> it's got the AP ammo too, so it's gonna just melt your hit points real fast. Yeah, I was having flashbacks there for a moment. Ah, oh, there's the good stuff. Whoa, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I was thinking like maybe have multiple layers because like you get the exterior wall here but if we could maybe like fortify the windows maybe a little bit more make it so that it's more difficult for them to shoot inside mm -hmm. and then for the like the exterior wall here let's see if i can get this into some sort of a shape that uh, is going to work better like that see how that kind of just kind of like shields the the outside here yeah, especially around any of these places where bars are so that they can't see in. Yeah, because I'm wondering, you know, do we want to kind of stand on top of the wall or do we want to stand behind it or do we want to, you know, be inside? And I think being inside is probably the safest bet. I the, What I, I like is an idea, um, and maybe we carry it around the outside. I like this elevated platform up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so some sandbags we up make there this and stuff. Kind of, yeah, make this kind of a kill zone out here. So... Uh, did, I can't remember. Did I bring? Yeah, we could put barbed wire along the edge here so they kind of come over the side. Oh, like just leave this open and not even have a wall here? No, no, no. We fill in the wall, but then we make a gap and then the barbed wire. So they have to come in. We can shoot at them while they're trying to get through that open space and then they hit the barbed wire. I see. I see. Okay. So it's like a trap. They finally get through the wall and then they just into a sea of barbed wire. So if the barbed wire is, you know, around here-ish, then they're going to have to, they'll have to vault the fence while we're shooting at them. And then they've got to figure out how to deal with the barbed wire, which will give them, you know, a second thought of, oh, now what do we do? Yeah, <laughs> that'd be a great trap. All right. Sounds like a plan. Okay. We still got to fortify the ham radio station, though. Do you have any need for this back entrance, really? Do you use this? Nope, not really. 
Yeah, we could just lock the door. I mean, it's 15,000 hit points. Oh, well, then we just lock the door and we call it a day. <laughs> Armor plated. Now, in here, what we could do, it depends, you know, you've got to live here still afterwards. That's, you know, I don't want to totally wreck your house, but you could do something like at least force them do stuff like this, where they're going to have to go back and forth as they come in, have some traps in here as well. All right. Well, I'm going to get to work here on the outer wall, getting this all patched up. And do you, you want to get to work, to work on the inside? Yep, sounds like a plan. All right, let's tag team this. Well, I'm going to do the corrugated sheets. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll, like, if the bandit's right, I'll just have to axe the ladder real quick. Break the ladder. Last minute break ladder. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab some sandbags for the exterior for this little platform on the top. Are you going to make a way for your vehicle to get back in and out? Just the front door I'm making over here. This is going to be a seven by four door. Got it. You have like fancy auger skills. <laughs> Is that... It'd be nice if you could break some of these blocks for me. Yeah, that could be painful when you don't have the skills. Do you want to pull this back around the edge? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, the dirt there. Yeah, I was about to say. Why, <laughs> why don't I just step back there, buddy? Just get my stone shovel out. Oh, I like what you've done with the uh, the signs around the side here. This is harder than I thought. Try to. Get it so it like looks different, like each one is different, and I have like re-rotated and Yeah, there's a lot of love and care that goes into those little aesthetic choices like that. Just gotta tidy the place up. The bandits are gonna show up, you know. And have a nice warm reception. I apologize for you getting into your base later. It's gonna be a little bit weird. If I need to take it down for you afterwards, I will. But I think it's also gonna confuse the hell out of them when they get in here. Oh perfect. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I'm gonna throw plates over these windows here too. I mean, we need to like decide which which part we're gonna shoot from and defend from and which part we're gonna like seal up. Just get in the vehicle and mow them down. It'll be fun to watch. Yep, I'm coming. Interrupting our building, rather rude. Stun baton's just too good. It's hella good. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I will say that it keeps me laughing too, nonstop. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'll do the sandbag ring on the front here and we'll see how it looks yep kind of same thing with this we'll see how this looks and if it looks horrible well we'll take it down i'm actually going to use the military barriers instead of sandbags make like a rear oh. line here is this going to impede you if i go straight this way actually that'll be perfect and i'll put some barbed wire around the bottom of this so that they're not messing with the foundation we could also sandbag around this bottom area here and leave it as an optional fighting position we can fall back through the door Oh, that looks sick. That way they can't, because I was thinking I would just parkour over it. So that'll uh, that'll change their mind on that. Yeah, this is uh, pretty heavily fortified here. It's pretty good. Yeah, let's take a look around. I think it might just be some reinforcement, but I think you've got multiple fighting positions. You've got the bottom layer down here, and then you've got the top layer. And I wrapped it around the side here. Yeah, the bandits are going to be uh -huh. in for quite a surprise if they can get through the outer wall. Like, I, I imagine they'll have explosives and such, but as soon as they do, they'll have the inner circle to get through. And then they'll have the actual fortress itself to break through. That'd be so cool, too, if we could just, like, bring a whole bunch of zombies in here. So as soon as they break through, there's, like, a mess of zombies that rush out at them. Have them all in a box. <laughs> yeah, just, like, release them. <laughs> All right, well, this is it. For better or for worse, this is gonna have to hold here against the bandits. Let me just shore this up. I have to be careful myself because of all the barbed wire. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, you know, hopefully I'll be in range. If they show up and you can give me a holler, I'll come help out. Heck yeah. So really, I think the weakest link is the the door here. You know what I should probably do at some point is put some like shotgun turrets right here. So if they if they breach in like the most weak location, they'll have to deal with some extra firepower there. Yep, completely agree. So otherwise, let me just step inside and see what we got going on in here. Yep, nice little snaking pathway for them. Yeah, force them to loop. That way someone can sit on the stairs and fire down. Well, I was worried that we didn't have any coverage on that side of the... <laughs> just did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so we can. it just depends on where they attack from. We'll be able to kind of scout out around and see what's going on. And there's another walkway that goes across here. Right, coverage out on this side. Good. I think what I'll end up doing is I'll, I'll start plastering some more of those metal sheets on the outside so that even if they did kind of rocket attack or something, we've got like another layer that they've got to blast through. Oh, nice. Good call. Good call. I mean, who knows? They could bring dynamite. They could bring 
grenades, explosives, rockets. Yeah, I haven't run into them. Like I said, I've only seen them kind of at range, so I don't know what all they're packing. Yeah, well, steer clear. I've already met one survivor who had survived them, and he was kind of all by himself. So they're working their way here. Currently, I think they're probably to the south. That's where Cap came from, and that's where the wasteland is, too. So I bet they're held up there somewhere. Well, you've got your one other fighting position up top there. Oh, and I forgot to mention, yeah, you can... Folks can just come out the garage door. You've got this lower position as well. All right, man. I can't wait to see how this performs. If I can't make it back, good luck. Godspeed. Yeah, let me uh, issue you your payment. All is fair here. You get half of my money. There you go. Damn. It's all I can spare. And of course, you're invited back here. If, if, the, if the bandits overwhelm you and you need a place to hold out, this place is always open to you. That I will keep in mind because honestly, my place is... Um... <laughs> It, it, it ain't quite fortified like this. <laughs> good, good. All right, man. All right, man. Safe travels, and I will catch you in the next one, all right? Get some rest. Take care. See ya. Well, damn, if that wasn't a really fun building day there with my friend Echo. Been friends for a long time, but uh, unfortunately, he's got other business to attend to, so hopefully we'll see him back someday. But the, the base has been neglected a little bit, so let's just gather up some water here, get the forges rolling, get the crucible put into place. I crafted up some extra lanterns, and for tomorrow, after I get everything all reset here... I would probably, we really need to do that Mo Power. Yep, so we've got the traps. I can start making some traps for the Horde base. We're gonna need that pretty soon here, but we also need sensors, and that's gonna be for the, like, the motion sensor, which we're gonna need for the drone to craft that, speaker, trigger plates, and spotlight. I put some pillars up in the corner down there. It's gonna be difficult to see here in the light, but I put some uh, spots there for lanterns. I'd like to get some lanterns up here as well. We need to have a nice illuminated area because we don't know when the bandits will attack. It's like the garden is ready yet again, so I'll harvest up these things. I think what I'll do under the cover of darkness here is I've got a few more cobblestone cube shapes left. I'm just gonna start placing these around in places that have been blown up here so that we have nice good coverage and just so that things look a little bit nicer. This was one of the goals here was to make this place presentable, so presentable i shall make it all right i did as much work as i could last night a fresh new day has arrived it's about to crack dawn here so i'm gonna hop down we've got a new front gate here the seven by four roll-up door it's not the fastest one but it's it's pretty beefy i like it let's hop on the motorcycle and we are heading into town basically number one goal today find some magazines that will help us with traps and electronics preferably a mo power and the first place I'm thinking is there's a place downtown that I haven't searched quite yet. Let's uh, head down the road here and see if I can find it. Yeah, we're in the neighborhood, all these triples and quads. There's a Savage Country crack a book down there. One of these has a little Mo Power shop in them. Oh, there it is right there. Mo Power, Working Stiff, and Post Office. This is where I'm going to start my day. Ah, I can see an ATM in there as well. Yo, Post Office Apartment. Oh, is this the nasty post office that I hate? I don't think it is. I think this is... I don't know what this one is. I don't know if I've ever been here before or not, but there's one post office that I absolutely am afraid of. Let's test out my lockpicking skills. Oh, who needs lockpicking points? First try for 800 bucks. Nice. Okay, here we go. We've got... Uh, well, we had one little post office box there. What do we have here for zombies? In the ceiling. Typical. Here we go. Work with the tool crate up here. Potentially could still have Forge Ahead books. Uh, this one's a Get Hammered book. Book, magazine, same thing, right? Well, close enough anyway. Store shelves. No, we need like the electronic store shelves. Where's like the Mo Power portion to this place? Here we go. Yes, Mo Power. It's a really, really dinky Mo Power though, isn't it? Well, I'll take every little bit that I can get. These are, they usually have some magazines in them. There we go, wiring book there. Ah, two more chances, come on. Well, there's traps and a headlight. Okay, well, unless they had some more stuff in storage around back, ooh, here we go. There we go, yes, exactly what we want there. More magazines and these, you can wrench these into electrical parts, but I've, I have like 400 or so of those at home, so. I think I'll just leave it at that dog crate here. Oh, be oh man, hands to yourself. Jeez, I hate to do it, but I have to hit this guy where the sun don't shine. Speaking of sun not shining, did I? am I just now noticing how brown things are on this end? That's pretty gross. Oh, I see a cop down there. Let's uh, test this out. It's been a while since I've used this. Hello, hello. 
Um, I, I hear more than just this guy. Oh, there he is. I was going to say I heard another one. This guy's down already. Why don't you come right this way, sir? Oh, 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 look out. He's going to spit. <laughs> oh, I think he hit the drone, you bastard. Oh, yeah, that worked great. Yep, durability on the drone is a little bit lower than it was. Oh, I almost landed her in the bathtub. Okay, yeah, so now we're into an apartment section, and this is not where I want to be right now. I want to do the main loot, I guess. Maybe there's a mopa. What is this? I don't like that. Well, what's the trick to get around here? Uh, here we go. Isn't this the same building as the one that we've done a couple times before? Remember the zombies are on the rooftop and they jump off? It's one of the restaurant POIs. Yeah, I think this is basically the same building. We get into the main loot or what? We get into the main birds. Whoop, yep, that's trap. Let's just jump down in here and take right care of it. Here we go. <laughs> Excuse me, you wanna, do you mind working a little bit? There you go, nice. Come join the party, Big Bama. Come on out here. Oop, he, I don't know what happened to him. Electrocuted, I guess. And we're done. And unfortunately, there is no Mo Power Box up here. Okay, this is a bust. Medical journal. We can craft first aid kits now, which is always good. And this was the Bose de Grade slower book. Well, I say at this point, we probably just head to the trader and see if we can pull the Mo Power quest by some off chance. I haven't seen it yet, but worth a try hold up this is another mo power store here i will search these couple of things on the outside but if memory serves this is not this is pretty much it for this place just this little room here okay that got me part of the way here i do think i've actually been here before to some degree can i just rip this open because i have memory of who's in there hello you again nice uh, there was something on the table here before, and I, I reached through the opening in that uh, door there to grab it. Well, there's that, which did something, and there's this, which I would rather not feed all of my lockpicks to. Not much in there. Actually, that was a stack of four robotics parts, which is really nice. That's going to get us the drone if we ever want to craft that. And in the back here, just a quick double check. Whoa! Wait, is that a crate over there? Pretty sure I saw a Mo Power crate. Hey, hey. And I woke some zombies up in the process. Three electrical trap magazines. Pretty nice. And we've searched this before. Yes. Okay, off to Bob's now. After I check the vending machine, which is just inside here. This has some sugar butts, some skull crushers. I'm actually really good on sugar butts right now. All set. All right, here we are rolling up on Bobby's. Hello, Bob. Get your quests ready. You better have something at the Mo Power, crack a book, or working stiff tools. What's in your vending machine today? We've got a couple of good things there. Take all that, and hello there. You're pathetic, Bob. You have the worst quests ever. <sighs> well, I'm resigned now. We've got to get into the tier threes anyway, so that we can then get the chance for infestations at the tier two. That might help us out a little bit. Let's do the closest fetch at the sinkhole house. That should be a nice quick one. We're not gonna do the whole thing. Just do the fetch and come right back. Yep, I can see it just up ahead here. This is the really cool one that's all like caved in in the back, isn't it? I wonder if I checked the mail here. Check the mail first. Mail has been checked. Let's hit the quest then and check it again. For a Handyland book. Pretty much all set on the Handyland stuff. I've already got the nail gun. Okay, so where's the satchel? It is up. It is on the second floor. And it's, uh, it's inside somewhere. Let's just get in here. Uh, oh, that's some fancy cobblestone wood you've got there. Let's try this part right here. Okay, the satchel is 13 meters away. Ooh, right into a bookshelf. Kind of cool. Let's check that first spider somewhere. Electrical traps. I think that point into advanced engineering is paying off a little bit. What do we got here? Oh, <laughs> hi there. Oh, I sprung that trap, didn't I? Oh, another cop. A day of cops here. And you, hanging out behind. Okay, well, I found the main loot. Ah, there's zombies everywhere. Kill them. Okay, I'm doing okay here. Just kind of got in over my head at the sinkhole house. There's just a tad of irony in that. If you force it, at least, <laughs> like I'm trying to do right now. All right, well, nothing much in the main loot here. Ooh, a hobo stew there. It's a really good find. Where's that satchel, though? It is on this level, but I think it's in the bedroom next door here. 
Uh, oh, I can see it. Yes. Oh, oh, I was right there, man. Ah, go away. Got it. Okay, back to Bob's before something bad happens. What you got for me today, Bobby? Crafting skill magazine bundle and some steel. I'll take that. And oh, there we go. We're into the tier threes now. Looks like I'm going to go with the food bundle and well, to be perfectly honest, I'm going to take that scrap armor bundle and sell it back to you. Special job you to the south. Is that? You again. Wait, to the south? Whoa, Trader Bob has a big family. We've got Trader Rob to the north here. He's got another cousin down here to the south. Hmm. What do you, th do you think? I wonder if I went down to see that guy, whoever it is, if um, they would have the tier three jobs at that point. I don't really know the answer to that, but I think I'm keen on figuring it out. We're not gonna get the tier threes from him today. And I think it's just equidistant whether I want to go to the north or to the south, and I haven't been to the south yet, so let's try that. Let's see here. Let's go over to this road over here by the NDC checkpoint, and we'll head south. The only thing I know for sure is that the further south you go, the closer to the bandits you get. So we'll just, uh, we'll enter cautiously. Just make sure, yeah, lock and load just in case we have to make a quick, you know, we get ambushed or something like that. All right, let's go exploring. Okay, here it is, linking up with the main road. Okay, and, and here we are. We're still, we're not even in the wasteland yet, but I've seen it. The, the wasteland is all over here to the west. And here is Trader Rob's distant cousin. Maybe not so distant. Well, <laughs> let's go check him out, see what he's got. First of all, what's in your vending machine? All kinds of stuff here. Let's take Rockbusters, and that'll, that'll probably do it. He's got an ATM. I guess I'll roll the dice on this. There we go, second try. I probably should have crafted some lockpicks when I had the lockpicking skill. I don't know that I can do that anymore. Oh, I still can. Okay, that's convenient. I'll have to make some of those up. We'll go with the quantity over quality approach. It must be my All right. Day. What do you... Yes, he does have the tier threes. Excellent. And he's got a couple to the south here. Well, Fetching clear. Help me with Elsner's problem. Emporium. Can you help me with forever problem? video. Back, you can, you or the Brett residence. Let's do the forever video. video. That sounds Thank like an electronic-y kind of place. Okay, we're rolling into some strange town that I've never seen before, although it is not the wasteland. Doesn't look too, too bad. Just kind of be on your guard here. Check a couple of mailboxes while I'm rolling through. Oh, you know, it'd be nice if they had a bear den here somewhere, because then I could I could raid it, could get a, a bear or two, get the testosterone extract. Maybe I'll look for that for just a second. Never hurts to kind of just get a lay of the land anyway before you settle down somewhere. Ah, there it is right there, the bear den. Okay, that's what we got to do right now then. All right, this is the place. And finally, it seems like I'll be able to get some good utility out of the eye candy. Oh, geez, I'm completely encumbered. I'll work on that for just a second here. Okay, that will do it. All right, let's jump in here and see what's going on. Oh, you know what we can also get from this place is the bear rug. That is going to be a great find. Give me that before something bad happens to it. Get out of here. Okay, is this just the way I remember it? Where, yep, bunch of hazmat people. Sure is. Yeah, snuck up on me there. All right, what's the deal here? Heading up top here? Right, to the rooftop. Here we go. Come on out, guys. Score! Got a goal there. Nice. Oops, I'm out of stamina. Oh boy, look out. Come on, punch turret. Ah, it's not working. Come on. There we go, that'll work. Thank you. Oh, that was weird. It's like he got punched. Yep, okay, that's where we're heading. Couple of bears down there, I think. Are they zombie bears? I think they are. And what's the way down here? Ah, that'll work, I guess. Okay, reload. What we'll do is we'll set up a fallback position here. We'll set up a forward position here. Well, uh, maybe up there. Whoa! Get back. Okay, let the turret do some work up there. And where's the other bear? Oh boy. Is it just the one today? I think so. Oh, he's down! Oh my god, the, the turret killed him! And there's no bear here, right? Okay, we're good. Yes, give me the testosterone, please. There it is. I got two now. Okay, good enough. That's good enough for the cigar. That's the reason I needed all that stuff. And some main loot. Let's do an eye candy, which I left in the bike. Ok, 
Okay, and actually not too bad so far. I got a little odds and ends here and there. Let's try to open this chest now. There we go. Broke one lockpick in the process. Oh, bust though on the loot. I guess we're on to forever video. I got what I came for anyway. Testosterone and a bear rug. We are off now to clear out the forever video. Get out of here, Arlene. Okay, here it is. Forever video. Man. What a dump out here. All right, the inventory is in really rough shape at this point. Uh, gotta start making some sacrifices. Right, okay, so we're really only here for the books and magazines to do the quest, of course. Uh, I'll take that, I guess. And check it again, potatoes. I don't need to clutter up the inventory with that crap. So is this what I think it is? And it's like, it's just empty shelves, really? And I was hoping for some uh, electronics stuff, I guess. Yeah, that wouldn't make much sense, would it? But still, ah, nerd tats. Ah, who was that? Ah, that was some kind of a feral crawler there. Nope, this doesn't seem to be the, the Mo Power esque type of place that I thought it was. David, over here, feral. Would you get out of here? Done. Okay, well, this does open up to the back. Dog, or what do we got back here? Because there's like a police station here, too, right over here. Yeah, I think this is the police station now. Yeah, here we go. Whoop. Gonna have a lot of company here in a second, I think. Let's just get this down for now. Here they are. Oh my god. They just exploded. There we go. Oh, look, a ham radio. Take that home with me. Might have to give that to a survivor or something. Look at all the medicine I'm finding in there. That's a little ridiculous. Oh, and there's the main loot. Wait. I can't get to it from here, though. Can I? There's got to be a key box or something somewhere. This looks like the right area, I think. Jeez. It's debatable whether I'd even need the, the punch turret at this point, because I can just jolt him back with my own skills. Oh, jeez, look out. Done, and oh, jeez, wall safe. Do it the old-fashioned way. And got a tech planet book out of it. Okay, now... This is also, oh, here we go. Locked, but that should open it. There we go. Locked, but that should open that. I think we're pretty much almost done here. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, geez, that does not close and I'm totally encumbered. Oh, get back, buddy. All right, well, I need some sort of assistance here. Uh, yep, finish you off. There we go, you can shoot through. Oh, you're out of ammo or something. Ah, get back. Two cops. How dare they put zombies in my loot room where they could wreck stuff. I don't like that. All good. There we go, low power box here. And electrical traps up to 35. Oh boy, baton parts, but I'm like super encumbered now. <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a process getting all this stuff home. Yep, and I've officially broken all my lockpicks. Okay, main box here. Again, nothing really that I need. Just read the old book so I can make some room for it though, because I'm not leaving here without it. Okay, whoops, and that's where the supply satchel is. That's convenient. I was thinking it was on the rooftop. Actually, I wasn't really thinking about it at all, so <laughs> good thing I found it there. Okay, with that, I have 20 seconds of extra run speed. That's pretty nice. All right, let's just uh, put all this stuff away here. And, oh, geez, are we taking fire or what? Okay, we got a cop. We're also taking machine gun fire. Okay, are we clear? Are we clear? Was that some kind of just an ambush or what? Oh boy, I don't know where to go now. I think we need to head back to Trader Bob's. They might be expecting us over at Bob's though. I don't know. Here, let's just get out to the main road. Ah, stupid zombies don't have time for you. Get out of here. Okay, quickly then. Do I have enough inventory space for a reward? I do. Let's go grab it. Coast is clear. Hey, Bob. Okay, we'll take a crafting skill magazine bundle and the good pair of leather gloves, I guess. And that's it for today. I'll check your inventory real fast. Nothing of any critical importance. All right, let's get out of here. All right, rolling up on the spot here. Let's just see how it feels to roll in. That feels good. I'm kind of worried about this spot right here. We've got to get those turrets. I'm, we're going to have to buy the turrets because I don't think we'll be able to unlock them anytime soon. But that's it right there. Also, 
I feel like we should also have a way up from here, but also we don't want the bandits to have a way up either. <laughs> There's a rabbit caught in the barbed wire somewhere, the poor thing. All right, let me cart this stuff up and get it organized. All right, toss everything else in there, and we'll go through that in just a second. Okay, what did we get today? We got the scrap armor bonus bundle, which is, wow, pretty good, actually. The food bundle, which was a whole bunch of sham chowder, and a magazine bundle, which was medical... And, uh, I don't know, tech. Oh, there were some trap magazines here, right here. All right, we're actually gonna have quite a good sell-off here soon. <laughs> Let's see if I can find a spot for the bear rug. Oh, it's perfect, just like... Well, it's not, it's not perfect, but how about, how about like that? That looks pretty cool. Ah, <laughs> nice. Got a nerd tat poster for that. So I've been working in here, I, I've gotta kind of get the drone camera to help me out, because I'm not sure... <laughs> what the dimensions are or where the windows are supposed to go but or i think i'm supposed to move the the forge over a little bit i don't know what i'm supposed to do here but i'll figure it out right the testosterone extract can i do the cigar now i'm making up some lock picks i'm gonna probably need some plant fiber for that okay i can do that kiri k is over here whoop leave me alone please trying to get some just trying to pluck some grass out of here i'm <laughs> leveled up punching grass well, seeing how we're about to do a sell-off pretty soon, and we're gonna do the forgetting elixir, and then we're gonna get the skill points back from level 10 intellect, let's do start doing better barter. Okay, that should be enough for my cigar. That'll be another bartering bonus there. Oh, look at the lockpicks coming in. Love it. Okay, everything appears to be reset. I'm loading up the forge. I'm mixing up some cement. I should probably be boiling some water here. And I am craft. There's my cigar right there. And I've got 50 lockpicks. Nice. All right, there we are. Full leather armor, actually. Not too bad. Okay, so the order of business for tomorrow will be big sell-off. Reclass the character a little bit, retool things. It's not nothing significant there. We will do some horde base work, and then we will fight off the Day 21 horde. But thank you very much for tuning into today's broadcast, and I will catch you hopefully in the next one. Good morning, post-apocalypse, and welcome back to Hope Radio, where together we survive. With the help of our friend Wayward Echo, the Bastion of Hope is well underway, but it'll still need some more work if we expect to fend off a bandit raid. But today, the attention shifts to the Horde base. We'll need to stock up on supplies at the trader since my electrical skills are lagging behind. But after the Horde, I'd like to venture out west and see if we can make contact with any other survivors out that way. But for now, this is Temreki signing off. All right, there it is. Good morning. And what we're going to do today first off is do a trader run. I've already stocked up the inventory. I've repaired everything. I put some mods on some stuff. I got some other sellables like spare parts and I've got the bike loaded. So let's head straight over. Uh, well, they're not going to be open just yet. Let me grab a rock buster then and we'll do some mining or digging in the meantime. All right, all packed up and ready to go. Fly down here to the bike. Open the gates. And let's get out of here. All right, here we are. Just going to park the bike out front. We'll wait for Trader Bob to wake up, and then we'll start doing some bartering. For now, though, let's dig. We need lots of clay soil. We're really short on that. We need that for forged iron, for forged steel, and... I don't have enough inventory space for all this stuff. Oh, and we need it to make cobblestone so that we can do further upgrades to the base. Trader Jones is now all right, that's our cue. Let's stop digging and do some bartering. Oh, jeez, massive wandering horde running by. Yep, just gonna let them run right on through. I don't have time for this. I'm bringing my motorcycle inside, and I will deal with them when I am slightly less encumbered. Good morning there, Bobby. So, today, the trick is going to be... Uh, we're gonna have to finagle this a little bit, because I don't have any skill points, and I only have the one point into better barter. So, first things first, I'm gonna take the power-ups, and... Uh, um... Can I...? Oh, have I never unlocked this? Well, I have now. Oh, $1,300 in there too. Nice. Yeah, okay. Just put some of this stuff away so I have some room to work with here. I need to get myself a an, an awesome sauce here. So we'll grab that. I will do... Okay, we've got the cigar. We need the magnum. And that I hopefully brought. It's right there. Good. Okay, so here's the deal. We do sugar butt, awesome sauce. And at this point, I have the best bartering bonus that I can get without putting more points into better barter. So now I will purchase the forget an elixir, drink this, reset those skills. And now I need to very quickly spend... Let's see, we're going to go up to nine and then we'll use the nerdy glasses to get 10 on this now and get those three skill points back and i'll take five into better barter 
And now I have the absolute maximum bonus that I can get. The pumpkin cheesecake is there. That will be for buying only. So let's do the sell off for now. Thanks for okay, shopping good. Here. That was good for 12,000. Now I just got to grab up all the other things. It's been that was good for another 17 grand there. Last couple of items, Bobby, if you'll have them. Nope, he doesn't want anything to do with the pipetons. Neither do I, to be honest. Another 3,200 there. Much, Double check that I've sold everything I wanted to sell. I think I did. So, uh, a minute 25 left on the awesome sauce. I will take a pumpkin cheesecake because now it is time for buying. I'm not sure what I'm going to buy. I'll take a light bulb, I guess, because those actually take headlights and I ran out of headlights making those uh, last night. Six trigger plates. I think I need two or three more of those. I'll get three spotlight. I'm not even sure if I can make switches, so why not just get one of those motion sensors? We need those for the drone. Extra Molotovs never hurt. Potatoes and corn will help me continue cooking. Duct tape and glue will help. An extra generator bank. Ah, that's so cheap. I can't see why not. And your wiring books. I think that just about does it right there. Great. Okay, so let's read these couple of books here. We're trying to get to 50 on that before we can unlock, like, spotlights and things like that, so... Let's swing over to the other trader. I don't think I'm gonna make it in time. Well, actually, I might make it in time. Let's do that. And these zombies over here, uh, they can just hang out with Bob, I guess. <laughs> Goodbye, Bobby. All right, good morning, Trader Joel. Let's see what he has. Hopefully just like traps and stuff. It's all I'm, all I'm really looking for right now. I did have a couple of items that were just sitting in this, his car out there that I can sell while I'm right here Come doing this. Me, Some armor. You can take the, the rest of the batons, thank you very much. And a duster. Okay, what do you have now? Customized fittings mod? Well, let me look here for a second and see if there's any, like, big purchases. Because I might just go get another awesome sauce, to be honest. Nah, he, he, yeah, just odds and ends here. Customized fittings mod, cobble, duct tape, the wiring books. Oh, the iron shovel there. That would not be too bad. Uh, I mean, the stamina cost is horrendous, but... I, it, it's got to be a little bit better than the stone shovel. Uh, and it's only a difference of four on the stamina cost. Sure, I'll take that. Some extra Molotovs for the Horde Knight. And here we go. Yeah, dart trap, spotlight. I guess that's about it. Okay, fair enough. We got some building to do now, though. Okay, so that was productive. Let's now... I think we need to go home and just unpack and get organized for the build today. All right, all safe and sound back at the base here. Let's have a look at this. So, in terms of my skill points now, we'll spend the rest of them. Let's see, last time we were really strong into Physician, which was pretty nice, but this time I want to go strong into Advanced Engineering, because we're going to have a whole bunch of traps set up at the base, and I want to get maximum XP from that. Take the four into Daring Adventure, which reminds me I forgot to check the quests. Dang. We'll, of course, do five into Electrocutioner and three into Calculated Attack, which leaves me with four. And at this point, I basically have to choose between Robotics and Physician. I will do this time one into physician so I can cure a sprain if I get one and then three into robotics and that'll just have to do it. Fortunately with those advanced engineering points now all of my crafting recipes here at the forge are a lot cheaper so I'm gonna start cranking out some stuff while I can here. Iron, steel, and of course short on clay. Clay that really I need to make cobblestone with. Yeah, we'll focus on cobble for now. I don't think we need too much steel for anything just yet. Okay, I made up some burning barrels for extra light at the base, and that ergonomic grip mod was for my shovel. That should help on the stamina cost there. Okay, well, otherwise, I think I have everything I need. Spotlight, switches, generator, gasoline, resources, dart traps, trigger place. I need one more dart trap. All right, let me grab some food for the road, and uh, we'll have to come back here and grab some more stuff that's crafting anyway, but for now, let's head over to the other base. Pretty nice that we live so close by. Okay, so we have a lot of work to do here today. I think first thing... Oh, I did forget my wood frames. Can I just do wood blocks? Let's get, I don't know, 150 of those because I'm going to use that to make windows to cover up the, the zipper here. And, oh, shoot, I also forgot the nail gun. Okay, so we... Start making a list of things we gotta get. Uh, what we'll start with then is another little dig project. So what I need to do is dig a little bit of a trench here because what I wanna do here is I'm gonna put blade traps down here and we're gonna do like three. So one will be kinda high on, on a block plane above and then we'll have two on each side that are a block plane below. It'll make more sense once I dig all this up and show you. 
It's times like this that I really, really wish that I had an auger. Okay, there you have it. That's what that's going to look like right there. I'm going to also sink these in. These are like the little nubs, the blocks that the blade traps are going to sit on. So we'll have one here, one here, one there. I'd like to do a total of 12, so we'll extend it out even further. And if a zombie is in the pit, I think we'll eventually build up the wall to make it stronger. Is there a zombie here? There is. There she is. Come over here and let the turret do the job. Yeah, so the idea, this is the only way out for them over here. So once we blast them off the top, they'll fall down into the pit. They'll have to get through all of the blade traps. They'll be weakened anyway because they've been hit by darts. They've been hit by the baton, electrocuted, plus fall damage. And by the time they make it over here, hopefully they'll have died. And we'll get some XP from the trap kill. And if not, they'll just continue the loop around severely weakened i don't want the fresh zombies going down in here because they'll end up just degrading the blade trap too quickly and so i think for today we'll just start with three and then i was hoping i actually wanted to see here can i put blade traps in this i can that's pretty cool so we'll have one blade trap right there i guess and then we'll do the three on the tops here and then just be very careful not to pick up that block there uh, until I get the nail gun. Okay, so we're in the market for at least seven more blade traps. Potentially ten if I want to bring it down one more. And can I make those? I can. Okay, so we need to go back to the base and make blade traps as well. Let's track that recipe so hopefully I remember. The other thing was, um, was lights. I did bring a whole bunch of lights with me. And there have been some suggestions over the radio to put some lights in here. But it's going to be a little tricky in how we accomplish that because there's only one block space inside here. So, like, I'll have to do a system where every other ladder is taken up. And in its place, we put, like, a light on alternating sides all the way to the top. Okay, and this is a little difficult to do here, so... Okay, how many rungs are in a ladder? Two. So one, two, break this one. And just continue that all the way to the top. One, two, break. Okay, I think that does it. It, it looks right anyway. So now I just got to take the lights and we'll go. So yeah, I think just like a left, right, left, right thing all the way to the top. These particular light bulbs here are a little bit more expensive, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I think these are the brightest lights apart from the lanterns but you can't do lanterns in a situation like this because it's it's too big you get stuck on it okay and that that should do it that should provide us with pretty good illumination and still we can get up and down the ladder okay let's see if I can get that oh I'm not going to be able to hook that up am I because that's going to be way too far away I can already sense it um, I, yeah, I, oh crap, I can't even see the light bulbs from here. Okay, I'm gonna need to get a relay. Did I bring any? I don't have any relays. I have a switch, though. Okay, what if I put the, sw <laughs> put the switch under the stairs like that? Is that gonna work at all? Okay, I could reach all the way over here, though, so that is helpful. <laughs> oh, here we go, it's gonna work. I'm hoping this gives us a good shine through the little, the openings of the zipper, and it'll look nice at night. Okay, and up here... I need to remove this. Good, because um, I need to kind of reorient the block plane a little bit because um, the way it was before, I couldn't put a light on it. And I need to be able to get a light in here because it was very dark last time around. Okay, what's the... It's like the ramp incline plate wedge 60 filler. Is that going to be what I'm looking for here? Yeah, one, two, three. And then I think I want to go with a railing block because I can do that trick where I, I reach through and I put the turret up. And for extra security, just put these filler pieces on the back as well. Yeah, so that way when I have the drone, I can just do the, the whole like whoop and put them on the top and then pick them back up when I'm done and reload and so on. Okay, next project then. Let's jump over here. Don't sprain a leg, please. <laughs> and I think, yeah, it's time. It's time. We got to rip this off. It's slow going, even with the fire axe, but I just checked. I can only make a level two fire axe, so not too much of an improvement possible there. Okay, now we need to do something a little bit different. And to do it, I'm going to need, like, frames that I can pull up and down. So we'll start working on some new shapes. And I was hoping I could take the same shape that we're using for the zipper, just for continuity on the base, and... Uh, Find something that works here. All right, no no guarantees this is <laughs> going to look good. Okay, which one did I get here? Because you got the lefts and the rights. So I need a left and I need 
a right. And if you're looking for the shapes, they should be on the second page of the wedges. And there it is, wedge 60 split right. And okay, is this, are we moving in the right direction here? Okay, what, what does that look like there? Does that look, uh, I don't know. I don't know how that looks. In order to find out, we gotta keep going with the wedge 60 tips here. Left and right. That's basically what that's gonna look like. Drone camera, help us out. What does this look like? Okay, I've, I don't know. I've seen worse, I guess. Let's try to get up on the roof and like kind of do the other shapes up here and see if it looks any better. Okay, that's all done up. What does that look like? Honestly, I don't know. It, it kind of looks good and I think it'll accomplish the goal of what this is for anyway. And that's just, just to prevent zombies from stacking up and getting onto the rooftop. And then uh, perhaps we could do a system where we do the same thing on the back, just so that the back looks symmetrical to the front and just not do anything on the sides because what I really want to do on the sides is put some lights anyway. Okay, I think this is something I can work with for now. So let's get the spotlights out then. Now there's this new thing that I can do with my spotlights now and it's the on-face rotation. And I was really hoping to put a spotlight yeah, like right here so that I can still kind of maneuver in this space and then we'll put another one on this side facing the correct way and that'll help us cast some light on the zombies up here and spotlight nope still locked need two more stupid magazines I could probably get those maybe even out of that building over there yeah because I'd like to have some more spotlights because now that we can do the whole on face thing I want to put one right there shining down and maybe down there where those torches are shining toward like the killing space over there. Yeah, I think I can probably live with this. It's just, it's never perfect, but it's it's functional. I think it'll be fine. Uh, and then the question is, is there something we want to do with these block spaces or I don't know. We'll revisit that again in a bit with some fresh with a fresh set of eyes. Right. Did I have uh, dart traps? I do have a couple. Do I have trigger plates? I do. Let's get the trigger plates set up over here. And then we get a, I think did I bring the generator. I did. We're, we're going to set up another generator over here. Yep. Right there. We'll do it. Pop that in. Couple of those refuel and hook this up to the trigger plates. Then we'll replace those placeholder arrows with the actual dart traps and hook those into the trigger plates. I actually, I forgot we'll have to get some darts because I, I think, let's just check the dart situation over here. How many did we use in the last Horde night? About 220 or so. Okay, okay, yes, good. One more thing, a couple more things actually. We got burning barrels. I think you can, can't you pick these up once you place them down? You can. Okay, good. So I can move these around eventually if they don't line up properly. Yeah, just put one there for symmetry's sake. That's like a... I'll have to take that one up eventually so that I can put my own there. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe a burning barrel uh, over here somewhere? Sure. Be racking up some heat here soon. Okay, was that it? Or No, there's one more project to do here tonight. And that is... We've got to get this side shored up. Because remember last time the dogs were getting wedged up in here and they were breaking stuff so we don't want that i'm going to put a window on the outside of this so also some new technology that we have here is the ability to make bulletproof glass blocks out of regular frame shapes and uh, they function the same way as a normal glass block they just look like a bulletproof glass block so they look a little bit cooler we will take this one and then i'll kind of run up this one all the way to the top and before I do that, let's... Did I... Okay, yeah, this needs to be on. And then this switch needs to be on. And that should... Oh! Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, that is pretty nice. You know what I should also do is just put a switch over here for the blade traps. Did I have any more? Yep, right here. And... Oh yeah, we gotta check the power draw too. I do have a couple of extra engines, but I'm kind of getting the sense we'll have to do another hacker's mission at some point. So turn that on, hook it up. Okay, there we go. Still have all the lights on? Oh, I gotta hook the spotlights up at the top. It is bright in here, isn't it? Look at that. Okay, so I just, I, I think we just take a line off of this for the spotlight and the other side. And oh, the whole reason I did this here was so that I could put another light in here. Hopefully. Can, does that? Yeah, that sits right on the bar there. It looks appropriate. 
can't have stuff floating. I can't stand floating things. It's just unnatural. Okay, and then we can just aim these more in the... Ooh, that, that is kind of funky. We're, we're kind of like a tilted to a 90 degree angle. We'll just aim it right at the top of the ladder there. Oh my god, that just gives me instant vertigo doing that. Okay, good deal there. L plenty of light up here now. Okay, yes, now the window project. A little bit complicated because I got to like nerd pole up and then put the windows in on the way down. So yeah, it's going to be a process here. Okay, so this is what we're looking at now. Come in the back and just go straight up to the top here. Not too, too bad. Unfortunately, like the further away you get from it, the less it shows and it's not quite as bright as I would like. I wish it just had the brightness of a lantern, but I can live with this. Look, looks pretty good. We just need to do lots and lots of upgrades. And I did want to show you this one thing that I did here. I did put a door frame in here because that's going to confer structural stability up this line right here so that this zipper is actually a support column and i don't know that the door provides stability so i don't think these windows are another stability column so let's just switch on the structural stability technology for my drone camera and we can get a look at you know how things are looking here in the tower it looks very very good green is the color you want it means it has a bedrock connection there's nothing that's orange or even really yellow for that matter but you can see this back window is not conferring any support while the other windows are. Okay, I need to make a bit of a supply run back at the base and do a little bit of crafting. Okay, I'm just here back at the base getting reorganized and I'm crafting up some blade traps and some relays. I can't remember what else I needed. I know there was something else, but anyway. Yep, okay, grab the water, get these rolling again. And what we should do tonight is see if I can get um, those two more magazines for... Uh, for the spotlights, basically. What am I doing? I got, like, parkour skills. Let's just do this. Woo! Yep, two more trap books. It shouldn't take too long. We just basically do one POI, and I think that will do the trick. What's this place over? It's just waterworks. <laughs> just walked right over to waterworks. That's lovely. I don't know about doing waterworks at night, but, uh... I could, yeah, I could pretty much guarantee it'll have the book that we want. All right, put my construction materials away for a minute and let's get in here. Working stiff tool crate here in the water tower. This might be it right here. Nope. Oh, got a nice pickaxe though. Oh, geez. Someone just ran into a landmine. Whoop, got a feral here. Manny. Oh, geez. Stronger than I thought. There we go. You still alive? Definitely not. Oh, hi, Mo. Did you sleep through that whole thing? Here we go. Second working stiff tool crate. Not even sure if those, like, will have what we're looking for. Dog? Oh, I need the glue, actually. Come back here. There we go. Just turned morning, too. Nothing back here that I want. Well, the good news is we'll get a nice juicy tier four loot chest out of all this. Another one here. Razor. Who's behind me? What happened? Oh, I thought there was someone behind me. That was kind of weird. So we're seeing lots of ferals. Well, it is a tier four POI, so that does make some sense there. Oh, and uh, let's just make sure we're staying topped off here. Ah, uh, yes, this place. Try not to get stuck in the water with the zombies. Uh, easier said than done here sometimes. Let's just build across. There we go. And the rest of you, you guys just stay down there. I don't need to kill those guys. I do need to kill this guy though. David Stoner. All right, I'm sneaking in here. Whoa, nice duck there, Killer Joe. Another one, another razor over here. Okay, if I have, I do have the eye candy on me. It's probably okay if I just take that now because we've got a hidden stash, I think, up here. Is it here? Yes, it is. Whoa. Jeez, for an impact bracing mod, thanks. I suppose if I get a good enough pair of boots, I can slap it on those for a 450 duke bonus. But then there's the weapons bag that's on top of this one over here. Or a tech planet, some baton parts. Okay, disappointment so far. Usually there's a guy right here. Is he here today? No, we're all clear. Well, there he is. All right, let's just get everybody woken up here. Hello. And slap that down. Come right to the door if you would, my friends. And I, are they behind the door? The drone's shooting somebody. Oh, one of them, Terry Haley, made it up there somehow. There we go, got a skill point. How are we looking here? Pretty good, not too bad. Let's reorient things here. That will do it. Was that it over here? We're all done? Nice. 
Let's just take care of these guys before we uh, finish things off though. All right, how about we set up a fatal funnel here? We've got Prismatic down there and Bluesbox Gaming. Get back, get ready. <laughs> oh, the turret's working pretty good today. Good to see. Yeah, Sun Baton leaves a little bit to be desired against the big strong zombies, but overall, you know, with in combination with the other robotics, it's pretty good. Okay, we have not secured the magazines that we came here for. Last hope is the main loot. Here we go. No, we didn't get it. Crap, that's not a good stash of loot there. Okay, well, we'll have to go somewhere else then. Let's try the PB machining place. It's been a while since I've been here anyway. Tier two. Oh, very different down here. Oh, hello. I'm gonna say awful quiet here. Well, onto the main loot area up here. Let's just run out here and... Oh, jeez. Figure out what's going on. Three female zombies. Off the building with you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Way into the street. Oh, that's so funny. They oh, jeez. Missed you, I guess. Oh, a couple passing gas boxes. I don't think that's going to help us. Ooh, triple mod. That helps. Oh, jeez, this is awful. Okay. <laughs> Where to now? Hopefully I don't hurt myself there. That's good. Okay, well... Jeez, at this point, maybe we just do... Oh, jeez, I don't... Mailboxes? Just search around and see if we can find some more of those? Or or a house? Uh, maybe a house would be better. What is this place? The Fermier Residence? Well, just let me in. How bad could it be? Bad, apparently. <laughs> Someone's already cleared out all the bookshelves. Oh, I just saw something sneaky up there. Ah, it's gonna be a hidden stash. Nice. Check this out. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Not looking good. Did I pick like the worst possible house to come to or what? Let's try the upstairs. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's Almanac, damn it. <laughs> Take a seat, buddy. Ah, here we go. A couple of bookshelves here. Lucky looter book, more junk and loot and... Oh boy. It's not, not my day today. I guess we're checking the neighbor's house. Mailbox here, tech planet, no. It's on a murderous rampage. I found agility goggles and nerdy glasses. What the heck is with this house, man? Yeah, this place is just a horrible bust. Oh, this is a very bad floor here. Guess we can check the main loot. Ah, bar brawling, dang it. Can make hobo stew now. And nothing that we're looking for in the main loot. Wow, what is this? Like five places now where I haven't gotten what I'm looking for? I just need two electrician books. Oh jeez, let me out of here. At this point, I'm I like maybe we should just go to the trader. Let me out of here. Okay, we'll just check on Trader Bob here. Welcome he doesn't have the magazine because I've already checked. Wait. To look around. 21. No, today is not Trader Day. Okay, let's get a job from him. Okay, he does have Historic Office Suites, which if I had to guess is going to have some bookshelves. And if not, hopefully he's got the book bundle for us. All right, I'll meet you there. All right, whoops, sorry, nurse. Actually did not mean to do that. <laughs> Here we are. Historic Office Suites. Let's hit it. We're in a bit of a hurry. We've got to get what we're looking for. Hey, vending machine. Very nice. We gotta get what we're looking for, and then we gotta get back and craft the spotlights, set them up, do upgrades at the base, and then we gotta do that all before the horde gets here. Great heist book. More money from ATMs, and that was the whole set on that one. Steffi Pooks, number three right here, and Alicia. Whoop, get out of here. Take care of you guys. Yeah, just relax there, that's fine. Okay, handguns. No! These are not the things I need. This would be a really cool base location if I had to say so. Okay, who's in here? Wake up, everybody. Oh, it's a rad! Wow! Jet-tastic! Our first rad in a POI. Whoop, look out, getting flanked. Okay, I think, uh, yes, area is clear.
We're getting an airdrop right now, which is unusual. Usually that occurs on Trader Day. Okay, we did not get any of the electrical trap books here. I guess we're just gonna head back and hope for the quest reward. Whoop, bird's chasing me. No thanks. Okay, yes, Crafty Skill Magazine Bundle, thank you. Hopefully that has what we want in it. And I suppose I'll take the fire axe, a little bit of an upgrade for us. And yeah, no, screw you. I don't need anything else from you today. Please, no, nope. Got the traps, which is okay, but did not get the wiring book. Okay, well, I guess we'll have a fight in the shade. Pretty unlucky. Okay, not gonna waste any more time doing that. We gotta go do some upgrades at the base. Oh, I figured why not grab this while we're out and about. That does get us a crafting skill magazine. Yes, the two wiring books. Oh my God, we got it. Nice, an arranged mods bundle. Okay, good deal. We gotta go make some spotlights now. That's good for two. I ran out of headlights because I made all those stupid lights today. And we're out of engines too, which means we'll have to do a wrenching expedition here at some point soon. All right, two spotlights. <laughs> all of that for two spotlights. It's ridiculous, huh? Uh, the things I do to make my base look cool. All right, here we are back at the place here. Okay, be careful riding the bike through here though, because it's a little bit precarious with a big pit in the middle. Oh, and here we get a wandering horde rolling up on us too. Here, set up a line of defense here, and if you can hear me, come on over. It's just a huck of Molotov down there for what good it'll do me. Probably not much. And just hold the line here. The turret's doing half the work for me. Look at this. That's crazy. The turret's doing all the work for me. Okay, one zombie got through. Oh, now we're out of ammo. Gotta work now. That's it. Well, this thing's strong, and I can get two of these. Actually, you should look into crafting another one of these. Because then when I max out the robotic skill, I can just place them up on the tower there, and we won't have anything to do. We'll just shoot all the zombies as they climb up the ladder. Okay, enough wasting time. We've got a couple more blade traps, a couple of spotlights to set up, and I've got the nail gun now. Oh, the bike. The bike is actually full of my construction supplies. There we go. Nail all that stuff down so it's nice and secure, and then go ahead and just nail these down too. Because these extra two blade traps, let's just put one in here for tonight. A bit of a mess to clean up, it looks like. Yep, one just like that, and do I still have the wiring tool? Hopefully I do. Yes, let's try to bring those off of this line somehow. Figure something out here. So what do we have? We have this switch over here, controlling blade traps. We will have... A switch right here controlling blade traps and just pray that <laughs> nothing blows that up. I suppose it's possible, but I think it'll be okay. Ah, crap. Forgot to get darts for this. That's just gonna have to be how it is, I suppose. Okay, so actually I'll, I'll, I'll redistribute all of the darts around so we'll have all of them functional for some time at least. On face, rotate up and connect. Just gonna set all of these. We were doing two and five. Okay, I've got it somewhat distributed evenly so we get about 150 to 180 darts per trap here okay that's it for that spotlights okay where i want these for for now is this gonna be hard it's yes it's gonna be difficult let's just do whoop, that yep and from right here let's just do an on face and have them pointing straight down oh geez can i just can i oh this is a, that's a very far jump let's just try it whoop, i got it <laughs> I even landed on the ladder, that was pretty nice. Okay, and then while I'm up here, connect those straight off of the existing lines. And we shouldn't have to do any reorientation for now at least. Okay, I think that's everything set up that I wanted to set up. We've got blade traps and they're all connected. We've got a couple of uh, generators. We've got the, the lights. I think we're good. It's just all about the upgrades now. I believe that's about as much as I can do. I ran out of cobblestone and oh, one more blade trap. What did we want to do with this one? I guess just uh, just for the purposes of starting to fill this in, we'll toss it straight down there. And I think we're bringing these 
off of that switch right there, right? Actually, these should not be daisy chained. Let's do individual lines for these. And power draw test. Turn on. Oh, yeah, we're at max draw right now. Turn on. What about this one? This one is... Okay, turn these on. This one is not quite as bad. Although, once the dart traps go off, that's 10 apiece. So, we don't want that to be at 50. We really just want... We want more engines right now. Okay, well, that settles it. That's what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of seconds, is looking for an extra couple of engines. Well, let's see here. Buses don't give you too bad of a chance, and these Mo Power trucks are pretty good too. Nothing off of that. There's an engine right there, and you only get one, so let's plug that in and see how it does. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to plug one or maybe even two of these off of this generator. See if I can redistribute things a little bit more evenly. Okay, that's not bad. How's the power draw looking now? Down to 130, so actually I think we were just spot on there. So turn off, one more generator, and yes, should have plenty of power now. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go home and sort out my inventory real fast. Don't let me forget to bring some fuel back, please. Okay, nothing fancy here. Just stash everything I can away and whatever else I have. There we go. That, that, man, that works so well. Love it. Okay, what do I need here? I basically just need a little bit of extra ammo. Food and drink and first aid, I think. Probably do it. Ah, yes, throwables, like... Molotovs. Okay, how is I looking for ammo? 569. Not good. Can I make any ammo while I'm right here? Turret ammo. I can make some regular. How about we get a little bit of that going in my inventory? And with that, yes. Let's just double check here. We've got food, first aid, ammo. We've got the eye candy. Weapons. Armor is looking pretty good. Probably some repair kits wouldn't hurt. And let's head over. Ah! No, the fuel crap. Oh, geez. Let's just check the generators, make sure they'll last. Yeah, nine, 990 out of 1,000 on that one. And I thought this one was at like 600 the last I checked it. 427. Yeah, I think that'll last the night. Okay, seal me up. Let's get up here. Oh, are some of these red now? Or is the, oh, it's the blood moon that's make, making it turn red a little bit, which is kind of cool. Okay, here we are. Yep, and I never got around to fixing that up. Yeah, it should be fine, I think. Okay, spotlights are good. All spotlights are on. I think we're ready. Well, this is it. The Day 21 Horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. Whoa, jeez. Somebody came straight inside. Dude, what is wrong with you? Twitching all over the place like that. All right, send them. Working pretty well here. I'm all suddenly hungry, so we got some sham chowder. That should heal me up a little bit as well. And let's go ahead and take a black strap coffee for the stamina bonus. Can I just get a sense of what people are doing here? Getting shot by darts, getting shot at up here. Okay, stay tucked inside. We don't want that to happen too much. Clearly though, we are on a cop horde, which makes things a little bit complicated. More meat for the grinder down at the bottom. <laughs> All right, let's do this.
Okay, all of a sudden, it does seem all quiet here. I don't hear any zombies. It is... Oh, oh I just fell off the base! No, oh, crap. Oh, I survived. Well, I guess while I'm down here... <laughs> I was too busy looking at the drone camera. Well, oh, what happened here? Did we lose the switch? Ah, uh, we lost the switch. Bad spot for a switch. Uh, <laughs> who would have guessed that one? Still have the generator. Still have the dart trap. Still have the trigger plates. Okay, all is well. Just lost a couple, you know, a switch and just lost control of these blade traps, which, by the way, we're doing some pretty good work last night, I would say, and these are still all functional. What about the ones in here? Oh, these are still spinning. <laughs> uh, looks like a couple of zombies wound up in here last night. All right, patch me up with a sham chowder then. So what I'll have to do is probably dig some relays and some switches into the ground a little bit, because there's otherwise there's just no room for them. There's no power control room or anything like that. And oh boy... How did I also lose power to the lights in here? I don't quite know what happened. I'll figure it out though when I get the wire tool and we'll kind of sort that out so it doesn't happen again the next time. For now, let's conserve power here and just turn these off. And I will take down an eye candy since I have plenty of them, quite a collection going on right now. And let's loot up. Not a bad way to kick things off, 500 bucks sitting in that one. Look at the work that the dart traps did over here. Look at all these loot bags. Perhaps the last loot bag right here. All right. Yep, I don't see any others and the inventory is full of loot. Oh, you know what happened is we lost one of the lights in here somehow. Uh, there was a light that was right here and that was destroyed and, and the whole chain going up was therefore destroyed, including our spotlights up there. Yeah, there must have been a cop that blew up down here or... Nope, nope, we lost the door. Okay, so zombies carved their way in here and messed everything up. Okay, that just about does it. I think I'm gonna put a trench around this so that doesn't happen again. Well, before I leave here, I did want to check and see... Yeah, this one right here is the only block that even came close to being destroyed, I think. Give me that. Oh, inventory's full. Great. Okay, so it definitely still some improvements to make. Man, I wish... I, I guess that whole fight was probably kind of in the dark. <laughs> My bad there. It's okay, we'll get things sorted out for the next run. Well, I'm gonna head back to the base, get stuff stashed away, get things organized again for tomorrow. We'll do a morning broadcast and we will hit the road out to the west. We're gonna go looking for the snow biome and other survivors in that area. But anyway, thank you very much for tuning into today's broadcast and I'll catch you hopefully in the next one. Alright, here we go. This is the closest city out in the west. It appears it's the wasteland. I was hoping that there would be some snow biome here, but the snow might be further on to the west than I was expecting. It's alright, we can do a little bit of exploration here and see what we find. I did bring the ham radio with me, just in case we can maybe pick up a signal while we're out here. We're kind of way off and we've only got the built-in antenna, so I don't expect to pick up anything unless they're super close by, but good to have in case of an emergency. Hey, hey, we've got a crack -a book right here. Oh. Is that someone in a gyrocopter up there? Mayday! 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 Can anybody hear me? Yes, uh, Survivor, this is Temreki. Uh, I, I pick you up loud and clear. What's going on over there? Mate, my whirly bird's absolutely cacked. There's some sinker like a pebble in a fish tank. You gotta come save me. I'm on my way. Try to find a safe place to land and I'll link up with you, okay? I can't put her down, mate. I'll be on the hotel. You gotta get up here quick. I'm on my way. Hang in there. All right, here we are. Ostrich Hotel. That's where he has landed. There looks like there's a ladder right over here. Let's head straight up and just not even Come bother. At me. Oh. Come at me. I'll take you all. Okay. I'm not scared of you. I'm on my way. Get Hang in there. Get up here quick. It's all kicking off, mate. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Here we are. I'm on the top. Where are you? I can hear the gunfire. Mate, I, I hope you came packing. Okay. Come this way. I got a defensive turret this here that way? will help us. Which way is this way? Which way's up? Wait, what way? Right this here. way? 
Gotcha. All right, oh. here we are. Oh, we've got turrets. We've got turret friends. Not a good place for stun buttons. This is a place for fully automatic weapon fire. There is no good place for a stun button ever. What are you using <laughs> that piece of shit for? Get a real weapon out, why don't you? Oh, jeez. I'm in rough shape. That's right. That's right. Stick Whoop. together. We'll get through it. All right. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. First aid. Also fatigued. He's a little, he's a little battered. Oh. I'm a little bruised. Oh. Oh, jeez. All right. I'm uh, not far away from death. I'm going to have to quickly put my organs back in. Hold on yeah. a second. We just... <laughs> Me too. Oh. Mate, uh, vitamins. you are there we an go. angel. I don't know where you came from, how you found me, but you have oh, saved my you, life. behind you, behind you. Look out. What? Ah. Oh, help me. Help me again. I'm completely inadequate for this. There we go. Okay. Yep, more. We got four more, I think. They're stuck on the gyrocopter. <laughs> this is my plan all along. They're falling for my trick. There we go. Okay, are we safe here or what? Uh, I think you so. Screamer. Oh, oh, screamer. Geez. Oh. How are they getting up here so fast? That's crazy. Close that stupid door there. Listen, I don't mean to brag, but uh, screaming girls, my speciality. <laughs> <laughs> I was just um out here trying to find some more fuel for my gyro, and I don't think I lasted as long as I was going to. What are you out here doing? Whew. I am out here. Well, I'm looking for other survivors, so it's a chance encounter that I met you out here, and I wanted to warn you that there are bandits in the area. So um, I've got a fortress that I'm building. I don't know if if if. If you ever get into dire straits, you're welcome to kind of hold up at the fortress with me. It's it's in the next town over to the east. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. How do you know that I'm not a bandit? Uh, I'm a bad judge of character. You did save my life, so I'm a bandit for everyone else, but I'll, I'll be your friend. It's all right. I've converted you, right? <laughs> I, I have a life dead too. I'm like Jar Jar Binks in the best Star Wars movie. Hey, it looks like the snow biome is out to the east, the, the west there. That's interesting. I might head out there next time. That was my goal today, to head out to the snow biome. But here we are at the Ostrich Hotel instead. I think we can both uh, get some loot here while we're at it. Well, I need some fuel, I need some ammo, and I need some dignity. I'm hoping at least two of those is on the menu today. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get started then. Let's do it. Let's get in here. Helmet light on. I do have one of those. I try and be sneaky half the time, but uh, sometimes you just got to go loud, you know? All right. So if I had to guess, I would say probably the good... The, the further down you go, the better the loot will get. I reckon you're right. I reckon you're very right about that. It's a long way down, though. Oh! What? Oh! Doors can open doors! Oh, I oh, open the doors! I made, I'm, I, listen, I made a rather Ooh, big rat. tactical error with that one. And I definitely let the zombies out. Watch out, they're all still here. Do you see, like, nothing but barrels and rads? Took his arm off. He's harmless now. I'll bite your leg off. <laughs> it's but a flesh wound. All right, I think we're are we good here. I think we are. Hey, hey, listen. Seeing as we're friends now, there's something very important we have to do. Here you go, mate. Nice. Thank you for all. Thank you for all you've done. Cheers, biggies. Although we do, I, I have a rule where I come from. I have a rule. Should we drink it? That's yes. Lucky, lucky for you. I have a second one. So I hope you're not a lightweight. This is beer, I, I think. It is beer. There you go. There's there's a second frothy. All right. I'm the most generous man in the world, but here's the rule from back home. I have to take off your pants. I, can, I, I can't tell you. Look exactly the same. Did you, did you take them off? I'm working on it. There we there go. There you go. Takes me a minute to undress. Yeah, that's 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 what I like to see on my morning frothy. Cheers, big ears. Get Cheers. In here. There we go. I'm going to be drunk for a long time now. Well, if you, I mean, if you're going to be drunk, I mean, there's a... There's a, there's a bed right over here. Gonna, just just, just, just in, a shotgun in my pants. Take, take a little nap to together. <laughs> <laughs> Need to recharge for the zombie apocalypse. Okay, six minutes of fourth bites. Here we go. I'm with you. Fact, you know I think I have some of those too. Well, I'm, I'm going to match you with the new best friends that anyone could have. Good, good. We're going to get dehydrated though. So make sure, you know, beer, beer's not going to cut it for this one. What? Beer's not going to cut it? Oh, there's oh, there's lots more zombies in here. I picked a fight. Oh, I boy. might need you. Oh, you know what? Don't worry about it. I thought I was going to need some help. Turns out I'm fine. Oh, I'm less fine. I'm less fine. It's a dangerous corridor here. So, Whew. lacerated or something? Uh-oh. Ah, uh, just, just just, a little box. But we'll, we'll be okay. Let me just, um, let me just fix myself up again. <laughs> Dude, I drank way too much beer. I can't see a thing right now. <laughs> there is no such thing. You're with an Australian now. Too much beer is the appropriate amount of beer. Did you go down? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, no, I'm still up here. Oh, I'm still okay. Up here. There's a couple bits of loot. Don't get too excited if you get lost in the zombies. You came for me, but I'm not going to come for you. Uh, no one mentioned the phrasing. No. How dare they uh, make 
I, it, it, it should be illegal. It's it's that, that's more of a sin than putting your hot chips under your palmer. That should be outlawed. You cannot have wood painted to look like fabric. It's I don't know the what rules. the reference was to, but I agree. <laughs> Correct answer. <laughs> oh, are we just picking off zombies down below now? Well, we're gonna have to get down there sooner or later, and I feel like the less zombies. The, oh, oh, that sorry. was mine. I got him. That was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're keeping score now. Yeah, we are now. Okay, whoop. Oh, zombies are here already. Yep, yep, yep. They're coming. Okay. They're coming are very they... quickly. Yeah, they're all just like in that corner over there. Oh, okay. And they're coming up the back way as well. Whoop. Arlene snuck in. That's right up all the right. way. You get, you get, oh, jeez. Oh, this, put this is bad. Up the stairs. Get up the stairs. Oh, thank goodness for drum mags. It's not even enough. <laughs> Ow. Get back. Oh, wow. Wow. Freaking skateboarders. Really got some hangs up on that one. Wow. Okay. So this is just how it's going to be then, all the way down. Are you alright? You copped a bit of a bit of whack in the chin there, mate. Don't mind me, I just get the loot bags out while I'm getting punched in the face. Oh, yeah, no, 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 it's fine. Gotta I'll have priorities. The you, you get all the loot, you know? Just right. make sure you leave one or two scraps to me, would you? Next. Where are they? Where are these guys? Are these like outside zombies or did we wake somebody up? <laughs> Why are there so many Steve's? I, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Are you using a turret as. <laughs> I don't have time to switch weapons right now. It's working really right. well, actually. I'm not sure how I feel about you manhandling my friend the oh. turret like that, but uh. Z seems to be enjoying it. It's working. Wow. This is. Yeah. Jeez. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'm bleeding. It's, it's almost like we're in the wasteland in the zombie apocalypse or something. Something like that. Gonna take a break oh, and left, reload. Oh, left, 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 left. Oh, boy. Ah, get down. Wow, I don't know if I could do this alone. I'm really glad that you crashed here. <laughs> this is... Ah, oh, behind us! No. Crap. I don't know if she moaned or not, but she got way, way too close, and I feel like my spine is in several pieces now. I think I did hear a scream there, so we'll have oh, that to no. deal with. They seem to be able to rocket straight up here too, so they'll be here soon. Yeah, we might need to make a barricade or something, or at least get your little friendly turrets down to protect us, because that's going to be a big problem very quickly. Yeah, yeah, oh, and there's you're... another screamer oh, too. More. Oh boy. Oh, there's more. What did you say? I'm glad you landed here. I would have rather land anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh my god. Oh my Why? goodness. This is like the level from hell here. Oh my god. <laughs> we we need, to, we need to make some moves. No. We need to make some moves, Tim. Yep. We need to do something about this. I hope my port fights are still working. Mine are not. Oh my I god. Just They're definitely I'm off. stunned. Just keep back. This is bad. Keep going back. Come back to me. I'm trying to. We, we I get need to better the turret. Get there to the we go. Put some legs down. Stop moving. Sam, you're stuck in no. the corner. I know. I've got the turret in front of me. I think I'm okay. Okay. Whoop, big mama. Holy crap. Okay, I got five five skill points to spend. Oh boy. I should probably spend I'm those not right sure now. If you're exceptionally brave or ridiculously foolhardy, but either way, I'm very <laughs> glad you survived that. I am gonna go with Yeah, physician and robotics. Yeah, I just, I just maxed out robotics, so that's good. Hey, listen, listen, we've got to have a talk. Alright, just just two seconds. Also, that guy needs to be dead. Uh your critical thinking and decision making, not great. You ran up a skyscraper to save a stranger and you didn't run away from the zombies. I got some pretty pretty big <laughs> questions for you on that one. Yeah, I, I, I'm not the only person that has questions. Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking here. <laughs> it's gonna get oh. pretty lean by the end of this. What? Shh. These guys are just sleeping in the, the road here. Oh. Oh, that's scary. Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can take care of most of these guys. The screamers oh, running around, I just saw her. Go on, hit him, pop. Hit him, pop. That should help. Beautiful. Nice. All right, that worked pretty well. Oh, screamer on the roof. She came around behind us. What? Ah! Oh, she came up the ladder. Typical. They're clever. They're clever. There we go. Good deal. Ah. <laughs> no. How is she not dead? Wow. I don't know if they're coming up the ladder. Oh, if they're coming inside. This AK is such trash. Oh, another whole room full and a screamer somewhere. Oh, we're at the lobby right now almost. Oh, oh boy. Oh, run, move, run, move, run. Move, move, move. Come to the top of the stairs. I got cover. Oh, this is working great now. 
I'll be right there. I just need to get something special. Oh, pipe Light bombs. Oh. Pull back, pull back, pull yeah, back. Yeah. Back, back, back. Oh, nice. Oh, this, this is. Suddenly this is not thing. good. Oh, geez. Okay, Pop I'm running. Out again. Run, run, Pop run. Out again. Ooh, nice. I look reasonably well. Get a couple kills there. We're okay. What's your Ow. legs? Oh, jeez. Run, running. Ah. Oh, yep, time to go. Time to go. Time to definitely yep. go. Time for a painkiller if I can get one into me. Thank you. We're all right. We're all right. This is a bit more intense than I was hoping I'd have uh, on a day like today. It's crazy. Yeah, this is... Um, I don't know how you're supposed to survive this. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just have it. Ooh, get okay, hot stuff. I was like, oh, I'll just have a nice relaxing flight through the uh, over the top of the wasteland, over way to the winter biome, and suddenly I'm balls deep in zombies and having an awful time about it. Oh, I think I found the parking garage that's down below. Well, I do need petrol, so it'd be a wonderful place to go. Good, good. Okay, there might be a oh decently big fight down Ramp there. Up. Oh boy. Oh, where did these rats. guys come from? Ah. Okay. Let's just do like a final oh. gear up for this last battle here. How are you for infection there, Chief? Because I'm doing uh, good. Some better days. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna do skull crushers and four fights. Do I have two mega crushes? Would you like one? For sure. I feel like we've come through all this together. I feel like we need to go out together, or at least, or at least <laughs> try not to. Here you go. Just for you. Oh, get me. Also gonna do molotovs here. Okay. So, well, yeah, make sure we're well hydrated here. This is going to be our whole time. <laughs> oh, sham chowder. That usually helps. I'll take a like a preemptive first aid kit, too. <laughs> Put the bandages on first. Did I do the fort bites already? Mate, double stack them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If in doubt, stack it out. No, oh, OK. Now I've got the fort bites. <laughs> uh, I'm going to overdose here. I've, I've got my pipe pump in hand, ready to go. <laughs> I'm gonna do turrets first, and then uh, we'll just kind of do the whole run around down there, all right? Well, listen, Tim, if this goes the way I think it's gonna go, it's been a very short but a very pleasurable <laughs> opportunity, and uh, thank you for at least trying to save me. <laughs> nice, nice, okay. All right, let's do this. Going in first. Nope. Oh, Arlene right directly around the corner. Oh. Here we go, run, 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 oh boy. He's off and running. Okay. I'm gonna try and come around and meet you on the other side. Ah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make oh, a trap for Oh, the floor is collapsing. Oh, I'm gonna geez. make the platform behind the behind the army truck. If we bring him back to the stairs, we can lure him into a into a booby Lure him into something. Oh boy, I'm just using fire until I run out of it. Ah, <laughs> like I ran out of stamina. Okay, I'm on the army truck now. Bombs it is. Oh. Pop him out. Nice. It's Pop working. Ah. There's a lot of explosions and not a lot of zombies dying. I'm not sure it's going I as know. well as we hoped. All right, time to just old-fashioned gunfire, I think. I'm coming with you. I'll take the left, you take the right. We'll get through it eventually. Some way, somehow. So, yeah, I think we're, we're making progress here. Those pop bombs are actually much more effective than I thought they were going to be. Watch your back! Whoa. I gotcha, I gotcha, I good, gotcha. Good, good, good. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, we did it. That is that is a literal carpet of zombies. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do to celebrate? Pants off, crouch down, and drag all the way through. <laughs> yeah. It's the small victories that makes it worthwhile. Should we, uh, should we share in the spoils? We should. We're, we're, we'll call ourselves a party now. And there's kind of, oh, Aww. look at all these pipe bombs just sitting over here. Let's try this. I want to try a trick. I, I just thought of this just like two seconds ago. <gasps> if we both take eye candy. But I don't need eye candy. I already have you. Will that boost our like cumulative loot stage? All right, you get that. I'll stand guard. Perfect. I'm going to just waste all my lockpicks here. Give me a second. Yeah, if you want to tickle that in some sort of better way, that would be fantastic. It's, <laughs> I'm not saying we're in a rush, but there is a lot of zombies outside. Here we go. Oh. Ooh. Okay, got some steel armor. Just take all that. Good. Nice. There are, that appears to have Ooh. angered some. Tier outside. 6 stun baton, too. Wow. Gross. G give it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> give it here. Give it here. I mean, it was a give tier it. 5. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull on my gloves, but you have to hand it to me. There's something very important we need to do. Uh, I'm getting very concerned with these zombies. That's fine. There's something more present. Where, where's the stun button? Where's wait? <laughs> no. Tim, we've just become we've just become friends. Uh, you, you, you can have this. Uh, listen, if I didn't like you so much, I have a serious issue. As long as you have to handle it, not me, we'll be okay. Wait. There it is. 
Nice. A T6 spear, steel, steel spear? Steel oh, spear ooh, you're, you're a spear you. user, aren't you? I am. I have one with chlamydia. I'm about to have there another good. with chlamydia. Nice. Oh my god, I got another. Oh, here you go, man. I got another one. Uh, that's Give that's it. hilarious. I'm gonna put on the gloves. All right, we have a new mission. I have to go find a toilet somewhere. This needs to be flushed. Right, okay. It sounds like a party upstairs. Oh, there's screamers outside oh, too. Screamer outside. Screamer outside. I don't know how to get outside. Oh, you? they busted oh. through the wall. Oh. Oh, thank you. Here we go. That's definitely we have a fight one way in the streets it. now. Oh, we have a lot coming. Turn around. We have a lot okay. coming. Okay. Did you, um, do you have your gyrocopter? I do. I don't have any. Oh, I should go down and get some fuel. I think it's probably time to just make a hot escape out of here. All right. I'm going to. Where's your bike? Box is here. Clear out the, the motorcycle area. There we go. All right. I think I'm in the clear. Are you ready to get out of here? I think I am. Let me just put my gyro on the runway and get rid of the spools and blades. Oh, storm's rolling in. You better be careful in that thing. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I know if I crash and burn, you'll be there to save me. Yeah, I've got my radio, so let me know if you need any more help. I'll hail you if I need. Tim Rocky, it has been a pleasure. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Yeah, if you see any bandits, remember, Hope Radio Station to the west. To the west. To, to the uh, the other west, to the east. I'll bring the frothies. Don't forget, never put shrimps on the barbie. All right, good times. Not so good with all these birds around here, though. I'm glad that we met that survivor. That could be very useful for us. He seemed to really know what he was doing at times. Having someone's help like that for a big battle against the bandits is going to be nice. Ah. Okay, well, look what I found right here. A crack. Oh, hi, bird. Burnt zombie hole. Heading towards the fire truck. I don't blame you. Jeez, okay, a whole new city out here to explore and to get some books from, hopefully. Working stiff tools right there. Popping pills. What else we got here? Dollar store. Might be a good little area to loot up. Red parachute insurance. I feel like Jabuto should uh, get in contact with those people. Well, I didn't really take it, the opportunity to see what I got for loot there. Let's see, you got a treasure map. I will read that right now while I'm out here and see where that's gonna lead me. Oh, Trader Hugh is over there. Interesting, and the treasure map is kind of way, way off there. Kind of probably closer to the snow biome. Okay, I did get the quality six stun baton. There was another one <laughs> that Jawoodle took from me. Uh, that's okay, we got a dart trap bundle, which is nice. What do you say we just uh, crack this crack book here and probably call it a day after that? Get out of here, head back home. Hello? No, don't spit at me. Jeez, man, you gotta make a mess. You gotta ruin all the books. Who is that? Here he K's again. And Jill Jug's here. Quite the duo. All right, let's just secure the area and then we will loot up the books after that. Oh, raw gauge over here. Okay. It's gonna take a while, there we go. Right, let me get the mods switched over on this. There we go, we're packing now. This has to be the worst hidden stash ever. There we go. Finally into it. Probably should have waited on that. Ooh, okay, we're not getting good stuff anymore. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we'll probably take the eye candy for the main loot then. Yeah, right in there. In the meantime, though, gotta take care of the outside zombies. Oh, rad biker. No, thank you. Oh, they're gonna try and get fancy, are they? Well, well, well. I can get fancy, too. No, I guess I can't. It didn't work at all. We got Petula here, and we have Sherby over here. Come on, guys. Yeah, so the big test was going to be how does the stun baton handle rads and ferals? Not particularly well, if I'm being honest here. Look at that. Jeez. Still not dead. Oh, boy. This is bad. No, sir. Wow. Okay. Hmm, gonna have to maybe reconsider things with the stun baton here. Yeah, there's not much I can do right now. Um, we could consider specking over into spears, perception maybe, and use that as a melee weapon. If the stun baton doesn't seem like it's cutting it quite so much. Oh, geez, another one. Okay. Oh, I put the turrets away, unfortunately. Have to go grab those in a second. Oh, I just lost him somewhere. <laughs> I think he went through the floor. All right, hit me up with the first aid kit. And uh, yep, they've all woken up. So before they blast away through the door, 
Let's do this. Air burst. Take that. Whoops. One behind me. Nope. No, I thought I got hit from behind. There is the biker, though, right there. Is there a box to let him in? There's that. Whoa. Did that? Yes, it did. Okay. Good thing I turned around and saw that. Jeez, man. Okay. We need a plan B for those guys. Well, let's loot up now, and then we gotta get out of here before it turns nightfall. First try on the lockpick there. Whoops, forgot I was- oh, triple armor mod schematic. That's pretty nice. I was going to do the eye candy for that, but I- I'm- <laughs> I'm in a bit of a hurry right now, to be honest. Okay. Yes, now we've gotta get books. Okay, it is now nightfall, but I'm never encumbered at night, because I read the right book for that. I am, however, just full up on stuff. So we've got some medical stuff here. Banded armor plating, machine gunner book here, more damage until you miss, something to that effect anyway. And yep, just clear up some room here and keep going. Okay, I do think, whoop, maybe one or two more, just, well, yeah, a couple more and I think we're done. Just grab these and who's here? Nurse! And we, whoop, oh, you stupid ducking zombies. There we go, send them. All right, I'm done with this, let's get out of here. Whoop, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Magazine stands. Can't leave without these. Just grab and go. Grab- I- I can't grab and go. My inventory's full. Ah! Gonna have to fight a little. Get out of here. Read. Whoa! Another one! Oh, oh, okay, yes, that's enough, that's enough. I'm leaving now. Get away from the bike! Okay, let's go. Whew. Okay, we've got a long ride. At least three clicks to get back home. You know what? I'm a complete idiot. I left my robotic turrets over there at the freaking the basement. Get out of here, Steven. Shoot! Okay, no, we gotta do a rescue mission. I gotta get my robotic turrets back. Oh, I'm such an idiot. That's what I get for for, for not, jeez, <laughs> paying too much attention. Okay, we are heading back. Rescue mission is underway. Okay, here we are, and uh, yes, okay, good. There's, oh no, why is that not open? Crap, I never hit the button or something? There must be a button inside, so we'll have a good egress route. And, oh yes, how about a first aid kit? Yep, it's on, let's run it. Wait a minute. Nothing's open. Oh, here we go. This is open. Yep, yep, yep. And oh, there they are. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. Maybe I can grab these couple of loot bags while I'm right here. Phew. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Okay, let's go. Let's go. And is there? Yes, there is a button. Hit it. Let's go. Mission successful. All right. Now we're going directly home. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. All right, here we are, safe and sound, back at the base. Let's just get our ham radio set back up so we can receive and send signals if needed. And let's have a look at the loot haul. Pretty good, if I have to say so myself. We got the dart trap bundle, which is basically just extra darts and some uh, replacement stuff if we need it. I did harvest up uh, maybe a dozen or so cars on the way home, and I did get two extra engines as well as the associated, you know, parts and pipes and springs and things like that. Uh, I think the the crowning achievement, though, the big victory was the quality six stun baton, which is just an awesome find. Probably only a marginal upgrade over the one that we had, but still nice to have nonetheless. Yeah, in fact, only an extra 2.8 damage. Really negligible, and there's no change in terms of mod slots now, so... You know, it is what it is. Not too, not too much of an upgrade, but it looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna start getting this stuff put away then. Looks like this new pickaxe was a little bit of an upgrade. And a military helmet appears to be quite a good upgrade. If anything, just in terms of looks. How are we looking now? Oh, much better. So I was just comparing the regular turret ammo versus the AP ammo. Looks like it's doing a little bit of extra damage, the AP is. And then you get the... Target penetration of one and less target armor. So I think it is significantly better and worth it to make. I'm gonna start making some more of it. I can only make one box because I'm running low on lead already. No, <laughs> our big mining adventure is already running out. I did get one extra skill point from the main boss battle there at the Ostrich Hotel. And if I'm being honest, that's probably it for intellect. I don't think we need any more into grease monkey lock picking, charismatic, no, no, no. We don't need any of that stuff. One more into physician, and from now on, all of our skill points will go into some other tree. We just need to kind of make a decision. Initially, I wanted to do, to do agility so we could get some like light armor, run and gun, gunslinger. You could also make an argument for perception. The only thing about perception is that it's only gonna get us rifles, and I don't think rifles 
are gonna quite cut it i you know we gotta have something full auto we could do fortitude we could get some machine gunner points we gotta do something we need we need we gotta have some more firepower here i guess to be determined i don't have the skill points just yet okay what are we doing today traders are open trader day it's um i think trader day was like yesterday correct trader day was yesterday day 22 so we could do a little bit of a trader run and see what they're offering us today not much to sell here but we've got plenty of money for purchasing yeah let's make a little trip see if they have any good jobs for us anyway we'll start with trader bob all right good morning trader bob will you please finally have the jobs that i'm looking for Yep, okay, he's got some blade traps, some SMG turrets, other traps and things, and uh, magazines. Oh, good. Yes, I'll take a couple of these, I think. Tactical assault rifle, I would consider taking that. That'd be quite... Oh, that's a hefty upgrade, plus 12.4 damage per bullet. Okay, that, that seems to be the thing that I like the most there. Okay, this is going to require the whole shebang here, except I don't have my pipe pistol on me. Well, he does have a sugar butt and an awesome sauce it, it should be fine don't i have maxed out better barter of course i do i was just looking at that stuff so it, we're missing out on a five percent part of the bonus that's fine and um after this we can just jet over to the other trader and see if we can um see if we can buy anything over there as well okay lightning round has started okay i'll take uh, both your smg turrets your blade trap i'll take uh both your shotgun turrets as well traps wiring 18 grenades spotlight tactical assault rifle and that's it we're off to the next trader close the gate behind you let's go let's go let's go we are in a super duper hurry right now Okay, we made pretty good time over here just checking the usual containers there. Nope, I didn't leave anything over here last time. Trader Joel! What's going on, man? Let's see what you got. Ah, crap, I forgot to get jobs from the other guy. Shoot. Wiring. Glue is nice. Gee, since I'm right here, we've got all the power-ups. Let's do that for getting elixir. A couple of extra motion sensors. We'll need that when we go to make the, the drone. And that appears to be it. Wow, big bust on this guy. Well, a little bit of an upgrade for us anyway. Let's check the jobs. He does have a couple of fetches. I'm gonna just bang these out real fast. Collision center, let's do it. Okay, that was super easy. Done. The reward, crafting skill magazine bundle, and well, we can make the steel now. We'll take the upgraded fire axe. The other job at the shady swine to the south. Let's do that fast as well. This appears to probably be the place here. There it is. And done. Let's go get our quest reward for that. All right. What you got for me this time here? Hmm. Nothing good. Take the steel and the 762. Nah. We'll take the AK so we can sell it. And one more clear zombies to the west at the Smorgasbord Square. Deal. First, though, we got to clean things up in the inventory a little bit. Bunch of books here. Skill magazine bundle for wiring and traps no surprise there i guess all right to the smorgasbord square this is the spot right here go nuts donuts the sushi chest and burr ice cream looks like the quest markers around back though and there's a vending machine over there if we get lucky that'll reset into a working one let's check on that another free book there whoops probably should have not read that okay that's not working again and i don't particularly care about the drink vending machine i can hear him gurgling around here somewhere yeah so the the fetch quests i feel like those why is there so many birds here? Is there a bird horde? Two down. Whoop. Three, four, all kinds of birds. Yeah, so the, the fetch quests, I like to just knock those out pretty much as fast as possible. Just get the reward, get out of there, you know? You don't have to go clear the whole place, so why would you? It might seem like I'm kind of rushing things there a little bit, but I think that's just the intended way of doing things. Plus, at this rate, I want to advance our trader stage as quickly as possible. I'm kind of tentatively hopeful that, ooh, nice, that um, the this one that we're on right here, I haven't double checked, but I'm hoping that this one will be the last one and we'll get the tier reward. Who's in here? Ooh, I don't know who that was. Hobie right here. Goodbye. It's like there's another lumberjack in there. You can tell by his uniquely terrible gurgling sound. Hello there. Oop, miss. Done. Yeah, I 
I think we're on to the last one. This is Go Nuts Donuts. This is the sushi chest over here. Whoa, that was kind of a tongue twister there. <laughs> Who's this? Ow! I couldn't see who that was. Too much blood in my face. Is this the main loot area back here? It is. Who's hiding in here, though? Come on over here. I got a present for you. I'll make it nice and easy on all of us. Nice and quick and painless for you. Well, I wouldn't say painless quite, but... Quick, at least. And that's it. Okay, and that's just about it. Armored up book, and we're good. How do I get out of here? Right there? Okay, let's go get our quest reward. All right, what is it? Now, as per the usual, craft skill magazine bundle, and we'll go with Molotovs. Mo oh, here we go, and we're getting the, 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 the bundle reward here. Traps bundle number two, higher tiered passive traps. I think that's like spike traps. I don't know about that. I can choose two though. Melee mods, ranged mods. I'm not really feeling that either. At this point, I've either found the ones I want or, you know, otherwise I can craft them. Cobblestone shapes. Okay, we'll take those. It saves us some resources and I'll take the food bundle, I suppose. It's kind of boring, but it is what it is. And to the Southwest, that's the other, other Trader Bob. Food bundle is actually, wow, that's not bad. That gives you pure mineral water now and some hobo stew. And this will give me the traps, the big hitters, and the medical journals. And that's good. We're into the tier threes, I think, for both traders now. I might just go swing over to Bob's and see what he's offering before it resets tomorrow. Okay, I'm here at Bobby's. He does have a tier three infestation, oh, thank you which much. is very close by. And I think we can do that within a couple of hours and get that over with, get a quest reward, get the uh, infested cash, some money, the whole nine yards. How's the inventory looking though? Awful. Okay. So we might have to make some sacrifices. In fact, I might just toss a bunch of stuff in there just to kind of, I'll go get it later, you know? All right, this here appears to be the place, some kind of a farm here. Ah, the Hunick family farms. Ah, okay. I know what to expect here, probably shenanigans. Already checked the mail, so let's hit it and check the mail again. Wiring book, good. Are there any boar or anything in the fields that I should be aware of? There is, there he is. Just one? Oh, and he got me too. Okay, make sure we're staying topped off here. If I could maybe, I think I have some first aid in here. Some regular first aid, there we go, that'll be better. And let's go with grenades instead of pipe bombs now. Good stuff, okay, let's go. So this is where the Hunick family lives. I've heard a lot about the Hunick family. Ooh, good morning, wow. Didn't expect to see you in there. And Thomas, there you go, okay. Not too bad so far for an infestation. Wait, I think I just read a medical journal or I found a medical journal and um, it said that I'd already read it, which I think that means I'm done with the medical journal set. Where is it? Medical, yes, 75 out of 75. So that means that all of the points that I put into physician that increase my chances of getting medical books, that's been deactivated. So now I, sh I shouldn't be finding them quite as much. Of course, you'll still see them and they'll be in like, medical piles and such, but uh, they, I'm, they're not gonna be like all over the place like they kind of were before. Double barrel shotgun mod and some paper. Okay, I don't really see that there's a layout here. This is just, um, this is just a free for all, go wherever you please. Hello, euthanized. Hey, a pool table, bring that home with me. Just toss it in the backpack, no big deal. What is with all the sleepy zombies here? You ever uh, drive by those houses where you can tell that someone who didn't know what they were doing <laughs> built the house, like drew up the design. They, you know, they, they drafted the blueprint. They hired some construction company or maybe they built the house themselves. Here we go. I'm kind of getting the vibe that this is kind of like a place like that. Like someone who didn't really quite know what they were doing kind of, kind of designed this place. I mean, look at this. This is kind of, this is kind of weird here, isn't it? Who puts a refrigerator up here with some sofas? All right, heavy fog is rolling in. Visibility is reduced. That's the main loot over there. Oh, oh boy. We've got a bit of a fight here. Oh, okay, dropping down here. And oh boy, there's just a rad sitting there. Okay, let's just set up a little bit of a defensive field of fire here. There we go. Better, I like this. Excuse me, Thomas. Okay, careful, we don't want to hit the turret too much. It'll take some damage. 
Goodbye. Okay, yeah, I just gotta, you know, gotta get the, you gotta get used to things. How, like, how you're supposed to fight as an intellect player. I feel like I'm not good at it yet. I gotta practice. Maybe the whole still, what is that? No, thank you. Yeah, maybe the reason it doesn't feel good yet is just because I, I stink, which uh, wouldn't surprise me. Main loot chest here, not much in it. Infested cache here, also not much, although I, was that a burst mod? No, we don't want that. We want the full auto mod. Okay, we're, we're definitely not done though. There's still another half. There's like the garage to do. Yep, and I'll play by the rules, but I'll also make a nice fallback position for us over here. How about we do something like this? Oh, hello. Snacks, nice. I freaking love snacks. Uh, maybe a little bit too much. Okay, hello. Is anybody in here? Yes, someone is in here. Another snack. Good, good, good. Okay, well, I'm just gonna run through, I guess, and... Um... I heard some really weird gurgling there. Is it just a regular boar somewhere? Is this it? I am- oh, snakes. Ow! Oh, there's the boar. Oh, got shot by the turret, I think. Alright, well, I guess it's just one zombie in here. And he's eating the boar. <laughs> Come on, man! Yep, that was it. Wow, pretty anticlimactic. We kind of- we, we did the climactic part about halfway through. <laughs> Whatever. We're just in time to go get our quest reward. All right, here we are. I think this is probably the last thing on the agenda for today. After this, we'll probably head home and think about construction and such. Great what do you got for me, Bobby? Oh, hey. Some, uh, some different things this time around, at least. Yeah, because we're into the next tier. That's nice. Okay, we'll take the crafting skill magazine bundle and... That pistol's a pretty good upgrade from the one that I have. I'll take that. And there is a fetch at the old radio station. No, 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 we can't do that. Hey, that place has been destroyed. There's nothing there that we need. All right, here we are at home, safe and sound. Let me get the stuff kind of organized and out of the inventory. Crap, I, that just reminds me, I forgot that box of stuff back at the trader, but that's okay. I can deal with that. We'll pick it up some other time. Okay, that crafting skill magazine bundle was good for wiring and traps and home cooking. We're doing really good on the wiring stuff now. Okay, let's set the pool table up down here somewhere. We can play a little bit of pool. Kind of not a good spot for it, but it'll do. Oh yes, and there's my box of AP ammo. Very nice. Get this fully reloaded now. Right, give me that full auto mod for the TAC AR. And just like that, I think we're all reset and ready for another project. But what to do? I think what we really need to start doing is hammering this place out. We gotta get this place into some sort of a final configuration. I gotta start thinking about how we're gonna do defense here. It won't be long until the bandits get here, I can assure you of that. So we've got a really nice position here, which gives us about 180 degrees of coverage. We're kind of lacking something similar on the other side over here, just this little platform. Okay, yeah, and, and I kind of do want to also get some spike traps at some point. Either wood or iron would be fine, and kind of set them up around the perimeter as well. Oh, and landmines, that would be kind of fun. Can I make those yet? I can make the tin can landmines, which are pretty much good enough. Holy duct tape, are you kidding me? Oh my god, that that's expensive. That's ridiculous. All right, anyway, I'm gonna start drafting up some plans on construction for tonight. I'm just gonna kind of take it easy, get uh, reset a little bit after a, a, a heckin' adventure today, and um, start looking at some things that I can craft because I'm sure I've fallen behind on just, you know, of trying to look and see what I've unlocked here. So I will do that and we will do a morning broadcast and pick things up in a few hours. But anyway, thank you very much for tuning into today's broadcast and I will catch you hopefully in the next one. Good morning, post-apocalypse, and welcome back to Hope Radio, where together we survive. I spent last night doing a bunch of crafting and I quickly came to the realization that we need more resources. Unfortunately, my big brain intellect build isn't quite cut out for salvaging and harvesting, but it is cut out for buying forgetting elixirs. Something you like. So today we're gonna jump over into strength with a dash of perception and spend a day or two harvesting up supplies for some expansion projects at the radio tower. But for now, this is Temreki signing off. Okay, so let me show you what I got crafted last night. I think, uh, yeah, there's a generator here. I, look, I have three spotlights. I got a robotic drone. However, I can't make any mods for it, so it's just going to be like a generic drone. Two triple mods, and these are turrets that I had already pre-purchased yesterday from the trader. The shortfall that I had last night was, number one, electrical parts, because I was stupid and I sold off a whole bunch of them. So we'll have to work on getting some more of those. And glue, because we're basically out of bones. So... 
if we look at the map, there should be, I think it was down here, the Hunick family farm. Which one was that? Not sure, but I'll see it if I come across it. We should go back in there, harvest up the boar and such. And then if we come across the, like any other farms, they'll look like they'll have a lot of meat and, and boar, or, or even if we find deer and snakes and every, anything else, we got to start harvesting them up. I haven't been doing that for weeks now. And we'll have to go to the trader to purchase up a second forgetting elixir because I only have the one. There's a couple of ways we could do this. Number one, we have to buy the forgetting elixir first. Number two, we could probably like do a triple spec where we go into like the huntsman so we can get more out of the animals. We put points into salvage operations so we can wrench better. And then we put a bunch of points into Miner 69er and Mother Load. And then at the end of the day or tomorrow, we'll go straight back into intellect. I don't know. I don't know how this is all going to work out. Probably biting off more than I can chew as usual. Let me get all of this stuff here straightened out. And I'll probably just meet you over at Trader Bob's this morning. All right, Bob did just open a minute ago, and last night I did come back here and I emptied out that box that I had placed down. I put a bunch of stuff in there last night. All right, good morning, Bob. I'll take a couple of these things here, and... Oh, we could do... I gotta start collecting these uh, learning elixirs. I guess I'll grab the one of those. And I brought my Magnum with me for a slight discount here. I think otherwise I probably purchased everything from him that I need. We're just looking for that forget an elixir there. Yes, indeed, that is the case. Nothing else here that I need, so I'll, I won't waste the sugar butt for this one. I will just go ahead and flat purchase this. Pleasure okay, that'll do it. Now we need to respec. We don't need intellect anymore today. There we go. All right. <laughs> what are we going to do now, though? We need... We need a total of seven into strength so I can max out Miner 69er and Mother Load. That's number one. We got 30 points left, though. We probably should take some into Salvage Ops. Let's go four into that. And I'd also like to take some into the Huntsman. Let's do six, seven, and then four into this. And then with the rest of the points, I will just go back into Intellect a little bit so we have some combat skills. And that's all we can do. So hopefully we don't fight any humongous hordes today. <laughs> I just jinxed it though. Okay, so now the world is our oyster. We've got to do mining, we've got to do wrenching, and we've got to do animal killing. All right, let's begin. Right, that'll just about do it. I just did this whole POI here at the vet and I've already ganked the loot. So it, we've come full circle now and it's all over. So yeah, that's not going to give you very much, is it? So yeah, I've done a ton, ton, ton of mining. Where's the bike? Uh, yeah, tons of mining and also tons of animal harvesting. I, I do think I probably have enough bones to kind of hold me over for a little bit. It's just like everything that's good takes like 50 or 60 duct tape to make. I'll just have to pay more attention to gore piles and animals from now on though. But look at the bike, completely filled with resources. Also, I think I filled the drone up with resources too. <laughs> it's just absolutely a ton of stuff. And I don't think that we'll need to do that probably ever again. Okay, so fresh new day here. And I think, yeah, first of all, we've got to go back to the base and stash stuff oh look we live right here all right now we get to get all the resources rolling we got a lot of stuff to produce here well we got a chicken in here somewhere where are you <laughs> we could just make chicken traps all over the place 
Okay, geez, time to unpack. Oh, you know what? I was just I, like, I, when I went back to the Hunick family farm, I kind of fell. It wasn't even very far and I sprained a leg and I was like, for a second there, I had no idea why that would happen, but it's because I spent just enough money to not have that 5,000 dukes in my pocket trick from the Great Heist book. And then I didn't have any points into position, so I had to put a point into position. Then I had to find a splint, but it was a bit, a bit of a process there. Okay, drone? Robotic drone? Where are you? You could, uh, there you, oh, almost. Come on, buddy. There you go. Just do a little bit of a uh, minor little phasing trick there. No big deal. Okay, put all this crap away. Holy crap. Oh my, I can't wait to look at this. Oh my god, that's so much. Good, good, good. So let's get rolling then on AP robotic turret ammo. Mm, I think I'll take boxes. A little bit cheaper to do this. Seven boxes or... Yeah, because we've got the iron and we don't need the lead for anything else. So yeah, 37 minutes. Wow, it's going to be all day working on that. Went through six rock busters as well. That was that was awesome. I love doing that. Just get it all done at once. I don't have to kind of nickel and dime it here and there. And I also got a bunch of nitrate and coal. Should be enough to make... Can I do like... Can I do stacks of gunpowder? No, that is an explosives skill. So I have decided... I thought long and hard about this, about... Uh, what we're gonna do for a secondary skill set and what we're gonna do is perception reason being I'm actually I'm not gonna go very heavy into another firearm skill I'm gonna just lean into the robotics I think that's probably the best way to go and instead I will put points into demolitions and we'll use grenades and contact grenades to kind of augment our our ability to kill rads and such and then that'll also allow us to keep some points into salvage operations lucky looter and the penetrator which i looked it up and this does actually affect the turret as well okay how did we do for bones 276 really that's not that great but at least now we're only held back by the water should be able to fix that here and in terms of electrical parts didn't spend a whole lot of time working on it but 217 that'll be fine the reason why is i had to go across the street last night into the gas station there and do some wrenching so that i could make a new generator which is sitting in here somewhere so i think now the task to do let's respec real fast or no let's not respec because there's some renovation stuff i have to do around here before we do that okay okay there's a certain order of operations to things today okay so the first thing i gotta do is i need to come down here and i'm gonna rip off the sign over here john i don't know who you were but this is no longer your radio station no 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 now this is hope radio and i just need to do some testing here to see what the spacing is gonna be there it is. Now this place shall be known as Thames Hope Radio. Same thing on the backside here. I gotta rip off all these letters and replace them and, you know, eventually someday I'll paint all this stuff. Nice. Thames Hope Radio. Here we go. Okay, at this point, are we ready to respec over or is there any more demo work? I'd like to get all the demo work done while we're into strength here because it's just going to be like 100% more tedious to do if we're not. Uh, at this point, uh, yeah, we, we don't need this anymore. The zombies, they can't even get inside here. So just peel all of this stuff off. And um, I think I'll even just, yeah, we'll take up the whole staircase. Just use the ladder. There we go. We're all done, just except for these, which hopefully will just break off eventually. <laughs> not sure what's going on there. Whoa, I don't know what's going on there. How did that even happen? Goodness, that's <laughs> not good. Bad for structural stability. Oh, and this, yeah, we can we can fix all this here. Oh, right, I need to actually peel those I-beams off too. All right, all right, the demo work shall continue, maybe, unless there's nothing else to do. Yeah, I think all of this stuff, I think I've, I've destroyed most, well, not all, but most of the, the d destroyed kind of half blocks there, so. I think we're all set for just building this stuff up, and I'm gonna use the 100 cobblestone cube shapes that I got as a quest reward there and that's what we use for base building around here all right now I want to just fill this floor in once and for all so that's nice and flushed up and this is like our only way in and when uh, Echo was here helping build we were kind of talking about like what do we do when the bandits attack and I think this is like a dead center like this isn't connected to these I-beams I don't think anyway so if I hmm I wonder if I just knocked out that bottom couple of like one plate right there if that would just collapse the whole thing and then in that case I could just put like um 
like a just one of these blocks like a regular frame and then just like oh the bandits are here and then just yank that up and then uh then i'd be stuck down here though <laughs> i don't know i don't know what the solution to this is honestly yeah i'll think more on it as we go along okay so let's do some uh let's do some building out here we got i think we gotta shore this up a little bit because uh if i was out here i'd feel very unsafe there's just uh, not a lot of cover here not a lot of concealment so i want to put like a little bit of a canopy over here and in the workbench, I'm crafting up some of those corrugated metal sheets that we have on like the perimeter all along the exterior. And I think that'll be a good thing to use over here. And otherwise, I'm just going to kind of, yeah, I guess build upon the existing structure here. Nothing too crazy. I want it to kind of look natural. So we're just going to like build these pillars up on the side. <laughs> good thing I stayed in strength. I'm making mistakes already here. All right, so that's that's that right there. And then basically that should give me this block plane here for some metal sheets to kind of cover up the front of the sandbags. And then this block plane here to put some more metal sheets and that'll give us some sort of concealment from above and I'll kind of wrap it around 360 degrees. And that will be that, that that'll be this, I guess. That's just one little phase of the project here. Uh, okay, we've got doorway coming out here. That's centered up nice. This is kind of weird here. I don't like this. My pickaxe skills are so strong. It's just awesome. Okay, whoops. This is weird too. What's going on here? I was thinking I, I have a surplus of steel right now. We could make some jail doors and I was thinking to like replace that door and then the front door over here with jail doors because you can fight through them a little bit better. Ow. Yeah, I don't know. We'll get there. Okay, there's one more like platform area that I was looking at earlier that I want to see if I can fix up and it's... Well, we got to fix this. Okay, seal that up. Maybe we'll put some doors out here. I'm not sure. This looks a little bit better to me, though. Bit of a harsh transition there. So let's do that. Oh, yes, I've got the axe skills now. I've got to take all this down here. Okay, now I'm starting to see where we can make this at least look better. It's not going to function too well. But yeah, we need some railings to go all the way around this stuff. For some reason, I, there's just something I really like about working with these shapes and, and like getting those little curved ends to kind of line up with the other ones should be the last piece here oh no of course that one over there is messed up we don't need a railing over there that's weird there this room is pretty much done once and for all okay that brings me to this level and i had a pretty cool idea because this is already open right here what if Oh, is this the one that I need to replace here? Yeah, it definitely is. You can see the ones above me and the ones below me. They have some sort of a weird or like a like a more interesting paint pattern. So I need to replace these corner blocks. Okay, and then, yeah, there's this sort of feature here. I think this has to go like so. And then is this one okay over here? Nope, this one over here is definitely weird. These need to be half blocks over here, I think. Oh, right. Finally, I have to finish off taking out these studs. What I'm thinking here is, okay, what if I just took off one more layer over here? I'm thinking I get some of those military barriers like I was using down there, and we do military barriers like this, and then we'll do some of those corrugated sheets kind of on the top, and we'll have this like kind of enclosed little pillbox here. I think that'll look pretty cool, and that'll give us complete coverage on this side for defense. You know, two people, maybe three people over here. We could cycle them in and out. We hide back here, reload. Got a people people shooting out there. Something to that effect anyway. And what, what is going on here? A mess. It's just, <laughs> this place is chaos. We're gonna fix it though. Bit by bit, block by block. Tell you what though, it is pretty nice to be able to use that, the axe, or any tool really, without using any stamina. Okay, I think... I think the idea here was originally like this is not going to be anything we'll seal that up and then over here i i think it's supposed to be like this where you knock these couple out and then you fill these couple in and that's that's your window right there in fact we could probably do the same thing on this side as we're doing on the other side and make this into like a little bit of a bunker spot i like that idea and then i did the same thing over here i was using the wrong shapes so i'm gonna have to go through the process here of kind of just destroying this corner and replacing it with the correct shapes so that when it's all painted, it looks a little bit better. I'm gonna use my cement mixer to make some of these military barriers. They they cost actually quite a bit of cloth, honestly. And looks like we're still rolling on the AP robotic turret ammo, but a whole, we're gonna have plenty of that stuff now. I was even thinking that I could just have like 
two of these to put down and then a third one for me to like hip fire. <laughs> kind of hilarious. Okay, eventually here, and we're gonna need to rearrange things in here because things are looking messy and I don't I don't really like it up here. But uh, in due time, in due time, we got all night to do this basically. And then we'll go out and do some questing tomorrow, I think. Thank goodness for drone cameras because otherwise this project would be pretty difficult. Okay, in the closing hours of daylight, I finally have these corrugated sheets. And where are we gonna do that? We're gonna do that on this level over here. Okay, I just gotta figure out how... How are these going to be put on here? I was hoping... Wait a minute. Yeah, right out front here, we'll start. And yeah, we have all of these shapes here to choose from. We've got diagonals, we've got uh, 1x4s, 2x2s, 3x3s, and then we've got all of these, these just assorted shapes up here. I like, uh, personally, I like going with a little bit of a variety. Kind of gives it a more scrappy look, you know? Let's just start seeing how these look. And these are like... Uh, what are they? Like... A thousand hit points, so they're not too difficult to break off if I misplace one. Difficult to see, I know, but we'll get a closer look at everything in the morning at least. All right, I got those military barriers in place, so let's do... Do these look different on each angle? They do, so we want to break it up a little bit. Kind of rotate them around periodically. There we go. Nice, that'll be really good coverage over here. You could even put some turrets up. Oh! But we're gonna do the uh, the metal sheets on the top thing. How are we gonna do that? Drone, get over here. You just, why don't you just stay here? Yeah, oh, yeah, we could put them on the outside too because that would give it a little bit of extra coverage out here. Do we have, yes, we have a three by one that'll sit in here perfectly. Just like so, whoops, whoop, I fell down. Okay, there's that and then we need another one. Oh, hold on a second. Can I, can I do the three by two? two up here two by two three three by two right here yeah oh that's gonna look pretty cool right there yep set the, whoops oh that has some connection problems i think let's try a let's try like a slightly different rotation sometimes that can do the trick there yep okay that was the trick how about this one over here? That one worked. I'm thirsty. Red tea, jam chowder. Hey, hey, finally looks like we got some action. I've been wondering where the wandering hordes were and they're right out front. So let's get on out here. Whoops. Oh yeah, they run fast. Forgot about that part. Ah. Oh, and I don't have good combat skills. <laughs> I forgot about that part too. All right. I think it kind of looks like the rest of them just kind of ran on by. Well, I did get this extra snake and this chicken here. Just harvest those up. Yeah, I can't really see, but the rest of them, I think, just took off around the corner over there. Oh, well. Oh, hey, Mo. A little bit late, buddy. Okay, it's almost daybreak. I've been kind of working quietly by myself, and um, I'll just continue working until we get better lighting, because it's kind of hard for even me to see right now. I did set down the generator over here, so let's maybe start working on some lights. I was thinking to put lights here and here it's not ideal but i figured you know if there's an attack or something at night we can just reorient the lights in whatever direction okay well there's daybreak right there i didn't do much else but uh, anyway let's have a look here i probably it's time we got to get out of uh, strength now because i need to do forge crafting and that's going to be much much better if i'm back into intellect so yep goodbye strength <laughs> It was so nice to have you there for a second. Okay, this time I have four skill points left over. Let's go, let's just like get started here in perception. We'll go with the penetrator, lucky looter, salvage operations, and then one into demolitions expert, I suppose. And the rest will just start pumping directly into the attribute. Okay, that should give me a lot more bang for my buck in terms of steel and such. So yeah, I want to craft everything out of the forge because... You can kind of see where I went too far to the left. There's supposed to be a wall right here in this line. So the whole base needs to be rearranged, <laughs> starting with the forge. All right, we'll get that. Let's just craft the stuff out of here, and um, we'll kind of pull that up tomorrow or the next day. You know what I find pretty interesting is if I take a bandage, it's like seven or 800 XP, 770 XP just for putting a bandage on. That's, that's kind of cool if I could do a learning elixir and just slap on like 25 first aid kits. I might level up. Okay, just a small task to do down here at the bottom. By the way, that's what this looks like. I think that came out pretty sharp. I like it. Might want to think about trying to put a center pillar in here. No. 
No, that block plane is kind of messed up. That's okay. Yeah, I want to get some more spotlights. We're going to do spotlights on all four corners of the base. And then these little columns right here are going to be for turrets. We'll do shotgun turrets here. And that way, if like a wandering horde comes by, I can just open the gate and we'll have like a nice funnel form right here. And we'll just kind of, you know, rinse them down. So shotgun turret there. Got to get that stuff hooked up. Yeah, we'll have the spotlights up there and we'll just kind of reorient them as needed. And uh, did I make, I haven't made, I want to make some, some of the platforms, the wooden platforms like we had going on the other side over there, like echo built. Oh yes. And we had the jail doors crap. I meant to break down the doors before, <laughs> before I uh, got out of strength there, but that's okay. Yeah. I'm making up some uh, doors anyway. Okay. So we'll do the bandit platform things uh, some other time, but I need, need like eight of these I think if I'm doing the math right so we'll start on that and okay at this point I'm not gonna hook everything oh with the SMG turrets where where do we want to put these hmm yeah I don't, I'm not not exactly sure where I'm gonna put those so I'm not gonna put them anywhere until I've had a good think about it all right let me just get uh, reoriented I want we got to do some quests for the trader we're into the tier threes now and we're gonna have to you know continue racking up money got to check their inventory too because it is trader restock day so just quickly toss all that stuff away and whatever else can just sit in whatever box for now. Let's get some pure mineral water rolling on the fire while we're away. Hydrate, eat, and let's hit the road. First stop is Trader Bob. See if he has any jobs, check his inventory, and we'll kind of take it from there. Good morning, Bob. Hope you're not trying to sleep in today because I'm here early. Okay, first things first here, we've got Skull Crusher. That'll do for that. Let's get an awesome sauce if we need it. Hello, check your jobs first here. Fetch. Scarecrow fields. What is it with you and the farms, man? And the frickin' bakeries. Send me to the cool places. Nope, not the radio station. Invest clear, the McCormick's. No, guess we're doing fetches at the scarecrow fields and so on. All right, check his inventory. Yeah, well, I guess the only thing I really want here, I'll take the motion sensor. I'll take the spotlight, take the blade trap, I suppose. Extra lantern. Yeah, that's about it, I think. Okay, we'll do a couple of quests for him real quick. Oh, thank goodness the fog has lifted. All right, to the Scarecrow Fields. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yep, this is the spot right here. We just have to go around back and do the, the quest marker thingy. So let's hit it. Tier 3 fetch. We don't have to do the whole thing. We're not going to do the whole thing. We're going to get the fetch thing and we're going to do the main loot. That's it. Oh, it, oh, nice. Vehicle Adventures. And this is the place that has my Goblinos poster. Okay, Supply Satchel is up which means it's probably just up in here and that's it. Who else is up here though? I know you're in here some, oh, there's, oh, who's that? Le Big Troll. Yep, and that's where the supply satchel was. Okay, now we just gotta go gank the main loot. And by gank, I mean legitimately get the main loot the way that uh, it was intended for you to get it. Oh, that was not the perfect place to try to chop the wall, was it? Okay, yep, yeah, this is where the big fight is. So let's do let's do a little bit of hammer and anvil on these guys. Let's do run, drop, run, close, and defend. Yep, got a soldier there. He's not gonna last very long. <laughs> oh, this is great. The perfect trap. That that's it. All done. So um, one observation that has been made that I've heard over the radio is that uh, currently. If you have a, a turret down, oh, another zombie in here. If you have the turret down, that is uh, Thrysynth over there, who's not even moving. Just, just kneeling there. That's freaking creepy. Uh, anyway, you know the physician perk, how it gives you that 10% chance to insta-kill a zombie? Well, uh, apparently that works if you have the stun baton in your hand. See, look, he just instantly died. That was a euthanizing kill right there because I had the stun baton in hand and the turret was out. I don't know if that's the intended way for things to happen, but it's how it's working right now anyway. So yeah, get your stun baton out if you're using the turrets, as long as you have the maxed out position perk. Okay, we're in. I will, in fact, why not? Let's take an eye candy. We're about to go do a second quest here in a second. We might be able to just kind of like lightning grab the main loot there. Whole bunch of books and magazines. Plenty of robotics parts and such here. Chain mod. Ooh, that was awful. Couple of extra lock picks there. Okay. Well, I guess we're in a hurry now. All right. Well, got your supplies there, Bobby. Okay. Leather leg armor. 
in a wrench. Jeez, that's awful. What am I wearing for leg armor? Level ones. Okay, I'll take the armor for sure, and I think that bow will probably sell pretty well. Well, so so does the wrench. Okay, those are the two that I want then. And we'll do his other fetch here at Pops Pawn and Bell's Bakery. I know where that is. It's kind of like right in the middle of town. Okay, whoops. Here we are. Whoa, just rolling, <laughs> rolling right into the back, right into, right into a dog. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't know about this. Right, bring him over here. Stand no chance, I got my combat skills back now. Although I don't have the animal harvesting skills, so. Well, 18 bones though, what's that good for? Five or six glue, I think? Another dog? Really? Okay, whoa, oh jeez, ah! Yeah, see that works pretty good. Didn't expect him to come jolting through the doorway like that. Okay, well, let's, let's hit it. And I'll just deal with these dogs again. I need the glue anyway. Is this even a part of the same POI? Yeah, this is the the truck there. Okay, I can hear him. Where are you? Ah, behind me. Okay, what do you think the chances are the main loot is just over here somewhere? What about up here somewhere? This is like the top of the roof. No, nope, that just goes back down. I have no idea where I am right now. Oh, this is a nice place. Wow. Oh, I like this place. I kind of recognize where I am now, too. So, whoop, snake. Um, yeah, there's a way, yeah, you drop down here. Isn't the loot, yeah, because this is like the pawn shop area here. Oh, there's, oh, there's the main loot, which means we got a fight on our hands here, probably. Whoop, yeah, put that down. Come on over here, ow. Yep, yeah, see, if I'm just holding the baton, we get like, Instant kills on the zombies. Oh my god, it's so cheese. Look at that, that's so fast. Also got some more guys over here. Nope, 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 get out of here. Christopher Maples, no chance. Well, I say that and then I was like, pretty much almost killed by those guys. All right, perfect. We've 50 seconds left on the looting candy. First try on the lockpick. I'm gonna dive into this first. And uh, I did get a fuel saver mod schematic there a couple of days ago. Not sure if I showed you guys that. The level three leather leg armor, which I just took as a quest reward. Okay, I'm just gonna open these boxes before the looting candy runs out, and then I've gotta figure out an inventory management solution. Okay, there we go. Everything seems to be open. Okay, I hit that button, but I didn't see, oh, I forgot that loot bag there. I didn't see what happened. Um, out to the back? I suppose that is the trick there. Oh, I missed the gun safe back here. Or, geez, okay, well, at least we're getting into like tier one stuff. All right, I've gathered up all the loot now. We just gotta find the supply satchel, which I get the impression, I think that was in the bakery side over here. Yeah. Gotta go around to get it, I think. There's no easy way up to the roof, around the corner, and so on. Ooh, <laughs> I love how far they fly. All right, I'm in a rush now. Let's I'll just, just get this and get out of here. Here we go. I suppose that works as well as anything. All right, back at Bob's. Not sure if he has any other jobs for us or not. Here we go. Ooh, nice tack assault rifle there, which is, surprises me. Okay, I'll take that and I'll take your crafting skill magazine bundle. And uh, we can do this infested clear job at the McCormick Brilliant. residence, which is... Pretty close by. Okay, here it is, the McCormick's. Oh goodness, it's been ages since I've been to the McCormick's place over here. I have checked their mail though. All right, let's hit it. Just check the mail again, Fireman's Almanac there. And that Crafty Skill Magazine bundle was good for wiring and traps. Pretty much that's what they all have at this point. Starting to get a little bit weighed down here too. Don't need rocks. I'll switch over the new TAC AR. It's a pretty hefty upgrade of 3.9 damage per round. All right, what's the deal here? We start start up here, I think. I don't know, I don't think I've been here in so long. Hello, Ooh, a couple of Tommy boys up here. This one, JD Bruce, and oh boy. We're getting stuck on the ceiling here. Oh, a rad! Okay, Shikari or something like that. Ah, running, running, running. Here we go. Give you some defenses over here. Yep, there we go. That's definitely a euthan euthanized kill. I love that, but also I don't think that's how it's supposed to be right now. That just makes the physician perk like the most OP thing ever. Okay, dropping into the house proper. Oh, got some company in there. Let's just, uh, do this. <laughs> a little bit of a 
delayed punch there. Hello, Winter. How are you? It's been a while since I've seen you around. And Lore Master Will here. We got, we got more company here somewhere. Where are these people? Oh, a rad down there. That's nice. Here we go. Let them have it. <laughs> Just instant death. Wow. What's up, T-Peel? Just gonna be hanging out there, I guess? Okay. Well, oh, jeez. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! Oh. Jeez. Oh, my. All right. Well, I'm gonna soften these guys up the easy way. Just close the door. That helps. Killed one. Also, I'm, I'm kind of not in good shape right now. Euthanized. I can love that stuff, man. Wow. Oh, hello, Cajun. I'm just, like, rolling up on a whole bunch of sleepy zombies here today. Wow, that was, that was awful. Okay. Johnny Toothpicks. Ow, who was that? Covert lettuce sneaking up on me here. That's interesting. I'm just getting straight ferals and rads in here. And I'm I'm not gonna pull out any kind of a good loot here. Oh, this is infestation. That's why there's so many zombies here. I was kind of wondering that for a second. Totally spaced out. Okay, what do we got here? Probably a whole group of them. Yep. Okay. Top of the stairs and defend. Back downstairs with you, Queen B. Oh boy, we got a couple more lumberjacks here. There we go. There's somebody. <laughs> Cookie 44 is stuck in the stairs here. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Nope, I think Cookie just died. Look out. Nope, still alive. Here we go. Oh. Welcome back to reality. Oh, yes, this is the place with the pipe thing. I remember this now. And there should be... Isn't there a valve? Valve? No, I don't... Well, there is, I think, somewhere. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, right there. Set up a defense here. And the grenade right through the window. Love it. Nice. That was great. Aha, there's the, the thing. I, I missed the valve, though. I, I walked right by. I did, like, three laps around here, and I didn't see it. Oh, there it is. We do have the indication that there are more zombies, though. That might have just been like a pre-end boss fight. So let's just set up a defense here a little bit. Yep, okay. There we go. At least three or four in there. It's very nice of them to wait patiently in there for me. Whoops. Whoop. Oh, geez, they broke right straight through there. No matter. We're doing fine. <laughs> oh, no. poor old sci-fi there. Yeah, that whole thing I was saying the other day about... Oh, nice. Give me some blueprints here. Some cool things I can hang up on the walls. Nice. Yeah, the whole thing I was saying about... Oh, you know, we need to spec into something else. I don't know about intellect. Well, I'm getting the hang of it now. I'm really liking it. What I'm just not liking is the loot. We, we need to make a trip to the snow biome. I think that's a good happy medium. Because I think the wasteland is just a little bit too much for me right now. Maybe next week after the horde, we'll strike off out there again, see if we can find it. All right, that'll do it for this place. Let's go find a quest reward. What's up, Bob? What you got for me this time? Oh, nothing. This is terrible. Jeez, we'll go with the hunting knife and first aid bandages. Bob, that was that was just I, I, the unforgivable. Terrible. Not doing any more jobs for you today. Well, we're thirsty. Uh, we need to resupply a little bit. We need to drop off our loot. So let's head back to the base. All right, everything's put away now. I did pick up a rad remover somewhere today. Can I? Hmm, that's interesting. You can't, you don't have the four mod slots on a level five robotic turret. I wonder if I found a level six, if that would cut it. And uh, we've got the robotic sledge. I think probably that's going to go pretty well onto the baton and instead i'll just put the structural brace maybe onto the sledge see if there's maybe another mod i can squeeze on here too like a weighted head and we're good to go again i do just want to swing over we'll just do a quick trip over and check on trader joel and see what his inventory has today and maybe there's something uh, we want to go do a sell-off to to purchase i'm just thinking about it now i 
maybe we just do the purchase the, the sell off now because the sell chest is getting really really full all right made it over here Let's see if he does oh he doesn't have the awesome sauce wow what a bust on that one well, i can't do a sell off without an awesome sauce crap where's the nearest vending machine ah it's way over there there's five of them right there that'll do what's not gonna do is four percent fuel probably need to wrench down a car just to top off forgot to fill up at the beginning of the day today. Up to 6% now. Lovely. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Got a couple of runners. Oh my goodness, humongous horde over there. And these are the stragglers right over here. All right, let's do this. Big fight in the forest here. All right, first things first, we need defenses. We're gonna defend this rock right here. We'll put a uh, turret out front like this and another one on top of the rock like this. And then I'll string them on over. We'll, we'll lead things off with a couple of grenades. How's that sound? Come on over here, everybody. Wake up. Get the stun baton out so we can get those euthanasia kills. And then just kite them in front of the turrets. That was too damn easy. I killed that entire horde. 9,000 XP in like three seconds. Look at the look at the corpses here. That was all the turret. Just insane. Okay, well, Trader is getting close to closing. Oh, there's still some more over here. Hold on a second. There we go. And got a skill point out of that too. Whoops, hang on a second. All quiet now. You know what I haven't seen is a bear. I have not seen a wild bear in 26 days now. All right, I'm ready for the big sell-off. Let's just park it in here because I got a whole bunch of stuff in the bike as well. All right, same trick as always. Got to get the, the magnum down here. I'll get the cheesecake on me. I'll take the sugar butt first. I repaired a couple of things. I didn't repair everything though, so we'll, we'll get a little bit back. In fact, look, I got some cloth in the inventory. Fix that up, take down the awesome sauce, and let's go sell. Good, and after round number two, we're up to 33 grand. Very good. Anything worth buying, though? Nah, nah, I don't think there's anything really worth taking the cheesecake over. I will take the blade traps, the cobblestone, light bulbs, contact grenades, armored up magazine, and the vehicle adventures. And it's a decent set of leather gloves there. What am I rocking right now? That uh, level three, I'm okay with that. Okay, good enough. Oh, jobs? I suppose we can do... Um, I'll just grab a job and we'll... Yeah, yeah, Senor Drogas residence. We'll grab that one. We'll do it some other time. Okay. Whoop. Oh, oh, oh. Um, yo, geez. I don't know what would happen if I got teleported out and my bike was in here. So <laughs> we're getting out of here in a hurry. There we go. Okay, looks like that'll do it. We're back to the base to do some more construction. Okay, everything's all reset back up here. We've got the inventory squared away, and I've got some engines I can toss into this. Refuel, turn on, and we'll start getting some lighting hooked up so that we can work properly overnight. And my thought is we can just aim this over like that, maybe? I don't know if that's all going to work. I'll just pick it up if it doesn't seem to be working. And then this one over here, we will just aim over that way. And that hopefully is casting some light downstairs. Okay, it is a little bit. Not too terribly bad. Yeah, not, not terribly good though either, huh? Well, okay. Well, it's something to work on, I think, eventually. I do want to now uh, use these bandit platforms. And I want to set up a couple of, like defensive towers out here somewhere. So I was thinking we could uh, set up a three meter support like so. And then is that, that's, is that, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be tall enough. Uh, but if it's too tall, then it, it'll be too easy of a shot for like a rocket launcher or something. And then we just put a cap on it like, like uh, this maybe. And then just a regular old wooden ladder on the back to get up and down. Yeah, it seems it seems very skinny and, and thin. What if I just did like another one to the side, kind of like like this? What if I just put that there for a second and yeah, then we could put some sandbags up here on the top and then you know we'd have some good coverage fighting off in that direction. And I'll do the same thing over this way. Oh, and before I forget yet again, I can make a couple of vehicle mods. I'm going to do that before tomorrow. Vehicle fuel saver and the off-road headlights, please. Oh, I have at some point unlocked the 4x4 stuff. 
do you guys want to do the four by four? I mean, really, it's just going to eat into the duct tape quite a bit, but otherwise we have plenty of steel. Sure. Yeah, we're going to have a four by four tomorrow. <laughs> cool. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. I have four more supports to shore this up. Oh, it's not perfect. <laughs> I need two more platforms for that side over there. Okay, these uh, platforms, the cost for those is like 10 nails and 25 wood, which I think is pretty reasonable. We'll get two more and I'll set those down in the morning, I guess. I really don't want to rearrange the whole crafting queue. Okay, so we'll just, I'm hooking up some lights here. I'll just hook it off the lights, I guess. Just like so, and then straight over to that one. I don't even have any shotgun ammunition. I have like 150 shells and that's it, so. Uh, we'll have to try to see if we can craft some, I guess. Shotgun shells to the tune of 316, held back by paper. Yep, I'll take that. Okay, we're starting to get some electricity going here, which makes me feel really nice. Makes me feel industrious, you know? And uh, probably someday I'll figure out a safer way to connect all these things around, but... Oh, that, that looks pretty nice. Kind of give us some illumination outside. I, oh, it, wouldn't it be so cool if you could put these on like a cycle so they went back and forth, you know? Like a searchlight? That'd be cool. The issue is somehow I have to relay the power all the way down into this corner. Yeah, I'll figure that out another time. What I want to do for tonight is uh, we'll, we'll, we'll sign off here from the radio broadcast and I'm basically just going to work and see if I can get things rearranged here in the top in the uh, crafting room here and we will kind of pick things up first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, thank you very much for tuning into today's broadcast and I will catch you hopefully in the next one. Good morning, post-apocalypse, and welcome back to Hope Radio, where together we survive. Overnight and into the morning, I've been building up the walls and rearranging the crafting area to prepare for final construction on the radio station. But for now, that project is on hold as we shift gears to Horde Night preparation. We need to secure the electrical grid over there and fill in the remaining traps and lights. Then increase structural stability with additional pillars and material upgrades. But for now, this is Temreki signing off. All right, here we go. So yeah, I was working on the walls last night and that's pretty much done. We need to work on a ceiling slash rooftop slash gyrocopter landing pad. I'm thinking to have like a little extension here that goes out a little bit this way and a little ramp, you know, because you like to have that little ramp to, to bump your gyrocopter off and then hopefully we'll be able to craft one of those in the next week or two. And so yeah, gyrocopter landing strip in the middle here. We'll do security gates above the dew collectors and maybe security gates in the middle too to let, let in some natural light. But that is a project for another time. In the workbench, we're still working on the four x four and we're working on some cobblestone stuff. I'm just gonna do cobblestone in my inventory though just get all of it and we'll dig up some more clay soil so in that case give me some rocks and i'll just mix up some more cobblestone while we're working today the shotgun rounds are for the shotgun turrets and we're gonna need more electrical stuff so probably gonna need i don't know if we'll need switches or not we definitely need relays blade traps we need more lights can i get some spotlights crafting too sure another two of those i think will do and i did also need like i think at least one light bulb I know I bought some of those. Where are they? Well, they're in one of these boxes. They're in the wrong box. Oh, you know what? I, I used the light bulbs. I used them in here. They're downstairs. Okay, we'll need to craft another one of those then. See, these basic light bulbs, they take the headlights though, so they're a little bit more expensive, but we need it anyway as part of the um, electrical wire chain. Yeah, let's just get over there. Good morning, Bo, and goodbye. All right, let's get over here to the base because we've got a lot of digging work to do and a lot of electrical work, but we're also going to have to probably overnight in the middle of the night do some car wrenching to get some more engines. Okay, and then all those cobblestone cubes that I'm... Well, I'm going to make cobblestone then cubes after that, but basically we're just going to run these columns up in the middle. So that is going to consist of cube quarters, advanced rotate, and just like that, and we're going to do basically one, two, three, four, all corners all the way up to the top. And what I think this is doing is it's keeping the zombies in their lane so that they don't hit the trigger plate and then run off to a different ladder and th then just we waste a bunch of darts there okay that's uh, there's a couple blocks left there i need to wait for resources to roll in so while we're waiting on that give me the shovel and oh i should probably have some blackstrap coffee for this project let's just see how bad this is gonna be without it yeah it's gonna be pretty bad yeah let me get some blackstrap coffee 
Okay, I'm back and fresh out of stamina too, but that should be helping us a lot because we need to basically dig a little little tiny trench around here. I'm thinking hopefully just like a one block wide trench around here. Whoop, airdrop coming in somewhere. Ah, pretty close by too. Oh, geez. Oh my goodness, it's a freaking dog bear horde. Wow. Okay, uh, in that case, let's get some weapons down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this turret turret and yep just let off a couple rounds and bring them straight over here they're behind me already oh crap ah yep bring that bear straight over here let's see if we can take him on whoa he hits hard well i can hit hard too when i want to <laughs> immediately get that first aid kit on wow that was pretty bad still like four five six dogs out there try to get a bullet into each one of them bring them straight over here all right that's all that i can see but it's not all that i can hear here we go a couple more take that Ooh, kind of a whole bunch actually i have no turret cover right now oh, gee, they sneak right up on you don't they all right now we get some bones Okay, and that will just about do it for that project. So just built a little bit of a ramp here so that everything can get out if it falls in here. Might also put some spike traps or something in here at some point just to further deter or destroy the zombies that try to get in here. And a door for this, please. Craft, okay, quite a queue of things going on right now. Blocks followed by rocks. Okay, a couple thousand more, that will be good. And let's run up these other columns here. Then while I'm up here, I'm just going to go ahead and put some spikes up here because who wouldn't take this opportunity to put some spikes on the top? Okay, so now that that's done, is there any more building? There is more building. We've got to work on like the top area, finish that off. All right, it's going to be quite a process up here. I've got to do a bunch of copy shapes and copy rotations and spinning stuff around and rotating them to get them all in the right spots. Freaking drone. The drone is always in my way. Why does it always just want to sit right exactly where you want to put a block, huh? Okay, well, that's it for the project on the back side there. We still need to dress up the side a little bit. And quite honestly, I have no idea how to go about that. So I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> Fake it till you make it, right? Okay, well, I did do the top there briefly, and that's looking pretty good. But, you know, the side is a whole different challenge over here. Okay, well, apart from the spotlight being in the way, I think I've found something that I'm somewhat satisfied with. I just have to somehow replicate that on the other side, too. All right, well, it looks, it, I don't know. It doesn't look half bad if you kind of look at it from a side angle. I think it. I think it's pretty good. If I can make it up there, I'll show you what it looks like from the top. Oh, geez. Uh, don't, don't break a leg at this stage here. Yeah, that's what it looks like from the top, which is uh, pretty cool. And I can finally nail this down. This is all secure here. I don't think it has to be too, too strong up here. We're just kind of defending against a couple of vultures. And uh, probably should put some doors up here because we're going to probably have spitting cops here and there. And we can sort of just go ahead and seal ourselves. Are you in the way again? Okay, now you can uh, follow me. I have to have him around now, though, because he's, he's got, like, the food, the water, the medicine. He's got all the important stuff in there. <laughs> okay, so we're all sealed up in here now. It's all tucked in. I, I rarely fight the hordes tucked in this much, but I kind of like it. There's some, uh, some sort of, like, rustic simplicity to all this. Right, and one more door here for this. I think, you know, zombies just target doors. <laughs> That was brilliant. So I think that's why they broke that door before. And then, I don't know, they just stacked up in there. They broke that light bulb and it destroyed the whole chain. Oh, speaking of the chain. Yeah, I can't actually remove stuff over here because I don't have a land claim block over here. So we'll get one of those made up. And oh, yes, there's some more digging that we do have to do over here because this is where I'm going to dig in the power relays. 
Having a hard time today, apparently. Okay, so I didn't bring the relays with me? I thought I could have guaranteed that I did that. Well, anyway, that's where it's going to go, and I'll put a hatch on top. So I'm going to dig in the rest of these, and then I'm going to head over and start getting our supplies, all everything that I forgot back over here. Well, I got the 4x4 down. Bring that over here and get some extra lights in. That's pretty nice. Okay, just a couple more things to do here, and then I'm going to head around town and start doing some car wrenching. Whoa, who's that? Grandpa. Grandpa AJ. Ow, man. I don't actually mind getting roughed up a little bit, though, because I get so much XP for using first aid. I get like 2,000 XP for using a first aid kit. Anyway, I had those relays on me the whole time, so and I have the perfect number of them, too, so... One, two, three, four. And basically the idea being is that uh, instead of having a switch there, I will just hook it directly into... Oh, geez. We would rather have these on a switch, wouldn't we? Unless we have like one generator that's just dedicated to power. Like just have these as trap generators and we just turn the generator on, leave it. Don't have to worry about switches. And then we'll put another generator back here and we'll dig it in. And then that'll be for the lights. But we definitely need to get some uh, car engines here in the very near future. Okay, we can put these blade traps in. I got seven more. So that should be enough to even extend this down further. Although, yeah, let's do that. Might as well. Take a black drop coffee, do a little bit more digging. Just pick these up, get these out of the way. We can always use a little bit of extra clay soil. There's never enough of it. Okay, I think that will do it right there. Two more blade traps, put one on each flank, which means we need at least one more. I'm sure I can purchase one from the trader eventually, or build one myself. I could just craft one, it's just, yeah, the resource grind, it's, it's hard to have enough resources to do everything, you know? Some of the stuff you just gotta buy. I think while I'm at it, I will frame in these generators as well. And I have six. I have five hatches to cover up all of these openings that we've made and protect our electronics. And I just got everything properly wired up. And one more hatch, little hole there, something, whatever, until I can get the generator in there. And then that will go straight into the lights to the top. And that should get all of like, you know, right side on a right generator, left side on left generator and central on central generator just as like a redundancy there but we are just grossly overpowered on the power draw here so we need to go get some engines do i have enough skill points here to take something uh, one more point into salvage ops i don't we'll go perception next skill point will be salvage ops then okay first things first then let's go to a vending machine somewhere see if i can get a hacker's candy if not we'll just proceed with wrenching no luck on the hackers. Well, let's do this then. Alright, I suppose that will have to do it there. I'm over here at the quest location that we picked up yesterday. It's just a fetch quest, so we could be in and out pretty quickly. But yeah, I got seven engines today, which is pretty damn good. And I actually like having the 4x4 around, because I can kind of stay out longer and get more work done. Well, give me them bones and let's hit it. More bones. Okay, I do have a pool table at home, so no need to pick that up, but I will... Oh no, I can't take those posters. Oh, crap. I thought I could have those. Where are the supplies from here? They're upstairs. They might be on the second floor. It's a pretty big house. It's one of my favorite houses. Okay. Isn't there... I'm trying to remember. Isn't there a false door? Oh, here it is. I knew there was something sneaky in here. I was like, distant memories. Let's go ahead with an eye candy for this, and I'm sure we can get to the end loot in six minutes or however long that'll take. That's just a little bit of ammo. Oh, got a couple of extra cars here. That's kind of nice. We've also got a few zombies here. A feral here, raw gauge. What's up, raw? Got a biker here as well. Fortunately, he's a little bit stuck over there. And we're done. 
It's a shame that you don't see these older cars on the road anymore. They're all the, the more modern cars, because I like how these ones kind of fall apart when you wrench them. Well, <laughs> they did at one point at least. Oh, there's an engine right there though. That's nice. We're up to eight. That's plenty. Could get lucky and snag another one out of this. Nope. A little bit of oil shale though, which well, we're going to need more oil shale because we've got the 4x4, which is quite the gas guzzler. I did end up putting a fuel saver mod onto it today though, so that'll help. All right. Just trying to remember. Oh, rad. Well, we got just the thing for you guys. A little bit of extra firepower always helps. Whoop, another guy here. Blue Box Gaming again. Seen you before. All right, we still got the same deal going on over here. A dog. Here. I'll let that sit over. Oh, jeez. I thought that was going to work better. Whoops. Ah. Oh, my God. Get back. Oh, my armor is degraded. Got to pay a little bit more attention. Are we good on first aid or we could take a first aid kit? I'm a little low on first aid kits, so I'll hold off. Just be extra careful. Whoa, look at the bookshelves. Okay, that was good for helmet, flashlight, mod, farming, wiring, furious fists, handguns, and electrical traps. Another one in the back here. Good for a spear hunter book. Big man in here, as usual. As bad man, what are you doing here? Yeah, I think this is the last bit right here. Let's set up a little bit of a defensive area here, a little position. And let me just stir everybody up and bring them over here make this just way too easy on myself but i think that'll do it there's like, like one more zombie left yeah and the satchel is up here they didn't make this one and as easy as they usually do and it's right over here okay mission complete we've got a few seconds left on the looting candy let's loot up and in the main chest here not a whole lot there. Yep, I've seen better, I've seen worse. Good enough, let's get out of here. Might as well just head straight over to Trader Joel's and turn this in, get our quest reward, and see if there's anything there we want to buy. Like maybe an engine? I don't think I was really looking for that kind of stuff before. Jeez, I've been driving the 4x4 for all of one day and I'm already down to like 75% condition on it. All right, hello Joel, and whoa, wait, 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 I've got way too much stuff on me. Well, we know the drill. Put all the sellable stuff in his car over here. We'll pick it up later. You watch too. Probably is going to be a hacker's candy in here. Nope, but we get our eye candy back. A couple of extra rock busters for the next uh, mining trip. I'm sure there will have to be another one. And we're going to get a magazine bundle and the hunting knife for selling, I guess. I don't like any of his jobs. So today he has a pretty nice set of leather chest armor, which is gonna be plus 1.1 and pretty good legs, which is plus one on the armor. So I'll take both of those. All right, let's head back to the horde base and wrap up construction for the day. Still a little bit to do over there. Just a quick pit stop at the base to drop off all that loot we got. All right, and we're back. Let's grab up all that stuff and start loading up the generators. I should probably be able to fit Got a dog here somewhere? Are you just like a leftover from the dog horde or what? The, the amount of chickens I've just walked up on today is ridiculous. Chickens and rabbits. And in here, I crafted up another generator when I was back at the base there. So just toss that in. We're going to need to get some fuel for it and probably two lights, I would say. Or two, two engines would be fine just to do the lights here. Oh crap, don't tell me I left the wire tool over at the base. No, I think I did. Gotta get gasoline over there anyway. See, this is one of the things that I just, I can't stand about separating horde base from crafting base is just because there's just always something that I need on the other side, you know? <laughs> so it's just a back and forth, the back and forth. I'm not good enough at surviving to just like mentally know everything that I need and see now I can't even find my wire tool and it's probably in my inventory already is it no no okay I have no idea where it is just make another one well while I'm waiting for that I can work on the rooftop system here so this is not quite what I'm gonna want right there what I want are half blocks and I want them to be right here but on the other side so we get a little bit more ceiling space Okay, so that's kind of what that looks like so far. Just, it's debatable whether I want to, yeah, I think I want to go one more row here. 
and that kind of shores that up. We'll have a ladder here, and then we'll do security gates on this side so that the do collectors still work. And I think I'll also do security gates all along in here, but and we don't have time for that right now. <laughs> There's still actually like a ton of things that I want to do. Okay, well, whatever's left of my inventory, I'll just pack it into the um four by four when i'm done i don't think that there's anything else i particularly need i'll take some skull crushers with me for tonight and that should do it okay refuel turn on okay this side should be good oh i didn't get the darts okay it's it's fine we don't have very much to do here i'm just gonna pack in what, what can we do here like oh geez basically a half a stack per trap i think oh man i didn't bring any steel with me did i so i can't repair any of these traps oh man i'm just like so prepared today <laughs> it's dead i'll have to probably try to make one more trip over to the base okay good enough for now i don't really need to do the land claim block uh, i'm gonna just toss it in here I don't really know. Just go wherever. There's the other wire tool. Am I blind today or what? I am actually partially blind anyway, so um, we can't make fun of that. Only I'm allowed to make fun of that, okay? All right, let's hook this up and uh, let there be light, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, we're doing good now. Just gotta close all these up so some zombie doesn't fall down in there because you know murphy's law right okay let's check power draw on this turn on 146 oh that's great so we have plenty of power for all the dart traps everything's spinning over here everything's spinning in there oh, okay i'd say we're just about there i do have a couple of extra spotlights that i'm going to hook up here and i'll just put them right about there and there and can i just please have a line easily without oh of course not okay how about now that seems to be working and then i should be able to just i just kind of want to orient this oh prepare for vertigo Ugh. just point that down a little bit so we're lighting up the zombies that are getting lit up down there if you know what i mean okay same thing here shouldn't have any power problems here it's just you know two engines to power up 15 lights or so should be fine. Didn't I have uh, the burning barrels I picked up earlier? Yep, let's go set that down. I like having some light over here so I can see the zombies flying around. Whoops, almost fell in there. Okay, are we ready? Well, we could we could stand to go get some steel probably and do, I don't think we really need to do any repairs, but yeah, we should definitely have some stuff on us just in case I would say. One more trip back to the base. I'll bring the vehicle this time for speed. All right, I am back with repair materials and I've got the off-road headlights. So I'm just gonna park this right about, say, here. That'll give us a little bit of extra light down here tonight. And I do have this steel on me, so I can hear a couple of you guys down here rattling around. So let's see if I can fix that up a little bit. Then you guys were, oh, these guys get pretty good use, don't they? Okay, that's it for down here, I think. And we'll just hope that this system here is going to work for tonight. No guarantees there. All right, let's get into position. There's only one thing to do up here, and that is to fix this. And I'll even bring it up to steel. And that one too. And this one here as well. And I can't really reach anything else. So I guess that'll have to do it. Unless I, yeah, I could just kind of jump around this way here. And yes, steel, steel, steel. And I don't have any cobblestone, but that should be okay. Okay, yes, let's get in here, tuck me in. Well, my fellow survivors, the day 28 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Here we go. We're already having some problems here. It looks like the spikes that I put over there. Nope. Don't do that, please. Yeah, this they that's really messing things up, and I'm not sure if it's the spikes or if it's Oh boy. Well, that's that's going to render that kind of ineffective here pretty soon. Yeah, we need to do some upgrades over there. Okay. 
Mm, I don't know if this is good enough volume or not. I might need to head over there and just try to see if I can knock out those pyramid tips that are right there. Oh, geez, that would be a seriously dangerous mission. But with the help of the turrets, I do think we could probably get it done. Okay, I no more say that. And then there's like 10 zombies up here. So they're, they're kind of intermittently having problems. Maybe it's the, the simplified zombies on Horde Night thing that's kind of doing this. I'm not sure. Okay, we're going to do a little quick mission and see what happens. Oh my god, that... That thing is really badly messed up over there. Oh boy. Yes, just put that down and oh, I fell. I I managed to survive though. Back into the tower. All right, this is already going swimmingly. And yes, if I just, oh boy, it happened again. And yeah, this, this thing here is toast right now. Oh boy. Uh, we'll go up the other way. Yes, here we go. Okay, they're not going to come up the left side anyway. So here we go. We're gonna just set up defenses on the left side while I knock these things off if possible. Think this is gonna work or, or what? All right, let's get in here and start hacking. Come on, stamina, stamina, no, no, no. One more hit, there we go. Okay, and then uh, can I get back in here without, whoa, flying off the edge, crap. I, I, I managed to survive again. Thank goodness I have all those dukes. Okay, well, we should be better off now, I would say, except for the, you know, massive gaping hole in the right-sided tower. Let's just confirm first that the zombies are doing what we want, that they're coming straight up here now, they're not trying to jump and then therefore falling off. Do have a little bit of a bird problem above. No big deal. Okay, I think they're doing a lot better now, it's just now the turret's just re wreaking havoc on them, as it does. Alright, we'll just do the turret up here then. I think it's a better place for it anyway, just take care of the birds for me, please. And, of course, he's also going to want to shoot through the window there. So let's maybe put him the other way. Oh, wow, I got punched in the back. Get out of here. Okay, so now when the birds are an issue, I take two steps back and the turret should handle things. Drone, what are you doing out there, man? Please get out of the way. I'm begging you, man. Come on. All right, I'm pretty sure... Drone? No, oh, you stupid drone. Okay, give me all the stuff out of the drone. Take the drone, and let's just do this. Okay, and with that, I declare victory. I think that's it. There is a bear down there, which is something we'll have to take care of. There's also a zombie down there, but I think he's fighting the bear. All right, we're in good position to take care of the bear and this last zombie, though. I think that will do it. Yeah, we never did come up with a solution for bear and dogs. Maybe we'll work on that next week, but one of the things we definitely need to work on is just beefing things up because, yeah, we took some pretty significant damage around here. Really not too bad overall though, because all of the blade traps are still working. I'm not even sure how much these things are doing, but look, we didn't even lose 
I don't think we lost a single blade trap. No, they are all intact. Still spinning and everything. Speaking of spinning, though, let's wind them down so that I don't fall in there and hurt myself. And this time around, it looks like nobody fussed around too much with the tower. They pretty much steered clear of it, I think. Okay, how did we do over here for darts? Yeah, we just used all the darts. Okay, we'll have to focus a little bit more on that this week. And yeah, all the relays stayed good. We, we kept power to everything. We lost... Oh, right, when that explosion happened over there, we did lose a spotlight. Yep, definitely got to work on the integrity of the tower. That's not a big deal, though. We can do that pretty quickly. And I think so. One more blade trap, and I think I'll kind of like, you know, put some blocks in for the wall down here and for the floor just for stability's sake. And uh, other than that, I think this base is pretty much done. Just upgrades and... A few spot repairs up there, which I will just conduct right now. Oh, right. And we discovered that these spikes here are no good. We got to take these off. Well, we either have to take them off or make them taller. Well, either way, these caps have to come off. Drone, you are unbanished. And I'm glad that I pulled all the stuff out of there because I almost died there at one point during the night. Yep, there we go. It's morning. Yeah, what I was just thinking there is... The, the issue, I think, is that they're trying to jump over them, but what if they were too tall to jump over and we made them kind of like so? Uh, they're kind of blocking where I put the turret, but then again, I put the turret on the rooftop to fight the birds. Uh, I don't know. We'll think about that a little bit more over the coming week. Yeah, I meant to do some concrete upgrades, but I think I got a little carried away there with the salvaging expedition there, and then we did that one quest, so I lost a little bit of time there, but that, it still held remarkably well. Everything over here still looks pretty good. I'm not concerned. I think this will hold just fine. Just gotta get everything up to concrete and some some of it up to steel at least a little bit of it. All right, let's stash all that stuff away, take an eye candy, and loot this stuff up. And I think this one here is the last one. There we go. Oh, excuse me. There's one more over here. Okay, so what did we get there? It wasn't anything that caught my eye. A couple of schematics, a bunch of food, canned food, drinks, first aid, and just a couple of really awful tools which will just be good for scrapping i think and that is it okay so what i need to do whoop, oh crap another two over here hang on one second here a couple more tools and some beer Ooh, some good iron legs that was the best loot item of the night right there okay so what i need to do now is i need to bring all of this stuff back to the base unpack it sort it i need to pack the 4x4 because we're going on an expedition we are heading way way out west we found jawoodle out here in the trader hugh town we'll dig up claude's treasure there along the way but way out here there is snow biome and i want to do some looting out there we'll spend two or three or four days out there just a big you know camping expedition we'll find some traders we'll do the whole deal out there but it's going to take some preparation so that's what i'll work on for now thank you very much for tuning into today's broadcast and i will catch you hopefully in the next one Here we are in the far western snow biome, finally found this place. It looks like a city here, but it's not a very big city, I don't think. I do see a smokestack over there that looks like the Poppin' Pills factory. But I think I'm going to start by just doing a little lap around the town and see what we have to deal with here. Got a mo power here that's actually all broken apart, and I don't know... If I've ever seen this place before. Although at this stage, I don't know if we're really looking for the electronic type of stuff. Whoop. Oh, geez. Oh, stuck immediately. Nice. Oh, that thing happened again where I, like, I hit him with my fist and then he died. All right, can we get out of here? Somebody get the winch out. Okay, let's just do this the easy way. All right, let's start getting the inventory organized a little bit. Where's the drone? Here you are. Because I brought enough supplies, hopefully, to last me... 
I would say a couple of days at a minimum. So I'm just going to kind of distribute this out, get it out of my inventory. And uh, my hotbar is looking pretty good. I think we're ready to roll here. All right, let's do a little lap around town. In terms of looting here, uh, we're, we're going to, of course, we're going to do a lot of looting while we're out here because we got this high loot stage and everything. But for the most part, I'm only going to cart stuff back that's of like really critical importance. Like, you know, I, I think sellable items and stuff, we can probably find a trader out here somewhere and just sell them off while we're here. Things like, you know, electrical parts, mechanical parts, crap, and no, I don't need any of that. Oh, hey, look at this. <laughs> we got some company while we're here. Just kind of searching around and found a big wandering horde. That's fun. All right, let's get defenses down, please. Sun baton out. Let's get warmed up here. Oh, what a landing there. Wow. Dude, I'm so sorry. Okay, are we clear here or what? Look at the friggin' pile of zombie corpses here. Crazy. All right, let's scoop up these loot bags and we'll kind of sort out what we get after that. Oh, you know what? That's the other thing we're going to focus on a little bit while we're here. First, we'll do a couple of trader runs, see if we can buy some duct tape and some glue and such. But we also need to try to harvest up some animals while we're here. So let's just start that off with this guy. <laughs> oh, all right. I can't believe he lived through that. There we go. Okay, 16 bones off to a hot start there. Hey, hey, it's the vet, my favorite little tier two loot to grab. Maybe I'll snag that up at some point. And on my right here... We have Nava's Game Corrections, and um, that's a 4x4 in the parking lot here, which I find just a little bit interesting. Huh. Okay. 4x4 truck here. I don't hear anybody around here. There could be a survivor here. Ow. Okay, we might just kick things off then with a first aid kit. Uh, let's just poke our head in here real fast and see if... See if there's a survivor in here somewhere, I guess. Got a cop back here. Come on out here, sir. Wide open spaces, euthanized, nice. Okay, zombies uh, sleeping around in there. That door's locked, we've got the bathroom. Oh, hi there, Mo. Taylor Thomas. Oh, have a seat there. I don't know how I feel about this, going this all alone here. All right, moving right along here. Dog. More and more, I just, I don't want to mess with dogs. Oh, another one over there. And friends. Okay. Bunch of ferals here. I think this is just going to be a place that's full of ferals. If I was smart, I would lean into the robotics a little bit more. Oh, goodness. All right. Can I kind of like flank them from this side? Looks like it. Oh, jeez. More zombies. Uh, okay. Can I go through here? That place is full of zombies. I was hoping I could use that jail door for defense, but... I will use this door for defense instead. Whoops, cop right there. All right, I guess I'm holding here. Oh boy, something's blowing up out there. Uh, I need, I need backup. I think I, there's another person here. Oh wow, making short work of these guys too. There he is. Okay, let's go out there and see if we can help him. Oh, yep, Radmo, look out for that guy. Is pre-built. Hello. I've heard tales of your legendary skills. They're exaggerated, but... Good to see you here. Thanks for bailing me out, man. You seem to be having some trouble with that. Yeah, yeah, you know. Sometimes I bite off more than I can chew. What are you doing here? Well, I was going to clear this place out and see what they had inside. And I was going to try and do it stealthily. Ah, yes. You are the rooftop type, aren't you? Okay. Yeah. I was up there skulking around looking for easy kills and then that happened well i appreciate you dropping in nice for <laughs> a handful of parts that's not what we're here for is it hey what do you say we uh, team up and we finish this place off then um well here's the thing i kind of don't work for free oh i so see how it is my skills are more for hire right well i did bring some money with me i will split my dukes with you a, a flat ten thousand to help me clear this place out. I'm sure it'll be worth it. We can do that. 10k? I can work with that. 
but I will warn you, I am not going into suicidal situations like that. All right, well, show me how it's done then. How well can you see in the dark? Not very well. All right, turn your light on, but don't cast on me. <laughs> so just like, look at the wall. All right, I'll look at the wall. Don't look at, okay, okay, cast, you know what, cast the light on me. It'll be a nice little challenge. Sneaking out of the shadows. All right, you said it. you say so. Oh, oh. I, I can hear some commotion here. Ah, it didn't it work. Didn't work. <laughs> we'll do it my way then. Yep. Just throw grenades at the wall. All right, dropping in some oh. turrets for reinforcements here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's almost like intellect is a little OP. No. Uh, also, does this door close? No, that's oh. a good thing to remember. That is, this one definitely. does, though. Yeah, you could just trap yourself in any one of these cells and you should be fine. You and I have a different definition of fine. Well, that first room did not go very well. I'm going to blame it on your light, though, even though they couldn't see me. Well, that's fine. I'll take the blame. Okay, I'll start. I'll sneak a little bit, too. Okay, I see a rad. Rad biker. Right there. Let me see if I can take him out. Nope. No, no, I can't. There we go. Oh, nice. Not bad. Remember your exits. Go, oh boy. <laughs> oh, the bikers. I think your turret knocked me over there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, the Sumbaton versus bikers uh, leaves something to be desired there a little bit. Well, are you a skilled physician at all? I am, yeah. Did you know that the, um, the physician, the euthanizer perk actually applies to turrets as well? That explains a lot. Yeah. It's it's weird. If you have the stun baton out while the turret is shooting a zombie, you get that 10% chance for instant kill. Yeah, I feel like that was a trap. Um, probably. Yep. Close that. Good. Get some fire down here. Good. Probably should reload the web weapons here a little. Oh, too easy. That's how I like it. Okay. Good. Snacks. We like snacks around here. All right, are we going left or right? I just swung at the air as if that was gonna do anything. Eh, preemptive swing sometimes gets things. I am suspicious of that truck. Yeah, 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 I can see this could be a trap here. Oh, hello also there. Also a door. Oh, here we go, holy crap. That's a lot of zombies. All right, defenses down. They don't like it when you touch those doors. <laughs> I keep swinging at zombies and they're just like, they die the instant before the blow lands. All right, what's next here? Oh, it's beneficial. <laughs> what's up, man? It's so hard to be sneaky when everything's white. There's no shadows in the snow biome. That is true. You, you're wearing the wrong color for the, uh, for the biome here. You belong in the wasteland at night. Yes, I do. I've never found any kind of white dye out in this world. It's weird. I deeply distrust this area. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting the same sense here. Well, oh, there he is. Are we good? That's it? I think that's just like a, a pre-ambush. The real ambush is coming. Yeah, in fact, I'm gonna just set this up here. Oh, this is where I was a second ago, where I got the loot out of there. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Birds! You need to stop touching doors every time you do this happens. <laughs> ah. Okay. Yep. Gotta get the, uh, the, the baton out so I can get the euthanizer stuff going. Wow. It's just melted these zombies. Oh, they're trying to bait you out here. With the ammo here. Yeah, not too bad. I really do wonder who's trying to bait us out, though. Is it the zombies? We may never know. Frightening behavior, if you think about it. It is. Zombie intelligence. Ah. Uh oh. Same thing here, it looks like. Red bikers incoming. All right. Ah, this door doesn't lock. Go ahead and close that. Run out to the courtyard. Ah, I got them all blocked off here. Oh. Ah, this door doesn't lock. Good. That will do it, I think. How did Mo die over here in the cell? Oh, I shot. That's a weird tree. That is a weird tree. There's some uh, rads in there as well. There we go. Oh, this place is not so bad. If you could just close all the doors. Here, stand back a little bit. I got some explosives. Try that. 
close the door again. Filter him through. What was that? That was weird. That was why I didn't see it. I um I threw a punch with the punch turret in my hand. Ah! What happened? Somebody hit me. Who was that? Oh, uh, it's this it's this lady. She has no arms or legs. She's oh. still alive. Big <laughs> Mama blending in with the other corpses there. Yeah, they're coming from downstairs. I see. Oh, downstairs? Or maybe just across the the tree is in the way, it's hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> This place is really overgrown. It's, it's been a while since anyone trimmed the bushes. You have one prison Christmas party and forget to take down the tree, and this is what happens. <laughs> it is, yeah, exactly. Oh, the spikers. They are killing me. Okay. Oh. Yes. They're behind me. Oh, boy. Here we go. They are everywhere. This might be a retreat. Have you considered <laughs> swapping the other turret out for just another one of these turrets? I have. It's like 60 duct tape, though, and I just can't afford it right now. I just built the 4x4, so... Ah. Uh, That's kind of my goal while I'm out here. I'm going to get some bones. See the traitors. That doesn't sound good in there. <laughs> Manageable. Jeez, here we go again. Oh, yeah, behind you. Whoop. Oh, my goodness. Yep, totally got flanked. Ow. Come back to the stairs. Jeez. There's like three rooms that are just emptying out into this stairwell here. That Magnum's got some knockdown power. Mm-hmm. Oh. Some padded arm armor gloves. Also known as. You can rearrange that into a sentence. <laughs> Oh, I see some, and I see your loot stash here. Oh, yeah? I don't know. Uh oh, rooftop. I don't know where to put my turret. D defend from the stairs. Oh, jeez. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Yep, grenade. And another. It's working. Oh. And we're good. Nice. Is there nothing coming behind us? I don't think so. I think we're clear. Oh. This is the main stash up here. That was not half bad. All right, well, if I'm paying you for this, the least you can do is party up with me so we can get a boosted loot stage. Two points into you, lucky looter. All right, what does that do for me? Ah, nothing. <laughs> Dart trap bundle. Ah, garbage. Oh, supercharger mod schematic. And a drone medic mod schematic. Okay, overall, that was actually not bad at all two things that I really need. All right, so as agreed upon, your fee for helping me clear this place out and for taking all the loot. <laughs> Thank you. What am I gonna do with it? All right, where are you off to next? You heading uh, further west? Somewhere warmer, hopefully. All right, maybe our paths will cross again someday. Do you have a radio wherever you live? Yeah. Well, pay attention to uh, all frequencies. I might be uh, sending out a distress call at any time. We're expecting a bandit raid in the area here. And uh, if you were to show up and help, I can promise you plenty more dukes. Sounds good. Assuming they don't pay me more, obviously. No. All right. You, you drive a hard bargain. I'll make sure I save up as much dukes as I can. All right. Well, it's a pleasure clearing this place out with you. Good luck on your next adventure. Maybe we'll see you soon. Maybe. All right, good stuff. Getting a little bit late. I have two minutes left on my looting candy, so you know me. I'm going to make perfect use of that over here at the vet. Why not? It's just too damn easy to do this. Although, as per the usual, I don't think we're going to get a whole lot out of it being only a tier two. But what do we get here? We did get a steel helmet customized fittings mod. Not too bad. And otherwise, yes, definitely need to start rationing the inventory stuff. Take the rotten flesh, I'll take the steel helmet and the customized fittings. We could consider, I did also get some steel legs. Could consider wearing that, it's a considerable boost to the armor rating. And uh, should have enough mod slots on it. And we do have the book where, you know, armor doesn't slow us down in combat. Urban Combat Volume uh, 3 or 6 or something like that. Alright, what else can we do with uh, 40 seconds left on the looting candy? Probably... Not a good idea to do this, but I'm gonna kind of risk my life. Oh, watch out for that boar, because the main loot is just up there. Can I get there in 20 seconds? I don't know. 15, 14, come on, come on. Come on, get out of the way. Grab the loot. Hey, a robotic turret level five. Well worth it. Yeah, now we're just gonna deal with the zombie problem. Here, set this up and start shooting at him. And then set that up to punch him off if they make it up here. 
And I'm gonna finish looting up. Is it going okay over here? Okay, I think we got one more biker here to take care of. Get back down there. <laughs> what a great success. That saves me so much duct tape doing that. Oh, do we need, do we need the bones? We need the bones. We definitely need to start sorting out the inventory too. Okay, Robotic Sledge, you have done us a great service here, but it's time to switch you over for the brand new Robotic Turret. And I can even put the Duck Bill mod on. I don't know what the Duck Bill mod does on it, but it goes on it and it, it'll increase its damage a little bit, so that's fine for now. And I do think it's time to switch over to a little bit of steel armor. Just rearranging the mods a little bit. There we go. Okay, looking not half bad. Okay, we'll need to find a trader here and then first thing in the morning we'll start selling off all the gear that we don't quite need. I do need repair kits. I think that is in the drone here. All right, start repairing everything up then. Okay, the only downside to this is we're going to be burning through that AP turret ammunition really quickly now, although pretty sure I brought a whole bunch of extra stacks of it. Yep, there we go. There's a couple boxes right there. Nice. Okay, that just about does it. Okay, got the nice off-road headlights. We don't have them anywhere to go tonight, so it's, uh, it's just gonna be looting. We gotta find another good place to loot. I think I did pass by a shotgun messiah, uh, the shooting range. Where was that? Looks like that is it right there, kind of on the other side of town. That's right directly where I came from. I followed like this nasty dirt road all the way through here, passed by Claude's treasure. We'll hit that up on the way home. But for now, yeah, let's loop around town, see if we can stumble across the trader, and then we'll hit up the Shotgun Messiah for a nighttime raid. Oh, bear! We gotta kill all the bear out here too. Come on, man. Hello. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to eat the bear. Get out of here. There we go. Yeah, the, the big one of the big goals out here was to get uh, glue or to get duct tape, you know, all the stuff we need to make it at least. But now we don't really need that quite so much because we found the turret. Really, I, I, just, I can't understate how, how great that was. 200 steel to make that thing too. It's crazy. Oh, hey, this place. You know, there's there's loot right directly in there. Okay, you're down, and then Eric Amanda Ballinger here, dead, got a skill point too, which I think I'm just going to keep trying to pump up perception a little bit so that I can maybe max out Lucky Looter. Only need perception seven for that. This is specifically what we're here for. We are here for the loot. Give me it. I've woken up others here. Oh, seven baton parts. Yeah, I might just call it right there. I think we're probably okay. Jake, get the heck out of here. Man, all right, I'm leaving. Oh, yes, Navis Gain High School. But no, this is the one that I want for tonight. The Shotgun Messiah shooting range. Whoops, spider. Death to spiders. Ooh, wow. Tommy, how dare you? Oh boy, I'm in rough shape now. All right, let's point some light inside the windows here so we can see a little bit better. And let's do this. This is a really great place, you know. I, I remember, uh, Bringing the kids over here when they were young and shooting some targets. Learning about firearm safety. They used to teach some classes in here, you know, how to not shoot yourself when you're hunting and so on. And I remember them saying that if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, remember, there's a weapons bag in the ceiling. So here I am to collect it up. And you think, ooh, another good stun baton which is slightly worse than the one I have, but that's eh, good to have a backup one anyway. I think there's a backpack over there too. Painkiller, nice. Probably can't get enough of those. All right, I probably, well, I don't have any eye candy, so there is a vending machine around the corner here, but I think it's a drink machine. It is, yeah, so, oh well, we'll just have to take what we can get here. Well, if anything, the looting speed is pretty nice if the loot's kind of lagging behind a little bit. Oh, steel gloves. Tempting to probably just put those on as well. We're just gonna basically go full on into heavy armor. Wow, that's a pretty dramatic leap there in the uh, the armor rating too. And yeah, we're not looking half bad. We're looking we're looking half bad, I'll say. All right, all right, moving right along. There should be some first aid around the corner here. They always have first aid kits in places like this in case you shoot yourself in the foot or whatnot. Here we go. Set that up. That's not gonna do very much. Let's go out this way. Oh my goodness. All right, how about we do a little bit of back and forth here? I'm just gonna run, let the turrets do all the work. They're doing a great job too. Wow, whoa, watch out behind you. This is 
This is amazing. Rooftop zombies? Oh, yeah, here they are. All right. Defensive field of fire. Here we go. Wake up. Get up. Come on over here. <laughs> they can't even get up. And, like, they get up and they immediately get knocked back down. Yep. Too easy. This here is the fun one, though. Here, break the glass. Try not to fall in while I'm at it. And then we do one and two. And then we should be able to just jump right down here. Nope. Wait. Are they all dead? Nope. They all kind of... Oh, bikers. Are they... Oh, jeez. All right. All right. Not in a good spot here. That's better. Here we go. Come on, guys. All right. That's it. Oh, of course. Nope. <laughs> what happened there, buddy? Oh, here we go. Okay, look out. Spit incoming. Whoa, behind me. Ah. All right. Well, there's that cop down at least. Time to loot up really pains me to not oh my goodness that's a really nice tack assault rifle although oh yeah it is slightly better than the one i have too yeah painful to loot all these nice loot chests without a looting candy but hey it is what it is so far it seems like mostly just magazines and parts maybe a little bit of ammo here and there what about the main chest well more or less the same thing as what I've been getting. All right, and that looks like it'll do it for the night. We're moving into the daytime. Isn't there one more chest in here, though, with one more zombie? Who's waiting back here? Big man, let me in here for a bunch of nothing. All right, let's stash this stuff away. We're going to have to do a trader run here pretty soon, but I think we can probably loot one more POI and get more bang for our buck. We could do the high school now. That wouldn't be too bad. It's right straight over there. Let's do that. All right, here we are. Oh my, there's actually a lot of zombies over there. Was this maybe a wandering horde that kind of rolled through and just stopped right here? I feel like it probably was. Can you all start clustering up for me, please? Yep, you guys, all of you guys, oh, surrounded suddenly. All right, let's just conserve the stamina a little bit. Yeah, oh yes, definitely here. One and two and turn. Here we go, this is how we do it right here. Bring them into the field of fire and any that can get to me, I can take care of them, like this guy. Whoop, more or less, I guess. There we go. Just jolt them back into the field of fire for the turrets. It's so devastatingly effective, I love it. Just stragglers out here now. All right, that'll do it. Let's get into the high school now. All right, ooh, hey, working vending machine here. Skull crushers, not what I'm looking for though. We need eye candy. Just bits and pieces of magazines. 10% uh, more damage with 44 magnum guns. I don't I don't know what's going on with my stun baton today. It's, it's acting very strangely, but that was a good euthanizing kill on that rad there. Ah, someone's behind me. Wait, are you the same? I, nope, there was just another one, okay. I was going to say, am I losing my mind here? A college jacket, not too bad. Stay in there. All right, at this point, I think it's time for a little bit of a breakfast break out here. Should have some hobo stew. And in a pinch, I could drink the murky water, but I did bring some mineral water with me. Slug that down, we'll be good as new in no time. What do we got here? Rad bow. Are you going to break right through there? That just... Yeah, regular glass covert lettuce. Ah, the library. The library, which is usually quite empty, but not this time. A couple of book piles around here with just random magazines. Ow, who's doing this to me? Ah, stupid crawler. Just kind of reading all the things I've already read here, just so it doesn't weigh me down too much in my inventory. All right, nothing too terribly good there, but I've seen worse as well. I can see a zombie foot over there. Is that, is that a mutated foot? What are you doing here? Now we're dropping in here, I see. Yep. Who puts a garage door in the middle of a high school? Whoa, boy! Radiation, look out! Yeah, and these, like, these, um, shop doors? That's interesting, uh, interesting choice of materials for a school. Oh, boy. Yes, suddenly, not doing too well. Give me a first aid kit, please. And let's just send a grenade over there for those guys. That helps a little bit. Didn't help very much, though. Another set of vending machines here. This time, this one's working. I'll take the water, because water's gonna be the thing that holds us back the most, I think, in terms of blue production. Yeah, I think that just about does it. We're heading down here now. Right, couple of zombies in here. But for the most part, 
Uh, I think we're almost to the gymnasium. Hello, hello? Anybody here? No, sir. Okay, we're all clear then. Yes, that, that's the next battlefield right there. Well, now that I've got both the turrets, I'm gonna just try to do it like this. We're gonna run in, wake them all up, place these down, and I'm gonna hide behind the door. Let's see how that performs. I'd say that performs very well. Not much in the loot bags, though. It's pretty good loot stash, though. Let's see what we get. Unlocked Ratchet Quality 3. Ooh, a nice compound crossbow. That's not too bad. And the main chest. Oh, nice. A really good set of military chest armor, which will replace my leather chest armor. And pretty much I will never take that off. We'll roll with like a little mixture between uh, light and heavy, I think. How are we looking now? Pretty good. I can roll with that. We just need some new boots. All right, how do we get out of here now? Oh, right here. Very nice. All right, well, at this point, we need to find the trader. Have I not found... Is there no trader in this town? There's like the northwest corner of town. We'll head over there. Maybe the trader's up there somewhere. And, oh, is that trader gen? It is. Nice. Okay, found the trader. Okay, I have everything modified and repaired to my liking, and I've got all the things that I want to sell here. Let's go meet Jen. After we clear out the riffraff, apparently. That'll do. Hello, Trader Jen. Do you have any eye candy? Nope. Oh, she doesn't have any sugar butts either, which is kind of a bummer. I will take an awesome sauce, though. Yeah, we'll do the best we can today. I'm not gonna sweat it too much. Look at that. We made all of our money back and some more. She does have a whole bunch of glue. I'll take all of it. And if you look closely, these are actually new things that she's selling, not things that I sold her. So she had a level five robotic turret the whole time for 4,300 dukes. Wow. So I could have just bought it. Got a couple of books here. She got a book and then she's got the robotic drone morale booster thing, which I wouldn't mind crafting. But otherwise, I would say that pretty much does it for her. Thanks for the business. No problem. Stay safe out there. I will. We'll try anyway. All right. There's plenty, plenty more to do here. We have about a day to do it. So I'd like to probably head back tonight overnight so we can get back to the base and finish off some construction around there. I Yeah, I don't know what is happening with my stun baton lately. I get in the weirdest kills with it. Okay, we're in the industrial part of town. Oh, right. Yes, this tier five over here. Ah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. I think... With the turrets, I think we can do this. No problem. Well, I don't know about problems. I think we'll have problems, but I think we can do it as well. Just reload. I'm gonna get some more turret ammo. Uh, I think you you have the ammo. Okay, yeah. Drone has lots of good stuff, so keep that in mind. I forget he's there half the time, and he's pissing me off the other half of the time, so... <laughs> definitely not getting maximum efficiency out of having the drone around and he doesn't have any mods either oh my well, that's a lot of zombies here can i close that door i can and can i set up a little bit of a drone defense here on these little pillars i also can and uh, we'll kick things off with a grenade that i don't know if that did anything at all or not ah, whoa getting flanked yeah, i had that all planned out and you ruined it Bojo over there. White Wolf over here. Okay, this is like, it's not the kind of place where you get a lot of loot. It's its kind of just like, you just want to push to the end, I think. There's little, oh! The cops never woke up. Excuse me, don't do that, please. Euthanized. Oh, wow! That's a good pump shotgun right there. Level 5. Yeah, this, this is where we need to be. We we needed to make this trip to finally get a little bit of good loot. Oh, I remember you hiding back there. All right, same business around here. Good, and a skill point. Very good. I think that has to go into perception. I don't think, yeah, I can't get any more lucky looter there. We also need to do demolitions, penetrator, and salvage ops, but for now, lucky looter is the one. Polymer string mod schematic. Good to have, I guess. I would love to carry that crossbow that I found, but I've so already sold it, so not going to do that. It's just like it's two more inventory spots, basically. The, the bolts and the crossbow itself. 
That was interesting. Did you do that, drone? I could, I suppose, bring these home with me and plug them in somewhere and get some good light. You know, gotta have priorities on what to keep in the inventory and <laughs> what to not bring. Hello? Yeah, I knew that guy was in there. Ow. Oh, jeez. He's got quite the head bob. In fact, ooh, first aid kit, please. Get a little bit low. Steel armor is not doing as much good for me as I had hoped. And then I believe this is, this is, this is the big fight. We're going to set up a real quick ambush here. All right. One, two, three. Open her up. Take that. And down. All clear. Now, see, I've got the armor doesn't slow you down in combat trick going right now. So I can basically fly. Love that. Okay. Here we go. We're going to, you know, use our big brain for this. Whoop. Good. Okay. Don't mind me, guys. Just hang out there for a second. Let's go one and two and run. Stir them up. I feel like it's an exercise. One and two and run around. Come back over here. Get the baton out. No chance. They stand no chance. Just shreds them. Yeah, see, the baton alone, it's just terrible. <laughs> Even the guns alone is just awful, but... You get the turrets out, man. Those bikers, they just melt. Or Master Will, how do you do? All right, gonna open that and run around because I can hear kind of a lot of zombies out here somewhere and I need to confirm that this is not something that's going to roll up behind me and kill me. Look out. Yep. What about you, biker man? You want some of this too? <laughs> Jeez, it just blew his whole body apart. All right. We're getting into the serious business now. Yep, like that guy right there. Soften him up just a little bit. And eh, why don't you keep on trucking right over here. Loosen you up a little bit more. That'll do. I know the trick in here. Set up a defensive field of fire. Whoop. Yep, I guess we have to do this now. Here we go. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, yep, here's the rest of them. Bit of a lull there. I, ah, I took my turrets up. I shouldn't have done that. All these goopy bodies on the ground make it difficult to kind of walk around. Let them have it. This is, some of them get ragdolled like, as if they're getting punched by a, the, the punch turret. It's same thing as the last time. There we go. Open her up. Come on in, boys. Too easy. Although, if, if I say too easy, that's just a figure of speech, okay? It's something you say in the military a lot. Too easy. It doesn't mean that it was actually too easy. It just means that, oh, I'm enjoying myself at this level of difficulty. All right, we're getting close to the end. You know what I don't like now? Is I might have the armor doesn't slow you down in combat, but it certainly does slow you down when you're just kind of loafing around the, the regular day-to-day -day walking. Well, I think you guys know how this is going to go. Open her up. We'll do turret. Turret, and I've got to run around and scoop everybody up. Come on over here, everybody. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ow. And then get to my turrets, please. Here we go. Let him have it. Come on, bring it on. I got target penetration and everything. I'm bleeding badly. No, hold your ground. Not one step back. Okay, run away. Oh, zombies from outside, I think. Ah! Close that door. Oh. And open fire. Okay, I do think that we're probably pretty good though. Oh yeah, look at the mess of zombies over here. He's still twitching? None of that. Okay, well, I did get con concussed slightly and infected as well. Well, that's all that we have to do. There's still more zombies here, but honestly, we've got the loot. We've secured the loot location, so let's just get this and probably head out. All right, here we go. This is it. We're in. And... Okay, good SWAT helmet there. Rad remover schematic. Beaker. Definitely really don't need that. I'll take whatever I can. Shotgun turret bundle. Not too bad. Extra lock picks. Okay, yeah, we have no more room for loot anyway. Well, gotta check the ammo pile. But after that, I'm pretty much just getting out of here. Ah, oh, there's the weapons bag though. I've, I've got to get the weapons bag in. Hey, are you broken? Follow, you're already following. You're just kind of sitting there. There you go. Drone is kind of throwing me for a loop there. Yeah, we want to go through this way. This is the preferred exit for me. All right, still got the Mega Crush, so I'm gonna go... Oh, there's a zombie outside of the smokestack here somewhere. Yep, just want that weapons bag and then we're out of here. What do we get here? Oh, that was well worth it. Nice. Good stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty good at flying these days. Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to do that. The Mega Crush. <laughs> the Mega Crush made me do it. Okay, I can do this, though. I can only do 15 meters at a time, so we have to kind of pick and choose 
where we're falling. And yeah, what was going on out here? I heard so many zombies. And they were kind of trickling down the entire time. But for the most part, I think it was just regular city zombies. Yeah, look, they ripped a hole right in the wall right here. All right, I think that will do it. All right, there's a look at the loot hall for our expedition here. Actually made out <laughs> excellent on the first aid. I figured I would use more than I found, but that was not the case. Shotgun turret bundle, dart trap bundle. We'll open those up when we get home. Got a nice pump shotgun, stun baton. Probably just gonna sell both of those. I'm pretty happy. And we basically got a whole new set of armor. We're into the military steel armor age. Just need to look out for another new pair of boots. But for now, it is getting pretty late. Yeah, 1900. I want to start heading back home now. We've got to go through the wasteland and we have to dig up the treasure on the way. So probably that's just where I'll meet you. Oh, oh no, I broke my vehicle. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, well, I got some repair kits. This shouldn't take too long. Repair, repair, repair. Yep, I'll just, yeah, get it fully repaired. We're going through the wasteland and it's, it's, I took a bunch of damage going through there on the way here. So we can expect to do the same on the way out. All right, we're heading west, the other west, yes. We're heading east. All right, here we are at Claude's treasure. Hopefully with enough time to dig it up before nightfall. All right, let's get to work here. Oh, I think I found it. I did, and we're in. Probably just ammo anyway. Yep, more or less. At least I can say I did it. All right, just in time too, just before nightfall. Well, we have got a long, long ride ahead of us. I might even kind of circumvent the Wasteland City throughout the night, and then we're heading all the way back to the radio tower, and uh, we've got three days with which to do a lot of construction over there. So that's definitely the priority for the next couple of days. We've got plenty of loot now. Now we just gotta focus on getting the Hope radio station up and operational and then follow that up with the horde base and then i've been in touch with some painters to come in and help us get it all dressed up after that but anyway thank you very much for tuning into today's broadcast and i will catch you hopefully in the next one good morning post-apocalypse and welcome back to hope radio where together we survive i've returned home after our looting expedition in the snow biome and the plan over the next few days will be to finish up the defenses at the radio tower and finalize construction on the horde base to do that, we'll be crossing again over into Strength to help out with the heavy lifting. And after that, I'll bring in my painter to help get the place all dressed up. But for now, this is Temreki, signing off. Okay, so I've been crafting in the workbench all night long. Let's see how that's working. So yes, got the Drone Morale Booster mod and the Drone Medic mod. I crafted up some more glue, and with that glue, I need to make myself a rad remover. I need to grab a couple of extra mods for our other turret. I think one of them will be that rad remover, and I'm gonna put a laser sight onto my TAC AR. Okay, so that's the drone all modded up. Hello Powering there. Up. All systems go. Shush. Okay, there's the rad remover. So basically, we'll have one turret with the cripple mod, the other turret with the rad remover. Uh, yeah, I don't think you need to put the same exact mods on. I think that actually gives us you know, more versatility with these things. <laughs> Don't you just love that donk when you reload the turret? It's very satisfying, I love it. Okay, I did do some decoration in here last night too because the, the general box here was full. It's where I put my decorations. There's still some more in there. I got the cold beer sign hooked up. I got the hydroponics hooked up a little bit. I brought the pool table up here and put it on the bear rug. Still kind of, you know, I, I gotta live with it for a couple days before I decide what to do next. All right. Are we doing pretty good here? We got some water. That means we got to get some more glue. That is the chain right now. And I'm also working on darts over here. So yeah, just continue working on darts. All the darts we can get. I got to start working on this stuff early from now on because it always comes to Horde Night and I'm like, whoa, I didn't make any darts. <laughs> what a surprise. Okay, so let me grab up the cell chest stuff and we'll do a bit of a sell off this morning. I think I actually... Yeah, I got a SWAT helmet. I can start wearing that and it's debatable whether I want to... Ah, see, we can get a little bit more mobility and stamina and sacrifice a little bit of armor by going into the light gloves. I think I'll do that. How are we looking these days? <laughs> Why is the SWAT helmet so big? It looks so goofy. My legs and my head are just so big for my torso. Whatever, let's get out of here and head over to see Trader Bob. We gotta buy ourselves the extra forgetting elixir. All right, good morning, Trader Bob. Wakey, wakey. All right, let's just get everything kind of organized here. It's a bit of a process. You know how it goes. Magnum, awesome sauce, sugar butts, and sell. Okay, that was good for an extra lot of money right there. Today is trader day, so we can take a look here and see if there's anything good to buy. Oh, the robotic drone cargo mod schematic. 
Gimme. Oh, refill on contact grenades. Give me that as well. It's Otherwise, I think we're place. good. Actually, we're not totally good here. There. Where's his elixir? There it is right there. 1700 dukes. That's how well we're doing. Well, let's, um, jeez, man. I don't know if we'll make it over there in time with the 4x4 or not, but I'm gonna try to hit the other trader before all this stuff wears off. All right, technically I did make it. However, it's going to wear off before I have the chance to buy anything, but maybe I'll at least get the forget and elixir. I see your inventory, your food and cooking, and oh, I think it ran out just in time. Yeah, even if you open the inventory and it's active and it says it has the lower price, it will actually charge you the, the full price as soon as that timer expires. So, all right, let's just see what else he has here. Banded armor plates. I don't think I can craft those yet. Oh, he had the cargo schematic as well. Sniper book here. Sure, I'll take it. Vehicle adventures, that too. Whoa, look at that SMG right there. Oh my goodness. That makes me think twice about maybe specking over into agility. You know, we're doing the whole respec thing right now. Yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. I want to have that SMG. That's that's a really good upgrade. Learn an elixir here. Speaking of that, let's check his vending machine. Got any stuff in here? Yeah, a little bit. And some more learn an elixirs. We'll do some upgrades later and try to benefit from that a little bit. All right, that'll do it. Time for a respec. Okay, this time we're going to do seven into strength. So we can do five into minor 69 or mother load. We're going to do seven into perception as well. So we can do five into salvage ops. And then the rest I'll pump directly back into intellect so that we can have our good juicy combat skills. So we're maxed out on electrocution or robotics and calculated attack. Just keep in mind, we will not have the euthanizer perk for the next day or two. Okay, now with our proficient mining skills. See, this is this is what makes intellect so powerful is you, you've got the traitor manipulation ability in addition to really good combat perks although it does take a while to kind of fully get into the build you know what i mean like it takes you a while to, a while to kind of build it up whereas if you just go into strength and you know you're immediately proficient with clubs and baseball bats you kind of you're off to a better start but you know if you're playing the long game i think intellect is your best bet right uh so anyway for now yep here's a car right here we've got to do some car salvaging i need four engines so as soon as we get that we are done. Give me the ratchet. Read up these couple of things here. And uh, let's begin. And there it was, my fourth engine came off of that semi-truck there. And I did just find a nice shovel. Is that better than the one that I have? S very slightly. Speaking of shovel, it is time to go do some digging. We got the, the fourth engine there. Yes, we did. All right, let's go to the horde base for some digging. Okay, we are here to do some digging because what I would like to do is make some more blade traps. And I, I think we can bring the blade traps all the way over to the end over here. We'll just have to get rid of Oscar's dumpster. And another thing that I've noticed is when I jump down here, it says that I'm no longer in Oscar's dumpster POI. So I actually, I would, if I'm looting up loot bags that are in here, I, I'll have to stand here. Cause you see the top right corner, it says Oscar's dumpster, but down here it goes away to pine forest. So <laughs> if you're doing looting, you know, make sure you're standing in the right spot around here. All right, let's get this stuff cleaned up here. Oh, that's the, this is the POI barrel. So we just gotta get, get rid of that once and for all. All right, the big dig begins. Luckily, I can one-shot these blocks here with the, the new shovel skills that I have. Yep, there it goes. Almost got the whole thing down. That's it. All right, now it's just a matter of digging in the little nubs that we attach the blade traps to. And I haven't even checked the blade trap recipe yet to make sure that we could even craft like 12 more of these things. But hey, maybe worst case scenario, we go dip into some tier fives and try to get a uh, blade trap bundle thingy at the end of it okay that's all we can do for now we'll come over here and do some uh, final upgrades here we'll do it all at once because basically yeah we gotta also do some spot repairs around here oh look two loot bags still sitting over here from the horde knight that's nice a little bit of food right, i think we can get rid of this car once and for all gone oh my goodness there's still garbage around here with glue perfect 
Get rid of that. And with that, I don't think there's any more construction to do over here. There's just upgrades. Like there's no more building to do over here. We could build up the walls here and make this all out of cobblestone. But honestly, I think it's a bit of a resource sink. The zombies are just going to die when they fall in here, which is, you know, kind of what we want. A few of them might explode. There might be some destruction. But for this next Horde Night, I'm not going to do any further remodeling or laying down this big hefty pad or anything like that i got better things to do with my life so let's head over to the base we have a bunch of demo work to do over there as well that's you know half the reason i thought of going back into strength today is so that we could get that done first things first though let me see if i get some repair kits we're down to now four percent on the four by four my goodness thing's gonna blow up at this rate That's what I was missing in my inventory, was my dukes. For some reason, no. I got a broken leg now. It's okay, nothing that my last cast and a couple of steroids can't fix. All right, I think I'm just about ready to go here. I've got all the construction materials on me, I think, and I'm making some cobblestone right there. Okay, let's start with the demo project. We gotta rip off a whole bunch of blocks here. To start with, I'm gonna rip off some of the wall pieces that I put up here because this is gonna be like the avenue of approach for a gyrocopter. And then I was hoping I could use the plate bracket centered and just kind of slide it on the edge right here to give it a little bit of a lip going off. And then as I've discussed before, you can do a wedge tip narrow right here just to give yourself a little bit of a bump on the way off. Follow that up with the wedge narrow low on the outside, just like that. And then here in the middle, so I know things are really messed up here. Whoever built John's ham radio, I suspect it was John himself, uh, was not a very good architect because things just do not line up properly here. And I'll give you a great example of that. Like this window over here, if you look at it from the outside, it's not centered. But if I look at it from the inside, it is centered. So there's a little bit of a remodeling thing we're gonna have to do here. Just gonna rip this off and I'm just gonna use a ramp shape and we're gonna go just like this so that from the outside, again, it looks uh, pretty normal, but from the inside, it, it looks better, right? Because now instead of just there just being like a harsh angle there, it, uh, it has a nice sort of curvature to it, I guess. I don't know. Let's see how it looks when I put it all together. There, it's all in. And yes, I do think that that looks as good as it can look given the limitations of the, the place that we're in here. And then for windows, I will just do some bulletproof store window blocks like so. They're not bulletproof. Well, they're, ju they're just as bulletproof as a cobblestone block would be to begin with, but they look nice. That's the whole point of it. Okay, slide them in. Okay, so that side's done. And now we've got this side here. I want to put a nice big window in here. Okay, there we go. Now, a few days ago, I was looking at all these shapes in here to see if I could find one that I really liked, and I couldn't. So I'm just gonna go with the bulletproof glass blocks again. Plus, I think the overall aesthetic of the base uh, just kind of benefits, wait a minute. What is this block here? Why does that? Oh, right. This is a transition from a full block up to a half block. I can make that look better. When in doubt, get the wedge 60s out. Oh, look how much better that looks. 100% better. Okay, just tick nightfall. We have a little bit more work to do here, up on this level at least. Start by taking these out. These ones actually look normal, so these ones just need to be replaced with good bulletproof glass windows. Okay, and with that, we're... Okay, we're almost done. We need to do the last little bit here, which is just the security gates on for the ceiling. Kind of like the floor for the gyro landing pad, but also kind of the ceiling for the crafting area. It would let rain in, but it will also let light in for the garden. Okay, we are done in here. This is what it looks like from above. And what I've been crafting over here in the workbench is some sandbags. Sandbag, and they're, and they're expensive. Look, 15 cloth each. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, maybe let's just find out <laughs> exactly how many I need. Because what I'm gonna do is, oh, yes, there's this here. Okay, that's gonna be a spike. Okay, geez, what one is that? It's the cube, cube narrow pyramid base. Is that what I'm looking at? That, that will do, I think. Followed by the centered pyramid tip, something like that anyway. Okay, now we've got, this is gonna be a bit of a task here because we've gotta do, we gotta make it look good. So we gotta do like sandbags end here. And then we gotta kind of snake it around and do a curve and another curve and then all the way over here and so on. Okay, that's done. I need 19 more, which is, 
probably more than I can make. I can make 25. Yes, we've got it. Okay, so half the reason for that big hacker's adventure was to, not hacker, but like a car salvaging thing that we did was for the four engines. And let's just grab some fuel, make sure that we're topped off on that. And we'll get some, get a wire tool. I can finally see them. My brain is working pretty efficiently today. Not, not too bad. I'll grab... A, the i guess we'll do smg turrets and i'll grab some ammo for those should have one two three four five six yeah we got plenty of nine mil even though i'll be using the smg from now on which by the way looking very nice anywho let's go down here and juice up this generator okay we don't need that many engines but i figured it's nice to have that many just so that we don't have to worry about it anymore okay so here was my thought down here i would like to set this up as a bit of a trap because i'm envisioning there's not much going on here. I don't think anyone will be hanging out here, particularly on ground level, because you just don't have that good of a avenue of fire, unless there's a breach over here somewhere, and we might kind of pile up down here. But what we could do is set up a bit of a defense down here. So what I'm going to do is set up these one meter pillars here, one and two, and then I'll set up these two turrets right here, one and two. There we go. So if there's ever zombies out here, either they come through the door or they come through the wall or they're coming from the corner, we should be able to just open this door and hit them with a really fast ambush. And what I might also do is uh, put some sort of like, do, do the jail doors. We'll do a jail door here with a jail wall here. Let's just do some placeholders for now. One, two, three. We'll do jail. We don't even have to do jail doors. We just do like regular bars there and we'll do the jail door in the middle hey i like that idea let's keep that sealed up we don't want anybody detecting that outside and kind of changing their plans from there okay i have the extra bandit platforms to put up on top of this thing here so i kind of like it to be in this orientation here and then we'll rotate it just slightly so it'll have a little different of an appearance on this side like that and then i'm thinking i'll get some more sandbags and i'll put them on the front here so we'll need four eight more sandbags and then once i get the sandbags up i'll put the corrugated metal on the front of it like we've done up there in fact it might look good if i did some of that corrugated metal down here to sort of match what we're doing besides this stuff is just like plain old fun to work with yep I think that looks great. Oh, there's some stuff up here. We probably could work on this side over here a little bit more. Kind of thinking simply just a three by one right there. Not much we can do here because we've got some overlapping block planes, but that that will probably do it. We can do the same thing out here. Oh, that's a, that's a good point though, because out here, if the if the sandbags are flush with the platform, we can do the three by twos. Let's see how that looks. Whoops. Yeah, sometimes it does that, and then you just gotta kind of flip it to the other side, I've learned. Yeah, let's make sure we're, like, varying it up, too, so that it looks better. I don't want it to look too... I don't know, too uniform, I would say. Whoops, break another one. Making up some relays so we can try to hook something up for perimeter power. There it is, morning. And at this point, I'm, I'm ready to more or less call it here. I will do some uh, fancy business around here, though. Let me just, I've got eight more of these corrugated metal sheets, and I'm going to get some use out of them by just plastering them on these windows just for added security there. All right, last little bit right there, and we're done. Now, I was just thinking, I need to get more sandbags, right? To the tune of, well, I need eight. So to get the extra cloth, can I just make it out of the plant fibers that i've collected along the way it looks like i probably can more darts and forged iron should lead to more blade traps i think i needed like five more uh oh now we're out of oil no uh, okay can i do oil i can do a little bit not nearly enough <laughs> get the ratchet out we gotta do more cars okay at a minimum though i should be able to finish up the sandbag project on the rooftop Okay, I'd say that's 100% up here. We've got plenty of parking for one or two gyrocopters if we ever needed to kind of pull in reinforcements from anywhere. Could probably stand to have a little bit of lighting up here, though. All right, just kind of rearranging the pool table here to be more centered. Is that going to look okay? Looking pretty good. I'm really liking the look of this base. It looks a little rough right now. It just needs some paint. That's it. All right, let me toss up the rest of my decorations that I've found in my travels, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Ooh, I even got 28 plants. I don't even know where I got those. All right, well, there you have it. I just kind of rearranged some of the signs. I've still got a couple left over. The, the walls are not very conducive to decoration in this place, are they? It's all right. Whatever's left over, I can just kind of toss in haphazardly down on this level. And I just picked up some, like, random signs to put out here, like slow and 
Of course, no parking because this is my parking spot. And then for right here, <laughs> the smile asshole sign. All right, I think we're doing pretty good. Let's head over to the other base now and get to work finalizing all that stuff. Got to do all the upgrades and set down all the new blade traps as well. Okay, here we are. And first things first, let's get the blade traps out of the inventory. Got one, get these all done up. Okay, and then two, three, four, and five, which means we're in the market for another five blade traps. Okay, then it's a learn an elixir in, and we'll start doing as many upgrades as we possibly can down here. Okay, I've done just about as much as I could do in terms of upgrades here. I have, I've now run out of cobblestone and I've run out of concrete mix and I've accidentally used a whole bunch of steel as well. But I'd say that will just about do it for now. Basically, the, the feet of these towers are solid concrete now. The top section is mostly solid steel and concrete as well. And everything down here is looking pretty good. Okay, so plan for the next couple of days is to get the remaining blade traps in and then that's it. Oh, also one more spotlight because we had that one that got shot by a cop probably. Yeah, one last thing I had to do while I was over here is to stack these up with ammo and see how much more I need to craft. And it looks like I'm going to need about uh, 2,000 or so to get everything filled up. And then I don't even think that they'll, I don't think they'll empty a full 1,500 darts each on Horde Night. I mean, it's been doing pretty well with uh, two or 300. All right, well, that pretty much does it for construction over there. All right, 4,000 more cobble should uh, be as much as we'll ever need. Oh, there's three blade traps there, in fact. All right, I also need some more of those corrugated metal sheets. Yeah, something like 10 of those, I think. Yep, yeah, because the idea is up here. Oh, wait, one, wait, one, two, three. Yeah, okay, we're going to need a, a few more sandbags, I think. Yeah, because we want to do like a kind of a half circle. We can't have like exposed flanks while we're up here, right? So we need to do this. Curved shapes here and then two in the middle. That's going to mean we need more cloth. Okay, I'm itching to go out and do a little bit of raiding anyway. So we'll just uh, focus on some cloth while we're out. Okay, I was just getting the inventory organized and... I swear, I don't know how I have five blade traps. I must have just been crafting them and, you know, there were a few sitting in different boxes there, but five. I think five is what we needed to finish things off over there. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to do it now and have it over with. And there's a new rule. No more off-roading on the 4x4 because I've already sunk 16 repair kits into this thing. I've had it for like five days. Yeah, it was five, right? Wow. What a, this the sea, a sea of blade traps. Love it. Yep, there's eight connections off of that line there, and that looks like that's uh, a little bit more than 50% of the blade traps there, so we're good on this side. Basically, if a cop goes off and destroys these relays, the whole thing is kaput. These are super important, and if I, if I go much further, what I'll end up doing is uh, digging those down even further into the ground so that they're even safer. All right, no, 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 don't do that to me. That last one is too far away. Crap. Okay, so this one then will have to be daisy chained. It's okay. That one probably is going to get the least use. I, I you can you can get zombies like way down here from up there with the repulsor mod, but more and more as they stack up, they kind of bump into each other as they're flying and they simply just land in this area, which is why I thought we had to get rid of Oscar's dumpster there and and just, you know, do the sea of blade traps thing. And so once a zombie is in there, they're going to look for the shortest path to get out, which I think is just going to be kind of shuttling through here, up the ramp, around the corner, and up to the top. Okay, we're done here. We're ready for paint. And I do believe we're pretty much done here as well. Ready for paint. Okay, so with that, we are done with strength. Let's get out of here.
this time though, I'm gonna take my extra 11 points and <laughs> yeah, that, that trip into perception was pretty short lived, wasn't it? Oh well, um, let's just go into agility this time. So that nets me three into gunslinger, two into run and gun, and finally two points into parkour. Oh, that feels good. Okay, I'm ready to go on a bit of a raid, although I don't think we're gonna be able to make it to a trader in time to get a quest, but I think I might try. We do have an airdrop kind of on Bob's side of town, so let's head over to him first. Well, we did make it with time to spare. All right, let's get a job. We got a job here, fetch and clear at the Taylor Manor. Sure, finally a hacker's candy in case we need to get any more oil or anything. And yep, al always taking the water. I gotta get into the habit of that. We always, always need more water. Okay, where was that airdrop? It's right out here somewhere. Okay, it's just over there. We'll do a little bit of off-roading. Just be very careful. We'll circle back around to the tier three fetch and clear. All right, there it is just up ahead. What do we get here? Crafting skill magazine bundle for not much. We're almost done on the electric stuff, though. What's in this melee mods bundle? Nothing really. Won't say no to a little snack, though. All right, to the clear. All right, here we are at Taylor Manor. Unfortunately, I clipped a fence on the way here and took off 20% of the 4x4 health. All right, well, let's get in here. Maybe we'll find some repair kits. Wow, okay. Well, I'm just going to feed that in immediately. <laughs> <laughs> to the 4x4. Four four. All right, I'm gonna take my time here the best I can. See if I can find the correct way in. Here we go. Yeah, because we need to get some cloth for sure so we can finish off the sandbag project. Usually these houses are pretty good for that kind of stuff. Oh, here's our satchel already. It's a fetch and clear though, so we gotta proceed with the entire place. Some company here already. You got tea peel and friend and a skill point to spend. I don't know. Let's go lucky looter. Go back into perception. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. Oh, hello there. Good morning, Johnny. Oh boy. Man, they come running fast around that corner. Hello? Please don't do that. Make a mess in here. Lots of ways out. All right, and just like that, I think we're heading into the basement and this is, yeah, pretty close to the end, I think. Got one zombie over here. How many zombies we got down here? Show yourselves. Hello. Sun baton still doing the weird thing. Not bad in there. A little bit of money. Hello there, Claire. Give you a minute to make your way back up here. Don't mind me. Just gonna do some looting. Make myself up a new first aid bandage with the stuff I just found. Appreciate your patience over there. Hey, lucky goggles there. Plus four. That's not too bad. Aha. Oh, yes. This is the... The final place, though. Is there anything hiding back here? This looks awful suspicious to me, but no, I don't think so. All right, you know what to do. Okay, well, the, the, the way to do this... Okay, I have parkour now, so what I could do is just do this and this and then... Oops, I don't know if I have enough parkour, though. Ah, here we go, I made it. Yep, come on over here, guys. Oh, they don't want to properly come over here. Okay, come right over here. There we go, that does it. Is that it? I thought there were like 20 zombies down here, but we've got like one more. Have to come back here someday on an infestation and see how it feels. There you go. Good job, buddy. Okay, well, I'll put my newfound lucky looting goggles on. And previously... Okay, things are a little bit weird here now, but yes. A hidden stash here, I think. There it is. A little bit of ammo and stuff. Main loot first. Not much. Another spear. Okay, I think that just about does it here, and I think the way out is usually off this way. So it definitely seems as though it's, um, we haven't been progressing very well in the trader stage, or, or in like the trader quest stages, because we've been kind of splitting our time between two traders. It's debatable. I don't know if I would do that again, if I had it to do all over. I think I would just kind of focus on one. It just, it's really nice to have two traders that you, you have an advanced trader stage with, but unless you're just focusing on questing all day long, I don't know, I, 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 you know, you're kind of spreading yourself too thin. Although there is always the option to do some freelance missions, and there's this one place over here that I've driven by a few times that I've never set foot in before that I'd really like to try out, and it's this one here, the Eco Trash Recycling Center. What better place to do in the middle of the night than a tier four quest location that I've never seen before? What could possibly go wrong? All right, let's try to figure out 
a way in here. That looks like it's all buttoned up over there. Oh no, it's not. Okay, this place is actually open over here. I see. Ah, scared me, man. Oh, I can see a vulture down there. It's kind of an interesting spot for a vulture. A couple of them, in fact. Come on out here, boys. Christopher Blake over here. Whoop. And we got a giant hermit over here. Yeah, who needs turrets? Oh, got a fire hazard over here. Oh, hello there, Nate. How do you do? Aha, rad. Claire's back. Okay, we want turrets for this because one of them has the rad remover. There we go. Okay, this. There we go. Yeah, there's a little valve right there. Oh, not that valve, though. Hey, whoa, whoa. Hello, Cole. Ah. Yeah, it's one of these here. Activate, activate. There we go. Ah. Whoop, dogs. Just the one, I think. And then this guy. Ah. Whoa. Goodness. It snuck up on me. Yeah, it's that, that thing where it's difficult to hear when the zombies are getting zapped, you know? Here, let's get one turret down to kind of finish things off here. There we go. I did put some bandages in the drone, and we have the, um, the, what's it called? Um, the medic mod in there. I'm also crafting a cargo mod, but, you know, the, the, I've only got the one workbench, and it's been grinding on stuff all day. But we'll get the robotic thing all decked out here pretty soon. Oh, this is going to be a, an interesting place of kind of, like, squirreling around on all these platforms and conveyor belts and everything else. Okay, we're just wrapping around the conveyor belt now. I don't... I, I think we're all clear over here. Now we're just heading into the sort of like the second half of the building. Hello. Yo, oh, jeez. Ah. I don't like where I am right now because if I fall down... Oh, hello there, 762 Gamer. Let's make this a little bit easier on myself. I'm kind of... Maybe there's another zombie somewhere. I don't know where. Oh. Right there. I see. Yeah, I do believe. Here they are. Silver gate. Right there. And there were covert lettuce again. I, I heard a white. There we go. Goodbye. Oh, okay. We're into the, the, um, the technical administrative part, it looks like, maybe. All that means is, ooh, slightly tighter quarters. That was it for the electrician set right there, and we can craft tier five batteries. I'm not sure why you ever would, though. Oh, hey, working vending machine over here. Rockbusters, sugar butts, nope. I don't think I need that stuff right now. Okay, we've reached the, the, the far border on this. I keep looking at that and it's like, rad, rad? No, not a rad. Oh, the main loot, though. Okay, okay. Reload, and we'll do turret, turret, and nobody's awake. So let's go stir them all up. Let's just grab that loot pile there because it's probably the most fragile of the loot boxes. And yep, here we go. Doing great. In fact, everyone's dead except for the white boy over here. Dr. Henceforth, goodbye. Okay, yeah, that, that was, um, hmm. <laughs> that, was, that was awesome. I thoroughly enjoy my skills. They're not overpowered at all, no. What I really want to see someday is a tier 6 infestation with like a full-on intellect build. See how that feels. Ah, lucky 13 lockpicks to get into that. Hey, it's a pretty nice iron helmet, but not better than my SWAT helmet. 10 sewing kits. What is it with the sewing kits around here? Okay, I do think we're done here though. Are we done? Is this... Is this... Oh, I don't know what that is. Like a way out maybe? A way to the rooftop it looks like? Oh, and that's another way out but there was the button here okay just multiple exits it looks like maybe there's some more zombies on the rooftop that you have to kill if it was a mission or something all right well let's speak of mission let's go over to bob and get our quest reward for the last one Trader Joe's is now open. all right bob has just opened Hello, all right good morning going? bobby we'll take the crafting skill magazine bundle and i'll also take a upgraded fire axe please and more jobs okay invested stuff and nothing at the bookstore as per the usual yeah i'm good we'll do some freelance type of stuff the question is where do we do some freelance type of stuff we're not particularly far away from the wasteland we could find something entertaining to do out there for today because my my gut's telling me that um we're just not going to be finding great loot i think we've kind of outgrown this biome here so yeah let's go do a quick exploration mission clear quest or something and oh maybe we'll go see trader hugh out here in the wasteland as well 
All right, here we are. Made it all the way over to Trader Hughes. There's bound to be some good loot around here somewhere, so we'll poke around and see if we can find some in a little bit. For now, though, hey, buddy, where are your vending machines? Here they are. No eye candy, though. I did snag no up one at the last here. trader. Hey, floor. repair kits. We need those for the vehicle. And honestly, I would love to get some glue and or duct tape from you or even cloth. I'll take the cloth as well. Now, it's just the, these traders where you haven't built up your trader stage by doing quests for them. They're just not really going to have much good. Even for Hugh here, he's supposed to be the weapon guy and he doesn't even really have any weapons here. Right. Oh, well, he does usually have a little some odds and ends around here to salvage through, though. So I'll take a moment and see if I can find anything good. Nope, just a couple of ammo piles, I think. Otherwise, yes, let's get out of here. I'm not here for freebies. I'm here for a tier four, tier five quest here somewhere. There is this, uh, what is this? Some sort of like industrial factory place? We could do that. Aha, uh -huh. and we've got the passing gas right across the street. So once we hit this place, we'll do the looting candy and we'll bust into this place as well and see if we can get the main loot two for one. Uh oh, look out, whoa, buddy. How dare you, take that. All right, well, let's get in here. It's, it looks like it's a pretty secure compound anyway, so we won't have to worry about too many people lurking in. We'll just have to deal with the people who have already lurked in. Okay, what are we looking at here? Front door? Oh, yeah, I can see a rat over there. Could be a feral white by the look of it, too. Okay, got just the thing for him. In fact, what I'm gonna do is just make sure that we're ready here. So if I need to fall back, I have a place to hide. Yep, that is definitely a feral white. Let's kind of... Oh my goodness, a whole bunch of them. Yep, open that in case there's more. Bring them all out here at once. Uh oh Got a bear flanking me as well. No, thanks. Ow, man. Okay, so if anything, uh, we might level up a little bit while we're here. Okay, definitely stay topped off though. Wait, where's my drone? Are you going to heal me or are you incapable of that? I'm not sure right now. Also, eat up a little bit. Also, uh, give me that skull crusher, please. Take that. And we press on. That was not a working vending machine back there, unfortunately. I could really go for a couple mega crush about now. Okay, I remember this area here. You have to go, yeah, to the top there. Right. Yes, this is the spot right here where you just uh, hit that. And I think zombies come down from up there or, or something like that anyway. Whoop. <laughs> oh, off with the legs. Yeah, I can. Oh, there he is right there. I can hear him thrashing around. Snap out of it. Zedinator. Here we go. Got another rad here. Sintal. And another one over there. Killer Joe. Dr. Henceforth is back for revenge. Not gonna happen, man. Goodbye. Oh my. This place is gonna be full of rads. Oh, ow. Full of rads here, isn't it? Open this and head outside. Hey, Mo. Dog kennels. There, yep, there's one. All right, what kind of shady business are we dealing with up here? Not much, it looks like. It wants me to go up this way. Oh, right, yes, up and then into, like, the bowels of this place. That's pretty fun. Yep. Let's drop straight in, I guess. Oh, jeez. All the way to the bottom. Yeah, oh, I, ah, ooh, yes, I'm on fire. Put a first aid kit on immediately. And, oh, I can't douse myself right now. Oh, boy, that was freaking close. Yeah, I was trying to get that loot bag, but I walked into... I walked way too close and got burned. Okay, I got 300 hit points rolling in. Hey, buddy, you want to just hook me up with, like, a mineral water after that? Okay, I think we're back at ground level. Ooh, we got barrels here. That could be fun. Hello, hello. Yep, come right over. Oh, got a rat back there. Whoop. I jumped the gun on that a little bit. All right, bring it. The rest of them are stuck, so... There, get that down. Poor placement, but... It'll get the job done. There we go. Yeah, I'm looking for a valve. Yep, that's the one right there. What's the deal over here, though? Okay, well, I'm feeling, feeling much better that I have the parkour points. Where was all that happening? Here we are. Whoop, one behind me as well. Okay, open this door and right. Okay, more wide open spaces. I like the looks of this a little bit better. Let's get some turret coverage because I, I think there might be something going on here, maybe. Um. Hello? Oh, just the floor breaking out. So, yeah, watch that. I will, in fact, just leave the turrets here for now because if there's a, a fight anywhere, I'll have a place to fall back to. All right, let's push up here and see what's going on. Hello? Yes, here's the fight. So come straight down here if you would. Let's see what we can do here. My plan is definitely working. A whole bunch of soldiers, but they don't stand a chance against the AP drone rounds. 
Ow. Oh, I got flanked. Okay, I think we've thinned him out enough. Let's get up here. We do have birds. Oh boy, we also have rats. That was better. Mutated. Whoops. Nope. Ammo is a problem right now. Drone, help. Jeez, am I wrong? Do you not have the, the medic thing? I could have... Isn't that what your arms are for? Why are you not patching me with bandages? I feel like I've, I've made a mistake here. Drone medic mod definitely is on the drone. Is it? Is there a different threshold? Have I just not been like low enough on Power hit points complete. yet? Now, currently, that is a mystery to me. Well, we got the main loot anyway. And yes, we said we're gonna do the eye candy, right? Which, oh boy. I've put that into the four x four, I think. Crap. Okay, so that's interesting. I just kind of climbed up on the scaffolding and I'm immediately right here, so. A little bit of a shortcut if you wanted to just come up here and get the loot. Okay, eye candy in. <laughs> Repair kits, that's gonna come in handy on the way home. The main loot here has a nice set of steel legs, awesome. And another vehicle adventures up to 95 on that. Okay, now we now it's time to really run. We are, oh my goodness, I was wondering why we were getting a little bit of a lag spike there. Well, shoot, scratch the looting adventure. We have got to do a zombie fighting adventure now. Come on over here, everybody. The turret is doing 95% of the work as usual. All right, a whole bunch more are over there. Whoop, they're rolling in here. Come on, guys. Wake up. Turrets are going to be out of ammo soon at this rate. Ooh, I'm out of ammo. Yep, everybody's out of ammo. Oh yeah, SMG's feeling pretty good though, isn't it? And Big Mama there just pooped out a loot bag for me. I'll take it. Ooh, nice SWAT helmet. And okay, we still have a little bit of time, like four minutes or so. Ooh, that was, that was awesome. Okay, yeah, here's the rest of them. Another loot bag here, and then we are storming the passing gas. Yep, I know right where to go. Just gotta get inside. We're gonna make a real mess in here too, I bet. Oh, there's a rat over there. Okay, can we just go in? Yep, right through here. That'd be fine. Jeez, now we, we've got dogs somewhere as well. Here, just kick things off with a bang. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that the drone is just not functioning. Why don't you heal? Oh, there it goes. It healed me <laughs> right as I'm about to die. Thank you very much. Still zombies rolling in from the left flank. Okay, we can still do this. Just let's, let's reload. We've got two minutes left on the looting candy. Okay, main loot is pretty close by. I think it's just around here. That's a rad over there. Yep, there it is. There it is. That's where I want to be. How do I get there? Everything's different here. Okay, Arlene's just gonna chill out down there, I think. Okay, yes, out here, and no, 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 I don't want to play by your rules. Let me in here. Yep, here's the main loot. Okay, if y'all could come out here, I'm sure there's somebody in there defending things. Here we go. Oh, they're running right through the defensive fire, and I'm out of stamina. Okay, is that it? Oh, good job, guys. Excellent work. Good, we're into the main loot chest for a good set of military gloves. I'll take it. Oh, a chainsaw. That's cool. Also, I can craft an impact driver at level one I just saw. Oh, a nice new pickaxe, too. And some repair kits. Oh, you can't ask for much more than that. Good stuff here. Nice. Okay, grab that stuff. And I think... Arlene, are you back? Where's, where's Arlene? She's around here somewhere. We'll leave her to it. I think there's a hidden stash in one of these towers over here. Oh, there she is. Deanna the banana. Thank you for pooping that out for me. Okay, now I think I think we're, we're pretty much good here. Maybe I'll roll through town and I'll do some magazines. Oh, that happened again. I love that. Yeah, the... the oh, what happened there? Thank you very much, drone. The last time I rolled through here, uh, when we came back from the snow biome out here, I did kind of pass through town and I did a few mailboxes. I didn't really get much though, but I might just do that again on the way home again. Oh, nope, see, <laughs> I've already been here. Maybe if we're lucky, I'll see one more little thing we could loot. Oh, right, because yes, we're in the ostrich hotel area here where we met Jawoodle. Oh, look at this. <laughs> there's, there's a savage country right here. 
that's the super savage country and this is like the regular savage country right over here <laughs> directly across the street i find that kind of hilarious whoops look out oh i think that was a pretty good dodge myself all right well we could hit one of these savage countries real fast which one's the better one this one i think is a tier three now isn't it yeah savage country tier three i think we could manage this let me just get rid of some stuff in the inventory yeah we're, we're getting pretty weighed down though at this point but we're pulling out some excellent loot here i'll go through it all tonight when i get back to the base oh my god it all of a sudden turned into quite a party over here cops spitting and everything okay that's done yeah what i really want to do here is set up some defensive positions here I'm gonna run in and stir everybody up and I'll be right back outside to meet you for the for the big battle. Just go all the way in, wake everybody up if we can. Okay, that was incredibly dangerous. I There's like 15 rads back there. And uh, okay, I'm almost back. I'm completely out of stamina. Yeah, I almost died there. That was bad. Here we go, prepare for battle. I just leveled up. There's a whole bunch more back there. We gotta make a little bit of noise to get them over here. Ooh, rad bikers and everything. Oh my god, they hit hard. Thank you very much, drone. Okay, I think that was it. Let's go loot up. A couple of stragglers, Sarah here, and I don't know, maybe someone on the rooftop. All right, oh, nope, this guy right here. Ah, you can stay there. I feel like death would be a release for you at this point. Oh, nice steel helmet there. Okay, the last little bit of loot that I'm interested in is uh, just these ammo racks and weapons racks and stuff like that. Nothing special in there. Oh, the cloth, though, that you could pull out of this place. It must be really nice. I don't think I need cloth quite that much at this point, especially not this time of night. All right, we're, we got, still got a little bit of time, though, and we still got a little bit of inventory space. What do you say we try to do the same thing and hit this savage country here? All right, this time though, I'm definitely gonna take something that'll help on the stamina. And I'll even take a recog. That's gonna dehydrate me a little bit, but that's okay. All right, let's see if we can stir up a few zombies in here. No, not really, maybe a couple. Yeah, they're starting to wake up a little bit now. Here we go. Come on outside, ladies and gents. Right over here, here we go. It's working. Oh, those bikers are still just incredibly strong and dangerous. Okay. I think we're good here. We just got the, the big main room in the back. And a cop, I guess. Oh, I can take these bears home with me. Put those in the base somewhere. Might have to look into crafting some AP 9 mil once I get home. Okay, th th this is where I wanna be here, but that's not how I wanna go about it. Oh, if I could only just reach through and grab that button. Who said I couldn't? There we go. Okay, not a lot of ammo left for these, so we'll have to try to make every shot count. All right, who's back here? Some rads for sure. All right, that's one, two, three down and four. Beneficial there, is that it? Pretty tame, not too bad at all. One more back here, flounder. And I think we're clear to loot up. I wish I could take those spotlights home with me. That would be nice. Okay, we're into the main loot here. Nice treasure map and a pair of boots. And I've just been kind of picking through the shelves here to get a little bit of extra cloth before we head out. Okay, that should hold us over pretty well in case we need to make any more sandbags or duct tape or anything else that requires cloth. Okay, what a friggin' awesome looting expedition this was. This, I wish I would have started doing this a little bit earlier, but honestly, we haven't had the offensive capability that we've had in the last like uh, three or four days or week or so since we basically we got the the dual turrets now i feel like i can conquer anything all right well i'm gonna head back to the base i'm gonna get everything organized and i'm gonna get ready for painting and then we will pick things up again after tomorrow morning's broadcast but thank you very much for listening to this one and i will catch you hopefully in that next one good morning post-apocalypse and welcome back to hope radio where together we survive 
After finalizing construction on both bases yesterday, I was able to bring in a professional painter to get them all gussied up. With that out of the way, I have a few new goals for the day. First, I'd like to get a real magnum crafted, which will require a few more handgun parts. And second, I want to finally unlock and craft a gyrocopter, which will require five more Vehicle Adventures magazines. And once I have both of those, we'll face down the Day 35 horde. But for now, this is Temreki, signing off. All right, how about that paint job? Let's jump in here and see what the interior looks like and just kind of soak it all in for a minute. Looking very, very cozy. I love the earth tone colors on this base. Okay, enough gawking though. We've got some work to do. First of all, we're going to need to get some handgun parts and then we need some vehicle adventures magazines. So let's uh, bring the money with us because I'm going to hit some traders on the way. Make sure I'm bringing plenty of extra ammo with me because I'm heading to the wasteland. And yes, otherwise, let's hit the road. Oh, there's also a treasure. I got a treasure map yesterday, and it's just over that way. So let's probably swing out there. We'll hit Bob's treasure map, and then we're heading west. Oh, geez, we're going to be in the market also for gasoline and repair kits, because <laughs> we're in the 4x4. I kind of regret using the 4x4. I should have probably just stuck to the motorcycle. Hey, Bobby, top of the morning to ya. Oh, he's got the gyrocopter accessories. Well, if only you had the chassis, I might, I might just consider buying both of those. Okay, no vehicle adventure magazines. Do you, Okay, gasoline, I think I will take that. I did buy a sugar butt, so I can use that. And, oh, he has handgun parts, too. Okay, so that Come that's half tomorrow. the battle right Get there. Sugar butts, and, oh, crap. I don't have a magnum here anywhere, do I? <laughs> I have a whole bunch of radiators sitting in there. Okay. Well, might as well sell them, I guess. Yeah, and gas, because I just, I don't want to go back out and do any mining. I'll take the forgetting elixir as well. And the handgun parts, I think that was going to be it. All right. Thank you, Bobby. Okay, at this point, we're off to go get that treasure real quick. Not that I think there will be much in it. Maybe some ammo crafting material, which reminds me, we also do have to try to make some AP 9 mil for the SMG. Oh, hey, I just noticed there's also an airdrop over here. That's kind of convenient. Probably just some junk in here, kind of as per the usual. Okay, and there was a crafting skill magazine bundled there, which kind of reminds me. I wanted to check my skills and, ooh, you know, we've got the forgetting elixir now. I could probably just take that, take five points into Grease Monkey. I think I'll do that. And that'll just increase our chances of getting those magazines that we need. And I'll probably buy another one to go back into advanced engineering. Uh, before the horde. Just a, a forgetting elixir a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> Something like that, at least. Yeah, this time with five into Grease Monkey. We don't even need Daring Adventurer today because I'm not doing any quests today, so I'll save those. Get away from the vehicle. Oh, I see. I wish there was this, like, splatter for the, the zombies just, like, you know, with the weapons. Not just with hitting them off the vehicle like that. That'd be awesome. Okay, that nets me four into Gunslinger, three into Run and Gun, two into Parkour. All right, let's go dig. Just setting up a defensive fire in case I get ambushed. Oh, right, and then with all those points, I should be able... Oh, are you kidding me? No vehicle adventure books in that? Come on, man. Oh, geez, there it is right there. Kind of went in all directions, but finally found it. Just gonna guess ammo, crafting materials, and gold and silver, <laughs> as usual, right? Okay, grab up the turrets, and, uh, well, yeah, I don't think we have to go back to the base for anything. We could go back and we could start making some ammo and, like, the, the magnum. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll do that. Let me head back to the base real quick. I'll get that stuff crafting, and I'll meet you probably over by Trader Hughes in the Wasteland. All right, just rolled up here to the Wasteland area, and I see this passing gas here, which is kind of exactly what we're looking for. So, you know, as we w wait, make our way to the trader over there, let's just hit up a couple of likely candidates to get what we're looking for here. Jeez, quite a mess here. People stopping in here to get fuel, and then, uh, I don't know, everything caught on fire, it looks like. Speaking of fuel, see if there's any leftover around here, because the 4x4 is churning right through it. Okay, okay, ooh, ATM. Hey, we're in. How much are we getting today? Oh, that's that's not very much. Chump change. Okay, how do I get in here? Is it this corner over here? Yep. Yep, that's the one. All right, let's just make sure that we're ready to go here. Good enough anyway. Good. All right. Yep, let's do this. Don't I have a laser sight on this? There we go. Turn the laser on. Oh, gee. Hyper, the, uh, the radiated biker. Yep. Let's not, well, let's just go for one for now. I gotta, we gotta go a little bit easy on the ammo. I brought the ammo with me today, but oh my God, that was fast. I am so sorry. Yeah, we'll try not, try to conserve things a little bit. You know, I, I feel, I feel like I'm 
playing with god mode on, honestly, sometimes, with both of the turrets running at the same time. I'll never say no to a little snack, though. Ooh, my favorite. Oh, what's that go to? Huh? What the hell? I'm trapped! <laughs> this is foolish. Oh my god, I gotta break my way out of here. Is, is there a way through the, the rooftop here? Or I don't know. Whatever, okay. That was weird. Pressing on. I'm not here for the restaurant stuff so much anymore, though. Got what I was looking for. Got some blueberry pie. I'm here for the passing gas stuff next door. Blue's box over here is kind of giving me a hard time, though. Whoop. Hi there. Uh, oh, yes. To the rooftop, then. That's where the SMG kind of shines, the hip firing. What do we got going on here? Not, not much, it looks like. Oh my goodness, being into agility, I, it's just, whoops, it's so natural to me. I love it. I love having parkour. I love just the, the speed of it. I have no idea where I'm going now. We're, we're, I made the wrong turn somewhere. Aha, here we go. Yep, give me agility or give me death. Aha, okay, whoop, hi there. Some bookshelves here that I can search. Come on, passing gas. Yes, yes, the vehicle adventure book, nice. Four more, another chance over here. Nope, spear hunter. And we're in insulated liner mod. I can't craft those. I might be able to put that on something because at this point, look at my armor. I've pretty much maxed out the armor. Yeah, I find this a little interesting. So, okay, muffled connectors. I'd rather have the insulated liner for explosion resistance, but the level five military boots has four mod slots. The level five SWAT helmet only has three. I'm not sure where the SWAT stuff kind of falls in line there with the rest of them, but it seems to be kind of subpar in terms of mod slots. <laughs> Goodbye, Steve. It was nice knowing you. Okay, I think we're getting close to... Oh, no. You know, this is like the, uh, the store portion here. Here, set this stuff up and I'll hide over here in the crossfire, kind of. Luckily, I don't take any damage. Yeah. The, uh, the bullets bounce right off of me, I guess. Uh, hey, hey! Decorations! Got an eye candy poster, probably my favorite. Couple of chances for some books here. Oh, that reminds me, hunting rifles. So, yeah, um, we don't have very good progression in any magazines for weapons, except for the handguns, which I find... Uh, oh, four fights over here. I find a little bit interesting because we we haven't really been specced into handguns at all, except for a couple of days. Okay, this is the spot over here. Fireman's Almanac. Okay, we're not getting lucky here. Didn't really get lucky here either. Okay, but anyway, this is the fight right here. Let's just, you know, do the same thing we always do here. And run right in. Use my parkour a little bit. Come and get me. If you can. I'm I'm my my money is on you can't one hit on me okay fair enough first try on that i do have the eye candy and i'm gonna save that because i would like to do a higher tier poi here at some point today but let's see what we get here anyway just with the base loot stage not a whole lot here got one vehicle adventure book out of that and another one in the last box there okay so we need uh what two more oh we can definitely do that okay i want the cool calendar for the base i'm gonna run out of places to put all that stuff it's already getting kind of tight, but yeah, I think I'm good here. How do I get out? Over here? Good. All right, let's push further into town and see if we can find another passing gas location or, or anything else that sort of tickles my fancy. Yeah, I did just swing by this little wasted passing gas, and I know that there's a passing gas box here close by. Also, other people. I really wish the stakes could ragdoll a little bit. That'd be funny. Okay, yep. That's the spot right there. Let me in here. This could have the final magazines that we need. It has one of them. Well, I'll take it. All right, from here though, I can see our next target. Just down here at the end of the street is the last sunset nursing home. And I think that would be the perfect place because if there's one thing I know about nursing home residents is that they like to read. So we should definitely get the magazines that we need out of here, the one magazine, and we should get some good loot to boot. Okay, just make sure I'm bringing everything I need with me here. Food, drink, first aid, whatever I can think of that I might need. The drone is also full of stuff. Okay, that should do it. Okay, just need to try to remember how this place starts off. Where do I go? Whoop, hi there, Cole. Good morning. Good afternoon, I should say. Is this it right here? No, locked. Do we go? Oh, yes, we go in through the back. That is correct. And this is where it all ends, right here. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll start thinking about how we can uh, 
do this. What's the most, like, the safest way to do this, right? All right, we're hunting a wolf out here right now. This should be, like, a table that you can pick up. Where is he? Where is he? I know he's out here somewhere. I see him. Hello there. Come get some. Whoa, snakes, too. Okay, perimeter is secure. We're heading in. All right, made my way through the pipe system there, and we are into the basement system, at least the first half of it, right? Because we know the other half is where the good stuff is. Oh, jeez. Oh, rad. Couple of them, it looks like. A feral white boy. Ah! Get back. Ooh, taking hits here. Oh, there's a lot of junk in the way around here. Here we go. Ah! Ow! There we go. Come on! Give me a freaking jolt there. Wow, abrasion. Go and just take a first aid kit. Also, I'm infected, and I think that's like the one thing I didn't bring with me was uh, antibiotics. And there's a cop, I think, or something somewhere. Magnum Enforcer there. It's a good book to have since we're into the uh, the handgun era. Okay. Oh, there he is. Rad cop as well. Wow. Stop hitting me. Rude. Take that. Oh my goodness, I just opened up a clothing pile and there sits a level five military helmet with a flashlight on it. Where do I go now? Oh, right, into the elevator where there's a Spider-Man. Radiated spider too. Livid. Get back. Okay, yo, yes, I remember this. Lots of just people everywhere. Here, drones, drones everywhere. Ow. Yeah, I'll just, I'll stand in the middle, I guess. I don't, can't think of what else to do. That, that works very well, I think. Ah! Ow! Concussion! Crap! Okay, we do need a reload on a couple of these guys, probably both of them at this point. Yes! This is what old people do, right? They read. They read vehicle adventure books. Hopefully. They, they read about water purifiers, apparently. That makes sense. Explosives! Jeez. What are we trying to do here? There we go, there's our book. 100 out of 100, we can craft a gyrocopter tonight. There we go. Oh, hey, businessman. You looking for me? Oh, and since we're maxed out on vehicle adventures, or, um, maxed out on Grease Monkey, we should have a discount at crafting the gyrocopter as well. I looked at the recipe. I have everything I need. I, just, I think I needed to make a little bit more duct tape, but we have the glue anyway. But yeah, it'll be even cheaper there. Oh, did I? I thought I had a concussion, but no, I was just stunned back there a little bit. And oh yeah, we're starting to crank up the Magnum quality level that we can craft. A little late, I've already crafted it, but I think I did buy enough parts. If I want to make another one, I certainly could. All right, what are we looking at here? Bit of a fight, I'm sure. Let's do this. Yep, here they are. Okay, come right this way. Start blasting. I think that was it. I uh, saw uh, so six zombies right there. Close quarters here too, that's what kills you. I can hear zombies awake outside too. I don't know if they have an easy way to get in here or not. Yo, oh, jeez! Oh my god, you scared me there, man. Okay, take care of these couple nurses, because there's some books in here. Just basically reading everything at this point, not too worried about money. Okay, yep, whoop, out onto the balcony, where somebody left me some food, and give me a chance to- Oh yeah, there they are, the people that I heard from outside. Okay, all clear. Ah, uh, yes, I do remember this place here. Give me some coverage, kind of get that positioned a little bit better. Here we go. All right. I don't remember where they came from though. All right, this is where we should get the uh, the heavy lifters over here. And yeah, oh, here we go. I think they jumped down from, uh, from the rooftop there, I think. Ow, ow, ow. Look out. All clear. Why are there bowling pins in here? Is there some exercise with bowling pins that I'm not aware of? Oh, there's a jar of honey for my infection. Brilliant. Oh. Hello there, guys. Oh, ah, radiation damage. Ow. Oh, get out of here. Oh, thanks, drone. Kind of forgot you had the ability to do that. All right, finish him off. Hey, look at that. Reserve fuel tank schematic. Just what I need. The ability to put even more fuel into a friggin' vehicle. Could you die already? Jeez. Uh-oh, uh oh Oh, close that door. What's going on here? Okay, I thought it was gonna be a big ambush, but I don't think it was. Just a little one. Okay, it looks like we're heading to the rooftop now, which is great. Nice wide open spaces. Let's do this. Come and get it. Whoops. Ow. <laughs> they, um, they're very good listeners, aren't they? Okay, we're almost there. These couple of guys are not good at listening to instructions. Where did you go? What are you doing over here? Wouldn't it be cool if you, if you wrenched these, you had like, 
I don't know, a 5% chance to get a solar cell out of them. Did I wake people up in there? Oh, it looks like I did. Well, if that's the case, I might just drop at least one of those guys in there just in case there's some kind of an ambush. Yep, here we go. Whoa! Done. Okay, I have memories of what is coming up soon. So I am going to take fourth bites, stave off the dehydration with that. I'll take a preemptive bandage, I guess, just to get a few hit points rolling in, just in case. And then I'm gonna jump down here and immediately set up some turrets. Although it's probably not a good spot for him here. Let's try this spot right about here. Right, cause I think there's, yeah, a lot going on here. Here we go. Let it rip. Oh, oh, they're coming from behind. Run. Ah, oh crap. Okay, don't leave range of the turrets. Oh geez, I think we did okay. We're doing okay. Things are exploding. Oh my goodness. Jeez, I thought I, I thought I was gonna get the drop on them, but they still got the drop on me. Whew. Okay. Reload. All right, anybody hanging out here in these offices? There's a lot of people hanging out outside. Oh boy. Starting to think I should probably go out there and handle things. Oh jeez. Oh man, a lot of people are in here. Ah, just swing. Swing wildly until I get an electrocution. There we go. Oh yeah, a whole bunch of people are outside though. Here, let's um, let's try and start doing something about that. Uh oh, there we go. That's better. All right, pick that up and replace it with a grenade. That seemed to work. All right, what's in here? Quickly though, cause there's a zombie. Yep, right behind me. Uh oh, I just got thirsty. Drone, drone, I think you have mineral water to, oh, why are you downstairs? At any rate, I have to wait until, oh, there he is. There we go, mineral water. Hey, 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 before you go away though, I'll take some skull crushers as well. You know what? Let's go, oh, the recog's gonna dehydrate me. Okay, well, no, we'll just roll with that for now. Let everything kinda, balance out. All right, who's waiting for me in here? Good morning, everybody. The dance begins. Just start dancing over here if you would. There we go, that's more like it. Looks like the aftermath of a frat party. People just lounging all over the furniture. Okay, yeah, we're pushing toward nightfall too. Man, I'd like to get this over with before we hit uh, hit that time of day. Not, uh, it wouldn't matter anyway, because the, the ferals and rads, they're on nightmare speed, so who cares? It's just, you know, the wasteland at night, right? What could possibly go wrong there? Here, set something up here, because I know there's someone waiting in here. Hello? Yes, soldiers, too. Come on back here, guys. If you can. I got one taker. That will do it. I think, almost. Yeah, we're good. Oh, one of my turrets was broken, though. Which um, is kind of bad, although, yeah, the 4x4 is just out here. I do have some repair kits inside. Look at me thinking ahead, bringing repair kits with me, mostly just because I was worried about the vehicle. <laughs> it's good to have it for the other stuff too, though. And yeah, go ahead and just have everything else. Okay, here we go. This is the big battle. Right. Okay, what's what's the play here this time? Okay, I think, I think, I don't know for sure. I think the play is to just kind of fight them on the ramp over here. So that would be like turret and turret and kind of just hope Hope that we can kind of keep them all down in that area just ahead of us. Uh, for this trick here, I will do recog. Hit me again with the fourth bite. Some water and a preemptive first aid kit. And I wish I had this charged, but um, I guess we're just gonna have to roll with the SMG. All right, let's do this. Where are you guys? Oh yeah, 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 right. Okay, we have to hit the valve and that's when everything kicks off here. Here we go. Can I cheese it? Can I actually? No, I can't. Oh, jeez. Run! Run and, run and gun! Run and gun! Ah! Oh my god, they're everywhere. I'm getting, I'm stunned. It's bad. Okay, they're dying. Oh, I think we're good. Wow, that was fast. Okay, yeah, other than getting stunned that one time, I think that was, that went pretty well. I lost, uh, well, I'm at full hit points, so I'm doing fine. Whew, that gets the heart racing though, and it did just tick over to nightfall. Okay, that box there should open up, yeah, the back door. All right, nothing left to do now, but loot up. In fact, I'll take that eye candy like I said I would. Oh, just like that, I've unlocked the level five magnum. I might have to go home and just craft a whole nother one. 
Okay, that is it. The main thing is open, but I did think to myself while I was doing that, what if I could just take one little point into Lucky Looter and see if that helps out a little bit? Oh my. Well, <laughs> it helped, but nothing I really need in here. I guess I could wear that helmet. It's a little bit of an upgrade. All right, good enough. All right, let's get out of here. Hello, big mama. Yeah, if anything, that new helmet gives me that one extra mod slot that I was talking about. All right, you know, I'm just thinking to myself here, this place on infestation would be just ridiculous. It's, it's, ah, I don't even know if it'd be possible. I think my strategy anyway would be to just make a lot of holes outside and just, you know, Stir up a bunch of zombies, run outside, kill them in wide open spaces, and so on. Okay, well, the excursion to the wasteland was again successful. This place is just um, a home away from home for me. Well, I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna get a new magnum crafted and get the gyrocopter down before tomorrow morning, and then we'll just make a few final preparations for the horde night. All right, here we are, home sweet home. Man, it feels good to roll into a freshly painted base, doesn't it? All right, there's a look at the loot hall right there. Nothing crazy. Uh, we did get the one upgrade there to our equipment at the steel helmet. Really, the only thing that we don't have that's maxed out are the boots. And it would be nice to someday get like an auger and maybe uh, some tier six, quality six turrets. And I do actually think that I can craft myself an impact driver now too. I sure can. Only a level one though. Would that be worth it? Or should we go level five ratchet? I think the way things work now is that... Um, the impact driver is most certainly going to be better. Let's uh, craft it and find out. And we'll get ourselves a level five Magnum instead of that level three. I'll probably just sell that someday. And oh boy, we, we got a lot of organizing to do here. Okay, fresh new day and I'm uh, cranking on stuff over here in the workbench. I'm just making up the duct tape in the inventory right now to get the gyrocopter chassis. And as soon as I get that crafting, we're gonna head out. We gotta go to the trader because I need to get one more for getting elixir to get into like the final configuration for Horde Knight. Okay, there we go, gyrocopter chassis. And I've collected up all the sellable stuff so we can make a very quick trader run this morning over. We're gonna have to go over to Trader Joel because I already bought Bob's forgetting elixir. Nothing like a nice morning drive off into the sunrise. All right, we still got a few minutes before Joel's gonna wake up and open the doors, but if you're not early, you're late. Aha, I left some stuff in the uh, car over here as well, nice. Okay, we just have to cross our fingers that he is gonna have the, f yes, the awesome sauce over here, nice. And I think I do have sugar butts in the drone. If I could ever find the drone. Okay, why does this always have to be such a chore? Yeah, I guess this is just how it is. I have to walk halfway across the planet before he friggin figures out how to get out of there. What are you doing? We, <laughs> we may never know. Okay, well, oh, come on. You were just right there. Look at him flying all over the map. Oh my God. There he is. Get him. Ugh, hold him down for me. There we go. Okay, at least just give me the um, the sugar butts for now. Come on, come back here, come back here. You're, yes, stay right there. No! Oh, I, I got him. <laughs> not, I'm also, I'm not worried about uh, repairing everything up at this point. The duct tape is more valuable to me than the Dukes. If I had the, 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 the duct tape to buy, I would spend the Dukes on it, so. That's how it's gonna be. Okay, here we go. Let's do sugar butt. Awesome sauce, Magnum out, and let's trade. And another 2,500 right there. Not too shabby. There's the forgetting elixir, 1,800. I think that's probably as cheap as they come. <laughs> so worth it. I'll take all the glue though. Oh, he's selling a level four Magnum. Look at this hot shot. Yeah, I do think that's just about it. And I don't think there's any reason to fly to the other side of town. I just wanted to get that stuff out of the inventory. And yes, let's finally respect the character. Okay, this time around, I messed things up a little bit. I, I went 10 into agility thinking I could max out Gunslinger, but I couldn't. So we're stuck at level two on that one. That's okay. If we level up again today and tonight, that's where I'll be putting my points. All right, it's official. It is Horde night. So I'm gonna head over to the Horde base and just make sure that everything is set there. Uh, yesterday, the day before, the last couple of days, I definitely got everything done over there that I wanted to get done. Upgrades are good. Everything's connected. I just need to probably fuel up the generators. Okay, I stopped by the base. I picked up my new Magnum and decked it out with a few mods. And I also picked up some fuel. So let's juice up these generators and have it over with. How are we doing on this one? Not too bad. It's, I haven't fueled that up in like weeks. So I'm pretty sure that'll be fine. This one over here should also be fine. It is. And what about the last one? This one is just for light. So not, not too concerned about that. And that one is also good. Let's just uh, spin everything up. Whoop. 
We missed a few paint spots in there. That'll that'll be fine. Spin this one up. How's that doing? Pretty good. That's half the blade traps right there. Spin this one up. How's it looking here now? Whoops. Oh, oh. I didn't want to do that. Uh, unlock. Yep. Yeah. Just let that uh, <laughs> cycle out so I don't waste any darts. There we go. Lock back up the ammo. Oh boy, this is going to be fun tonight. Kind of looking forward to seeing what the, the paint looks like at nighttime because um, it's looking good enough in the daytime, I think. Looks really sharp. Good stuff. Also, yeah, I was, uh, I've been thinking about this. The, the next big project would have to be putting a wall in here using half blocks because if you use a full block, that would give zombies a way to kind of path on this edge here. We wouldn't want that. So yeah, just doing like a half block wall all the way around with some nice stairs here and then put in a nice solid floor here. And, and pretty much same thing around here, a nice solid floor all the way around. Basically turn this whole Oscar's dumpster fence perimeter here into one big pad. That would be quite an undertaking though. We'll hold off on that. And whoop, yep, turn that off. <laughs> Don't waste any darts. Okay, we're officially good to go. Now, did I get all the lights hooked back up properly? Let me just double check on that. We don't want to have lighting problems. We have lighting problems. We also have some repair issues up there. Okay, need to head back to the base and get that stuff fixed up. All right, I've returned with some repair supplies, and I think instead of having the dual turret thing, because then I'd just spend all my time reloading and I'll never get to fight anyone up at the front, <laughs> I think my strategy will instead be to just punch the zombies off as they try to crawl up the ladder just because I think it'll be hilarious to watch. Ah, uh, yeah, and then we had some issues down here with cop explosions, although I think... So, yeah, this stuff was cobblestone, so whatever happened here, the cobblestone held up because most of this is still cobblestone. There is no more wood. That's kind of the big difference between... Uh, this time and last time and the whole base down at the bottom is concrete which before it was also mostly wood so we, we you know pretty big upgrade here and then most of this area over here is gonna be steel now steel with some concrete in the less important areas pretty sure these pieces here are solid steel now and uh yep i think that'll just about do it i did bring extra supplies with me i'm going to find a place to put a storage box in here somewhere there's got to be somewhere I can put something. Um, is it drawer? I was looking at this the other day. Hmm, steel. You know how we used to have like the mortician drawer or the steel drawer? I found there's another storage container that we can make. I'm gonna have to head back to the base and craft one because it would be perfect for over here. Yeah, I gotta head back to the workbench anyway to craft that. Let's go back to the other base. Don't you just love having to make trips back and forth because you've split your bases in half? Oh, anyway, right. We had to come back here to, um, to get the gyrocopter crafted and I'm gonna have to pull an engine out of this generator over here, which is not even at half draw, so that's fine. Yes, steel wall cabinet. I didn't even realize this was the thing, but there it is. I'm going to craft one for storage over at the base, and I'm going to follow that up with the gyrocopter, which I need to get the battery for. Use the worst battery you have. There you go. Craft that. Oh, right. And I did make a rad remover to fill out the 44 magnum slots. Man, that looks sharp. Love it. I put a silencer on the SMG just because, you know, sometimes you want to go quiet, right? Okay, there it is. My steel wall cabinet. Hit points 1500. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. It's a lot better than the wooden ones, at least. Three, two, one. Gyrocopter's done. Okay, there it is. How much fuel does this take? Probably like all of the fuel. Oh no, not too bad, actually. Not, yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe I'll make some mods for it someday. But for now, I just need some dye for it. Yep good set of slick black dye. How do we look in here? <laughs> we look a little foolish with the steel helmet. I'll take it though. All right, here we go. The inaugural flight off of the Hope Radio Tower. Uh, works a treat. We don't have very far to go today. I guess we're going to get a sense here in a second of how much damage this takes upon landing. Just, yep, nice and easy. Oh, geez. That's a that's very easy. That's the easiest landing I've ever done. Oh my god. <laughs> Shield your eyes while you're going up the tunnel here. Okay, where's my little drawer thing here? And oh, I can just put it in the floor, can't I? That is kind of perfect. Here, put that there. And that has excellent storage. So I brought a whole bunch of things that I can just 
kind of set in here permanently so that we don't have to make as many trips back and forth. Repair materials, some extra ammo, explosives, some extra fuel, and an extra wire tool and some extra shapes. And I will need the wire tool. And that's like not, that's a very low profile. So it's not going to bother me too much if I walk over it. Wow. Good find there. I thought they'd taken those out, but uh, nope, we can still craft those. Uh, what am I doing here? Yeah, I'm trying to get this line here. Oh, wait, no, that has to connect off of this first. There we go. And, oh, I remember having issues doing this before. Can I just do it from here? I can. Yes, I did it. Okay, so that sets us up pretty good in terms of lighting, although I did bring some more stuff, a burning barrel and a couple of torches. I was going to see if I could uh, rearrange things a little bit here to make it more symmetrical. I never did find a good spot for the land claim block, and at this point, I don't think I'm going to either. How about we do some torches? I mean, these are just going to get destroyed one way or another, so I'll just set them up right about there for now. That works. Okay, I think we're all set up. Well, we don't need to juice anything up for now. We did get an airdrop earlier and it was off to the south and I've got the perfect vehicle to get us there. Okay, whoop, here we go. Nice and easy. Not into a tree, please. What about this one? Crafting skill magazine bundle. Cloth armor bonus bundle. That's the good cloth armor too. And a book and some snacks, which I'm just going to eat right now. So the handgun books should give me the capacity to, yeah, build the SMG. That's kind of cool. All right. I don't think there's anything else I need to do out here. I don't want to be rushing back to the base for the horde fight. So I'm just going to head back and kind of putt around and we'll, we'll be nice and prepared for it all to kick off here. See if I can sort of thread the needle here on the approach. Oh, that was close. Oh, we <laughs> stirred up a couple of birds here. Oh, great. Going to bring them right back to the base. That's nice. Okay, drop it in and whoop, die. Okay, I think that will do it. Just making some extra cement here. Some extra concrete mix was rolling in there. We're good. Let's, um, I think I want to leave the gyrocopter over here. We've got the four by four over there. We don't need two vehicles over there. So I'll walk and then we'll get into position. Just get my portable light source into position here. Right about there will do, I think. E-brake on. It's gonna be quite a battle here tonight. I can't wait to see it. All right, fire up the blade traps and seal me in, let's go. All right, here we are. Just a few more minutes to wait and it'll all kick off. All right, my friends, this is it. The day 35 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. All right, so far so good here. I think all the traps are working. I can hear everything chopping and shooting and uh, the zombies are pathing up here appropriately. Oh yeah, it looks like now they're shifting over to the other side so we can see what the turret can do over there, the punch turret. I think it's getting a couple of punches in. <laughs> if anything, it's just gonna frustrate the zombies, I think. All right, show me how the sea of blade traps is working. Let's start launching some zombies off down there and see what happens. XP's rolling in, I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah, they're getting chopped to bits down there. All right. Nothing left to do but kill all these stupid zombies. Right, grab up that last turret and I think that was it I oh do we have more 
I think like one straggler just kind of ran in there and died in the sea of blade traps. Oh no, we did lose lights on one side. Yeah, these lights are super exposed and, and the cops do like to kind of shoot over at me. I picked up all the turrets last night because uh, they were <laughs> they were killing all the zombies. I couldn't get any action up here. Um, and so that's pretty good for bird cover though. But uh, yeah, we just killed off the entire horde. Uh, I'm sure there was a couple hundred zombies there, so good deal. All right, let's get down there and uh, scoop up some loot bags. Well, turn everything off first. We don't want to accidentally die out here. Okay, yeah, that's a healthy amount of loot bags. See, it doesn't seem like there's high volume up at the top. It's because the darts end up killing way more zombies than you would think. Like, so many zombies are just getting shot and then their loot bags are falling down here. It's good to see that nothing blew up down here as well. Whoop. What did that... What did all this come from? Was that from the light, the spotlight? And, oh yeah, and some blocks that broke off over there. I think that's what all that was about. Okay, well, you know, the trick is, because we can't go down here and loot because uh, we lose our good loot stage. So we have to try to stay elevated up into the level one zone. All right, well... Let's see what we can get here. Okay, and I think that was the last one right there. I've sort of double checked. Let's triple check and then call it. Yep, yep, that's good. All right, let's see what we pulled out then. Aside from the turret here, which I already had on me, and I've read a couple of books already, but there's uh, more damage to wolves, another handgun magazine, and otherwise, yeah, not much. Same old stuff, I guess. Treasure map here, read that. Sending me to, oh. Right out there by Trader Joel. Nice. And it just cracked morning, too. All right, let's go get this stuff organized back at the base. gunfire here what the hell is going on out there oh my god there's a whole bunch of bandits oh wow this is not good we've got multiple bandits over there in the box factory it looks like they're starting to set up some fortifications oh geez okay get to the radio mayday 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 this is Tamriki from hope radio my friends our survival hangs in the balance the bandits have laid siege to the radio tower and i stand alone but you and i have faced the end of the world together and we're still standing so i call upon all survivors if you've ever been helped by this broadcast if you believe in a future beyond fear and chaos, then rise up and meet me at the Bastion of Hope. This is Temreki signing off. Over and out. Listen up, princesses. The wasteland's getting crowded because every time we find somebody new, we let them get away. However, our enemy, this Temreki guy, has broadcasted his location for several weeks now. It was only a matter of time before we found it. Our objective today is to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentations of their women. Additionally, we're to break into their tower and reclaim all the stuff this gaggle of YouTubers has scavenged from our lands. We'll break into three groups. Beneficial's men will flank left. Mikey's men will flank to the right of the tower. I will take two soldiers with me and approach from the front. It will seem reckless to their eyes, but then Ben's Dynamite will reprioritize their attention while Mikey's team sneaks in. Let this be the hour we load rifles together. By sundown, I want to be drinking tears out of the boots of the fallen. Stand with me! Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is Tamriki from Hope Radio. My friends, our survival hangs in the balance. The bandits have laid siege to the radio tower, and I stand alone. But you and I have faced the end of the world together, and we're still standing. So I call upon all survivors. If you've ever been helped by this broadcast, if you believe in a future beyond fear and chaos, then rise up and meet me at the Bastion of Hope. This is Temreki signing off. Over and out.
All right, I can hear some vehicles rolling in. Oh my god, there's people at the front. I've got to let them in. Hang on there, guys. I'm on my way. All right, open the gates. Come on in. Get in, get in, get in. Go, 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 go. Take cover. Glad you guys could make it. All right, sealing things up. There we go. All right, get inside, get inside. All right, all right, all right. Wow, everyone made it. Awesome, guys. Close that door and lock it if you would. All right, we got to get uh, upstairs here. Follow me, please. And we're going to bank off on this level here. If you see any bandits, kill them, please. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> I saw a gyrocopter fly in. Was that your Oh, jeez. What have I landed in so? Tab, are you still here? This is a nightmare. I'm here. Hey, um, can I get a squad on the roof, please? Pre-built and Laney. Get up to the rooftop, mm -hmm. please. There's people here. I've here. accidentally murdered someone. Come around to the front. Oh, oh, Kill anyone okay. you see, okay? All right, come on inside. When you said there was a safe place here, I thought you meant a safe place here, not a death trap. All right, here we go. I got some SMG cover right here. Cap, is that you? Josh. Cap? Oh, mate, it's been so long. Didn't think I'd find you here. Glad to see you, my boy. Looks like they're trying to breach the, the front gate over there, and we've got a hole on the western side as well. Oh, geez, that's a pipe bomb. Look out. I definitely thought this was going to be a bit of an easier compound to stay safe in, uh, but it looks like looks like it's all kicking off. I was murdered immediately. Josh, you're right. You're getting shot, man. Oh, ah, sorry. Thank you. You're getting blood all over me. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no, Cap. Cap, baby, come back. Cap, come back to me, babe. Come. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait. Does anyone have any first aid? I didn't bring mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's first aid on the top floor. Have at it. Oh, thank goodness. It worked. All the other bullets brought me back. <laughs> good, good deal. Somebody's sniping. Yeah, there's a sniper up here. I wouldn't stand there. That's always the dream. Oh, oh. God. where are you at? I am your friend. I'll put you out of my misery. We're, we're taking casualties for sure, but I think they're taking casualties as well. Can, can, does anyone have eyes on what's going on? Uh, I have eyes on bullets going through my face. How about you? Yes, I have been murdered. We have a sniper. There's definitely a sniper across the way. Did you get him, Cap? I have not. I, I don't have a range for that kind of weapon. I got the sniper on the top floor. Atta boy. Cheers, pre-built. Love your work. I apologize if this doesn't work. <laughs> Did you just pull a pin on the grenade? Oh, damn. I would recommend... An extra set of water, just in case. Yeah, they're hucking in explosives through the windows. Oh, yeah, I'm on fire. I was. Yeah. I need a better angle. I might actually take out one of these blocks just so I can get a shot in. Oh, yeah, that's a good call. It's hard to shoot through these blocks. Are, are they at the front gate? Rain down small at all. Oh! Yep, one just caught me. I'm down. No! I just saw a man die. I think my bedroll exploded. Oh, I just wasted like four of them here on the western side. Oh, boy. Oh. They're throwing bombs at me. Oh, no. Oh, it's just pre-built. We're fine. My teammate, my partner. Please don't kill me. Go, cheese. Hey, j -woodle. I'm right next to you, buddy. Sam, thank goodness. I've been down here by myself for ages. They're getting through. My partner's left me. I was supposed to be hanging out with Cap, but he abandoned me immediately. I'm on the roof. Where are you? He's on the rooftop. I, I said we need to find somewhere better. Oh, so I came down to guard the entrance. Go team up with uh, with, um, with your partner there on the rooftop. I'll hold down here. All right, Tim's been braver than I am. I'm leaving. On your own, Tim. He's, okay, they're... um. I think they've regrouped back at the box factory there. We might have a moment of reprieve here. Wait, is that us? No, they're throwing grenades up. Yeah, whoever's throwing that is doing a great job. They've got like a whole base over there, don't they? All right, I'm up on the rooftop with you guys. Oh, Cap just took a bullet. Give him oh. a first aid, Cap. Come on, man. Get Every him. time I have to try and keep you alive, Cap, just stay with me. We can do it. Okay, Take I cover think for goodness sake. we need to abandon the rooftop. It is definitely too dangerous up here. I'm kind of with you there. Mm -hmm. We need to we need to stop them coming through that box factory. There is a whole fortress out there. Grenade. Grenade. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I felt ah, that leg. one. Oh, no. Oh, I'm getting some more ammo here. Ladder to the roof is down. Ladder is down. I will work on fixing that up a little bit. Who's trapped? I hear a chainsaw going off. If someone could maybe sort that out a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, man. They've blown up the entire western wall. Yep. They are in the compound now. They're on the bottom floor for sure. Well, the bottom floor is looking rough down here. I'm trapped behind enemy lines. Where are you, lady? I'm downstairs. I fell. Somebody broke the floor. Uh oh. I'm holding, I'm holding. I'm with you, Lenny. Thank you. Oh, geez, that bomb's going off everywhere. Does anybody see any of them? I don't see anybody around here now. I've got good news and bad news for you. The bad news is we're surrounded. The good news is you can shoot in any direction. You'll probably hit someone. Oh, no. Oh. On fire again. Um, here, I'll put a first aid kit on you. 
I don't know if that was on me or... Yeah, that was on you. That was good. Thanks, sir. They're coming across the pipe. We're in across the water. We're in the water. Yeah. All right. Throwing some explosives over there. If you have explosives, use them. Which side? It's um, southwest corner. Southwest corner is breached. There's a cluster of them over there. This, this fortification over here that you built, Echo, is working a tree. Liking this a lot. Good stuff. Good stuff. The Echo special holding up. What even happened in here? Oh my god. They're pushing across the bridge. Are you with me? Cap, where are you, man? Come with me. Come help me. They're all coming through the doorway. Right out in front. Front door. I'm right above the front door. Where you is? I'm, you, what, you were supposed to be next to turn around. This way. Come on, where all the people are. There you go. All right. Come give us a hand. We're they're everywhere out here. Pick a target. Pull the trigger. You all right? There's a lot of fire. I'm good. I'm good. Talk to me, Cap. What's going on? What do you need? What can I do for you? I'm actually okay. Did you get a split for your broken leg? Oh, yes, please. Give me. Just throw it at me and I'll do anything you need to. Oh, you're an absolute godsend. I've been flailing around like a bucket of bait fish. You come out here and give me that. Love you, Cap. I want a goddamn champion. You can kiss me later. Keep shooting. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be some wild celebrations in the streets tonight. Party like it's 1799. <laughs> It's all over my country, mate. What are you talking about? I can see one guy over here. Ah, it's a good thing none of these guys wear helmets. Definitely. <gasps> I did not see them. Where? On the left side. Yeah, I just killed three or four that were around the back trying to work their way in. Oh, jeez, we got a guy inside. How did he get in here? Oh, my God. They are um, they are building up here now, so I'm going to take right care of that. I'll help you, Tim. Oh, but I can't have any of that nonsense. Can I get some rocket fire on their compound? They are laying down some suppressing fire from over there. I got you. Oh, nice. Very good. <laughs> Keep it going, Laney. Let them have it. This is what I do best, guys. This is all I know how to do. Laney, aim, aim to the right. Aim to the right. Minimum aim, maximum damage. I hear a car. I see them. I see them. If you hear a car, destroy it. Yeah, not for long. Sink it into a crater. Laney, shoot that car. I see him, I see him. Oh, <laughs> I did that for sure. 100% it wasn't your shot. Woo! <laughs> Ow. Hang on, I've got explosives as well. Oh, we've got a sniper. Don't you let me die. If you don't take cover, it's not my problem. I have never counted on somebody more. Uh, one of them brought a big gun, it sounds like. Nice shot, I saw that. Yeah, they're, they're building fortifications in the road down there. Send a couple of rockets into it. Shoot rockets at them. That's the only plan. Make sure you get, get yourself a new bedroll if you need to. Oh my goodness. There is a lot going on inside right now. We need to, um, uh, Genosis, you and me. Okay. Jump down yep. with me here. They just rolled up in another vehicle. We're just going to flank them. Outflank them. I'm with you. Oh, they are tunneling in, into the base. Fire and brimstone. They're not getting past me. Okay, we backdoor them, Jen. That's the plan. All right. All right. We got a little bit of a crew. Laney, Genosis. Uh -huh. Team up with me, okay? Follow me. Hold your ground up there, Cap. Jewoodle, wherever you are, hold your ground. Careful at the front gate. There's two or three right around the corner. All right, we got to hit them where it hurts. We got to go to their campsite, into the rear, and take them out. We're going out this way, to the left. Let's go. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm with you. Get in the truck. Get in the truck. Lads, you go push them. I'll be overwatched from up Good, 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 good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just running. Echo, just step button. on top of it. Echo, run, Echo, we'll go run. slow, okay? You'll just cover me. Bail out. Bail out. Oh. Kill that guy. Explosives everywhere. Whoops. I'm on a little bit of fire here. All right, stay together. We're flanking around the uh, south side. First floor of the base has definitely been compromised. I can't tell who's who. I know, it's hard. I tried to rob the abandoned vehicle. They were not having it. Is anybody still alive in the corner over there? Oh. Continue attacking the corner. We're going to try and take out their camp. Ooh, they almost got me kid. All right, help me out, Genosis. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, no. Help, I need a medic. All right, we got to regroup here at the base, guys. This is, this is obviously not going to end very well. All right, I've snuck along the west wall of their area. Oh, they found me. Oh, that's what we need. We need uh, someone to do a sneak attack and, like, take all their bedrolls. We need a main attack here on the eastern flank and then a sneak attack on the western flank. I'm on foot, uh, running back. Ah! Ah! The eastern flank's down! Ah! I'm coming back to base! Go, Cap! It's all on you! I'm dead! I murdered him! I murdered him! It was me! It was me! 
Oh, this is great. Yeah, the Magnum is the gun for me, I think. Getting one-shot kills with this. Thurgle, did you murder me? Was that you? No, 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 it was not me. It was not me, I promise. This was not me. I only murdered Cap. I don't believe you. Just one tiny mistake, and all of a sudden, you know, a girl's a murderess. <laughs> I did murder you first, so I guess we'll call it even. <laughs> I'm opening a door in the in the western side with an auger. Oh, you've got to find bedrolls. Find all their bedrolls and destroy them. Yes, I'm inside of their base. I might actually try like a, just a full frontal attack while um, while everyone's distracted. Oh, look, a little hole in the barbed wire. I'm on a super stealth mission right now. All right, Tim, let me know when you push because I'm ready. I'm pushing. To I'm pushing. Push I'm pushing. From... Okay, I'm right I'm pushing with, with dynamite. I'm blasting the bedrolls. Right besides Josh. On my way, on my way. I'm coming in soon. Moving in, moving in. There's bedrolls all the way. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, watch out, dynamite, guys. Watch out for the dynamite. If they can't spawn, they can't attack. All right. We're clearing room to room in the box factory now. Look for bedrolls. Find all the bedrolls. We gotta flush them all out of here. I think we got them. I think I think we might have cleared them out. They might be retreating. Did we just trade bases? We're trade basing. <laughs> no, I'm still in here. I'm still in here. We have both bases. This is much nicer. They destroyed ours. Are you? That's a that's a massive dig on my base. No, no, but they destroyed it. They destroyed the bottom of it. All right, so Rocky, this blasted up shit hole was, way better than the base you built It was beautiful. It was beautiful, but then you gave them dynamite, okay? That's what happened. There's a whole bunch of them to the south. They've taken a jeep and they've fallen back. Is that one in, Is that one of us running south on the road? Not me. Murder him. Murder him. Okay. I mean. <laughs> Kill him gently. Yeah, I think we might have cleared them out of here. Genosis and I checked the basement in the uh, the kind of sewer access area. Looks clear down there. I think that was the last one there. Nice. Charging him from the back here. Love it. Oh! <laughs> I say. No, 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 don't kill me. No. As he gets oh my God, eliminated. That was close. You're yeah, okay, Echo. Just come back alone. to me. <laughs> It's all just right. a bullet wound in the face. You'll be okay. All right. Are we all are we all assembled here? Thank you guys so much for coming to my aid here. I think we've uh, thwarted the bandit threat here once and for all. <laughs> oh, just right out of the G. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, no. Go ahead, go. I mean, we just came here for some beer and then just got wasted. Oh. That was the point, I think. He came in a black <laughs> truck dressed like bad player. And what does he want? You got so unlucky. That was one of my only shots that landed. <laughs> Brothies? All right, we got oh, brothies for everyone here. Oh. Yes. The entire group turned <laughs> yeah. and aimed at you at the same time. He was never going to make it. Right, pray built wait for you there, champion. You want to get a frothy and join the party? That costs extra. No. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I'll give you a one. Oh, yeah. Come on, B. Is that good? Acceptable. All right. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, Cheers, everyone. Clink. Cheers. Woo. Victory. Cheers. Oh, I'm feeling rowdy. Want to go again? Or do you want to have a different oh. party? Yeah. <laughs> Hey everyone, I just wanted to say a special thank you this time around to the people who specifically made this episode and this series possible. This was quite an undertaking from the get-go to bring in other creators to do basically like cameo episodes with me, and then to have all four of them return for the series finale and kind of pull everything together was tremendous. And we had two extras that I just, I couldn't see this episode happening without. So those people are my arch nemesis, Lainey. I was murdered immediately. Is pre-built the cutthroat mercenary. So your turret's on friendly fire. Oh, that's that's sad. My base building mentor, Wayward Echo. Oh, ow, ow, God. Here we go. Your turret doesn't like me at all. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. And finally, a trio of OGs in the Seven Days to Die community. Genosis. Woo! <laughs> ow. Cap. Party like it's 1799. And Joe Woodle. Oh, more. Yep. Rads. Lots of rads. Oh, my God. Tim! Tim, are you okay? I think you killed me. Thank you all so much for being a part of this and for putting up with me and for humoring me and my crazy ideas. Really appreciate that. I hope we can do something like this again sometime. Secondly, I have to thank my moderator and admin crew. That's Bad Player, Mikey, Beneficial, and Crab Clown Jimmy. You actually heard Crab Clown Jimmy in the beginning. He was the bandit captain, and he gave that speech that I played at the very beginning of the episode to the bandits actually live before they were going to raid the box factory. Stand with me!
I didn't even ask him to do that. He just came up with it all on his own and I had to throw it into the episode. And lastly, as always, thank you so much to my loyal patrons and YouTube members whose financial support makes things like this possible. I drew from them to be a part of the Bandit crew. And so there were, I think, eight or 10 or 12 of them and I'll list their names. Thank you guys so much for being patient, for showing up on a Saturday morning early and uh, filming this with me and, and doing all the start, stop, let's redo that, refilm, that kind of stuff that uh, is, is kind of typical for me at this point. So yeah, and of course, again, thank you all for watching this and for your support throughout the series. This could possibly be the biggest collaborative event ever in Seven Days to Die, and I'm very proud to have been a part of that. I'm proud to call all the people that you saw here today my friends, friends of the channel, personal friends, and I'm really looking forward to the next series. I have some big plans, so I'll see you then.